another New Year's Eve. Time to find some ways to make this celebration special, huh? Oh, look what I found. We should use one of these. And this. Take a look at this. Old school, huh? <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Don't stop, Ryan. I think we found our party! Join Jenny McCarthy, Fergie, and Ryan Seacrest for the party of the year. Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve, hosted by Ryan Seacrest. Live New Year's Eve, starting at 8, 7 central on ABC. Cody, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Because Dick Clark is not hosting the New Year's show this year. He was my favorite. I loved hearing his gruff voice. Now it's that ear bleeding Ryan Seacrest. I hate him so much. I know how you feel. I remember going to New Year's Eve 2006 and feeling really angry that I couldn't see Dick Clark and that Ryan Seacrest instead was there. Oh, I remember it well. Unfortunately, Dick Clark will be upstairs in his studio talking to the TV viewers and Ryan will be with his massive security. You won't be able to actually meet them. No, Dick Clark. Hey, Rosie, I think I see someone special over there. Ryan? Ryan Seacrest? And now for some music from, oh wait, it appears we have another guest. And what might your name be, little bald boy? My name is Caillou. I came here to meet my idol Dick Clark, Mr. New Year's Eve. Where is he? Well, I'm sorry to say, but Dick Clark won't be able to see you tonight, or anybody. He kind of needs to stay away from folks because he recently had a stroke. It's a very bad thing that can happen to people when they get older, but it's pretty rare. Well, anyway, let's get back to our live music stage featuring Duran Duran. Everyone's just trying to have fun. Well, I'm not having fun. It's cold, windy, and I will get to meet Dick Clark. That does it. I'm going to take out the crystal ball. Are uh, you people? This is what I think of your New Year's. I am very upset over your actions, and so is the rest of New York. Starting tomorrow, you and your family will be forever back from another going to Times Square. And after talking with the NYPD, you will be publicly shamed tonight. Goodbye, Jai, you will be right in hell after all you have done. Yeah. I was pretty humiliated for about a month in school and had my face plastered all over newspapers and TMZ. Well that was stupid of you. You shouldn't have taken out down the ball itself. You should have taken Ryan out himself. Whoa. Damage to property are very different things. I can't go to jail now. Well I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to get Ryan. Ha 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 ha. And get charged. I don't think so. Hey dad. Dad come out here right quick. What is it kite you? Cody here wanted to take out Ryan Seacrest, and I don't mean out on a date. Is this true Cody? Um, 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 yes. Oh, whoa, 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 Cody, how dare you even think about trying to do something worse than what Caillou did back in 2006. That's it. Before you end up in gal, you are grounded, grounded, grounded for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 seconds. Go to your room this instant. Ugh, what a cliché punishment. I'm surprised I didn't get a punishment day. You want to give a cliché back talk? Okay boy, I'll make it 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 seconds. Go up now before I rip a huge after Christmas day fart into your ugly face. That fucking stupid daddy and stupid ugly twin brother of mine, fucking ratting me out. I just want to save society by taking out that annoying nasally Ryan C shit. But how on earth do I do it? I'm out of ideas. Hey all, do you want us to have the chance to see the ball grow up in Times Square and meet Ryan C. Crest in person? Yes, actually. Great, cause we can pick you up. A bus would drop by your house and pick you up, no problem. All you have to do is call this toll-free number at 555 Ball. Have your credit card ready and show us your credit card number. You get to see Ryan Seacrest at the ball drop and have the best experience of your life. That's 555 Ball. Must be a team or order to call. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll steal my dad's credit card, grab a bus and go to Times Square. I'll also use the credit card to buy a piece as well. Hi 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 Hey honey, I'm going to go to the store to buy shrimp and pepperoni. Oh shit, it's dad. Uh, hum? Uh, honey, I'll buy the shrimp and pepperoni for you. Doris, you there? Um, why do you want to? I'm already on my way. You forgot to spray Cody with your whippy pie. Didn't you say you were doing that? Just leave your wallet on the couch. I never said I was doing that, but you know what? That's a good idea. Okay, I'll leave my credit card on the couch for you. Can't believe I fooled that sweater flanders faggot. 
Cody Anderson, change of plans, you're not grounded, I'm going to do whoopie pie on you, get ready to get cream pie you bald sack of shit. Too easy. Link, now to call up the number. Hello oh, there, welcome you are the lady fifth caller for the Buster Time Swipe Giveaway. Give us your credit card number, and we will bring a bus to you in five minutes. Hello there, my credit card is 4321-1234-4991-6666, and the back number is 763. Oh, so, we will see you in five minutes. Tell me time at the Big Apple. Thanks a lot. See you then. Times Square, here I come. Is that the bus? I think I hear the bus coming. Oh my god, it is. Times Square, here I come. Wait a minute, kid. Are you 18 years old? Um, 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 yes? Huh, okay. Well, I don't care. Just need to know you paid for the ride. Oh, okay, woof. Oh my god, there's, there's the crowds. Well, here I am, the Big Apple, the place that is looked upon in glory for his materialistic nature but actually is a living breeding shithole, at least that's what daddy says, whatever that means. Huh, now I need to find a weapons shop, let me try over in this area. Oh my god, it's that place, the place Caillou goes to a lot in GTA 4, it's a real place, I wonder if they sell actual weapons. Ditto, white eye boy, are you lost? No sir, I need a special type of weapon to use on someone, an annoying person with an air bleeding voice. Oh, okay, I assume you have money in your pocket, is that right? Oh, don't worry, I have my dad's credit card right here. Oh my, well, excuse me, now we're talking. How may I help you today, boy? Well, I need a nice toy, the best you have. No problem. Oh, by the way, if you can just give me the card number. I can write it down and get the money from you no problem. It's 4321-1234-4991-6666 and number on back is 763. Thanks buddy. Here's a fast gun. Thanks mister. Happy New Year. Ha 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 ha. Time to take out that ear bleeding punk. Moo ha 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 ha. Happy New Year to me. I can do so much with this number. So you just so happen to lose your credit card and wallet? In plaster your fetish all over Cody, how are we going to pay for anything? I don't get paid until next year. Well a better question is where is that ball prick? He is so going to be grounded wherever he is. I assume that's the police who found Cody? Alright alright I'm coming. Hello, this is Boris Anderson speaking. Hello Mr. Anderson. This is card member service. We have noticed a lot of suspicious activity on your credit card account. A trip to New York City, five purchases of illegal explosives at a tattoo shop in New York. Explosives, what the fuck? Ladies and gentlemen, we now bring to you, new pop star, Justin Johnson. Baby, 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 oh, 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 baby, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Oh, 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 baby, baby, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Baby, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Oh, Mommy up. Thank you, Justin. That was an interesting performance. Anyway, in two minutes, the will and deep old drop down from the twenty foot black ball, in which we've been doing since wait for it, nineteen oh eight makes me think sometimes that I'm really not that old. I might be doing this show for 50 if not 75 years. That's wrong. You are wrong, Ryan. Oh, oh my god, oh my dear god! You're, you're the kid who brought the New Year's ball seven years ago. And almost right New Year's in times who are forever. No, that wasn't me. That was my stinky brother Caillou. He for some reason decided to destroy the ball because he wanted to see Dick Clark, but couldn't. Okay, whoop, that's a relief, but why are you here pointing that gun at me? Because, 
You said that the LED ball has been a thing in New Year's Eve since 1908. That's wrong. It was really 2008. The ball tradition has been a thing since 1908. There's a difference. Yeah, you're right, kid. I made a mistake. It was indeed 2008 with a current ball. So, is that it? No. It's time to die. Time to die or go to hell, Justin Johnson. You are the Justin Johnson. Yes, and I took you out. Your show is now ruined. I planned the whole thing. The ball is made from reinforced steel and glass that bounces a bullet off that will ricochet onto someone in the crowd or stage. I timed it perfect. I always hated Justin and was sad that you would ruin Dick Clark's legacy with that trouble. I never wanted to kill you. Are you kidding, Kate? Who? Cody, get in the car now. We got to get out of here before the police arrest us. You're to the father from seven years ago. Look, I'm sorry. Cody committed credit card fraud and ruined your soul. I know, he will never ever come back here. No, your son said New Year's. You took him will have to fire a gun unlike your other son. Hey, Jill, that you're bleeding, Justin Johnson. We no longer have to deal with his autistic screeching. All those people in the crowd consider your son a hero. He deserves to get a reward from the city. Now, let's get on with our annual tradition. Shall we? You took it to press down the ball this year. Well, I didn't exactly get what I wanted. No, but sometimes you get something even better. Except for that guy you bought the gun from. He's going to jail for a long time. The call has begun its descent. The first celebration was 108 years ago. Hum, I need a new fresh look for the 21st century. Get rid of this 1990s Flanders Blues Clues Steve look, something that just shouts the year 2000. Hum, I don't need any pants, I just need a nice new top. Oh wow, there's a sale going on? Well then this is definitely the time to get something. Let's see what this is. Hum, there's no dressing room in here. Guess I got to try on clothes in broad daylight. Holy moly, what the? Oh. This isn't what it looks like. Hey bro, I like your style man. Real fresh. Um, thanks? I'll do the same thing. No more pants. Live or let live society. Underpants only. Well, that was awkward and strange. Now on to my shopping. Hum, does this look good? I can't tell. I need a mirror. Let's see if there's a mirror over here. Gotta be in this cramped store. Here we go. God this weighs as much as Rosie O'Donnell's butt. Plop this up here. My god, I look like a 10 year old boy in this polo. Takes me back to the blunder years of society. Gotta be something else good here. Let's see if this get up looks good. Ugh, I look like a 1940s cabaret performer. Might as well get the top hat and do the old rabbit in hat trick. Ugh, come on, there's got to be something decently modern in this discount clothing store. Hum, this? No, 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 no. I do not need to look like I listen to heavy metal or cut my wrist every day. What's this? Oh my, irresistible, handsome, young, modern. I look like I'm 10 years younger. This is the perfect outfit for me. I'm definitely going to buy this. Listen here you jackass. The paper here says that I was rewarded a 50% discount. I want the discount now. Miss Miss Mister, the discount as I said expired a month ago. It was only good for 3 months. It's, it's a store policy. Uh oh, I'm this guy looks crazy. You don't give me that discount, the second you walk to your car, I will break every bone in your body, and the only movement you'll ever make again is if someone flips your body like a pancake and eat you. Cause that's what you would look like. Give me the discount, right, freaking, now. Please don't hurt me. I, uh, I, I'll see what I can do. The discount. 75% off. On all the clothes I buy. Do it. Just do it. Okay. That's a good boy. Oh my god, that guy is tough. Holy shit, a green hoodie. With red pull strings. I've never seen anything like this. What the hell? There's none left. You. You there Mr. Joker. Give me your hoodie. What? Give you my hoodie? Why? Because I said so tiny Tim. No, I bought it first. Just wait until more come in. Probably next week they might have more. You do not ever. Ever. Back to Ken McCarran. What on earth? Put me down, you creep. Oh my god. Here we go. Let's fit this on. Oh, wow. 
I feel very slim in this. I feel like I'm 20 years younger in this. Hee <laughs> hee, well, better go pay for this. Oh my god, I'm on the ground here on broken glass because of that Ken McCarran. I feel powerless without my green shirt. Wait, what the? Oh, ooh, goddamn glass, Ken McCarran's red tank top. Oh my god, I feel like I have limitless power with this tank top on. Now time to show Ken McCarran who's boss. Oh god, oh jeez. Look man. Ah, uh, I spoke with the manager. Here huh, you can have any of the clothes you want for 75% off. Make it 90% off. Now. Or I'll break your spine in half. Oh, okay, but why are you pointing at my chest instead of my spine? I'm not pointing you, I'm grab. What the? I, I can't pick, I can't. Can't pick on others not your size anymore? You made a big mistake taking that hoodie from me, Ken McCarran, and now I'm going to make you pay, literally. This outfit you had on gives me the power to show you what it's like to be bullied. You give this fine cashier the money he deserves, or I squash you like the little piss ant you are. Your choice, pay, or get squashed. What? Hum mum 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 hum mum? Uh, no. You can't do anything. I'm Ken McCarran. Have to it. Ha 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 ha, that's the best you got. Spitting on me, don't you ever know the expression? Say it, don't spray it. Well, here's mine. No pay, then you get sprayed. No 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 no! Oh my god. You actually killed Kenny McCarran, you magnificent bastard. As a reward, I'm letting you keep that green tank top for free. If you don't mind, I'd rather take the green hoodie so I can ground people as usual. The power of Ken McCarran is too much for me. Certainly, mister. Much better looking. Now to grounding. Ken McCarran, you are grounded, 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 grounded forever. Don't ever come back from your grave. Ha 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 I love grounding people, especially when they deserve it, and love to do it now in my new green grounding hoodie. Life is good. Okay, time to buy some Gucci bags so I can look even more fabulous. I can't believe I could only get the second to best car. Who's better than Mawa? Um, excuse me miss. Could you be so kind and position your car a little more in? What? Position myself a little more in? Are you talking down to me? Are you trying to backwards e me? Maybe I should call the cops on you. No no no, I just meant your front end here was too outside the boundaries. Now you're calling me that. How about I record you on video here and show the world how you're cursing me? No, I'm sorry. I just wanted you to move your car. Ugh. That guy should be on the list. Now to buy some handbags after I walk behind this annoying pole. Hope someone gets fired for designing this. Uh, now where are those handbags? That will be 575. Hey, where are the handbags at? Oh, excuse me miss, I'll be with you in just a moment. Um, excuse me. I don't have just a moment. I need to know where your handbags are now. Just give us a minute and I'll be with you in a jiffy. Lady, I don't have a minute. I need to know where your Gucci handbags are now. Don't make me get your manager. Okay miss, the bags are just right when you get to the women's clothing department. As soon as you're there, was that all? Yeah, that's all I needed, though it would have been faster if you weren't so damn rude to me. I'll be back. Oh, I'm sure she'll be back. Ten bucks says she can't find it. In the women's department she said. Where on earth is the women's department? All I see is some hairy men's department. No women's department. Where is the women's department? All I see is men's 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 men's. I want women's damn it. Oh my god, all this walking. Oh my god, I think I'm going to have a hot flash. I think I'm going to faint. Where are these handbags? I want the Gucci handbags. Here you go. Thank you. And one dollar is your change. Uh oh. Mommy. Daddy. The angry colorful lady is back. Oh god. Come on Emily. Let's go quick. Where on earth are your Gucci bags? I walked all around the store and could not find the Gucci bags or the women's section. You said it would be right in the women's section and it's not there. Where's your manager? I knew this would happen. Would you like me to show you where they are at? Well do you of course, I would like you to show me where they were. Do you think I'm f stupid? Okay, aisle 15 calling, I have to show a customer an item. Can someone cover me for 5 minutes? Yeah, I'll come right over. Ow. Follow me miss, I'll show you. Well finally then. Here they are, the Gucci handbags, right in front of the women's department. That's where they were. I was just here like a few minutes ago. Why can't you people make it in a place that's more obvious to people? Are you people fucking crazy? Well, here they are. Have a nice day. Yeah, go fuck yourself too. Finally. My dream bags are here. And they look shiner than most bags. 
Now I can finally buy one. What's the price on these? This fucking cheap hooker hobo type store is selling Gucci's for only $5. Are these people crazy? How can Walmart sell these expensive bags for only $5? Now the poorest of the poor will be able to buy these. That's not fair to me. Now everyone will afford them. Something needs to be done about this. Excuse me ma'am. Is there a problem? Why yes. There is a problem. Look at these Gucci handbags. Do you see what's wrong here? Um, no. I don't. Is it the price? Is it the bag itself? Is it the price? Is it the bag itself? Are you a fucking retarded monkey? Look at that price there. It says five dollars. Can you read bitch? Yes, I can read. And there's no need to call me a monkey man. What's wrong with the price? Well he's only charging five dollars. Any buffoon can now buy these handbags. That's ridiculous. Only special people like me should be able to buy these handbags. So you're upset because the bags are cheaper than usual? Congratulations idiot. You listen to me well. I want to see your manager. I want to speak to someone at Windpass Retard School. Okay then. Very well. Excuse me manager. There's a customer in the women's department that would like to see you. Should I send them to you or can you come here? Yeah, I'll come down to you. Be there in one minute. He'll be here in one minute. Up. Here he is. Hello Gloria. Hello the man. I'm manager Stanley Streamer. What seems to be the issue? Well for starters, your employee here was being very disrespectful to me. She talked down to me like I was a child. Is this true, Gloria? No, sir. I just walked up to the lady here and asked her was anything wrong. And she said she was upset because no, the price was too much. that's not at all so what I said, you lying bitch. I didn't say it was too expensive. I buy expensive stuff all the time. Mr. Stanley Manager, you see this price here. Tell me what do you see wrong with this price? Well, I mean it's just the normal price for Gucci's at Walmart. And next week we're having a sale of them for 25% off. So instead of five dollars, it will be three seventy-five. Three seventy-five. You people are seriously crazy. What? I can't hear you. My ears are literally bleeding. Mine too. I've never been screeched up this loud before. I heard so much. I. I need to sit down for a few minutes. You can just take ten minutes off now, Gloria. You must need to calm down now before we call the police on you. There's nothing wrong with the price of the bags. What? Hey. You do not just walk away from me. I'm Karen McCarran. I am not letting these guys get away from this. Wait. I just got a Karen McCarran logic idea. I'll just steal the handbags and then throw them in the store's dumpster. Then they'll be forced to stop selling them for this price. Uh, but, how do I not drop these bags? Oh god damn it. I guess I can just steal them and put them up my shirt. There, that should be good. I better not look ugly. Or I'll sue my brain. Earth, these are really bulky. Ouch, ooh. What on earth? Um, have a good day? Oh, now you talk nice to me, huh? Caution. Shoplifter alert. Shoplifter alert. Shoplifter. You on earth Caution. steal it while Shoplifter alert. With their wonderful alert. Shoplifter alert. alert. That would be you, miss. You can cut the act. We know you stole the handbags. Because you are very cheap. Now hear this. I am not cheap. I already told you I thought your handbags were too cheap. I don't have anything on me. You can fuck right off. You'd have stuff under your shirt. Here. Don't touch me, little brat. Um, hum on my mum. Uh. Thanks a lot, kid. It would have been a bitch for any of us to tackle her. She might have tried to sue us. No problem all. Hold me Kaivoski out. Okay, I think I'm going to go now. See you all later. Time to Oh of what the Hey you asshole. What's your uh oh? Otto is right Miss Karen McCarran. You are going to jail for shoplifting. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can be used against you in the court of law. Let me get you up now. Get your hands off me. Send in the Calvary boys. The Calvary. Oh no. Let's watch the GNN News, the greatest news network. Liberalism. Shut up, Caillou. Good evening, everybody. I'm Wolf Blister, and today on the GNN News, we have a breaking detail where wife will go see the mom mine. A woman, as our resources refer to as, Karen, stole Gucci handbags because she was apparently too cheap to afford them. Little Brian Stelter has the story. 
Thank you, Wolf. The robbery apparently happened at this exact spot where you see these Gucci handbags on a shelf near the women's department. I'm also here with manager Stanley Streamer. Mr. Streamer, what can you tell us about this Miss Karen McCarran? Well, Brian, Miss Karen was acting very rude to my own employee, Miss Gator. She said that Miss Gator looked like a monkey, in which Miss Gator is black, mind you. Karen then screamed very loud to the point my ears started bleeding, and I had to get medical attention. She also apparently yelled at a card attendant of mine and accused him of aping her. And we should also say we have the tape of what happened and also the robbery as well. Here's that. Kind and position your car a little more in. What? Position myself a little more in. Are you talking down to me? Are you trying to backwards e par me? Maybe I should call the cops on you. No, no, no. I just meant your front end here was too outside the boundary. Now you're calling me that. How about I record you on video here and show the world how you're cursing me? Excuse me, ma'am. Is there a problem? Why, yes. There is a problem. Look at these Gucci handbags. Do you see what's wrong here? Um, no, I don't. Is it the price? Is it the bag itself? Is it the price? Is it the bag itself? Are you a fucking retarded monkey? Look at that price there. It says five dollars. Can you read, bitch? Yes, I can read. And there's no need to call me a monkey man. Congratulations, idiot. You listen to me well. I want to see your manager. I want to speak to someone at Winpath Retard School. Well, as you can see, Miss Karen McCarran is a very screw loose type of woman. And we hope she can get enough money to pay for her children. Back to you, Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cheap, you imbeciles. I'm a rich girl. I'm Karen McFucking Karen. Oh my god. Make her stop. I can't take it. Okay, Caillou, try not to be a bad little bald boy today. Make sure you don't ruin any field trips or put glue in anybody's hair, or you will be grounded. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Daddy. I hear you. I will be good. Good. Love you, Caillou. Love you, too. Time for another day of crap school. I hate this place. Oh, there's the lady from my first day of kindergarten. Excuse me, lady. Come for Good morning, students. Today we will do something interesting. We will. Oh, good morning Caillou, nice to see you make it, late, again. I'm sorry Miss Carrington, my daddy drove late again. Right, your daddy. Well, just try to get here sooner. Anyway class, today, our school will be having what's called, a fire drill. Does anybody know what a fire drill is? Yes TJ? A spicy pickle. A spicy pickle? Oh, no, no no, I said fire drill. Not fire drill. Not a dill pickle. But that would be tasty, wouldn't it? Oh, sorry. That's okay. Good try, though. Anybody else? Yes, Leo? Is it a power drill that shoots fire? Well, that sounds cool. Definitely. I knew someone would bring that up. No, it's not that. But that would indeed be very cool. Anybody else? Um, yes, Caillou? Is it the hot pee pee you have rather than your hole in you? <laughs> Class, that's not funny. Stop laughing this instant. Caillou, that's it. You get one strike. Go sit in the corner for one minute. Fine. What did you say to me? Um, I said, I love you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, students, the fire drill is a procedure in which we get up from whatever we're doing and line up right away at the door very fast and exit the classroom to the front door of the school and outside, in case there ever was a fire. We also drop anything we are holding in our hands before we exit the classroom as well. Is there any questions? Yes, Cowell. Do we go even if it's nap time? Oh yes, definitely. If it was nap time, then I would take an extra minute waking everyone up, then rush people a little faster out the door. If there was a real fire, you wouldn't want to be sleeping through if the fire came in our classroom. Good question though. Any other questions? Yes, TJ. Can we put out fires if we see one? Oh, no, no, no. No, you never go even anywhere near the fire. The fire department will come in about 10 minutes and do their best to put out any fire that happens. But no student or child should go anywhere near a fire. Can I count on you to not try to put a fire out? Yes, Miss Carrington. I just make the fires instead. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, is it all? Okay then. On to reading now. And Caillou, you can come back to your seat now. Thank you, Miss Carrington.
Making paper airplanes is awesome, man. Ha 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 ha. Oh my. That flew right over my head. Oh my gosh. That's really loud. That's pretty scary sounding. Okay, everybody. That's the fire jewel. Single fire line as I told you. Wait. I gotta get my paper airplane. Are you? Yeah. Miss Jones instead of being in stuff with us. My paper airplane. Look what you did, you jerk. Why you is out? Don't punch me, bald wings. I punch you because you ruined my airplane. Boys. Uh oh. You boys are holding us all up. Get moving right now. Well, Miss Carrington, your class underperformed the most. You will be getting two dollars docked from your pay an hour for the next two weeks. Your class has failed. Class, I am very disappointed. But not in you all. Just Leo and Caillou, you two were fighting with each other and caused me to look like a stupid idiot. This was not a good fire drill at all. Okay, well, it's time to head back inside. Let's go. And Caillou, that's a second strike. One more and you will be sent home. Okay? Okay, wait a minute, what's this? <laughs> Um, so that's where the fire alarm comes from. I got an idea. If I pull the fire alarm, I could then run outside and beat everyone else and make Miss Carrington really happy with me. Oh yeah, then my daddy will not ground me at all. He'll be very happy. Caillou, you beat all those thinking classmates of yours. I am very 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 happy for you. You are the best son and best kid I've ever had. Also, the big fireman would also like to speak to you. Mr. Caillou, I reward you with a big gold necklace. You are really the best. Oh yeah, uh-huh. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Caillou? Caillou? Wait, huh? Why are you dancing in the hallway? And why are you saying it's your birthday? Today is October 13th, not July 18th. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just imagining it was my birthday. Okay then. Well, come along. Before you get a third strike. Woof, that was close. Ha ha, it's time for some fire. What did you say? Time for fire? No, I know. I said, time for my uh, my uh, stomach. I'm hungry as all. Oh, okay, you are making that face you make when you think of something bad to do, and now you're shocked. No, uh, I'm okay. I have to go to the bathroom though. Caillou is sure up to something. Oh, hello Caillou. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Oh, I just have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Okay, well. Hurry back in at least 10 minutes. Okay, thank you. Here it is, and nobody is around to see me pull this. Here goes nothing. Huh? What the? Ah, uh, what's this blue stuff? It's okay. This stuff is really gross. Okay, students, single file line. We'll line up next to Miss Carrington's class outside. Uh-oh, I gotta run outside. Oh my goodness, what's going on? We didn't have another fire drill plan. I don't know what's going on. It's okay, Principal Jack. Just follow us outside. Yeah, Mom, everything's going to be okay. Just follow us outside. Well, I don't know if... Yes, you are right, honey. Let us go quick. How'd you get out of here so fast? Look, there, it's the fire department. Go, go, go. Move, boys. Hey, what is going on? Why is the alarm going on? Come on, man. We're here to save you. What on earth? Put me down. Why are you grabbing me? Wait a minute. There's no fire in here. There's no smoke off some of smoke. Why did this all happen? My clothes are ruined. My hair is all wet and stiff. Ha 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 ha. I beat all you guys. This wasn't a race, Caillou. It? It wasn't? No, Caillou. The fire drill's purpose is to get everyone out safe and sound. 
We were doing a race earlier. What's all the blue stuff on Caillou's shirt? Blue stuff? That paint looks a lot like the paint they use on the fire alarm when somebody pulls it without the key engaged. You there. The mistress in the purple dress. Your name? Carrington. Miss Carrington. Well, good afternoon. So, we have fingerprint here of the perpetrator who pulled the alarm. And I believe whoever pulled it should have either a blue or red dye on their hands. Hum, blue paint you say, huh? That seems likely. Likely over there. Hello there, little bald boy. I need you to show me your hand so I can fingerprint you. Uh, come on, mom, mom. Uh, okay. You, it's a perfect match. out here before everyone and flood the school. The fire drill wasn't a race, it was a procedure to show everyone how to react in a fire. You have ruined the inside of the school. It will take months to fix. You have received your third strike. Go home this instant. If you want, I can make you all warm again. How's that TJ? Simple. This. Oh my That's god. That's insane. Wow. That actually worked. Awesome job, TJ. And I even found my glasses. Thanks a lot, TJ. You saved the day. No problem. Burritos always make great fart machines. Oh god, I can smell it now. Oh man, eek. Caillou, why are you home early? Why are you crying like a bald baby? And why is your shirt have blue dye on it? It's because I pulled the fire alarm at school and caused the school to get flooded. I did it because I was racing to get first place at beating everyone else in the fire drill. I wanted to get a reward. I figured you'd be happy for me beating everyone. Happy? Caillou? You think I'm happy? No, I'm not happy. You damaged the school because you thought the fire drill was a race. You're seriously the most stupidest person on this entire planet. And I mean that with my whole heart. Oh wait, hold on a second. I'm getting a call from your teacher. Hello? Hello, yeah, this is Boris. Yeah, I was just about to punish him. He got what? Peace strikes. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me. Yeah. Oh, believe me. He'll get a good punishment day. Yeah, bye. Kalu, I just got a call from your teacher that you got three strikes. That's worse than pulling the fire alarm. You will now get a punishment day. And your teacher listed me some to give you. First punishment, feeding you the blue dye that you got on your clothes. Lick the spoon, Kai, you. Water. Oh, that tastes water. Ah, a nasty water. Ah, please no more blah blah yucky poo. Second punishment, spraying this fucking powerful blue spray in your face like the dye on your other shirt. Third and final punishment, blowing this air horn in your ear because you like annoying other people. Ow, my ears, they're bleeding. I can't hear anything. Now go to sleep. What? I can't hear you. Now go to sleep. What? Go to sleep. Okay. Hey, Mom. Yes, Caillou. Can we go to Toys R Us? No, we cannot, Caillou. We are going to the mini supermarket to buy groceries and stuff that we need. But, Mommy, Toys R Us is just right over there down the street. See, we can go there then go to the supermarket. I don't care, Caillou. We are not going to Toys R Us. We are going to the mini supermarket that is right next to us. Come along inside with us now. No, I want to go to Toys R Us, and that's final. Take me to Toys R Us right now. Stop getting angry, Caillou, and throwing your hands like a toddler. You are making your little sister Rosie cry. You are a big boy. Big boys don't throw their hands up in the air. I don't freaking care about my stinky little sister Rosie. I care about Toys R Us. If you don't take me to Toys R Us, I will destroy the buildings. Caillou. You will not destroy any buildings. You are only four years old. You aren't strong enough to destroy the buildings. Oh yeah? Watch me. Building. Three, two, 
soldier. Caillou, you get back down here. Right now. I know. Caillou, don't. I will tell you, Mom, that Rosie. Nom 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 nom. Yum 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 yum. Tasty. Wake up, Caillou. Caillou. Caillou, it's breakfast time. Oh, what? Huh? Uh, oh, mommy, you're alive. Yes, I am alive. Were you having a nightmare? No, at first it seemed bad, but then it turned out cool. I was dreaming I was a giant, and could grow really big. Wow, that does seem cool. I also dreamt I ate you and Rosie for not taking me to Toys R Us, and before that, I wrecked buildings and stuff when I was big. It was awesome. Caillou, did I just hear you dreamt you ate your mommy, you ate your sister, and that you wrecked buildings and stuff? Yeah, it was cool. I wish I can grow real big one day. Oh, whoa, 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 Caillou, how dare you dream of eating your mommy and wrecking buildings? You can't dream of stuff like that. You are too young. You are now grounded, grounded, grounded for one, two, three, four, five minutes. You will not be allowed to watch TV or play outside. You will also not watch any shows with action in them. They rot your brain. Go back to sleep right now, and don't dream about any more bad stuff of your mommy and Rosie, or you will be grounded more. What? Uh, uh. That stupid bald baby. I can't believe a five-year-old child could flood a school like that. What is with kids these days? Back in my day, we used to just throw rocks at each other, sneak out father's cigs, and possibly air horn each other during sporting games. Ha ha, I still remember blowing out my friend's ear off and he couldn't hear for a week. We then would write on him when he dozed off from smoking too many doobies. Hum, I wish I could go back to those days. Actually, do I still have my... Let me check. Let me see, wait, is this it? Yes, it's here still, my college hoodie, I haven't worn this in like 10 years. Ha 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 ha, it still fits me like a glove, well, at least the glove part does. Ha 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 ha, I have so much energy right now. I feel like going on a prank rampage. What the f is wrong with you? You broke Mr. Hinkle's window, bit Rosie in a cage and threw a paper ball at a high school student. What's your mental problem? You're lucky Mr. Hinkle and that girl aren't going to get the law involved. I, I just had a, a lot of energy today is all. I'm wearing my old college hoodie. I felt young again. Well you're not young anymore. You're 33 years old. You're a grown ass man. Take a long walk and think about what you've done. You have to be a role model for Caillou, especially after what he did today. I'm banning you from the house until you apologize. Oh come on, who's to say what I did wasn't what I should have done? That old man deserves to have stuff thrown at him, and if I wasn't allowed to do that, why was there funky mama music playing in the background? Sheesh, when Caillou does it people seem to enjoy it. Hey, that was great moves you had, I got good footage of it, keep it up. Um, thanks, hum. Perhaps I should do more pranks. No, one big prank, and I know just what it will be. My precious air horn. But if I do it near people then they'll find me right away. Hum, well, that won't work, but I got a better idea. The ghost is clear. Stupid people leave their doors unlocked. Time to do my sneaky voice. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh, shit. Woof. Just a loud ass grandfather clock. Reminds me of my old man on the toilet. Okay, almost to their room. Just a bit closer. Ha 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 ha. What is 
What the fuck is that noise? I think we have an answer. Wait, what? Okay, okay, everyone. I've heard your concerns. And after seeing the photo evidence here of the suspect, I'm making a final decision. Anyone who bears the green hoodie of the suspect in the photo here will be forever banned of entering or living in Ghost City. And they will be sentenced to five years in state prison. This is final. So this is what it's come to. My pranking has gone so far I'm now banned from the city if I bear this hoodie. Looks like I'll have to burn this. Goodbye my friend, you, you were always my green friend. Oh, hello there. If it isn't my mischievous husband. So, have you gone away from your old ways of fun? Yes, and I can't wear my old college hoodie anymore due to a guy air whoring people in their sleep. He bared the same hoodie as me. I realized that what he did was similar to my old ways of fun. Oh boys, you are so cute when you lie. I know it was you, but bear in mind that this is the ultimate grounding for you. I know, but am I welcome in the house? Oh, of course you are. I can't stay mad at you forever. Somebody has to keep Caillou in place. And it certainly can't be me, but we can still have fun as adults. But just in bed. Kiwi, try to slice a bit of a big pie rascal. Mmm, 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 I'm going to bite you. Ha 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 ha. Man, I hate my little baby sister Rosie. She is such an annoying crybaby little ginger. Wait, Rosie is sleeping downstairs. I know, I'll scare Rosie in her sleep by giving her a nightmare. She'll cry for sure like the little baby she is. Moo hi 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 Oh, Caillou, you can't go in the living room yet to watch TV. Your sister is taking an hour nap on the couch. Oh, I know, I'm just grabbing a book from the bookshelf. Wow, my little bald grown boy is already starting to want to read. Very good. Okay then. But just be quiet in there. Yes, mommy. So proud of my kids. Stupid mommy actually fell for that. Now to scare Rosie and make her dreams scary. Scary monsters. Scary sky. Moo hi 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 ha. Where is Rosie at? This does not look like health. I'm scary red by. I'm going to eat you, Rosie. Mommy, mommy, help. I blah 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 can't help you, Rosie. Your mommy is stupid. Mommy is stupid. Mommy is stupid. Boo boo. Murdoch is gone. She can't save you. Murdoch. Scary, scary, scary. Rosie, hey hey, it's okay. I'm here. Mommy's here. You're all safe. Mommy, Daddy, help. I had a bad bad dream. I had a evil guy. It was scary. Oh, was my little angel having a bad dream? It's okay. Daddy will fight those mean little puny monsters away from you. I had a guy you voice at the start of dream. I also saw me being stupid in dream. <laughs> Kalu, get your bald ass down here this instant. Uh-oh. Scary red shaking. Hello, Mommy and Daddy. What's up? It will be you in a second. So, how come you don't have a book in your hand? And why are all the books still all on the shelf? And why is your little sister crying on the couch here? Um, I, uh, I don't need to pick up a book. I can use my imagination. 
Well I'm using my imagination right now, imagining you're lying to me right now. Oh wait, you already are. Tell us the truth, did you make your sister have a bad dream? Yeah, well, you see I, hum mum 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 hum mum. Excuse me Caillou, you didn't answer me you just trailed off. Tell us the freaking truth now. Yes, I spoke scary things to Rosie because I don't like her and wanted her to have a scary dream. Oh, 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 Caleb, how dare you cause your little sister to have nightmares and for her to see her mom be stupid. You are an evil little brother. You are now grounded, grounded, grounded until the next episode is made. Go to sleep right now. You will also have a bad nightmare when you go to sleep. It's okay Rosie, your big evil nasty brother is gone to his room. Yeah, and he won't ever try to scare you like that again. I grounded him and made sure that he will have bad nightmares of his own. How about we make you some cereal with some more milk? Daddy said I'd have scary nightmares. What did he mean? He, he was probably joking. Well, I'll go to sleep now. Wow, this place looks cool. Hey, what's that? Hello there, Caillou. It's me, Rexy. <laughs> oh, hi there, Rexy. You're my favorite dinosaur, even more than Barney. What? You no love me anymore. Oh no, Barney? Caillou, I thought we were best friends. I thought you loved me. I loved you. No, no, Barney, I still love you. I, I just love Rixie. More. You love Rixie more. Well, you know what? I don't love you no more, you stinky bald child. You're not love to me anymore. Your food. Time to die, Caillou. Nom 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 Eat you up. Yummy Caillou. Hee hee. What the? Oh. Hello, Mommy. Caillou, can't you see I'm using the bathroom? Yes, I can. Can you please get out and not disturb me? No. Get out. No. Come on, Caillou, get out right now. No. That's it. If you don't get out, you will be grounded and receive a special punishment. Can't I please pretty please use the bathroom? That's it. You are grounded 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 for one dog here. You will go to your room and not play any video games. But first, you will smell my poop. No, 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 no. Please, mommy, don't make me smell your poop. <coughs> so, did you watch that new episode of Barney and Friends? Ugh, Barney and Friends? No, I'm too old for that. I watched South Park. You, is that the show where the main guy goes, AA, hey, hey, you guys, I'm out of here, and, f you, you, Yes it is, so you have seen South Park before. Yeah, but it's just all fart and poop jokes. <laughs> you seriously think it's just fart and poop jokes? No, that's Aaron's and Philip, not the real show. Whatever, it's still stupid. Whatever man. How 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 Oh my god. Look at that ass. But, what the- There's a big butt, where? Right. Here. Ouch, that hurt. Hey, watch what you're doing you big ape. What? I was just pointing at the big butt on that boy's head. He doesn't have a butt on his head, and that's my best friend. Oh, oh my god. You're right. He doesn't have a butt on his head. His head is just a giant egg. How 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 how. I cracked myself up. But not as much as that kid's head. How 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 how. Don't listen to that f***ing Your head isn't big. It's rather nice and shiny. Thanks man. Come on, let's get some boss and cream pie before the last one is gone. What? What's that, Emma? Oh, 
You didn't hear. She got a new hat here from her great grandmother in China. She said the hat was passed down from her great great grandmother. Pretty cool looking. That's exactly what I need. A new hat. To cover my ugly bald head. But where do I get a new hat from? My parents don't have any. Wait, I can beg my parents to buy me one. I could beg them for that instead of a new game. Hey, Mom. Oh, hello there, Caillou. Dinner will be ready in about 15 minutes. Oh, I know. I wasn't asking for that. What were you asking for then? Well, you know how I have a bald, um, head. Well, I was just wondering, um, can I have a hat? Well, sure. There's your winter head in the closet. Oh, no. I forgot about that. I meant, can you buy me a hat? No. Huh? Why no? The hat would be less than a video game, Mommy. Because you cause a lot of mayhem at times, and you might lose the hat. A video game doesn't get lost from your shenanigans. But I'll be real careful. Really, Mommy? Maybe in a few years. When you're about 12 or 13, I'll get you a designer hat. No, I want a designer hat now. Get me a designer hat now. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You are too young for your own hat. You are acting like a spoiled young baby. I don't care. I want a hat now for my ugly head. What? Uh, uh. Call you. Get off the ceiling now. You are going to fall and get hurt if you don't get down. What the? Oh no. I burned the fucking food. Call you. You burned our food. Go up to your room before you are grounded. You will not get any dinner tonight. Fine. Hey, why does it smell like charcoal in here? Kai made me burn the food cause he asked for a hat and I said no so he threw a temper tantrum and then I burned the food. Caillou, how dare you ruin tonight's dinner. Now I have to pay extra for a pizza. You are grounded 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 for 1, 2, 3, 4 minutes. Go to your room and don't come out until that's up. Yes! <laughs> What was all that mumbling, Caillou? Uh, nothing. Just thinking about my homework assignment yesterday. Have a good one, Mommy. You too. Be good to hear. Stupid Mommy. Stupid Daddy. I have to get a hat one way or another. Whoa, look at that. That's a cool hat. I gotta get that hat. But how? Um, I got an idea. I'll throw my homework toward the sky. Up. What was that? Looks like a kid's homework. With chicken scratch handwriting. Hum. I don't know whose this is. I guess I'll keep it. I can't believe that actually worked. Yes, now I'll look like the best looking kid in class. Hum. I wonder what else I can pick off people. A whole bunch of hats I could snatch. My head feels cooler. Oh my god. My hat. I dropped it. It must be at that rose bush. Oh no. It's not here. Oh this isn't good. That was the only hat that matched my outfit. Why is this happening? No, I can't cry over it, but maybe I could talk with the police on what to do. Wow, that's a cool looking machine, and a cool looking hat the guy has. And, I don't even need to trick this guy. Hello there. What be? Hey Sonny, you shouldn't be anywhere near me. It's not safe here. What? Woo, I got another hat. Soon I'll be the coolest kid in class. Uh, what happened? Oh god, my hat's gone. Shit, the foreman's gotta have my head. Oh crap, only five more minutes until school starts. The school should be right across this airport. Wow, another hat. But how do I get this? The pilot guy will surely see me. Wait, I got an idea. What in God's name was that? Oh my god, what is this? Bird poop. Oh my god. This is saliva. Human spit. But from where? Oh shit. Hello? Yeah. No, I'm not fooling around. There's some sort of substance outside on the plane here. No, not a terror substance, but it feels like saliva. Yes, I'll wash my hands. Yeah, we'll take off in about one minute. Yeah, I'm all good. Yeah, bye. Ah, oh, here he is. Our VIP guest. How are you today? Um, I'm okay. And who are you exactly? Oh, I'm your pilot for today. I guess we haven't met. Stop fooling around. Where's my real pilot? I'm not fooling around, sir. I'm your pilot. A pilot usually wears a cap on him. You don't have any cap. I don't have that. Oh my god, you're right. I don't. 
Guards, escort this piece of trash out of here. I want my real pilot to sap. Hey! Put me down, guys. I'm your real pilot. I don't know where my hat went. I've worked here for 13 years. I finally made it in time. Hey, 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 Leo. What's up, my n***? You feeling my cool new hats? Caillou? What? Where did you get those hats from? Oh, no, no. I know, tell. Can't reveal my fashion secret to all. Um, okay. It looks like a construction hat. A pilot or police hat. And, is that Sadai Akite's hat? Who's Sadai Akite? Don't you remember? He was that guy you gave vision to. Vision to? Oh no, I stole his hat? Caillou, you stole those hats from people? Woof, you're going to be in big trouble. Okay, okay, calm down. Oh, here comes that big mean black kid. Yo, 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 what's good my homie? Damn. Look at those stolen hats. Stolen? No, no, I bought these. They're my new style. Damn kid. I gotta say, that is fucking dope. But man, I wouldn't fling my hot shit around in public like that. What? What's the problem? The guy thinks the hats are cool. Whatever you say, home dog. Hello? A stolen hat? From a construction site? Yeah, we got a report just five minutes ago about a stolen What's that? hat on the A stolen pilot's hat from the airport? When did this happen? 15 minutes ago? Okay. I'll drive down there. You get a report too about a stolen hat? Mine was at the construction site on Marston Street and another stolen hat on the same street like 3 minutes before. Hum, we might be looking after the same perp. And you said there was a saliva-like substance on the plane? That's right. I was waiting for my plane to be scheduled for takeoff. Was smoking a sip when all of a sudden, this splat hits the plane. I feel the substance and confirm it was spit. Then my hat just disappears. I don't notice it until the entire piece of shit VIP had this grunt move me from my post. 13 years, I've never had this happen. Disgraceful. Was there anybody suspicious near the plane? Not that I saw, though maybe on the security tape there might be someone. And the time it happened? Exactly at 8.55 when my plane was scheduled. These computers access the tape? Yeah, they should. Oh here we go. I know how these work. Rewind to 8.55. Okay. So I guess that's the guys who drag you? Wow. Hee <laughs> hee. They were indeed very pushy. Wow that VIP is ugly. Ugh, don't remind me. Oh wow, is that a young kid? Wow. Looks like a young kid, with a bunch of other hats. And that looks like your hat. Take a look at this pilot Simon. What the? Hey! I didn't see that kid when I was waiting there. What's he up to? Wait. Oh my god. You. It was him. It was his spit. My god almighty. But how did, how did he get my, oh my god. Just like that. He leans up when I leaned up to wipe of the spit. I knew I felt a breeze. But where did, eh, right behind the stairs. That sly bastard, but what's all that other stuff on him? The other, the other stolen, stolen hats. Sakai you, do you care to explain why you not only not have your math homework, but also why you have three hats on your head? I was hungry and cold. <laughs> Settle down, students. So, explain, and take off the hats as well. Why do I have to? Richie gets to wear a hat. Yes, a hat. Because in his hometown, they always wore hats. Yours, however, is three hats. A distraction as well, I might add. Now, if you don't take off the hats and explain where your homework is, I'm going to send you to the office. What the? Oh. Hold that thought for a second. Hello? Yes, he's. What? Yeah, he does have. Oh, keep him on. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Bye. Hi you, that was Principal Jackie. She'd like to see you in the office. Right now, and keep your hats on. Woohoo, even Principal Jackie loves my hats. See you later my home dogs. I'll see you, on the flip side. I wonder what this is about? Yo yo Jax, what's happening? Uh oh. Um, hi there mommy, like my new hat? I believe the plural term would be, hats, Caillou. And to answer your question, no. I don't like your new hats. So Mr. Anderson, how do you explain how you have the same hats as the ones missing from the three gentlemen to your left? Mr. Anderson, is Daddy here? Stop bullshitting the police officer. Answer his goddamn question. Look, 
I'm sorry. I stole the hats from the three guys because I wanted to impress people because the one elder black boy was making fun of me. I wanted people to like me. Yes, we have seen the security tape from yesterday, and we suspended Lavar for bullying you. But you will be expelled from school for one year and go to jail for three months for your actions. For making me fall down a manhole and banging my head. For making me say that when I thought we were friends. For making you almost lose my job. For not being dressed properly. And for wasting police resources on this trivial matter. Please, I don't want to be expelled from school. I know I shouldn't have caused the construction guy to get injured, forced to be depressed, and for the pilot to almost get fired. I can't end like this. Stop. Nobody is going to arrest Caillou for a year or expel him. Daddy? Boris? Why are you not at work? Work can go fuck itself. I had to come here after I hear what just was about to happen. I don't care what happened. You are not going to leave that bald baby with me or my wife for a whole year. He is not going to jail either. For a stupid minor misty money or like theft, I'll tell you what's going to happen. Oh that's just stupid Boris. Well, I guess that could work let me speak it over with my super. Speak about what? Shut up Caillou. Um, yeah, so, we spoke with the kid, and the father came in, he wants to do. Instead of the jail time. Seriously? It's approved? Well alright then. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Really? Okay all. It's approved. Have at it. See you all. Kalu, we are going to do to you what you did to the gentleman. Give you a concussion. Ow. Pick you up and throw you down. Please sir, put me down. Third and final punishment. Stealing your eyes. The reverse of what you did for me. And taking back my hat. No please. My eyes, they're gone. I can't see the pretty sky. I'm blind. So, what two lessons did we learn today? To not steal from others. If you eventually get caught. And to always be yourself. Do not worry how others view you. Very nice. Although, I don't think Caillou will know how people will view him. His eyes will grow back. No worries. But only in Go City that is. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. I love playing this new TF2 game. Even though it runs like as on my computer. Crap. Oh no you don't use Slippery Spy. I found you. Yeah. Get wrecked. What's that noise? Go scram to another neighborhood. Oh shoot. G -r 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 I don't want to play anymore. How can anybody possibly like that triple outside? It's not even good music. Not like the awesome Windows XP music. Wait, I got an idea. I'll play the Windows XP installation music on a loudspeaker. Is this the music here? Yes, it is. Good. Okay, I got the speaker here, my microphone in hand, and some speakers outside. Oh, a speaker's over there. I guess there's more music? Here we go. Here's some real music. Oh my god, what is that? It's but it's so freaking loud. Let's go. What in blue bleeders? Oh, uh, oh. I'm having a heart attack. Oh god. God's name are you blaring that goddamn music throughout the whole town? I uh, I well, I wanted to play music that people would actually like. That parade music is just loud noise. It was interrupting my game. So you're saying you wanted to play more annoying music? Because that's what you did. The whole town was shaking from your stupid dear rap music. You are now grounded 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 until Windows XP Service Pack 3 is released. But first, you will have one punishment day punishment. Wait what? Where are you taking me? What the? Ow. Let's pull it up. Here we go. Your punishment for today, listening to the most loud ass windows start up of all time. 
You might want to turn down your audio, but not you, Caillou. What Classic Windows 5.0 Startup Sound, a bummer that never released it officially. This episode takes place 10 years ago. Try to find the hidden groundhog in the video. Huh, I am so freaking bored, I don't know what to do. Why are you so freaking bored, Dad? Well, I got this green hoodie after fighting off that Ken Karen just a few weeks ago, and thought that I would find more adventurous stuff to do, but nothing has happened. Super Bowl 47 just happened. It's 2013 and cable freaking stinks like baby diarrhea. Bunch of cable channels making you pay for more channels with better content. Well I mean you could just watch YouTube videos and maybe play a video game. Grand Theft Auto 5 will be out in about 6 months. I don't want to wait 6 months to have fun. I want to have fun now now now. Yikes, you're starting to sound like the childish dad guy, except you have hair. You better watch it boy, or else you'll get grounded. You can't ground me, I'm 19 years old. As long as you live under this baby blue roof, yes, I can. Okay, well, have you thought about what you'll do today? No, I haven't. Huh. Well, I don't want to argue like a five-year-old brat here. How about you prank someone? Prank someone? Um, I haven't pranked people since October of 1999. I remember I almost did time because the city outlawed my green hoodie here. I'd say go for it dad, it's been some time since then. I'm sure people have forgotten about whatever happened. Well, hum, oh, okay, I'll do it. I'll prank someone again in my green hoodie. But it will have to be someone that deserves it. Someone very toxic. Miss Martin? New, no, not Miss Martin. Get over yourself Caillou. It's been years since we've seen her, Mr. Hinkle? Wasn't Mr. Hinkle in the military? Yeah, crap, and he'll try to sell me if I tried anything on him. Also he's like 75 years old now. Wait, what about Karen McCarran? Yes. Cody you're a genius, but what shall we prank her with? A trip to the Bahamas? Nah, how about we plonk a iron on her, like Marv got on him in Home Alone? Hmm, that sounds doable, but she might get too hurt and try to sue us. What about tossing a pie in her face? That's awesome. That's perfect Cody. And I know just how we'll do it. Another day for me to have everything. I want an everything where I want. Even without that stupid husband of mine. You are awesome honey. My you are awesome phone is ringing. Let me just stand here for 10 seconds to keep listening to the wonderful tune. You are awesome honey. 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 You are awesome, honey. You are okay, awesome, honey. Now I can pick you it up. Awesome, honey. You are awesome, honey. You are Five awesome, more honey. seconds. You are awesome, honey. You are awesome, honey. You are awesome. Okay. Hello, my darling. Huck, finally. Um, I mean, Karen and Karen, we are pleased to tell you you have won a surprise gift. Please come to 123 Fake Street to receive your gift. Bye. Oh my god. I'm coming right there. Yay, 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 yay. Oh my god. Here she comes. Is the camera good? Camera's all good. Okay, we're good to go. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I'm Karen McCarran. I'm here for my prize. Bring it to me. What? The. Actual. Fuck! Karen McCarran got creamed. Karen actually looks nice for once. Nice and tasty. <laughs> You're dead. You all are fucking D.E.A.D. dead. I'm going to destroy you. Not so fast, Karen. Hitting me in my home is considered assault by Gossetty Law. Pie throwing as means of a prank is not considered assault. But knowingly trying to harm me is considered assault and actually harming me is battery. You just punched me not 15 seconds ago, jackass. No, he didn't, you stupid idiot. He shoved you from hitting him. Boy, oh my God. you never, ever, ever talk to me like that. I'll slam you so hard you won't know what hit you. If you harm Cody, there will be serious consequences for you miss, believe me. Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Oh no 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 no. Ow. What the uh, uh, uh. Ha no, ha, no, ha, no. ha 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 That takes care of that. Oh dad, he's bleeding. You sick deranged lunatic. You just hurt the seven year old child and you're laughing and completely fine with it. You've tried to get Walmart employees fired. You've tried suing our daughter Rosie. You've assaulted multiple family members of us in the past. How do you sleep at night? Same way I always do. Knowing everything will work out in the long run. I have the power and the money. 
and nobody will know that it was me that hurt your son. All I have to do is this. Oh, watch it. Oh my god. Why? Oh, brother. Why? Someone help. This man punched me in the face. He also messed up my hair. You there? Can, can you call 911? This man. He punched me. He brought me to his house and punched me and tried to kidnap me. Hey, hey, everything is not like it seems. It's just hysteria. I'm not hysterical. That man in there tried to backwards e par me. Well, I don't know if he tried to backwards e par you, but I know for a fact that you hit him, and he hit you back. That's why you're bleeding. What? How? How did you? How could you come up with a horrible take like that? And why are you smiling at me? You see the camera over there. Wow, what camera? Look over this way. Huh? No. Freaking. Way. Yes, way. Where? Where are you? Going. Watch it, lady. There. Now you don't got any footage of me, you creeps. Well, they still have footage. There are 18 cameras all looking toward your way. What? It's over, Karen. The whole world now knows about you. You are powerless. The whole world knows how manipulative you are. We had to play your own game on you. That fake blood really made her fuel her ego, didn't it? You got that right, son. You people. You, you, you people. You monsters. All of you. You're all monsters. The cops, the cops are going to hear about this. You, 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 you're going to be put in jail for videotaping me without my consent. Put that phone down, Miss McCarran. What? And who, who, who's this? You have broken many laws this past hour. Assault, battery assault, public disturbance, assault of a minor, and battery assault of a minor. You will go to jail for a long, long time if charged for your crimes. Quite the PG-13 episode of Candid Camera, I might add. I, 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 I'm going to jail. They know I beat up the child and know I'm in a cult of and I'm going to, to be shamed. I can't, I can't, 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 I won't, won't, won't do this. I can't. Oh no, here he's going. To explain. Everybody get away from her. Dear God, is, is this it, is this, the actual end to Karen McCarran? It would appear so. Everyone always wanted her dead. Nobody had to murder her. She killed herself in a panic attack. No one to blame. And Cody is the one who thought to prank her. He beat the corrupt system. He's our hero. Well, I'd say Kevin deserves a key to the city for his heroic effort. There'll always be other Karen-like subjects. But he beat the almighty mother of them. Hip hip hop hooray for Cody Anderson. Hip 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 hop hooray. Oh well, wasn't that a nice wholesome day for the Menderson family? And the world for that matter. Well, thanks for tuning in today's episode. We'll see ya next time. <laughs> Rosie loved Tiger Tiger. Okay Tiger Tiger. Rower, rower, hee hee ha ha. Rower, rower, hee 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 ha ha. Ha 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 ha. well. Since you're so good at feeding that little stinky tiger, how about you feed our big strong tiger? Our? Big tiger? We have a big tiger? Ha 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 ha. Your funny daddy means Gilbert. Oh, okay. I see. I can do that. I love feeding Gilbert. I feel like a big boy. Ah, the food is everywhere. Huh. <laughs> it's okay, Caillou. The bag was just already open. How about you put your winter clothes on like a big boy and play outside, while daddy cleans up the big mess? Okay, daddy. Ow. Huh, <sighs> that boy in it, right? I really should have just pulled out sooner. Yay, yay, yay. I love the snowy snow snow. Do my underpants dance. Oh yeah, uh huh, 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 oh yeah, uh huh. Kalu. Daddy? Quit dancing in your underpants. It's weird. But I like to. It's my room. Yes, but it's my house. Here, I'll dress you myself because you seem like you can't. No, I don't want you to. I'm a big boy. What? Hey, ow, daddy, please, stop, that hurts, ow. Oh, look at that cute baby blue boy. Hey, what the? Huh, Gil, Gilbert? Oh, wow, 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 w
Gilbert looks different because that's not Gilbert, that's Sarah's cat Ali. You remember last week, don't you? Ali went into our kitchen a week ago when we were about to feed Gilbert. Could you take Ali to Sarah Caillou? I know that's one task you simply can't f*** up. Yes daddy, I'll take Ali to Sarah, here Ali. Come on Ali boy, let's leave this gay house. Hey, I'm not gay Caillou. I'm not the one dancing in my underwear. Gah, Gilbert? Ali? Gilbert actually ran to Ollie's food dish. Ollie ran to Gilbert's food dish. Ha 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 ha. <coughs> Who's that? Who's what? He's talking about you. Oh ha ha. Caillou, this is Ling Wan. She's my cousin. Hello. Hello. Ling Wan is staying with us for Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year? What's that? It's the year of the tiger now. And in one day we'll be a rabbit. Tiger? Rabbit? In Chinese culture, we go by the zodiac. There isn't really a tiger or rabbit. But when we celebrate New Year, there will be a dragon. A real dragon? Yes, we're going to see it tomorrow. Would you like to see the dragon with us? Caillou? Oh, um, uh, yes, I'm a big boy. <laughs> awesome, well, come with us inside. My mom and dad and me are going to decorate for the New Year. Okay. What's that? It's to wish you lots of happiness in the new year. And it says, Caillou is gay. No Ling one. It does not say, Caillou is gay. It says to see happiness. Did you clean the bathroom like I said to Ling one? Not yet, Aunt Chong. Oh, oh, oh. Well, make sure you do that. Sarah, did you clean your room yet? Yes, mommy. Oh, and mom. Yes, Sarah. Caillou said he wanted to see the New Year's dragon. Oh, is that right? Caillou. Would you like to come with us to Chinatown tomorrow for New Year's? What's Chinatown? It's where the dragon lives. I'll give your mommy a call and ask her if it's okay with her. We will be glad to have you with us for Chinese New Year. Well, I got to get back to booking my room and the hallways. For Chinese New Year, we have to clean the whole house very good. Clean? Why? I don't know, we just have to. Did you get a special New Year coin today too? No. You didn't? Oh sure, definitely. Come with us Caillou. Okay. Weird sign. Here you go, Chinese New Year's money. You can buy a gift when we go to Chinatown with it. Wow, I've never seen Chinese money before. Happy New Year! Gilbert, you crazy cat. Looks like Gilbert and Ollie are celebrating their last day as tigers. <laughs> are you excited about seeing the dragon tomorrow in Chinatown with your friends, Caillou? Yee, yee. Yes, mommy. Hum, well, I'm sure you're a bit scared of seeing a big dragon though, huh? Um, no, uh, well, um, yeah. Well, there's nothing to worry about. Dragons aren't real. And they won't hurt you. But, I figured, to cheer you up, you might want to hear the story about the big blue friendly dragon. Yay, that's my favorite book. Once upon a time, there was a big big, blue friendly dragon, who lived in the forest. All of his friends, would gather around, and they would lick each other's. And here we are Caillou, Chinatown. Wow. There's the dragon, the dragon. Oh. My. Yay hey, woohoo, so cool. Oh, Sarah, don't forget to give Caillou his Chinese money. Oh yeah, here you go Caillou. Thanks, Sarah, what can we buy? Well, before we head inside the restaurant, we had to the stand market where they sell what means fireworks and candles. Fireworks, I love fireworks. Let's go on then. Would you pass me the JFC, please? Could you pass it to me again, please? 
no. Mom, Mr. Chang, I'm so sorry. Yeah, Uncle, I'm sorry too. Oh, well, it was just an accident. Or who is the dragon? Oh, my, the dragon. I saw the dragon. I saw the dragon up close. Happy New Year, all. Happy New Year! Happy New Year. I brought fireworks. Let's light up. Fireworks. Hi, you. No, don't. Oh, no. What's that? Oh, no. Fireworks. Where the fuck? Oh, shit. We got some. I got Oh 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 oh! Kai Yu, how dare you? You got fireworks through the giant sea, played to Mr. Chang, and you ruined the China Dam restaurant. That place was a tradition for us to go to. You are forever banned from going with our family to places. Walk home by yourself. You are not shunned by our family. Sarah, are we still friends? I cannot talk at the moment with you. You are being shunned. That means I cannot talk to you. Okay, I'm going home now. Brr brr brr, it's very cold out. Ah ah ah, at you. Caillou, we are very upset at you. We can't believe you would play with fire, and do it at such a sacred event for Sarah's family. You are now grounded for a month. Go to your room right now. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. Woohoo. Woohoo. I can't believe we're actually going to Super Bowl 57. I've never been to Arizona before. Can't wait to see the Grand Canyon. And I can't wait to get out of this miserable weather. But I must say, the weather isn't as miserable as Cody's expression. Come on Cody, have a little fun. This will be great. Hey, did you know that this year, the Super Bowl will have two brothers fighting at it? You won't be the only sibling rivalry in the country. I don't care if there's two brothers fighting. I don't want to go to the stupid Super Bowl. Why are we even dressed up in these awful green uniforms? They're more puke than Dad's hoodie. They're not puke colored you dip at baldy loser. They're Kelly green uniforms. The colors the Eagles wore before the late 90s. And we are supporting the Eagles because they are the team from Philadelphia where the country was founded. Because we are from Boston. We support Philadelphia because they have close relation to Philadelphia. Well I thought the Patriots were Boston's foosball team. Why don't we support them? It's football, you blockhead, not foosball. We're not Germans, we're American. And my god did you get thumb or thaw how the years? The Patriots didn't win the championship game, so they're not playing. And even if they did, I would not support a cheating team like the Patriots, especially with that schmuck Tom Brady. Now if you're done moping around, we got a plane to catch. Come on everyone, hustle hustle hustle. Ugh, I f***ing hate football. I hate all sports. Why do I have to go on this trip? Hum, looks like I'll have to ruin this trip. Perhaps, make the Super Bowl a cereal bowl. Someone flood the stadium. With milk? Nah, where am I going to get 200,000 tons of milk from? Wait, Arizona and New Mexico have lots of dams. Perhaps, I can find a way to break that open. Yeah, ha ha. Cody, where the f*** are you? Are you scheming again? And did you say the word damn out loud? No, no, no. I said I want some ham. I was just hungry. Hello passengers. We are now at maximum altitude. Please do not use any devices with internet until plane is on ground. Thank you. And have a nice flight. Oh, we'll see about that. Huh, what? You say something, Cody? Oh, uh, no. I just had a big dream. Oh, Doug. Okay then. That too. Sleep. We will be heading over the Theodore Roosevelt Dam. Now's my chance. <laughs> oh crap. What's happening? Red alert. Red alert passengers. What? What oh on earth God. is happening? Wait, what the? Cody, why is your phone out? Um, I am not I didn't mean to have it. A call. We are going to crash into the Theodore Roosevelt Dam. Oh my god, we're upside down, we are all going to die. Attention passengers, we have made an emergency landing. Please exit safely one by one. Cody, you stupid bald brat, we know you had something to do with the plane crash. Now we will be late getting our hotel room reservation. You have received your first strike for the trip. Two more and you will be super grounded when we get home. Okay dad. Hello all, welcome to Holiday Inn, 
How may I help you? We got a reservation for the Anderson family. A-N-D-E-R-S-O-N. The five family vacation room suite package. Oh shoot. It appears your reservation expired just 15 minutes ago. We thought you weren't showing up today. So we gave your room to another family. What? Are? Are you fucking serious? Hey hey. It's okay sir. No need to fling your hands. We always have a backup room planned. And it hasn't been touched for a while. It's very clean in there. Okay, I guess I'll take that. But I don't have to pay for the other room, right? Oh no no, that's already been paid for. You paid for half of the family staying in it now and half for the new room I'll give you. Great job, Cody. I'll show you to your room, right this way. And here is your room. This, this is a freaking utility closet. This isn't a hotel room. Yes, but it's very clean in here. Absolutely no guests have stayed or attracted bed bugs in here. Because it's a utility closet, you retard. There's no need to call me a retard, sir. I'm not the one who was 15 minutes late to the reservation. Especially during Super Bowl season. Take it or leave it. Have a nice day and thanks for staying at the Holiday Inn. God, wow, Super Bowl Sunday, never thought I'd live to actually be at one, Ugh. especially after sleeping on that hard as a rock bed, I can still feel my bed banging on the bassboard, who the fuck makes beds made of metal, should be illegal to do that. So where is our seat at? Just up front, second row, I got the good old old seats, that way we can see the bloodshed happen right in front of us, hee <laughs> hee, now Cody, I am warning you, do not, ruin this day for daddy, I've been waiting for this day longer than you've been born, longer than even Caillou's been born. Okay, whatever, let's sit down already, I'm tired of standing around. Why couldn't I just have used the rubber instead? And now. Would everyone please stand for the national anthem sung by that lonely white woman who sung the hot in national anthem? Ugh, yeah, that's a voice that will wake you up in the morning. By the dawn's early light. Cody, stand up. It's the national anthem. No, I don't want to. This music is trash. Cody, get up right this instant. Don't be like that Black Lives Matter douchebag Colin Kaepernick. You actually like this music? Pathetic. The singer is bad, yes, but it's respectful for our troops to stand for the national anthem. Just do it, then you can sit right back down, but kneeling is disrespectful. Oh, that kid's kneeling. Are we? I agree with the kid. I'm kneeling what? too. Hey, this music you is can't. garbage. I'm kneeling too. The song is horrible. My god, my legs are killing me listening to this triple. What is wrong with you people? Don't you realize how disrespectful you're being? Oh, those people are kneeling. I guess we should too. Yeah, everybody except for that old man in green sweater. Probably a Trump supporter. Hey, who called me old? I was born in 1966, you jackass. Who do you? What? People are just seriously mindless drones. Can't think for themselves. What a sad state this country is. Yo, sit your ass down, old man! Go back to your own country, you- Okay, that's enough of the annoying bit. And now. For the famous football coin shot, presented by Mama Cullis. You're going down, Philly boy. Not a chance, little bro. Your state is nothing. Philly is what brought this country. E A G L E S Eagles. Well, it's up to Mom to decide. Toss a good one for me, Mom. I'm not tossing any coin for anybody. What? what? But, 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 Mom, this is the biggest day of our, our lives, where I can do the ultimate movie on Travis's head. Yeah, and I'm where I can finally make my big brother look like a big baby. He always was growing up. Yo, you're, you're just going to throw this away. It's not because of any of that. I'm not doing it because I don't deserve to toss the coin. I was a banker my whole life. I worked a hoity-toity job while people in the fields across the world were dying. Our troops. They deserve to do it. And I know just the person to do it. Come on down, Pat. Pop, 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 pop. Pat Tillman. Hello, fellow Americans. I am Patrick Tillman. I have come from heaven for this one day to do the famous coin flip for the biggest Super Bowl in human history. Philadelphia vs. the West State Kansas. I played for the Arizona Cardinals for this fine state, 
I served for this fine country and died in combat. I am honored by Miss Callis to do the coin flip. Before we flip, both teams shake hands. Brothers, I should say. Here we go. Because Philadelphia was where our country pretty much started, they will be heads. Heads for Philadelphia. Tails for Kansas. Yes, oh yeah, USA, USA, in your face little bro. Jason, you know what I always say. Don't be a Robin. Yes, mama. <laughs> well, I'm going to get back to the purely gates. I was having a chat with Dwight Eisenhower. I'm about to play a round of football with him. See you all in a new life. And God bless our fine country. Wow, what a sight to see, Pat Tillman. A truly remarkable moment. Okay Cody, you have your second strike after making everyone kneel during the national anthem. One more and you'll be super grounded, understand? Yes, Daddy. Good. Wow, what the magnificent kick. That's three points for Philadelphia and he goes for field goal kick. We will not check our first break. A break already? My God, we just got here. Shut up, Cody. Yeah, what is with commercials these days with forced diversity and degeneracy? Every commercial seems to put sexual messages into people's minds. Fucking gross. Huh, but not as gross what will happen next. I brought the ultimate way to turn the Super Bowl into a Super Bowl movement. Hee <laughs> ho ha ha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Dad. I need to go to the bathroom. Why? Oh my god, Cody. The game's gonna start again in one minute. Hold it in until next break. I can't. I. <laughs> Fucking hell. What is the god of this smell? That's fucking it nasty. Like your old dead carcass. Fine, I'll take you to the bathroom, but hurry the fuck up. Okay, here it is. I'm going to sit back down. Be out in five minutes, tops. Time to do some nasty dye of real all over the place. Then flush all the toilets. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my fucking god, it feels good. <laughs> Now to go to the ladies' room. The ultimate flushing. What? You're back already, Cody? Yeah, I actually feel much better now. That burrito took pain away from me. Hum, you're definitely up to something. Who me? Now. Oh, really? What's the shaking going on? I got human feces in my eyes. This is the worst moment of my entire life. Ha 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 ha. I finally did it. I made the ultimate chocolate cereal bowl. I did. You did what, Cody? Ugh. Hum mama. Nothing. Cody, you putrid piece of dog shit. You literally pooped all over the toilets, didn't you? And caused it to overflow the pipes and flood the stadium with your shit. You are the worst child in the world. You are going to be super grounded. After carefully analyzing the security tape, we have concluded that Travis Kliss held the football the longest throughout the flooding, and he never dropped it when he swam across the field while the field was flooding. Therefore, the Kansas Chiefs are the ultimate winner of what would be Super Bowl 57. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Cody, not only did you make everyone stay a horrible one at the Super Bowl, but you made the Kansas City Chiefs actually win. You have ruined the most important day of my life, more than your own birth. You also ruined my day as well as making me look like I don't care about football. All of Philadelphia hates you. You will forever be known as the Philly Fart. Now walk all the way to your home on your own. Why, 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 why? Sarah, I am very very sorry. I didn't mean to ruin your Chinese New Year. I didn't. I'm really sorry. I promise I won't ever do it again. Caillou? 
Mommy, I'm really sorry about what happened. All I wanted to do was have fun, and I messed up. Yes, I understand that. I know fireworks are fun to watch and use. But you use them indoors. And shooting them indoors can cause a lot of damage. Fireworks when they get launched in the air are basically like pretty fire in the sky. Imagine if I lit your room here on fire. You wouldn't like that, huh? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want Daddy here hurt. Exactly. But you hurt a lot of ornaments and statues inside that restaurant. Some stuff that was as old as your grandma and grandpa. And a lot of people are upset. Is there something I could do for Sarah? Is it hard day around? You mean Valentine's Day? That happened about two days ago. But yeah, if you'd like, you could make her a Valentine's gift. Though, she might not accept it right away. I got crowns and paper in my toy box. I'll make it right now. Okay, very nice. But remember what I said. Hello, Sarah. I came to give you this. Mommy, why is there a bold intruder at our door? Is it bad? Kai, you uh, tell him we no wanna see him ever, ever again. We the Chang family never ever want to see your repulsive face ever, ever again. I, I don't know what repulsive is, but I gave you this card. Let me see the card. Sarah, I am very sorry. You mean sorry? And what's inside? There's nothing inside. We gave you Chinese money. You burned down the Chinese restaurant. You injure us with the fireworks. You give me a card with nothing in it. And you want me to forgive you? Your trash Kai U-T-R-A-S-H trash. And I know you know what that means. Get off of our porch before we call the police on you for trespass. <laughs> Wait, Caillou. E? Yes, Sarah. Ow. You forgot your crappy card. This is the most bad time of my whole life. Sarah was my favorite girlfriend, even more than Clementine. I wanted to be forever friends with Sarah, love her until I'm old and have cake with her. Is this the end? Am I no longer wanted? Will Sarah's family ever forgive me? I wish I could just build the rest or run back. Wait, build back? I know, I can tell people I want to build back the rest or run. Then maybe it can get built back. No need to jump off my house and jump in my kiddie pool to make me feel better. I got worse for us meet somebody in here at that restaurant we had at last week. Oh my. Good lord. The restaurant is back. back. Welcome Cheng family. Welcome back to your cherished restaurant. Come inside. You'll be glad at what you see. Oh my god. Wow, well, it's, it's so it pretty in here. The reds and yellows. It ever did. I'm glad you like it. The city council got together with 90 plus different people, and from spare time and effort, we got the restaurant all fixed and cleaned up. Everything paid for by donations of people. Fred Rogers here helps us a lot with the two of raising awareness. Oh my goodness. Fred Rogers. I used to watch you a lot when I was a little girl. It's an honor to meet you. You were one of the first English programs I ever watched. Pleased to meet you, yes, I so happened to be in the neighborhood when I noticed a sign held up on your street, urging people in the neighborhood to bring back this Chinese restaurant after the horrible accident that happened days ago. I myself am a vegetarian so I have eaten Chinese food a decent number of times and have met a lot of neighbors in the Chinese community. I understand how much the Chinese New Year celebration means to your family and others and thought about asking the city hall for assistance as well as another young person and let you enjoy what we all have done as a community the past day. I just want to say, we are honored completely. I've gone to this restaurant once a year since I was 10 years old. You too honey, right? Yes, we are very pleased. 
Thank you for all you've done, Fred. Your idea helped us all. Oh no, don't thank me. If there's one person you might want to thank, it's a young boy without hair. His name is Kayu, whom I think you might recognize. Kai, Kayu? Yes, I felt bad about destroying this restaurant, so I made a list of people who want the restaurant to come back. Then Fred Rogers told the mayor about it. Sarah, I never wanted to destroy this restaurant that you and your mommy and daddy liked. I just wanted to have fun with fireworks. I will never light fireworks on purpose. Never ever. Will you forgive me? And I'm sorry to miss Sarah family. I was the scumbag man who sold the fireworks to the young old boy. It was wrong and illegal of me to do. Can we be friends again, Sarah? Can I mommy and daddy? Well, given that he got Fred Rogers and the whole city to build back better our old restaurant and made it so no little kid will ever be exposed to illegal fireworks here. Yeah. Kai, you can be your friend again. And he's welcome back in our house again. Yes, I forgive you, Kai you Anderson. I say we celebrate this great moment with fireworks. No. no. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just kidding, Ron. How about we just enjoy good food? It's very lucky that sword only cut through my appendix. I never knew the appendix is the most useless part of a human body. I meant to that. Also, Lee Wan forgives you to Kai Yu. Awesome. Happy Chinese New Year 1999. Happy Chinese New Year 2023 for future viewers. And happy Valentine's Day. Okay, fam. Who's ready to have some fun? Oh, Rosie like fun. Me. Rosie like boat. Woohoo. Woohoo. Yes, but it's not just any boat, Rosie. We're going on a luxurious cruise. It will sail all across the middle of the Atlantic Ocean toward Florida. Ella, Nick, Ocean? No, nah, no. Say, a lan tick Ocean. a lan tick Ocean. Yay. That a girl, Rosie. Very good. Just think of the word A, the word land, like you're standing on land, and a tick, those annoying bugs that bite you. A, land, tick, ocean, okay? Okay, um, but mommy and daddy? Yes, Rosie? Is the cruise on the A, land, tick, ocean fun? Oh, I think it will be. Boris? Oh, definitely. They're going to have yummy food, a nice pool you can swim in, and they will also have performers there, people who jump up and make you laugh. That's great. But, why is Caillou all angry? Caillou, wipe that moany face off of you right this instant. The trip to the cruise will be fun. No, it won't be fun. All it's going to be is some stupid boat ride in which I'll get sick and barf on everybody. And then my barf will fill up the whole ship and drown everyone and I will then fall off the ship. You will have to pick me up, then I will get grounded for it. Caillou, why on earth would you come up with an elaborate story like that? Whoever heard of that entire entity filling up with someone's waste? Huh? What was that? Hmm. Anyway, nothing like that is going to happen. What is going to happen is you are going to have fun, or at least try to. Why couldn't have we just gone to the f***ing beach? The beach is more fun than a stupid smug boat. No, Rosie's f***ing ears. Caillou, do not say the word f***ing ever in this house. Now you made your baby sister say it as well. You now have your first strike. Four more and you will be grounded. Mommy, Daddy, I'm sorry. Oh you're fine Rosie. Your brother just said the bad word on purpose, you didn't mean to. Now come along everyone, we will be late if we don't hustle along. And Caillou, if you complain on the way to the cruise, you will get another strike. Okay. Woof, it's a hot one today, perfect day to feel the wind in my hair. Oh, does this suit seem a bit, oh, revealing? I don't know what revealing means, but your boobies are definitely showing mom. Kilo? Ow. Don't ever talk to me like that. This is not the Howard Stern show. You have your second strike. Sorry, Three mommy. more and you will be Ooh, grounded. Mama. Look at the rack on that. I can imagine the juice coming out of those melons. Hey, that's my flapping wife you're talking to, you neckbird. Though, he does have a point, hee <laughs> hee. Well, there's going to be ketchup coming out of your big nose in a second if you keep that up. Oh well, okay, let's go on to the cruise ship and enjoy ourselves, in a more G-rated way. Let's get some lunch first, I'm starving, then we'll go to the pool. Hello there everybody. How many? Just us. Four. Okay. Splendid. I'll show you to your seat. Right this way. Thank you sir. And here is your table. 
and Marie, our waitress, will be over in a few. Thank you, mister. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the GoGo -Go Cruise ship. Here are your menus. May I start you off with some drinks? Yes, I'll take some tea. I'll take a coffee. What about you, little miss? I up, I'm up. I'll take juice, apple juice. Ah, such a cute little thing. A very healthy gal. And what about you, little bug boy? What would you like? I want a Pepsi. Oh dear, I'm sorry, but we don't have Pepsi. We only have Coke products. What? How can you not have a Pepsi? Why would you not have Pepsi? Pepsi is the best soda in the world. Coke tastes like pee pee. Caillou, settle down this instant before you get another strike. Caillou will just have water. Okay. Very well. Oh, and I, uh, do you guys already know what you'd like for food? Yes, we are all going to get the lobster platter, please. Lobster? I don't want. Shush. Yeah, lobster platter is what we'll have. Okay, perfect. I'll just take these menus back then. And by the way, my name's Anne-Marie Chestnut if you need anything. Thanks, Anne-Marie. Why did you get me a water? I didn't want water. I also didn't want a lobster. I want a pizza, not a stanky lobster. Because you are very hyper at the moment, and sugary drinks are the last thing you need right now. Now shut your fucking mouth and sit your ugly ass down before you get a third strike. You're very close to receiving one. Fine. Cool. Any day now, any freaking day now, any freaking day I'll get my freaking food, any freaking day I'll get the food I don't want but am forced to eat, any day I'll get any freaking food before I... Shut up! Ah, well, here it is, juicy red lobster with butter platter. Oh my freaking god, it's a giant ugly bug, Emery Chestnut, are you, in it? How am I supposed to eat this thing? Caillou, how dare you disrespect Anne Marie's name and yell out loud. That's it, you've received your third strike. Two more and you will be grounded. Sit your bald baby poopy DW ass down and behave. Oh, I'm a nut, huh? Well, your meal will be two times. The price. I'll make sure to tell the manager to charge you guys two times more. Great, not only do you have a third strike, but your allowance for the next two months will be taken away to pay back for our meal here. Now, let's dig in. Wow, delicious. Mm. So rich. Mm. Eat the lobster, Caillou. It's good for you. No. Up, fourth strike. Coming on up. Fine, I'll eat it. Well, looks like he does like it after all. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You were smiling. Aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. Caillou, Caillou likes lobster. lobster. Caillou, Caillou likes lobster. lobster. I don't, I don't, I don't. Oh, uh, whoops. Uh-oh. Excuse me. What happened here? Well, my son was having a temper tantrum, because me and my wife were laughing at our son about liking lobster when he said he hates it. So you're saying, you instigated it? Well, hum, mom, I mean, well kind of, but... Sir, we do not tolerate bullying in this restaurant. Please leave the restaurant. You are banned from eating in here for the next few days. You can still use the cruise, but the restaurant you cannot. But, but, but my son, was, my wife was also... Your wife was nothing for us. Just to find attractive lady. Please leave, sir. I can't believe those stupid restaurant trashy people trashy and marie nutcase nutcase restaurant filled counters looking faggot would kick me out. Sir, mumbling is not allowed either. Don't make us call security and jail you. I have to get back to work now. Well, I was in the wrong too. We all except Rosie did a bad thing. So, you won't get a fourth strike, yet. Thank you, mommy. How's about we head to the pool now and out of this boring dining room? Yay, 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 yay. Up. Aren't you two forgetting something? Oh, duh, our swim trunks. Yup, let's get those clothes off. Oh, my. Well, I never. Oh, go grow up here, lady. You've never seen children before? Ugh, people seriously have no manners anymore. There we go. All suited up for the water. Now for the oh, sunscreen. No. You, you, you. Yeah, oh, you too. There we go. Don't run into people now. Attention passengers. The swim now in section. Last one in pool is a rotten egg. Ha 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 ha. You're a rotten egg, Rosie. Yeah, and you look like an egg. Hey yo, kid, or kid, you don't come in the pool. In adult swim, no kids for one hour. Um, huh? I'm just swimming in the pool for a few minutes. My sister too. No, 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 no kids. In adult swim. Hey, that's not fair. My mommy said I could go in the pool, and my sister too. Well, you mommy a stupid dumb lady. She know a no adult swim. One hour. Hey, don't call my mom stupid. Fine, I'll just walk over here. Oya, what are you doing? I said no kids. 
No feet. I'm just putting my fucking feet in the water. I'm not swimming in the pool. No, no feet. You wait one hour. No, you can't make me creep. Oh yeah, get your feet out of the water. You get out now. I'm telling you if you don't get out. Why is this guy being so freaking mean? I'm not swimming. I'm just putting my feet in the water. Come on, Rosie. Ah, beautiful sea and fresh ocean air. Beautiful cries of the sea. Wait a minute. That's not a cry of the sea. That's the cry of the ball child. My son. What's happening? Why are you both upset? There was this guy in the pool with greasy hair who was saying me and Rosie can't be in the pool because of adult swim. I was just putting my legs in the pool and he also called you a dumb lady when I told him you said we could go in the pool. Hmm, I want to talk to this creep if he made both you and Rosie cry. That is unacceptable. It's just feet in the pool. Oh my god. Excuse me, sir. Could you come out of the pool for a second? I would like to chat with you. Excuse me. I believe we met before years ago. You made fun of my son years ago. And we're making fun of him just 10 minutes ago. You said that my son is not allowed to at all put his feet in the pool here? He just wants to have a fun day and just put his feet in for a few minutes. It's pretty hot today. No, no, no. Your son, he was in the pool. No kids in pool. Need a dog swim. Can't my son just put his feet in the water? There's not much to do around here. And he just wants to have a fun day. I can promise you he will only do it for five minutes. No! Adult swim in session. No children. That means your ugly bald son too. Hey, don't call my son ugly. Only I can do that. Why you gotta push a 10 year old around like that? Bitch! You don't throw oh your hand at God. me, lady bitch! I point back at you, lady bitch! Are you a bitch dog? You need to with like dog? Hey, what's that? No. You don't make fun of my mommy, you creep. What the? Oh my, dear, God, wow. He was bullying both of us, targeting both of us. Looks like his time came. Well, I suppose, you're right. Call you, thank you. But you did pretty much just commit voluntary manslaughter. So, I guess, you get a fourth strike. No more. No less. But perhaps we never speak of this again. Okay? Speak of what? Good boy. A peeping Tom. What the fuck do you mean a peeping Tom? I was just tying up the bikini girls. That's not a peeping Tom, you idiots. Oh. Hello there, Doris. I was just doing my isometric exercises. Care to join me? No, thank you. Man, this place is so boring. Even the pool after adult swim isn't that fun. My bathtub I think is deeper than the pool. I just wanted to go on the beach. Not a stinky ship that baby boomer always talk about. Wow, look at that. What beach? Hum, the ship has stopped for a half an hour. Maybe I could take a swim to the beach and back before the ship goes away. Yeah, I'm doing it. Alley oop. Yay, 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 yay. Ow, whoa. Oh no, I, I can't swim this deep. Oh no, ah, uh, help, help, help me. Oh no, oh no, help. Hey, that sounds like a you, but it sounds below us. Oh no. Oh, no. Come here. <coughs> Mommy, Daddy, I'm sorry. I wanted to go to the beach, but I'm, 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 I'm. Oh god, I gotta save him. No, this is the last strike. I'm going after him. I'm coming for you, Caillou. Oh my god, Daddy, you saved me. I love you. I really, really Don't love you. Don't thank me yet. We're not out of the water yet. Yay, we are on the beach now, and we're safe. Yeah, and thanks to you, we almost risked getting abandoned by the ship and we could have died. Now hurry, we gotta swim back before the cruise leaves us. Yay, we are on the beach. Best vacation ever? 
Caillou, you, you stupid bald baby screw up, now you really have done it. We are now stranded on the beach, you and me. We will now have to, I will have to, find stuff to let us survive. I hope you're happy. Now we are both grounded. You, I oh dear fish. god, I why do I deserve fish. this brat? What did fish. I do I in a past fish. life I to deserve this? To to why? Why? Our boy mates, Rick the Riddler here. Boris. I'm saved. Oh Caillou. my god. Oh You're my alive. god. Thank god for you Doris and Rick. Time to go home and play. No. Ow ow ow, fire fire. For your fifth and final punishment, you will be grounded on this island. For one month. You will have to learn to survive like I did for a week. Now go in the woods and don't come out until one month. Hey, Mom. Oh, good morning, Cody. I got your lunch all packed to go. What is it? PB and J. PB and J, what's that? Packed bologna with jello? Oh, no, no, silly. I didn't know you didn't know what that was. It's not packed bologna with jello. It's a more healthier alternative. It's peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly? <coughs> you, I hate peanut butter and jelly. It's squishiness. The fact the jelly bleeds through the bread, the smell it makes around me when other kids eat it at school. My god almighty, it makes me throw up. Cody, I can't believe how overdramatic you are. Now I have to think of a new lunch for you as well as cleaning up your damn puke. Might as well toss this crap out of here. Let's see, partial bucket of chicken from two nights ago? No. Well wait, why not mommy? You'll probably throw up eating all the rest of it, and the grease from the chicken with acid reflux building in your stomach would cause an eruption of puke on the table on your classmates. Come on, there's gotta be something else in here. Oh, here's something nice, but choy. What's buck joy? A deer that's happy? I don't like deer. Ugh, forget it. You'd probably spit that out cause it has vegetables. What's this? A Taco Bell burrito. Catch. Can you eat a burrito, Cody? Yes, I love burritos. They feel so squishy, taste yummy and smell so good. Well, that's a relief. Okay then, your lunch for the day will be a Taco Bell burrito. Surprise, they actually put good stuff in it. Up, oh, that's your school bus. Have a good day at school. Ugh, throws up from merely hearing the sentence peanut butter and jelly. Now I have to clean all this up. I should have had Boris pull out sooner. Hum, this scenario feels familiar. So Cody, do you think math's hard? No, I don't. Math's easy. 2 plus 2 is 4. 3 plus 3 is 6. I'm 6 now. 3 years ago I was 3. Easy. Just got to remember how old you were 3 years ago when doing 3 plus 3. Ho 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 ho. You sound like you're 3 years old. Wait, who's that? It, it's the kid who's from the land dust bowl. I heard his family has killed people to claim land. He also likes seeing people poop. Hello, who are you? Name's Goobert, cause I stick like glue in some Lakebird. And I don't take kindly to people who steal my style. Put, put me down, please. Hey, put Cody down, you big A. Oh, ho, shiver me timbers. What are you going to do about it, baby boy? Piss all over me. No, but I'll tell the teacher on you. Oh, hey, no Whoa. need for Ow. that. I'll stop. Oh, here comes Principal Jacket. Hello there, Mr. Bert. Hello there, Mr. Anderson and Mr. Rose. Hello there, Miss Nugent. Hello, Miss Nugent. Hello boys, how come Cody is on the floor? Well Bert here, was. I was telling these boys they need to get to class and stop goofing around. And he was making a fart noise and Cody was laughing out loud and then Andy pushed Cody to the ground. No, no we weren't. You grabbed- I grabbed you away from Cody. You yeah, I did. Well, thank you for stopping the little boys from getting out of hand glue Bert. I guess you're really the glue of this school. Now Andy and Cody, get to Miss Martin's class this instant. Before you get an after school detention. Yes Miss Yes Miss Nugent. Now back to you! At the end of this day, I will take over this entire school, my family will take over this entire town, and you will not say one word about it, got it? Ye? Yes, I got it. Oh dear, what a on. Tee hee 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 hee. You peed all over the floor. What a baby you were. Now to take the clothes that are mine, and give you your new outfit. Tee hee hoo, I had. I love pee pee poopy out of pee. Cody, are you okay? 
Do I look okay? I look like a baby, and I'm covered in pee pee. Come on, let's just get to class. I'll hide you until you get to your seat. Okay, thanks man. Okay, is everyone here? Only about eight students here today, what the? Oh, uh, we're here, Miss Martin. Oh, uh, hello there, Andy. I see you are 30 seconds late. Please sit down right away. We are going to start math. Um, hum, okay, um, but, could you, um, oh, there's a bee behind you. B. Where, where, where? Go, oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. There's no bee here. Whoops. I guess I was wrong. Andy, how dare you fool me? Miss Nugent said you pushed Cody earlier. Then you tricked me. Go take your joking humor to the office. But I, uh, okay. Sorry, Miss Martin. Okay, okay, settle down, class. Joke's over. Now, let's get on to math. Here's the math problem for today. 10 plus 11. Remember, to solve two-digit numbers, just add the right numbers first, then the left. Lily, can you solve the first part of the problem for us? Yes, 1 plus 0 is 1. If you have one item, and add 0, which is nothing, you still have 1. Very good. That is correct. Round of applause for Lily. Good job, Lily. Okay, let's see if you can solve the next part, Cody. What is 1 plus 1? Um, hum, mum, mum. Uh, is it 2? Yes, very good. And how did you get that answer? Cause if I am alone, and a friend comes over my house, we are duo, which is two. Hum, an interesting way of solving that, but yes, you got it. Very good job. Round of applause for Cody. I got the right answer, I did it, oh my god, yes, yes, oh yeah, What's so funny, class? Oh my god. Cody? Oh, uh, uh, oh, he he, Emma, where's everyone's costume? I thought it was Halloween. So what really happened to your clothes, Cody? And why did you lie to me and Ms. Martin Andy? Well, that big kid Glubert stole my clothes, Miss Nugent, and he made me pee on the floor cause I got scared. Yeah, and I was trying to tell you that Glubert was bullying Cody, but you wouldn't listen. Glubert, the student from Dust Bowl, why would he want to hurt you guys? He came to this country from Dust Bowl because of all the violence over there. He said that he wanted to see us fart out loud and pee. He said he thought it was funny. Yeah? He picked me up and stole my clothes. You guys sound like you're lying. I don't know why a fifth grader would want to bully you guys. Well, anyway, if you think he's doing all this then just try not to let him bother you. But he seems like a nice kid. He's had a tough life in Dust Bowl. Doesn't the school have cameras? You mean security cameras? No, unfortunately not anymore. We had to get rid of them for this year to pay for the super technology projectors for the classrooms. The future is now. We've also got complaints from liberal parents about recording people without consent. What? What's consent? Just a big grown-up word. Don't worry about it. Anyway, you guys can go to lunch now. Oh, and Cody, you can wear these clothes here for now until the end of the day. Yucky poo, these clothes smell like old gym shoes. Yes, they belong to the youth baseball team. Now run along to lunch. Stinky blue baseball uniform. Well, I guess I wouldn't worry about it much, Cody. My mom always says, karma will always get people. Yeah, I guess all the bad people get karma. What is karma though? I don't know. I think it sounds like carnal. You, I hate caramel. It tastes yucky. But not as yucky as that. Hey, you know you want cottage cheese! Way, ho 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 holy moly. Yay! Get away so long, You want it out of cheese! Mo no mo no, ma ma no. What did you say? Oh, all a thing of cottage kind of cheese! Mo no mo, mo no, I uh, I don't want any food, no. Look if you don't know how to speak a word, then scram out of here! You're holding up the line! Oh uh, sorry. When sweetie really skits, they always say they want a whole 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 thing of food like the hell we serve so much! I can't hear with the moles and liars! Yummy, that burrito was the best thing I've had this year. What was that? You still hungry? I don't know. My tummy made a weird noise. There it is again. Hey, you want some of my fries? No, I'm good. I... Well, that was a random thought. Mew, that's gross, Cody. Yeah, I can hear that from over here. I can't help it, really. Uh-oh, here comes Mr. Meanie Kluber. Hey, Underbite, 
Give me some of your bike. Who are you talking to? You. You fucking attard. Go away, you stupid baldy loser. Watch your mouth, kid, or I'll have to shoot you. I just ate a burrito. I'll gas you up. Go do it, kid. I love watching people fart. You asked for it. Poopy stinkies! I don't like poopies and stinkies actually on me. Oh my god, actual poopies on me. Oh my god. Fetish overlead. Fetish overlead! Too much. Too much. No, 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 no. This is not what I wanted. Overlord! 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 My fellow Americans, yesterday, a very important thing happened at this very school. A Russian robotic drone, who posed as a school bully, was destroyed by a young and gassy student. With quick action, he determined that the robot was using his powers to try and get photos of young kids and adults' fetal matter. This disturbing fetish being controlled by Vladimir Putin and the Russian government. The robot was not a person, nor could he be charged with any crime. Nor was there any crime committed, other than spying on American soil. The boy who saved our country was Keddy Anderson. Step right up, Caddy. Good job, Sonny. We're very proud of you, son. Yeah, last time I ate a burrito, I ended up pooping on Leo, not saving the day. And just like that day with Caillou, I'm sorry I didn't believe you were being bullied, Cody. The school will give your family $1,000 and give you a new shirt. And even though you puked on the kitchen floor, you are ungrounded. You get to do something fun. Anything? Yes, what do you have in mind? Can I fart on Miss Nugent? Yes, you can. In fact, we all can. Hey, hey, hey. I said the school was going to give $1,000 and give Cody a new shirt. The school, yes, but not you. The school didn't blame my son for bullying the robot. You did. I got her. Me too. Ready? One. Two. Three. Black. Good afternoon, sir. Could we interest you in some... Chocolate? Chocolate? Did you say chocolate? Yes, sir. With or without nuts. Chocolate? 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 Ah! Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that. What I meant to say was... Chocolates! I'm allergic to chocolates! You wouldn't know where chocolate gives me a rat! What kind of schmuck is allergic to chocolate? A bald schmuck. Caillou, how dare you be allergic to chocolate and eat the two chocolate salesmen? But Dad, I can't help it. I was born that way. You might be born allergic, but you weren't born a cannibal. You are now grounded, grounded, grounded. Today is punishment day. First punishment. Eating this chocolate bar sent by the salesman. Chocolate? Did you say ch Don't bull me, Caillou. Yes, you heard me say chocolate. Eat up, Caillou. La, that tastes nasty. I hate Hershey chocolate. Tasted like wet farts. Second punishment, saying you love Hershey chocolate. No, please. I don't want to. Say it or you will live out on the street. Your choice. I love Hershey chocolate. I love Hershey chocolate. Yummy yummy chocolate Hershey I love it. Yum yum yum. So good. Yummy yummy chocolate Hershey I love it. So good. I love the dance you did. Extra credit on your punishment day. Oh man. That wasn't necessary. Nope. But what is necessary is going through your third and final punishment. Experiencing the effects from eating chocolate. What the? Oh no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, my body is a balloon, my body is a balloon, my body is a balloon, my body is a balloon. Okay, that's enough. Woof, I'm back to normal. Yes, now go to your room. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for one a week. Whaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Oh yeah, I'm a badass at the game. But not only that, I'm a badass in real life. Bitch, say I ain't got money. Say I ain't got money. God damn. What the f***? I swear to God, I just emptied the map. Cody, what the f*** was that loud bang? No, no. Nothing, Dad. I was just making money with my live stream to pay back for the Super Bowl disaster. What live stream? The one right. Oh no. Oh god, no. Cody, I can't believe you. I know. I got banned off Twitch, and for being so stupid. I don't care about your dumb Twitch account. You took one of my guns from my gun cabinet. How could you be so reckless? You could have hurt someone. I'm sorry, Daddy. I was just trying to be tough. I didn't mean for the gun to shoot, I just hit the trigger. Don't daddy me, you're 16 going on 17 years old soon. You're not a tough guy, and you never pull a gun trigger, ever. Unless you're aiming at a bad guy, or you are in a target range. Always treat a gun as if it is loaded. You are now grounded 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 for one month. No computer, no live stream, and I will take back that gun. But first, to destroy your PC. Live ammunition. No go to sleep, you will have to buy a new PC with your own money, and not on that garbage sexist Twitch site. Wow 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 my Twitch account and PC. Ouch, what the, huh, ouchie, I bumped my head again on that stupid bedboard, why do I have to be bald, why do I have to be able to have my head gets cuts on it easy and not my family. Well, moping around won't do anything. Wait, I got an idea. I'll cut my family's hair with scissors and make it so they are all bald like me. That way we are all equal. Ha 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 ha. Good morning, Caillou. What a, a nice surprise. Yes, good morning, Mommy. Caillou, what are you doing in here? And why do you have scissors in your hand? I was just returning them to you. I, uh, used them last night for cutting a heart out of a paper, for Sarah. Oh, well, thank you, Caillou. Very good. Wakes us up at 7 in the morning to return scissors. That boy is up to something. Or he's just a wuss and feels the need to return stuff right away now. Damn it. I'll have to wait until they are fast asleep. At 1 a.m. I'll wake up to cut them up. Wake up, Caillou. Wake up, Caillou. Ow, I'm up. Time to go snip snip on my fam. Scissors should be right in here. Whoa, this chair is wobbly. Oh no. Wait, what? Was that a thumb? Nah, I probably just farted. Hee <laughs> hee. Woof, that was close. Gotta move this over. Great, got the snippers. Now to snip my parents' stupid hair. And Rosie, easy does it, Caillou. Ugh, go away. Shit. Ugh, ugh, Diesel, you rascal. Oh, okay. Woof, mommy's just having a dream. Not like that. You got the stuff all over me. Gross. <laughs> oh. My. Gross. Caillou stinky diaper lover. Caillou stinky diaper lover. Yay Caillou, you look so cute in your diaper. Ugh, these people dream really weird things. What? Scary monster. Uh oh. Rosie just crazy. Rosie actually said she's crazy. My lush brunette hair. It's all gone. And my lush brown hair is ruined too. Doris, did you get that extra strength peroxide shampoo? No you Flanders sweater wearing with I got the same shampoo I always get. Suave coconut shampoo. How could you be so stupid to use something else? Well you're the idiot who buys the groceries on a daily basis. I'm not the idiot who confused shampoos. 
Mommy, mommy, daddy, Rosie. daddy, Rosie, What's ginger wrong? hair is all gone. I look bald and ugly, like I do, like mommy and daddy. Rosie's hair is bald too. She doesn't use the shampoo we use. So it's not the shampoo. It's Kalu. Ow, my goddamn head again. Ah, uh, good morning, fam. Ah, uh, no, I mean, wow, you guys look like me now. Wow. So Caillou, you got anything else to say? I see you got your bow on your head without noticing your hair. Pretty impressive. So you went in our room with scissors yesterday morning, the chair in the den thumped over last night, where the scissors were placed by mommy last night, and we so happened to wake up to our heads shaved clean. Woof, I gotta say, that is one big coincidence. I guess I never had cancer. It was genetics all along. Caillou, how dare you? We know you cut our hair, you stupid liar. This is possibly the most malicious thing you've done all year. You make us look ugly just because you look ugly. I'm sorry. I, I, I kept banging my head on the bed for You guys don't have that problem cause you have hair. Then you say to us, Hey daddy, hey mommy, can you get me a new baseboard? Mine's too hard. You don't fucking cut off our hair just because the Lord Almighty made you bald for your life. Now me, Mommy and Rosie have to buy expensive wigs, which is something only tacky people do. You are now grounded, grounded, grounded for 3413666 seconds. Today is punishment day. First punishment, shaving your head. But daddy, I'm already bald. Don't question me, retard. I know what I'm doing. Wait, what are you doing, daddy? Oh no. Oh my god, I look so ugly and retorted looking. Second punishment, using your savings in no, your piggy bank to buy us new wigs. Bank. What's this? I really love that piggy. Thirty dollars? That's it? I would have thought Caillou would have found more than this. God, his grandparents are cheap skates. There, you're all done. Y'all look fabulous. Ugh, we look ugly as shit. We look like we're in the 70s, and Rosie looks like she's in the mid-1980s. Well, x is me. Third and final punishment, destroying your rare Nintendo 64. No, anything but that. Game. Over. Caillou. No, 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 Oh my god, what am I going to do? I'm stuck on this island, and nobody can help me. Not my parents, nobody. Guess I might as well go for another swim like the past few days. Try to have fun. Whoa, oh my. The water is too rough. I don't like this. I gotta find some food. Fuck, this sun is so hot. My skin feels like hot glue melting away to nothing. There's got to be some good food other than fish. What the, oh my god, berries. <coughs> Mm, yummy, that tasted real good. Ugh, but it kind of burns my mouth, blah. Maybe there's a radio tower around here, like at a park. Wow, look at that cool waterfall, it's completely still. Hey, what's going on? I can't see, I can't see. Ooga booga. Ooga booga. What, Ooga booga? What's that mean? Oh my god, is that a gunshot? I'm scared. You the fifth creeper. You the creature that banished us to this island. You deserve to go back to the pits of hell where you belong. May your blood be sucked by us to live longer and to be longer than your existence. No, I'm not that. I'm not who you think I am. I'm a stranded boy. Help. Someone help. That. That sounds like Caillou. He sounds like he's in danger. A lot of danger. I'm coming, Caillou. Um, that's a weird echo in the screen. Oh, hey there, Leo. Mom. That's great. I think it's Caillou. I really think he's in danger. We have to save him. He did indeed save my eye last Halloween. Okay then. What will we do? Should we call the phone? There's no time. Okay, okay then. The screens are coming from the ocean. We need to ride this ship. Boy, boy. What do you think you're going to, little boy? I'm not little. I'm 10 years old. Okay then. But this ship isn't a toy. It's not so to even sail at all. It's the RMS Titanic. We haven't fueled the sail, but not yet. We just took her out of the water eight years ago. But it's my friend. He's been screaming in danger. Is that what the howling noise was we've been hearing? Unfortunately, yes. He's my son's best friend. In the case then, let's head out to sea. That sound's been driving us crazy around here.
Oh dear God, we're slowing down. Hey, what's that in the water? Creeker. It's a dead corpse. We could use it as fuel. Let's latch it up quick. Oh my god, I've been saved. Who goes there? Thank you, Master. Show them. Get down, kick. Oh, that was amazing shooting. But who shot the tribe people? That would be a skid. The United States Coast Guard. The finest on the sea. And there was the one shooting down the scumbags known as the Blood Crypt Keepers. The islanders who have been known to eat anyone who bears the blue dot of their lord bloods and emesis. Let's get those shackles off you kid. Let's put out that fire before forest fire starts. As for you guys, we suspect you murdered at least 20 some people together over the years. Though the US does not own this remote island. So it's out of our hand to arrest you. Wait, what? They can't be arrested, but they're horrible people that eat others. No, but we can say they did pose a threat. And they did try shooting at us and tried to kill us with their puny guns. It's your call, kid. Did they try to hurt you? Yeah, those bastards tried eating my face and are evil people. Eradicate them. With pleasure. Hey, yo, is that you? Oh my god. Hey, Caillou. Yeah, I heard your screams all the way from my house. Oh. I'm sorry ma'am, yeah, I'm pretty much why all this happened. I was acting like a fool on the cruise ship my mommy and daddy went on, then I swam over to this beach to have a good time. Then my daddy came to me and told me we need to go back, but then the cruise ship went away. My dad then got rescued by my mommy and an old friend, Rick, but then my dad left me here and said I was grounded and had to survive by myself for two weeks. Dude, that's fucking horrible. Your dad should be arrested for child abandonment. Well, it's good you're okay. I actually got the Titanic ship people to sail us here. Wow, really? So they who I should thank. Thank you, Titanic driver. You're welcome, kid. Happy to help. And thank you, Leo. Anytime, man. You did give me my eye back that one Halloween. Oh, well, goody for you guys. And of course, everyone forgets about the heroic US Coast Guard as always. No, no, we thank you too. But, how did you find us? Because it's the 21st century. Of course. We use sonar. We picked your titanic ship up on Solmar and found it suspicious. So I saw you guys hiding so I quick swam out to shore and opened fire on the tribe leader. So, you use Solmar, a 20th century invention, and do it in a 19th century style ship? Well, um, we figured, if we're going to save someone, we do it in style. Is that right? No, I made that up, we just have budget cuts as all. <laughs> now how's about we get off this crummy island? Can't I ride in the pirate ship? I always wanted to ride in one. Yeah. Me too. Much better than that titanic failure. Hey! Ark, e -mates. You want to join the big bad Coast Guard -y? Well, let's go give me loot and throw the big old daddy in jail. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah! Huh, what are we doing back here? I was stranded out and on an island for a week. I still have massive sunburn. I don't want to even think about boats. Caillou, oh, you're all right. Oh, thank goodness. Caillou? Goodness. Caillou? Oh Grandma and Grandpa, I love you guys. I'm so happy to get off that island. And I'm so proud of your friend Leo, the Titanic ship crew, and the US Coast Guard for saving you. Did you say thank you? Yes, they're awesome. No, the US Coast Guard are not awesome. They're fucking dipshit assholes. You're supposed to be punished, Caillou. I can't believe they would rescue you. I left you on that island because you ruined our trip, Caillou. Well sir, you committed child abandonment. You can go to jail for that. What? Boo boo but my son. He left us on the island. When the cruise ship went away, he ruined our trip. Is he just going to get off scot-free? Well your son may have so-called ruined your trip, but he also by your negligence was able to get us on the island to kill a whole evil tribe of cannibals. I think your son actually did a lot of good. You however will go to jail for two weeks so abandoning your child. Mr. Anderson, you are under arrest for child endangerment. Anything you say or do can be used against you in the court of law. Okay, okay, I'm going. Now that that's taken care of, K.A.I.U. and Leo, you two will be rewarded $1,000 each for your service in taking care of the scumbag tribe. I will celebrate your heroic act by our treat. Where would you like to go? Chuck Chuck Cheese Pizza. Okay then, it's pizza time.
Uh, I f***ing hate algebra. It's just a stupid math class that f***ing and will never be used in my life. Where in life will I ever use an equation that says x equals y plus z ever in my life? Well actually Caillou, I've heard that algebra is used in video game design, where they use it for game code and engine design, and also controllers at airports use it. I would love to be a video game designer and work for Cockstar Games. Video game design? Airport controller? Wow, I love planes and video games. Well I guess you and me better get studying then. Oh, um. Maybe I'll just stick to making pizzas at Domino's, or become a video game model designer. What the f*** was that f***ing explosion sound and shaking? Cough cough, cough cough. The chemistry lab's on fire. Oh dear god, the fire alarm. I don't think it was planned today. There's a fire? Oh no no no, this is terrible. Oh my god oh my god fire fire. God, get it back here. Okay, just everyone single file line. Just like we do in a regular drill. Oh my dear God, this is the fire. I gotta get a fire extinguisher. It's locked, damn it. Perfect. Oh shoot, it's even bigger. Yay, I did it. The school is fire no more. Whoa, what the? Caleb Anderson. What the f*** are you still doing in the school? It would seem you had something to do with the fire. Pre pre principal Oz, I was putting out the fire. I swear. Walk out the door Kalu. We'll see what really happened on the security tape. After analyzing the footage Kalu would have determined that you indeed put out the fire. He saved the school from burning to the ground. See, I told you. Yes yes I know, but we still haven't determined who did start the fire. Wait, here's a half hour before I call Kalu. Wait, is that Arthur Reed? I'll call 911. Arthur, where were you all day? Your work called and said you didn't show up today. Um, uh, nothing. Nothing, Mom. Just needed a rest from all the work. You're doing that thing with your eyes when you're lying. No, I'm not, DW. Why don't you go back to your own house, you bitch? Holy crap, Arthur. You're definitely up to something. Well, whatever it is you're up to, you need to hold it off until the weekend. Your job is more important. You need to make enough so you can finally move out. Arthur Reed? Yee. Yes, that's me. Turn around and put your hands behind your back. You are under arrest for domestic terrorism. Anything you say and do can be used against you in the court of law. Arthur? What did you do? I tried blowing up the high school because it gave me bad memories of people bullying me for my yellow sweater and glasses. Oh my dear God, Arthur. How dare you do such an evil thing? You could have put so many innocent lives in danger. Take Arthur away, officer. Throw away the key and never let him out. Ha ha, Arthur's in trouble. Arthur's in trouble. Caillou, we are so proud that you saved your school and saved your classmates from the evil Arthur Reed. Hope he rots in his prison cell. You are also ungrounded for six months. Even if you are bad, you won't be punished. Unless it's as horrible as Arthur did. How would you like to celebrate your accomplishment? Let's go boo Arthur at his prison cell, then get Chuck E. Cheese pizza. It's a plan. Hey kids, it's been a while since we've gone to a fast food place. Now that it's 2012 and the economy is doing better, people can afford to go out a bit more. So can we. So I figured, we'd go to Burger King. Oh awesome, oh, cool. I, I haven't been to there in a while. Whopper. Burger King? Ugh, I hate Burger King. I remember they put ketchup on the Whopper, and I hated it. Well I think you can order no ketchup on it. Their slogan I remember growing up was have it your way. Meaning they make it how you want. You want no onions, then they put no onions, you want no ketchup, you get a burger with no ketchup. I'm not a baby mom, I know how ordering works. Well then stop having a tantrum and come along with us then. Okay.
Yom. Stay. Hey, get out of here. Hello, up there customers. Up, welcome to BK. I mean, Burger King. My name's Jeff. Yeah. Hello Jeff, I'll take a small burger. And my family will say their orders. Rosie first. I'll take a small burger like my mom has. I'll take a triple whopper and a Pepsi. Oh, uh, sorry kid, we don't have Pepsi here. What? You don't have Pepsi? What kind of? <coughs> e <-bree. coughs> Did place doesn't have Pepsi. Cody, watch your mouth. You have one strike. Two more and you're grounded. And Caillou, stop laughing. It's not funny. Hey kid, we do have the triple whopper. So we do have something you'll like. Okay. I'll take a water for Cody just in case. Okay then. And for you bright shirt sir. I must say that's a pretty awesome bright shirt. Oh well thanks. No one's ever commented on my colorful shirt. But yeah, I'll take a regular whopper. Oh uh, okay I guess that's everything. Oh uh wait. Wait what? I do not at all want any ketchup at all on the burger. Oh, uh, okay then. We got one small burger, one small burger, one triple whopper, one water, and a whopper. And no ketchup. That will be 1740, please. Here you go. 260 is your chain. Up, uh, and just like that. Here is your food all. Thank you. Let's find a seat now, kids. I'm starving. Whoever is next, come right up. Jared Fogel, is that you? Oh shit. Holy crap, Jared Fogel of Subway eats at Burger King. I can't believe it. And I could have served him if it wasn't for you, kid. Get away from me. Fine, go be in love with that creepy Jared guy. He always smiles so weird in those stupid commercials. I'm sure he's a creep. Hey, don't diss Jared, kid. He's a great guy for losing weight from just Subway. I mean, isn't he? I think so at least. Not like he's a pedo or anything. Oh, there you are, Cody. Come on, let's eat. Well, let's dig in. Oh. My. Freaking. God. What's the matter? Why are you two crying? Cause there's blood on my burger, that's why. Yucky nasty ketchup. I hate ketchup. Oh dear god almighty, well just go and ask them to redo it. Stupid I hate this thing, place, I idiots. knew this would happen. I hate yeah, this place Johnny, too. I got that. Huh? You'll yeah. get the new camera tomorrow. Yeah, just like $150 it is. Tom, this guy isn't paying attention to me. Tom, I bet I can switch out his sandwich with mine. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll do his birthday too next week with it. Alright, well, I'm going to eat now. Have a good day. See y'all at the fun. Oh, hey there. You get everything you wanted? Um, yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. Let's eat this bitch. Oh my god, this fish sandwich is so good. Burger King fish sandwich is my new favorite. Fish sandwich? Cody, you said you were getting a reorder of the Whopper? Where the fish sandwich come from? Oh uh, no, I meant the triple Whopper is my new favorite, not a fish. That's my fucking fish sandwich. On that group's table, I saw him lean over me. He must have stolen. Oh gross. He bit into it. I don't want this anymore. I demand a refund. Thanks a lot, kid. You made Jared Fogel leave and now you wasted product. Your meal will be two times the price next time. Cody, how dare you steal that guy's burger? You have received your second strike. One more and you will be grounded. You won't be getting any more food. What? But I'm still hungry. I want Burger King Whopper. I want Burger King Whopper. Cody, stop waving your hand in my face. Yes, and calm down before you are officially grounded. Well, I have my new burger. I'm starving. What the fuck? Ketchup. Bloody ketchup. We, we hate fucking, fucking ketchup. ketchup. Fucking stupid computers messing up orders. Uh, my face. Oh god, I'm out of here. Fuck you, broken ice cream machine. Time to burn this place with my feet. Caillou and Cody, why is it that you guys can't grow up? Why do you freak out about something as small as ketchup? You both are completely brain dead. More brain dead than the workers who mistake your food. You are both grounded grounded grounded. 
you will now go to jail for battery assault and destruction to property, and you guys get out in a week, you will have one month in your room punished. Take them away, officer. <laughs> Ugh, I hate being in jail. It's so boring. I never thought I'd be here again at 18 years old. At least you've done this before. I've never. I'm only six. This is so scary. You guys have a visitor. Oh no, it's dad. Daddy? Hello there, my two screw-ups of sons. Well, I just came to give you one thing. A hug. Oh, um, okay. Fooled you retard. Ow. Ha 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 ha. Now you guys are bleeding, like ketchup, which reminds me, I have ketchup for you guys to eat. Open up wide. Okay students, are we ready to go on a trip to the box factory? Ugh, stinky boxes, that's all we are going to look at, it sounds stupid. Well that's too bad Caillou, you can either come on the trip to the box factory, or, you can go in study hall with Mr. Bronze Storm. Your choice, not sure why you even got your permission slip signed if you didn't want to go. I didn't get it signed, my mommy signed it, she said it would be educational. Well then I guess you're going to get a good educational experience today. Come along children. The bus is waiting outside. Come on boy, do a push up. Hey, what are you guys doing in here? Get out of here. Hello everybody, and welcome to the box factory. Up, uh, can you guess what we make here? Yes you, with the nice red shoes. Boxes. Correct. Yay. As you see, this machine here checks if a box is good to go. We are in what we call the approval room. Up up up, we got a box coming along now to get approved. My god this is so freaking boring. My classmates have the attention rate of a dog. Oh, oh man, my tummy hurts. I didn't eat much for breakfast. I know, I'll sneak out of the bathroom in this place to McDonald's. Excuse me, excuse me, where is the bathroom? Oh, you already want to go in there? Well, I was going to save that for last. But I'll point you to it. It's just down the hall and to the left. Thank you, mister. No problem. And now, kids, I'm going to show you the storage closet. Finally got away from that boring stupid trip. Hi 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 ha. Wee wee wee. Oh no. Ah. Ow. I banged my bald head. Ow 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 ow. Oh oh if. Well, hopefully some food will help my pain. Yay, McDonald's. Yes, I'm at Mickey D's. Now what do I want? Hey kid, how can I help you? Slow down, I'm getting there okay? Uh, sheesh, calm down. I know. I'll get a chicken fajita and a cocoa. Okay, that will be $4.20. Oh crown buckets, I don't have any money on me. Humphrey, no money, then I guess you get no chicken fajita and coke, you won't love that. Hold on, let me find some money. Any money down here? Uh uh uh. No, let me check this All over right, here. Alright kid, I gotta serve more customers. Is there any money in here? Yes, there is. What about over here? Yes, a corner. I got money. Out of my way Chinese guy. Hey yo, little bald baby yellow shirt boy, we was here first. No yo, me yellow shirt was here first. Go back to China and eat tofu China boy. Wait wait wait. Why can't have to be so racist? Here's the money I found. I want a chicken fajita and coke. Well, you're not going to get a coke with this, but I can give you the damn fujita. Okay, whatever. Here you go, catch. 26 cents is your change. Have a good day. I hope you choke on your food. Yay 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 yay. Yummy fujita. Now to eat it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that was the best fujita in the world. Oh. What's oh that? God. It's him. It is. It is. Ron Ronald McDonald. Hello there, kid. It's Ronald McDonald here. Why, well, you to brighten your day. Oh yeah, I love you, Ronald. I love you so much. Tell me, little guy, how old are you, Coke? Because you look very big and tall for a youngster. I'm sure it's my yummy and healthy food that's making you strong, am I right? I'm actually six years old, Ronald. I'm not too little anymore. Oh, very nice. Six a good age. But shouldn't you be still now, kid? 
Where are your parents at? I'd like to meet them too. Oh, I was in school, on a field trip, but I ran from that lame box factory to come here, with you. You, you what? Where is that bald boy of yours, lady? It's been 30 minutes now. Yeah, I know. It is annoying. I'm going to check the bathroom. Caillou, Caillou, get your ass out here now. You're holding us up. He's not... Is that blood? And I am very disappointed in you. How could you run away from your class and leave them like that? You probably ruined their day today. Mobile does not like it's a runaway. Caillou, how dare you run away from our class and go to McDonald's? The kids could have had an educational day. And you know what? I was actually going to take the class to McDonald's for a treat at the end, but you blew the chance completely. You wasted the time of the box factory people, and made all your classmates very sad. And Caillou also said to a Chinese man that he should go back to his own country and brought it in line. Kai, you. I can't believe you could be so hateful and rude as well. Go back to your own country Caillou the Anderson house. Where you will be grounded. <laughs> Caillou, why are you home early, and why are you crying like a little baby? It's because I ditched my school trip to go to McDonald's and everyone's time was wasted. Oh, whoa, 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 Caillou, how dare you? That's it. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for... Um, who's that? I was about to do my famous grounding. Oh, hello there. Oh, wow. Ronald McDonald and a Chinese man. Come and come in. So, what brings you two here today? Well, you see. The little bald boy but it in line at the McDonald's and said I should go back to my own country. And I did. I got a little sat here. I figured I'd pinch the sun with it, like this. Ow, ow, ow. Sharp object in brain. And I figured I'd dance on top of Kay like this. Ow. Ow. It hurts. Stop it. Stop it. Ow, 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 ow. Well, thanks for stopping by, gentlemen. Now go to your room, Caillou. Aki Poopy Diaper, I am so bored. I have to do something today so everything PC gaming can make money on this video. But there's nothing to do outside cause it's March and cold out. And gaming stinks. Hum, I know. I'll prank call people, just like I do in that old Caillou intro. He hoo ha 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 hoo hoo ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Who's this? Go f yourself, you ugly sounding old man. Who you talking to? Oh, I was just talking to my bitch. You're my bitch, right? <laughs> no, this is ANS Roofing. You sound like an ASS roof. Huh? I said you sound like an ass. You sound like my old man on the toilet. If you're talking to me, go f yourself. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Get mad. Yeah, you get off of it, huh? Oh my god, that old man sounded so angry. I'm going to try that number again. Uh, hello. Is this Herbert the Pervert? Who are you trying to call? Herbert the Pervert. Who? Herbert the Pervert. I'm calling on for you to construct me a... to erect a penis. Well, this is AMS Roofing. This has got nothing to do with construction. Well, I don't give a Erect me a penis, old man. Don't call me no more, motherfucker. <laughs> One more time. Go oh, fuck yourself, you asshole. Your mom, and I'm going to slap you, boy. Well, we'll see. By the way, I kick your fucking ass, motherfucker. Well, who who you'd hit your own mom? You're a tough guy, asshole. You better get the damn I got your goddamn cell phone number. Oh shit. <laughs> but he really did fuck up. Perhaps I should try another number. Hi, this is Chris Big, and I can help you. Hello there you dipshit, why do you keep calling back my house you pervert? I'll have you arrested, I'm sure you're ugly and bald and have no life. Sir, uh, this is a hotel, I don't know who the heck you're talking to like this, I didn't call anybody. Oh you know who you are, I'm sure you think you're hoity-toity but you know what you're like, you're probably wearing pink right now like a girl. I don't know what, the, who is this? This is a hotel you're calling, I haven't used a phone, who are you talking to, who is this? My god, you sound gay, uh? What's the matter? You need to suck some cock to make you feel better? Dude, I don't know who's calling you. This is a fucking hotel. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh my dear god, that's so fucking funny. Kalo? What are you doing? Mum, 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 mommy. I, I can explain. Explain what? Explain why you're using the word fuck out loud. There's nothing to explain. You are not 18 years old. You're not allowed to say the word fuck out loud. Oh. 
That was all. Okay then. Also, why are you on the floor laughing like you just heard the most funniest thing ever? Oh, uh, nothing. I was just watching Nickelodeon and they were playing a bunch of fart sounds. It just made me giggle, that's all. Ugh, I don't know how boys can laugh that hard at flagellants. Woof, that was close. Now to call Lord Gay again. Ah, uh, hello there Gay Lord. Who are you trying to call? Just you Gay Lord. I wanna suck on your lollipop so hard that my mouth is permanently stained with lemonade. <laughs> the cops over here in two seconds. Cops? I could beat those piggy bastards so hard their bare bottoms would be burnt so crispy I could munch into them. I'm not afraid of no piggy bastards, and I'm not afraid of you, Gail Lord. You're a tough guy. Listen, I don't know who you're, who you're trying to call. Would you have caller ID? I'm trying to call the gay lord who calls me every single day and wants to suck on my pee pee. Some creep then wants to prey on me. You creep. What are you talking about? No one's called you from this phone! If you don't find out who keeps calling me, I'm going to find your boss and tell him that you are calling me. Who's calling me? Well, I, well, I have no idea. It's really sad and depressing. Like you, calling me every day and harassing me. Okay, whatever, dude. No one's called you. I don't even know who the hell you are. <laughs> this is fucking rich. Unlike you. Dude, whatever. I don't know who the hell you are, dude. Chris, you have caused so many people to look at you funny. And there's I had so many teams on professional. You are no longer a concierge. Well, I had my fun for today. That was great. Up, Bluebird, shut the fuck up. No one cares what you think. Everyone knows you're just a Russian bot anyway. No, I'm not a stupid poo poo baby, but you're a stinky David Cross knockoff. FBI, open up! Hey, who are you guys? Stranger danger. Ow, 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 ow. What? What the fuck? You monsters, you ruined my computer. No, you're the monster Caillou. You're a prank calling people. The FBI got a subpoena to check the phone logs, and they are conducting an arrest warrant on you. You harassed an old man known as Tom the Roofer, and got a hotel concierge fired from the Tipton Hotel. This is them. So, who's sad and depressing now? I remember Caillou's voice from the zoo field trip back in 2001. I used to be the 7th grade gym teacher and was a chaperone for that trip. I listened to KAIU's voice from that hotel phone. And luckily I'm only suspended from my job for two weeks. Not totally fired. You may think that what you did was funny and edgy Caillou, but it really just got you in a whole heap of fucking trouble. Now you'll be jailed for two weeks for harassment, and you will have to work off the payback for the computer the agents destroyed. If you want that back, take him away, agents. <laughs> Hi 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 ha. Today is April Fools, also Easter Sunday 2018. I am going to play the biggest prank of all time. Something so devious it will make people cry. Then I'll laugh it off. Then the person will laugh it off once they're done crying. Here we are, Daddy's Gay Lord Office. Oh, that's right. I can't say the word gay in that way anymore. Anyway, let's install the speech. <laughs> Ha 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 ha, time to look up some funny April Fool's prank ideas, and some early in the morning pee hub vids. Oh my god, the No way in hell. What the <laughs> is this? We put Windows ME on my computer. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. You got the best operating system ever. Oh wait, no you don't, April Fools. Very funny kite you. Now put back Windows 10 on my computer. I need to look at my, uh, collection. Okay, no problem. Oh, uh, um, whoops. Whoops, what whoops, what do you mean whoops? Noth, um, gulp, nothing. Get out of the way. What the? Whoa. Oh my god, no. Caillou, you stupid Bald man child, you played a stupid April Fool's joke and didn't bring over my files from Windows 10 to Windows ME when you reformatted the computer. I lost everything. My whole collection of stuff is gone. Daddy, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to screw up this bad. Oh, I wouldn't cry just yet, Kai. You. 
you 23 year old man child. Daddy, how could you? You destroyed my PC. Yeah, and it's the ultimate April Fool's joke. Now you'll have to get a new PC with your own money. That's what you get for destroying my, uh, collection. Ha 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 ha, those crocodile tears worked perfectly. Little did he know that my PC stopped working three whole days ago, and I knew of his secret little creepy collection for a few months now. He'll have a hard time explaining to mom what he really lost. That was truly the ultimate April Fool's joke. What's all the noise going on? I was dreaming I won the lottery and looked real nice. Oh, uh, nothing. I just lost something and Caillou played a prank on me. What are you doing with your regular clothes on? You need to get dressed into your nice clothes. Easter service is in one hour. Easter? We're still doing that. I don't believe in the stupid bunny anymore. I'm 11 years old now, and I'm still the youngest. Oh, yeah. Well, Easter isn't about the bunny really. It's about the rebirth of Jesus Christ. That's why we go to church on Easter and major holidays. Jesus Christ? I can't believe that my parents or family still believe in God and that Jesus crap. Okay, is everyone ready? Ugh, my whole collection gone. What was that? Collection? Oh, uh, nothing. I just meant I misplaced the money for collection play. Oh, okay. Everyone give a nice smile. Oh, wait, where's Cody? Cody, Ow. get your ass uh, down uh, here. Oh, sorry, honey. Cody? Why don't you have your suit on? We have to take a picture and leave in 10 minutes. I'm not going to church because I don't believe in God anymore. Don't believe in God anymore? <laughs> oh my God. That's the funniest April Fool's joke of all time. Even funnier than the Windows Emmy gag Caillou did on me. I'm not joking. I'm dead serious. I don't believe in God. Shit. He's serious. Doris, you. Just. Cursed. Okay, Cody. I'm not joking right now. Go upstairs and put on your suit and don't ruin this day. No, I'm not going to church today. It's stupid. Religion as a whole makes no sense. People say God can do everything. If God can do everything, does that mean he can eat a hot burrito so hot even he can't eat it? Cody, you stole that line from that stupid primetime cartoon show. And the character was high on weed when he said it. That doesn't matter. It was a good point. And it's funny you say that when you're standing in front of weed right now, Caillou. Okay. That does it. Cody, get up to your room this instant. You are grounded 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 for one year. When we get home, I will wipe your computer free of any anti-god material. Mommy, I just don't believe anymore. Why are you pushing your ideas onto me? Because I will not have a stupid young child like you be indoctrinated by the garbage TV and internet. God is very real in this house. And you pushed your ideas onto us first. What is everyone staring at? We're late. Let's move. Yes, sir, uh, ma'am. Those fucking stupid people, believing in such a fairy tale lord. We have science and people think some magical creature is going to make everything good. Idiots. If there was a fire in the church, would God put it out like a fire hose? Wait, fire, that's it. I'll burn the church, and prove to people there is no God. Ha 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 ha. Ugh, this snow is slippier than a tub of lube. We seriously need to get four-wheel drive. This car is almost 20 years old. Smells like wet dog. Well, looks like our insurance is going up. Ah, uh, the Andersons have arrived. Hello, Reverend Smith. A pleasure to see you and honor our Lord. Yes, likewise. And, are you missing someone today? Hope we don't have a sick one today on this breezy day. No, not sick. Just very misguided. Our son says he doesn't believe in the Lord. Oh, oh dear. Well, sometimes you just have to let people find the true light themselves. Can't always push people to the light. Yeah, I guess. Well, we'll be starting in a few minutes. Thank you for coming. The Lord be with you. And, and also with, with you. you. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we remember the day in which you came back. And sent a fire in our hearts. Huh. Dynamite? It's going to explode. Quick. Go Everybody run run run. Is everyone safe? I think so. The back old couple left but everyone else is still here. What could have caused this? So much will be ruined. 
ha 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 ha. I caused this. I threw my dynamite to the church. Cody. Cody, you what should have known. Here? You fucking you horrid are monster. You to be grounded. Yeah, I may be a monster, but not as manipulative as mom pushing religion on me. Cody, how dare you turn me? No. Don't know oh oh me. If God is so real, he would put out this fire right now. But he won't the church will burn and burn and burn. If God can do anything, then he'd put out this burning church and forcibly make everyone happy. But he won't, cause he can't exist. He can't eat a burrito that's too hot even he can eat. And he can not put out this church fire. Cody, don't you remember when Jesus came down on Easter Sunday four years ago and turned me into an egg and put a cage over you? Caillou, everyone knows that that wasn't Jesus but Jesus the guy who lives across the street attached to a helicopter. And it was the Easter Bunny who turned you into an egg. And that wasn't even the Easter Bunny when Mr. Hinkle with a rehydrator stick. And the cage was clapped on me off screen by a room when they threw a snowball at me. I'm almost 12 years old and know all this shit. Any more false images you want to spew. Oh dear God. Look at that. Sweet rain. Thank God, it's a miracle. This is truly remarkable. I think it's confirmed. There is a God that loves us and will do anything to bring joy. That doesn't prove anything. Cody, you may act smart but you are clearly dumb. How can you look at that and conclude there still is no God? Cause a fire obviously caused moisture in the air which then caused the clouds to form in the sky that made it rain. As well as the sudden friction made the lightning form. It's basic science. You stupid oh, shut boy. your mouth. You, you clearly got are fear doing in that case. You don't need to believe in something ego. that is obviously you contradicted by many factors and just for the nonsense. Enough. Both of you. Cody, what you did today was very evil and abusive of people's rights. You pushed your beliefs onto other people and almost ruined their day. And Doris, you were wrong too in which you punished your son initially for having a different viewpoint and also bullied him because he had a different viewpoint which made him build up anger. Whether or not there is or isn't a Lord Almighty, the problem found a resolvement from science or God. We shall not judge others or their beliefs. That's why we live in America, not in a foreign country. Amen. Well, I guess perhaps nobody can be grounded today, which is good. Hey, what's that that slipped from your back trunk for us? Oh, it's back there. trunk? Oh, my dear God, a piece from my collection. It fell from when I crashed my car into the green car. You're the dipshit who crashed my car. And you brought that to church. Oh, my, why I never. Boris, how dare you bring that to church? That's it. You are banished, banished, banished from the church for one, two, three, four, five, six minutes. Go take the Satan walk of shame home right now. Why? <laughs> oh man, Miss Martin must love to make us suffer during the Easter holiday. How can a teacher give homework during Easter break? That should be criminal. Dude, I've been saying that all year. She should be locked up. Of course she loves doing this to us. She loves wasting kids' time. That's how teachers are. They teach us stuff we'll never use. 2 plus 2 equals 5? Where am I going to use that in life? To hook up two couples and make five children? That's a good one. Take the key and lock her up. Lock her up. Lock her up. Take the key and lock her up. My fair lady. Who was that? I don't know. Let's see. Ah, uh, hello there kitties. You heard my little tune. Um, yeah. Yeah, we were just coming home from school. Why are you selling corn pops? Can't you get the cereal from the store? Um, okay. Um, we gotta go home now. Caillou, let's go away from this guy. He's acting very strange. Alright, but I'll just buy some nuts first. I'm hungry. Yay, that's right. Come closer. I just want a cup of pops then I'll be going, okay? Well, you won't be getting any pops. But I'll show you my corn pops. Hey, let me go. Help, help. Someone help. Let go of my friend, please. Someone help. My friend's being taken away by a stranger. Hey, what's going on? I heard someone cry out. That old creepy man took my friend. He's running away. I'm calling the police right away. Hello, 
911. A creepy old man in a blue suit and a hot dog stayed at the young child. He ran on Lion Street. I called the police kid. I would run home now and leave this area. Okay. Let me out, please. I want my mommy. You're so horrible. Your mommy's gone, kid. You are never going to see your mommy again. But you'll definitely see my fresh corn pops. Oh, shoot. <coughs> the police. Excuse me, sir. Hold it right there. Um. Up, uh, what seems to be the issue, officer? We got a call recently of a man fitting your description napping a young child in a hot dog cart. And it appears you have one. Oh well, that's too bad. But that's not me. Can you open the cart up, please? Hum, that's funny. I don't see a search warrant in your hand. Please help. Someone help. I'm in the cart. Yeah, I need two more officers down by the courthouse pronto. Open the fucking cart up now, old man. Somebody's in your cart. Okay, okay. I'm opening it. Caillou, oh my god, oh my god. are good. you okay? Mommy, Daddy, I love you. Joe Brandon, put your hands up. We love you. You are under arrest for napping. We're very glad you're okay, Caillou. And we hope now you understand that you can't always trust a stranger. Most of the time the bad situation wouldn't have had a good ending this easy for most victims. If you're ever unsure of somebody, just walk or run away from the person, or get a grown up. There are a lot of creepy people in the world. I think you should thank two people in particular. Thanks man, no problem bud. And thank you officer. Anytime Mr. K. Lu. Now I think you should go up to your room Caillou. You are grounded for the night. Okay. And Leo, you did a really great thing. You thought fast and screamed out that Caillou was in danger. A very good friend and responsible thing to do. And know too, that if you have access to a cell phone or home phone that you can call 9112 if you see an emergency such as a kidnapping. I'll do that. Awesome. Is there any way you'd like to celebrate today? Nah, I'm just glad that I have my butt Caillou still. Oh, that's very my ginger nice. sweetheart. Woof, it is hot as hell in this room. I knew it was getting hotter out, but never thought it'd be this hot. I gotta go outside to get some fresh air. Okay, it's even hot in here, what gives? Hey, I thought there was usually a glass of orange juice out here. Ugh, I am so damn hot. This heat and current year makes me want to end it all. What the, what's that coming of the arm? What the, who, what's that? Bud. Buddy. What in God's name are you? Ugh. It's so freaking hot out here. My balls are sweaty. Whoa. It's an extraterrestrial. A what? An extraterrestrial. You know from the movie E.T. My God, you're so stupid. Me, bud. Me give light. Oh, man. Bud. A drink. Thanks, man. I'll take a sip. Dude, dude. Give it to me. Ah. That was great. Thanks, alien dude. You. My. Bud. Have. My. Bud. Whoa. Thanks. Cody. Caillou, hey. You can't have it, you are only 17 years old. Oh, go f yourself, Caillou. We were thirsty. Me, go back to planet. Stay cool. Wow, that was the coolest thing ever. Literally cool. I don't know what that was all about, but you can't drink, it's against the law. Oh, calm down, Caillou. No one will ever know I did that. I know, but I want to protect you. You are my little brother after all. Yeah. You are right about that. I will never do that until I'm 21, no matter what. Good. Well, at least nobody saw us. Hey, did you get the shot? Perfect. I think turning their heat up with the trick. They bought into that real good. When should we have it edited? By next week. Cool. Perfect. Now we can put this whole trendy thing behind us. By next week, nostalgia and family values will bring up our sales through the roof. Huh, <sighs> those freaking Phillies stank like baby shot. Oh come on, another commercial. Back in the 70s and 80s there were only two to three commercials and one commercial break on the show. What the fuck is that, Caillou? Uh, I am so damn hot. This heat and current year makes me want to end it all. What the, what's that coming of the heart? What the, who, what's that? Bud, buddy. What in God's name are you? Uh. It's so freaking hot out here. Whoa, it's an extraterrestrial. Oh what? 
an extraterrestrial. Me bud, me give bud light. Oh man, bud light. Thanks man, I'll take a sip. Ah, that was great. Thanks alien dude. You, my bud, have my bud. Whoa. Thanks. Me, go back to planet. Stay cool. Wow, that was the coolest thing ever. Literally cool. Bud light. We all need that cool bud once in a while. Your children will feature in this advertisement. Please drink responsibly and buy audio. Attention parents and grandparents of you. Caillou, Cody, get your asses down here this instant. What is it, Dad? I was playing Pre Fortress 2 with everything PC gaming. And I was playing Fortnite. This better be good. So I saw that TV commercial you guys did. What TV commercial? Don't play dumb. My god. First Cody ruins the Super Bowl 57 for everyone in Philly. He shoots his PC monitor with a gun and gets banned off which, now he drinks alcohol for the world to see. Oh shit, he knows. Aha, uh -huh. so you did do it. And you let him drink beer kite you. Now the whole world knows. Why? Just why? That's it. You are both grounded grounded for being my stupid children. Go to your fucking rooms now. I still don't fucking know why this happened. Dad, please please don't ground us. I can explain. I tried getting the beer off Cody. The only reason he came to drink beer was because the house was very firely like hot. Like someone turned the heat up or purpose. And then this little blue alien guy. Extraterrestrial. Yes. Extraterrestrial. I'm speaking Cody. This extraterrestrial looking guy came down from a spaceship looking thing. He gave me a Bud Light beer. Then Cody saw it and was amazed. So we both drank from it. I took it off Cody afterwards when he started drinking it. I told him it was illegal. Wait, so you didn't know you were going to be on the Bud Light commercial? What Bud Light commercial? You're on a Bud Light commercial? Those evil deceptive bastards. They filmed you guys in our backyard without permission and then put down a fake alien gay. Extraterrestrial. Whatever. And made him give you guys a beer to try and turn attention away from that ugly gay tranny guy in a dress that everyone thought was abusing children and was a degenerate thing to do. But this is clear as day child abuse. We're gonna do something about this. You know what? I feel very empowered by that Bud Light commercial. The nostalgia it brought back to me was great hearing that Mentor's song. I need a cool bud. You. Yeah. Who cares about some trans person? My god. People are just being blinded by nostalgia as usual by these big corporations. They don't see the big picture. We're ready when you are Mr. Anderson. Oh, hello. Welcome to Anne. Hi, sir. Excuse me, sir. You need an appointment to... No. What's the... Whoa, 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 whoa. It's up. Our star ball children from the commercial. I mean, not children. Ah, more little people. No. You were semi-right the first time. My son with the blue cap is 17 years old. A minor. You let minor drink alcohol. What the fuck is wrong with you? Here's his birth certificate to prove it. Okay, look, yes, we did film your children without their consent for the commercial and put our cool alien guy. Extraterrestrial. Shut, Shut up, up Cody. Cody. Extraterrestrial guy, yes. We did it because no one else wanted to do that commercial first because of all the backlash we got from putting that stupid trans guy in the commercials last month. We wanted to bring a nostalgic music such as the Mendo Sadie to bring people back to loving Bud Light. And as you see from this chart, it is booked two weeks ago our average sales of day were 10 million. One week ago there were 5 million. But it's predicted by one hour ago of sales are going up to 15 million. And it's all thanks to your two boys that are my ale. I mean, extraterrestrial guy here. I will then tomorrow deliver $500,000 to your house tomorrow. And you will be paid for. And we can all be happy. If you want food, five thousand dollars Daddy, should we take the money? No. 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 Indeed. We don't want your blood money Mr. Stokes, we're not going to stroke your ego, you used my children's image in a evil way. Huh, I see. Well, you won't be paid after all. We'll just air the commercial continuously with you getting nothing. No, you won't air the ad, what you're doing is illegal and morally wrong. Well, nobody will ever know that. We don't care about you. That's why we're a corporation. We take your money and there's nothing you can do about it. Nobody will ever know that I secretly filmed your children drinking beer or turned the heat up in your house to make them thirsty. People will just know that your children enjoyed it, and if you dare try to sue us, then the court and judge will throw out the case, cause we'll pay off the judge. Now, I want you to leave my office. Oh, and by the way, what the fuck? Get your creepy hands off. My birth certificate. There's a evidence gone. Now get out of my office before I call the police and have you arrested. That was really dumb Mr. Snopes. You know why? 
Why? Because I looked evidence of your child's birth. No, because you made a mountain of evidence for people to see how horrible you are as a person. Come on in piggies. What would we what? What on earth? Why are cops here? What is this, Patrick Stokes? You are under arrest for child endangerment, distributing alcohol to a minor and child exploitation. Anything you say and do can be used against you in the court of law. How the fuck? Simple, wire device. And spy camera that got everything you said. That's fucking illegal. You illegally recorded me. Who you think the judge will side with? A child abuser and exploiter? Or someone who just recorded a conversation? Probably the former. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so annoyed that Caillou is still living with us, always playing that loud ass Team Fortress 2. Why can't he just get a fucking 9 to 5 job like most people his age? It's 2013 and young adults are acting like young children. I'm sick of it. And Cody always plays that stupid Roblox game. And he still has 11 years until he can move out. You know what? I've had it. I'm going to teach Cody to play outside and stop wasting his childhood playing inside. Epic. I finally made the middle finger building. Cody, I'm coming in. Cody, it's time to get off your games and play some baseball with me. Oh my dear God. What? Does that smell? Just me letting off that you feed me pops. Cody, don't curse at me and next time fart when I'm not around, you pig. Now come on and shut that goddamn stupid millennial game off. Okay dad, whatever, but one more fart. Okay Cody, we are going to play some classic American baseball. When you're older, you could be the next Babe Ruth. Now go and fetch me the ball. I'm not a dog dad, I'm a boy. A handsome boy. Don't backtalk me boy, just do it. Do it, just do it. Okay, okay. I'm doing it. Good boy. Cody, why are you holding a basketball? This is a ball, right? No, Cody, that's not a baseball. That's a basketball. Oh, well, we can use this, right? Oh, my dear God. Don't they ever teach you in school what a baseball is? No, a baseball is white with a stripe. Here, I'll go get it because you're a moron. Being stupid school board pushing stupid fat foods and games than American sports. Okay, now, throw away the basketball and catch the baseball. Okay. Jesus Christ code. Huh. <laughs> Never mind, just back up and catch the ball. This good? Yes, here we go, catch. Ouch. Ooh. All right. Wow, that hurt. Yeah. Very nice catch. Now, give a good throw to the golden whacker. Okay then. What? Oh. What? The fuck that audio? My computer. It's smoking. It's ruined. Who the fuck did this? I want to know. GRR. Who's the dipshit who blew up my PC? I was at 100 kills in TF2. Whoa. What happened here? Dad wanted me to play American baseball and be like Babe Ruth. Whoever that is. I don't want to be a candy bar. I want to be a video game maker when I'm older. Will somebody please for the love of God get me 911? Is that the police? Oh, ooh, the police are coming? Yes, it's the bleeping police popo pigs you dumb and dumber. Now go to the phone and call them. Tell them our address is 123 Fake Street. Okay sir, so what exactly happened? Oh god, I was playing cat with my... Stupid, stupid, stupid bald kids over there who laugh at their father's nuts being destroyed. Guys, it's not funny. Your dad's in a lot of pain. Well, hee hee, it is a bit funny. Boris does sound like a choir boy. I do not sound like a choir boy. Okay, well, let's just put some ice on it for a minute. Oh, 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 oh. You fucking bastard, let's work it cold. K.U. and Cody, you are both grounded, grounded, grounded for being my stupid children and making my nuts pop. Go up to your room now. Sir, don't you think that's a bit harsh? Also, you just whacked that paramedic in his face. I think maybe you should just come and quiet down. I think you should quiet down permanently. We need four units here, Prongo. Hello, boys. What?
what a fucking waste. Fucking prick deserved it. Rotten piss green vomit sweater guy. Ha 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 ha. Welcome to Hell Boris. Are you ready to meet your dude? No, I'm... I'm not. I didn't mean to get angry at my kids, the paramedic and to shoot at the cops. It just all happened. Oh, you don't sound like a badass. They said you were a horrible person. Who said I was horrible? Your family. They said they couldn't believe you would shoot at the cops. But now you feel sorry. Are you? Yes, I am. I just had built up anger is all. I didn't mean to get all fiery. Oh, you're not welcome here then. Back in reality for you, for you, for you, for you. Oh, everyone, he's waking up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, pum. Ah, oh, man. I thought I went to hell. Nah, you can't escape that fast. I dreamt I was in some police shootout. Not a dream, Mr. Anderson. And you will be having your court date next week. The judge overheard what happened and he seems a bit generous compared to most people in your position. Oh, shit. Well, I'm sorry. I just don't know what happened. It was pretty much our fault, Dad. Yeah. I shouldn't have got so angry at you busting up my computer by accident. And I shouldn't have laughed at you while you were on the ground or throwing the ball on your nuts on purpose. On purpose? That shit was on poop. Ooh, 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 ooh. As you can feel, Mr. Anderson, your testes still need some healing. They are pretty swelled up and will take about a month to heal in full. Yes, doctor. Ouch. Well, why on earth would you throw the ball to me like that on purpose, Cody? Because you kept getting angry that I didn't know what a baseball was and kept saying that I was stupid. Which is really something we should have taught you years ago, Cody. Both your dad and me screwed up with that. We should never call someone stupid if they don't know something, even if it's something most people their age know. So, you have something to say, Boris? I'm sorry, Caillou and Cody. We forget you. Well, everyone forgets who believes I see. And sorry, Mr. Policeman. The Go City Police Department forgives you. But remember, court date next week. Well, I guess all's well then ends well, and nobody went to hell. Yeah, but work life will always be hell for everyone. <laughs> ah, sweet Saturday morning day off. Now to watch some sports. Huh, <laughs> no sports on yet. Just that stupid Litton's weekend adventure. It's only one, Jack Hanna. As you can see, I kind of get wrapped up in all my work. Every week, Jungle Jack will count down his top 10 animal favorites, all the way to number one. Jack Hanna's Wild Countdown, part of Litton's weekend adventure. Huh, <laughs> turn something else on. I thought that Jack Hanna guy died. Oh wait, no. Steve Irwin did. That's right. Oh my god. Oh no. It's the loud ass. Get ready for Cookie Jar TV! Cookie Jar TV! With Busy Town Mysteries, McDoodle Bobs, and Liberty's Kids. You've got to be part of this. Oh yeah! Whoa, 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 God, I hate that cookie jar TV intro so much. Only stupid people like Caillou or that PC gaming guy would probably like that intro. But anybody else like me hates it. Hum, perhaps I could get rid of that stinky intro. Make people endure the boring Linden's weekend adventure. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh goody, is cookie jar TV on? I love their intro. Oh, oh no, man. it's yes. not on? Darn it. Huh, <sighs> how can you guys like that crap? It's just saying cookie jar TV over and over. Yeah? But it's a good song, we dance to it. Well you can dance somewhere else, it's my TV time. After these messages, we'll be right back. With the all new Wii U, this is how you will play next. Play next. No, take that, you look so cool.
Awesome. Yeah, looks like a scam. What? A scam? Huh? Ugh, you don't know what a scam is, Caillou. I know what a scam is, you little prick. How's the system a scam, Daddy? Because any device where you take it on the go requires batteries. Batteries that run out very fast. Like this controller here, you put batteries in it, and it just drains and drains and drains over and over. Until before you know it, you want to watch sports, but can't. You then have to go all the way over and press the TV buttons, but then if you don't have TV buttons because those stupid modern displays don't have modern buttons, and then you go and put batteries in from the store, and then you waste and waste money, and you want to watch sports, but then can't because two stupid boys start nagging over cookie jars and shit and it's just making me mad. Daddy, Daddy sit not calm down. Wait, what? Woof, oh, sorry about that, not sure what happened there. What were we saying again? Oh, that's right, you're not getting that game console. We've already have had three episode scenarios in which we get a console somehow, from either theft or scam. Then the console gets destroyed, and then Caillou, every time, gets grounded. And the last episode, that involved getting the Xbox 360, took place just three months ago before today. So no, you guys are not getting a console. Just play on your goddamn computer. PC gaming as we know it is the best. Which is why you're watching this video right now. Now, with that out of the way, I'm going to make some breakfast, Pennsylvania pork mush preferably. Then I'll watch sports in an hour. No fair. I really wish we could get that. If only we knew somebody who had that. Who's that? Yo yo guys. It's me, Mom, Little, Little Bill. Bill. Wow, it's been a long time since we last saw you. Yeah, my dad is doing a conference at the Go City Hall today. So I'm in Go City for about three days. I brought something you guys mind like. It's a new Wii U I got for my birthday last week. You wanna play it with me? Yes. Oh yeah. Yay, yay, yay. Dude, this Spider-Man gameplay is awesome. Yeah, the graphics look so real. I feel like I'm really in Philly. New York. Philadelphia oh, doesn't have big buildings like New York, dummy. Oh, go play with traffic. Actually, can I play some more? Well, in a minute, when I'm done this mission. You've been playing for 10 minutes, Bill. I wanna play. Well, it's my console. Just be patient, Caillou. Hey, give no, it back. screw your patience. This is my house. I wanna play. Spider's gonna fall. Here, let me try. No, give hey. it, you baby baldy. It's my system, not yours. Hey, you want your what system. are you doing? Here, fetch. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, 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 You stupid idiot, can you, you just trade my game console. I am calling my daddy. Is it Bill's a lawyer? You're not calling shit. Ah, hey, put me down. Put me down, Caillou. Oh no, no, no. Oh shit, I didn't mean to throw him over there. Quick, the kitchen's gonna burn. Oh fire. That scalpel smells good, though it smells like black at the moment. Oh my dear god, the stove is burning, I gotta get a towel. Someone, help me. Who the fuck is that? Oh my dear god, little Bill, is that you? Cough cough, I cough, gotta get, cough, Bill, out, cough, of, cough here. Ouch, fucking shit. Little Bill, cough cough. Is too cough hot. I got a cough. Get out of here. Go city fire department. Oh dear lord, there's a boy on the ground. Cough cough cough. Ugh. Young boy, are you all right? I'm not a boy. I'm 19 years old. Hey, am I in heaven? Are you St. Peter? Get the kid outside, he seems delirious. What? I'm not crazy. I saw you praying, I thought you were St. Peter. Hum, what's this? Hum, the result of bad parenting. You never put a towel over a normal fire. How on earth did my Scrapple get burned? I've cooked Scrapple for over 25 years and have never had it once catch fire and burn my kitchen. It was that stupid little Bill. He threw his game system at the stove and it knocked over your Scrapple. Caillou, get yo, your yo, yo. off my That's arm. a fucking lie. Little Bill, you made it out alive, but how? Simple, black don't crack. 
Also, Mr. Anderson, somebody put a towel over the fire which caused the fire to spread. Do you know who did that? Um, hum, hum, mom, 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 mom. Uh, it was me. And Caillou threw my game console at Boris's hot pan. Boris wasn't in the room though. Boris, how could you knowingly leave your pan unintended? And Caillou, how could you throw Little Bill's game console at the pan which caused the fire? You two knowingly endangered multiple people here. We are getting the police to arrest you. Yeah, we are at the fire and it was caused by the two people who live here, Caillou and Boris Anderson. There. I got let off scot-free when I shot all those pigs a few months back but now I get in for leaving a pan on the stove. What horrible luck. Just so you know, my son was not horribly injured but his system cost him $300. His minor injuries cost $1,000 to fix. You owe us $1,300. We understand Mr. Cosby. Go fuck yourselves you dumb crackers. Well this is funny, seems like the last time I got off scot-free. Hey, Cody, actually, little Bill, Cody, has something to tell you. I have what to tell Bill. Tell you, he's a shit go back to. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying what? Bill's a dumb and should go back to Africa. The fuck you just say to me? Oh shit. <laughs> hey, Daddy. What is it, Caillou? I'm trying to watch Galaxy Quest. I found out what I want to be when I grow up. Hum, let me guess, a race car driver so you can finally crash- No 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 no, that's too easy for me to do. I want to be an astronaut. I can fly a very big rocket ship into space with lots of people and finally fly to Mars. <laughs> Wait, you're actually serious? Yeah, of course I'm serious. Why do you laugh at me? Caillou, you can dream all you want, but the reality is, you will never ever become an astronaut. An astronaut has worked well with other people to complete the mission, and you are not good at working with others at all. Also, you'd have to go to special college to do that, which costs money, money that we don't have and will not spend for you. Lastly, you have to be under 6 feet tall in height to be an astronaut, and in our family's genetics, we are all exactly 6 feet tall or a bit taller, so that makes you too tall. You can dream all you want, but the reality is, you are too tall, the reality is, you are too dumb, the reality is, you will not be an astronaut, but you can be like those race car drivers who are rowdy and chew tobacco and beat their wives when they get home, something you'd be good at, or, maybe, work at Mickey D's. Oh, would you like fries with that? <laughs> An astronaut, what a goofy goo bird. Reality, I f***ing hate reality. Reality is poopy and stinky like race car driver chewing tobacco. I want to be an astronaut, or at least some kind of space suit person when I grow up. Why is that hard? Why is life so hard? Reality is bad you say. Who, who said that? That would be the kid. The, uh, fisherman. Hello Mr. Fisherman, I don't want to talk right now, I'm upset at my stupid daddy. I understand well son. You're mad because you want to be an astronaut. And your mean old daddy doesn't want you to do that. But I know a way you can. Really? You can make me an astronaut? Why yes, I can make you an astronaut and take down big bad aliens with ease. Really, make your whole life at ease. Or, I could make your life exactly the same as it is now, but a body part of yours will be the size of a rocket. You can do one of those two things by taking one of these pills. Pills? But, my mommy said I shouldn't take pills from strangers. Oh whoa, well, okay, then just listen to your stinking mommy, who is probably like your stupid father and doesn't want your life to change for the better. Do what you want then. No no, I, I'll take the pills. Very well. But like I said, you can only take one. Taking two might lead you to massive destruction. And I can't be blamed for that. To reclarify, the red pill can take you into a whole new vision of the world, refer to as the matrix, you will still live in your world, but see everything as a whole new light. The blue pill, your view of the world will stay the same, but a body part of yours will grow very large. Large like a rocket. Make your choice, now. No, not that. So, you have chosen the red pill. A very bold, but wise choice for some. You are obviously somebody who wants change, and not the status quo. Yeah, so, when do I feel change happen? Is it just me, or did that tree just disappear? Whoa, what's happening? I think my time is done then. 
Welcome to the Matrix. What's happening? What in God's name? Hey there, Caillou. What's up? Who are you? Get away from me. Who am I? You know who I am. I'm your friend. I just wanted to play with you. Get away from me, you creepy monster. Hey, what the... You wanna throw punches? I'll throw punches. Here, bitch. Oh my god. Oh, if... Right back at you. Oh no. Caillou, you're crushing my head. What's wrong with you? I can't breathe. Someone help. Caillou, why are you crushing Leo? He's dying. Crush Caillou. Crush Caillou. Die Caillou. Die Caillou. Oh my god. Your hair. It's smoke. Die you fire lady. I got just the two for you. My trusty fire hose, eat yellow water fire hose. Well, I'm melting. Oh my god, I'm all covered in disgusting urine. Why are you doing this, Caillou? You're sick. That's him, officer. My crazed friend. Stop right there, little boy. What? Boing, 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 boing. We taste so good, Caillou. Eat us. Lick us. Yummy. What the? Suspect is down and out. Over. Huh. I need some fresh air. This TV shit is boring. Nothing but reruns of Survivor and Steve Irwin. God, I still can't believe Caillou wanted to be an astronaut. So funny. Daddy. Is that you? Someone called me daddy. Oh no. People still call me that. I called you that. And who might you be? I'm a nobody. A man who was off the radar. I can't travel anywhere. But possibly you can. I heard you say your son can't be an astronaut. He told me that as well. Oh my god. Listen. Just don't listen to anything he says. He can just get emotional is all. Oh no. I understand. You seem like a simple man. Status quo man. Like many. You had children and never wanted kids. Let's say, I have a way so you can never have kids again. Hum, no kids you say, that sounds interesting. What do you propose? Oh it's simple really. This blue pill here. Wait a minute, are you sure? This isn't something I have to pay for each month later on is it? Nope. The one time payment of taking my offer. I assure you. You will never, ever, have kids again. You won't even want to think about having kids. Hum, hmm, sounds reasonable enough. I'll take it. Well, thanks for trusting me. Now I need to run before the cops find me. He he with hot dog. Well, that was strange. What the? Oh my god. I feel like I just, I feel really good, but rather woozy. Oh wow wow. Oh wow wow. What the? Oh wow 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 wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh My dear god. My dear god. It's not even midnight yet. Maybe if I wait for hours, it will go back. Someone call a doctor. It's been more than four hours. Oh my dear god. Won't anybody get help rather than just gawking at my junk? Boris. Boris is that you? Oh god. Say a dear kite. Please look away. Did you take Lawrence Fishburne's blue pill? I don't know who Lawrence Fishburne is, but I assume he's the black guy right? Yes, I took his pill he offered me. Oh jeez, that was a bad idea. He only gives away pills that are old and when he's running from the cops and doesn't have new stock ready. He a lot of times moves from place to place. He used to be a captain with the CSI squad people but got fired for killing some creep in cold blood. I never did his drugs but knew of him in the old neighborhood of mine. Anyway, I have a cell phone I just got on me. A new Nokia phone. I'll ring 911. Okay, we'll have this fixed in a jiffy. Oh thank you so much. This isn't going to hurt is it? Yes, it is. Very much. <laughs> Well, I hope you both now realize that taking drugs from strangers is a bad idea. You never ever know what you may get and whether or not they were intended to harm you or not. I'm surprised Boris has never seen Ronald Reagan or Michael Jordan say not to do drugs. Caillou, do you have something to say to your friends? I'm sorry Leo and Clementine for crushing you and giving you a golden shower from me doing drugs. It's all cool man. If only I had a real golden shower, I'd be rich. 
Well, I'll tell you all who won't be rich at all, but in prison and paying hundreds of fines. Lawrence Fishburne. How did they find him in time to arrest him? Simple, the dumb criminal goes back to the scene of his many crimes. He tried to lure other kids on his product. Kids are always the most influenced. It's sad, really. So I tip the police on where to find him. As they say, the fish always swim with their flock. Congrats to Sea Die Kite for saving the day. Yo, 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 it's me, Mr. Cooney. A, in the house. Coming at you, AI fellas. Today is a very special day. You know what it is? It's the 17th anniversary of the day everything PC Gaming went to Washington, D.C. Also, the day that he tried Lay's Baked Chips for the first time. This video is NOT sponsored by Lay's Baked Chips. Cody, get off your high horse and come downstairs. Hold up, guys. Who on earth is that? Oh, it's just you, Dad. I keep forgetting your voice changed to an old man once you turned 57. Takes some getting used to. Oh ha ha ha, very funny. Anyway, do you know what day it is today? Yes, I do. I do very much. A day that was very special for you. Yes, it was indeed. For me, and your mother. The day Lay's Baked Chips was tried out by our Lord and Savior. The best potato chip of all time. No, that's not it. Do you seriously not know what day it is today? I, uh, hum um, um. No, I don't. Oh jeez, oh jeez Cody. You are in a heap of trouble. A whole trucking heap. Oh no, I, I have to be a truck driver. I have to do those jobs where you drive around and have no fun. No, Cody. Far, far worse. Something better than everybody experiences once a year. Follow me. Oh no, not another poke. I hate those poke dots. I still get a tea from the last time I got one. Oh no no no. Only people who voted blue did that. No this is something every single human being goes through in life. Gaga, gulp, what is it? Come on in Cody. Face your fear like a male. Okay, here I go. Oh my freaking god. I actually have my birthday celebrated still. This is awesome. Yes. And better yet, the mayor of Philadelphia forgives you on that Super Bowl disaster. He feels that the Eagles deserve to lose due to them being toxic. So you're no longer banned in Philly? But, unfortunately, as with every person, you are getting older, so you can no longer be the kid you once were. Hopefully you will grow up now. Okay everybody, let's sing happy birthday now. Ready? Okay, now blow out the candles and make a wish. Um, I can't really. The candle's not lit. What? Oh, Caillou, you were supposed to light the candle for Cody. I gave you one job, young man. Okay, okay. I'm uh, I'll get the lighter. Oh dear, that boy. Well, man ain't right. I'm an 82-year-old man and even I could come back faster. I'll get it if that dumb boy can't. I got it. I got the lighter. I saved the day. Of course you did. Now just light the dang thing. Okay, okay. Kilo? You retoed. That's a flame floor. A what? I got burnt buttercream icing in my eyes. Yum. I love well done cake. Don't you? Whoa. The Extreme Heat Ball 3000. This costs probably $100. It has a supersonic scope on it and flings up to 3,000 feet. Yeah, I remember back in my day, my pop park got me a red driver to be big. So I figured you should get today's pop new one. Did you really get the kid out of it? Thanks, Grandpa. And sorry about ending you a few years back briefly. No problem. It was kind of free to see my ancestors up in the early days. Thank God for that great plan. You got one more gift, buddy. Oh, my word. A Nintendo Switch. I can finally play games in the school bus and at lunchtime. Thanks, Mom, Dad, and Rosie. Also, me and Dad actually made you something, Mom. I think you'll love it. For me? Oh, you didn't need to get me anything. It's not my birthday. Well, as a late Mother's Day gift, me and Dad got you something you really
really enjoy. Oh, Mother's Day isn't a present holiday. It's nothing, really. But I'll see your gift. Here, let me get it from my room. Why did you feel the need to give me something? You know we only do birthdays and Christmas. Oh, believe me. Cody fixed up this gift real nice for you. Fixed? Oh, wow. Here, Americana ooh, patriotic style one. wrapping paper. You're special. This ought to be good. Or truck man. What happened? Nothing. The camera just stopped working. The battery is empty for some reason. I just charged this piece of crap. Well, I guess we need to live this one in the moment. Open the gift, Mom. Okay, okay. Let's see what the fuss is all about. It's probably not. Oh my. Oh my god. Is that really? Oh my god. It's my grandmother. With a grandmother. All these years, the painting from 1920. And it's still in beautiful shape. You can thank Cody with his Photoshop skills. He used the money he made from YouTube streaming to buy the latest version of Photoshop and digitally paint in every damaged part. I have no idea about any of the Photoshop stuff, but that truly does look well done. That's okay. That's why we have the younger generation help us with stuff like that. I got to get this on it right away. Yep, yeah, and I can get this freaking old 2000s camera charged up. The batteries suck on this thing. Just kiss. Thank you so much, dear. You're much more mature than your older egghead screwball of a brother. I'll help you hang it up somewhere good. And I'll help line it up properly. The ghost seems clear. I never understood that. Why do I say the ghost is clear? Ghosts are invisible. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. A. In. Dino 64. Wait, no. Intent to which. Whoa, whoa, what's this? Extreme Paintball 3000. Wow, but I always wanted a paintball. Pew pew, pew 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 pew. Ugh, oh, I wonder how this thing really fires. Boom. Pop. Snack. Crackle. Zinga. Haha. Take that Mario and Luigi. Eat purple tomato sauce. Haha. That was fun. Now I'll clean the fake off. I gotta get out of here. Well, hopefully the battery can charge for an hour for sure. At least I can take a picture with my Canon PowerShot SX1. Haven't used it since 2016. Let's get a good shot. What on what earth? The Nintendo it Switch. Like it's on fire. Oh no, the Switch. It's up in flames. Is everything good? okay? Yeah, for now. Not sure how that happened. Probably Chinese made. Oh my god. What happened to the painting? Oh my god. No. That was my only memory of my great-great-grandmother. It's... it's covered in purple paint. And I know exactly who did it. Hey Lou, get down here this instant. Stop hiding under your freaking covers. I know you're in your room. You were sent up there earlier. Okay dad, I'm coming. So, is everyone having a happy birthday? No, we're not. Do you care to explain what happened here? Um, come on, I'm on them. I saw that cool paintball that Cody got for his birthday and decided to practice a bit with it because I always wanted one. And then banged the switch. I'm sorry, and I know what you're going to say. I'm rounded, rounded, rounded. No. That's not what we were going to say. You were going to do the opposite of grounded. You're moving out. Actually, I do change my mind. You do get one push a mint day. Squirting 20-year-old Heinz ketchup on you. Oh no 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 no. Bug, that was nasty. Alright, well I'll go up to my room now. Nope. You're still moving out. Everyone, it is 2 o'clock. Time for us to do crafts and fun stuff. Miss Carrington. Hum, some little bald guy is raising his hand. Miss Carrington. Yes, Kalu. Can I go to the bathroom, please? Well, I guess you may, as every student has bodily functions once in a while. So yes, you may use the bathroom. But make sure you are back in time to do crafts and fun stuff. Okay. Ouch! <laughs>
Uh, Got to cry you. Oops. Sorry, Leo. I hate being stressed. Oh yay! That poop sure came out fat! Yuck, it stinks really bad in here. It smells like five Big Macs being left out on table for two days. Oh hey door! Yay! That was on me! Glad you like the smell! I don't like the smell. I hate that. I gotta go out. Yuck. I'm not going to the bathroom in that. Oh, I drank so much soda. I got to let go of it. Wait a minute. I could just use the girls' bathroom. It's pretty much the same as the boys. Right? Yeah. I'll use the backwards bathroom. Wow. This place is awesome. The girls' room even has a music radio in it. I'm going to play the song I sing with Teddy. What the huh? A boy, you're not supposed to be in here. I'm telling the principal. Wait, wait, no. Don't tell. Please. Come on in. Principal Jackie. Yes, Miss Karen. What seems to be the issue? I was going to the girls' bathroom when I saw that bald yellow shirt boy. He also leaked all over the toilet. Hum, really? Well, let's see what happened. I gotta wipe this up before the print. Uh-oh. Caillou, do you care to explain why you are in this particular bathroom? I, uh, hum, mum, mum, mum. I, I didn't want to go in the boys' room because it smelled stinky and was messy. Well, I understand your reasoning, but you can only go in the bathroom that's right for you. Next time, if you see something stinky in the boys' room, then come tell your teacher or tell me. That way we can get the 40-year-old janitor to come clean up the mess, understand? Yes. Just one question. What's that? Can the boys' room get a radio too? Sorry, no can do. Those darn budget cuts. Why are we standing outside ready to get in the family car? Well, do you know what day it is today? I know it's a day off from school. Yeah, 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 no stinky math and reading. Do you know what else is today, other than a day off? I know it's hot as hell out here. Probably 200 degrees. Kalu, do not say the word hell. That is a bad word. Well, don't call me Kalu, cause that's not my name. I'm Caillou, Caillou, I'm Caillou. That's me. Well, we didn't have to hear your annoying theme song, but fine. I won't call you Kalu. Just don't say hell. Anyway, today is Memorial Day, and we will be heading to the Memorial Day Parade that's happening downtown. We all have to be on our best behavior, and respect the fallen soldiers, that risked their lives fighting for our country, so that we could live that way we do now, with patriotism, and no fear for what the next day brings. Well, if you want to see soldiers falling, I could take my soldier toys and throw them on the ground like dominoes. Caillou, we are not joking about soldier toys falling like dominoes. We are talking about soldiers that... <laughs> Your neighbor Mr. Hinkle was in the military. Let me go get him. Oh, he thinks of me as a joke, huh? I'll show him. Hey Caillou, come sit on daddy's lap. You're not my... Oh, ho, I was just kidding. But come here, so I hear you think talking about soldiers just dominoes falling on the ground. That world is just a big game. Let me tell you something, boy. Imagine if your best friend Leo went away forever, tomorrow. How would that make you feel? Well, not too bad cause I don't really like him anymore. I only like my teddy bear. Oh god, Fruity. Well, let's say your teddy bear went away forever. How would that make you feel? Oh, horrible. I couldn't imagine losing teddy. That would be like a sword going through me. Exactly. Well, imagine you're in war, and you have 20 friends like your teddy. They all go away forever fighting to keep the USA safe for all. And you have no choice to leave war. You have to fight and fight until either your side wins the war, or both countries fighting find neutral ground. Meaning they both agree to stop. That's what today is about. Today is about honoring the soldiers who risked their lives and gave up their rights to serve in uniform to help keep our country safe and for society to live on. I was in the war. I lost friends of mine that I grew up with who served in NAM back in the 60s. Many say the war is useless, and whether that's true or not, it put a hold on everyone involved. Do you understand now, Caillou? Yes, I do. God bless our soldiers. That boy. Thanks for your insight, Mr. Hinkle. 
Would you like to join us in going to the downtown parade? It's starting in one hour. Oh no, thank you, Doris. I'm going to later today show the historical society my old M1 grand. This beauty right here. Oh my god! Oh well, hey, thing. don't do that out here! <laughs> grand thumb, I can't believe it. I gotta get you P.S. I mean, the meat wagon. No, the emo lands. Well, that was a wild moment, though, I don't think I'll be eating any hot dogs for a bit today. Let's get up out of here. Here we are fam, at the Memorial Day to honor our troops and heroes. What a lovely day it is today. Sniff sniff, I smell hot dogs. Yay, Rosie, more hot dog. Here you go Kai, you all give you $10 to get you and your sister a hot dog from the hot dog stand. No freaking way, all by myself. Awesome. Yeah, no problem. I feel you're old enough seeing how it's 2004 and you're going to turn 10 years old in 2 months. I think the hot dog stand is the way we came. Over there. Attention everyone. The parade will start in 6 minutes. Do not touch tanks and other parade marchers. Anyway, enjoy the show. And God bless our heroes. Whoa, they have tanks here. That's super awesome, man. I want to ride one. Don't be stupid, my son. You're not old enough to drive a tank. You need to be a military officer to drive one. Ian, he was just saying he wants to drive one. He was just imagining. Yeah, no need to be a jerk about it. Even I let my kids imagine stuff. Hey green bombing sweater guy, how about you let me do my parenting? I'm clearly better at it than you. Wait, what's that? A British person thinking he's better than an American? Oh wow, where I've heard that one before. Oh yeah, when you guys tried to take our country and failed. As well as taking our people's land and failed. This is rather absurd. What does me being a Brit have to do with anything? Oh ho, hello Govna, Pip Pip Chario, rather stupid this one, better question, why is your son having a simple imagination or dream somehow bad to you? Because kids are stupid, that's why, they are whiny stupid crybabies who deserve no love. Dad, you, don't love us, you say we deserve no love? See what I mean, whiny crybabies, I was right. No, you're not right. You just embarrassed your kids and exposed yourself as the worst father of the whole country. Does anyone else care about what this anti-United States quote-unquote man has to say? Raise your hand if you want him to leave. Hey there Tubby. Me and my sis want a hot dog with mustard. No ketchup. Oh, what the a kid? That will be eight dollars. Here's the paper rude fatty. Here you go. God bless America. Oh, um, I hope Satan spits on your food and you jump to teeth. Thanks a lot, Tubby. Ew, this hot dog tastes like dirty diapers. It doesn't even taste like a hot dog, you tubby monster. I want a refund. That hot dog is made of tofu, you dummy. Serve you right for calling me Tubby. And you don't get a refund, kid. We're gonna sign next time. No, refunds. GRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRRR
but I was trying to save a day. But you should have let the professional soldiers deal with it, and you did a bad thing too by littering that hot dog. You are out of my hands on this one. Come with us, kid. You are going to the big ten for now. Well, Mr. Anderson, after reviewing the reports, finding that no one was seriously bumped down, and that you're only nine years old, I have decided that you are not guilty. Really? Yes. However, you will receive a slap on the wrist. Ow. Case dismissed. Well, I hope you learned, Caillou, that you should never litter. It will just come back to bite you in the butt later on. Yes, Daddy. Now walk home and go to your room. You are grounded, grounded, grounded until everything PC Gaming's views go up. Wah 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 I am so bored. There's nothing fun to do in this crap shack. I know, I will break mommy's vase that she doesn't care about anymore. Or so my stupid head thinks so. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha hoo hoo. The stupid flowery vase from 20 years ago. No one cares about you stupid vase. Prepare for your almighty doom. Caillou, what on earth was that noise? Oh my god! Caillou, why is my mother's face on the ground all shattered into a thousand pieces? Um, hum mum 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 mum. Mommy. Uh, excuse me you didn't answer me young man, you just trailed off. I, I thought it'd be funny to break the vase in a thousand pieces because I was bored and had nothing to do. I'm sorry. Caillou, you stupid ball child. How could you be so heartless? That was my mother's face I bought 20 years ago when I met Boris. It was special to me since she died last year. Go to your room. You are grounded 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 for 100 years. And I will destroy your teddy bear. No. Don't destroy it, Teddy. He's my favorite friend. Why 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 Now go to bed, Caillou. Good morning everybody. Do you know what today is? Yes, Leo. The last day of school. Summer vacation here we come. Settle down everyone. Yes, indeed. It is the last day of kindergarten. And most of you will be leaving four hours early today. But first, I will give out a very cool thing. A basketball. A toy set to play fire with. Chuck E. Cheese Pizza. Ricky TJ and Caillou. How many times have I told you all to raise your hands? No. None of those things will be given to you. Shut your god dang mouth up and let me finish talking. No. What you will be given is these on the board over here. These here are the behavior selection cards. These I have handcrafted to show how great, average or bad you have been this year. What the card color means is a surprise. The first child to come up is Kair. Hello there, Kair. How good, average, or bad do you think you've been? Uh, I guess okay. I don't know. Well, you get the green card. Grab the green card off of the board, please. Okay. Now, please show the class what the card says on the back. Yay! Good job, Kali. Thanks, Clementine. Okay, you can take a seat on the happy rug. The next student to come up is Samantha. Well, Samantha, how good do you think you've been this year? Very good. I've been to school every day except two days where I was sick. Very well. Well, you get the white card. Please take the card off the board. Please show us what the back of the card says. Very good. Okay, Samantha, you can now take a seat on the colorful rug with Kalul. Okay, the next person to come up is TJ. So TJ, how good do you think you've been this year? I think pretty good. I've spoken up a few times in class when I shouldn't have and played a prank or two with Caillou, but that's all. Other than that I've done my homework every night. Okay then. Well TJ, you get the black card. Please take it. No problem. 
Oh dear, here we go. Well, ah, uh, thank you for your, ah, uh, heated presentation. Again. Now, how about you flip over the card? What the? Is this Chinese or Spanish? Hat, uh, head, I come, it, what's it? You're reading it upside down, you want to turn it right side up. Oh, sorry, what the? <coughs> oh, wow, hey, that's not fair. I just make heated stuff for fun, not to arm. I try to use it for good too. Well, it's gotten out of hand. Go and sit on the rough red rug. Ouch. This rug is itchy. Next person up is Ricky. So, Ricky, how do you think you've been this year? Awesome. I do great in gym class. The gym teacher says I shoot basketballs great. Oh, well, that's great. But I meant in my class. Oh, good, I guess. Hum, well, you get the blue card. Please take the blue card. Okay, hold on. Wait, where are you going? I shoot, I score. Oh shoot. Very nice performance. But don't ever do that again. Anyway, flip your freaking card over. What the? Egg-shaped head. Wait, me. I have an egg-shaped head. Hey. That's not very really nice. Your name is Miss Carrington, not Miss Meanington. Oh, it's just a joke. I'm just being funny. But he gets the blue card cause his head shape makes people sad. Like a stinky rotten egg. Oh, don't cry, Ricky. You didn't do anything wrong. You just have a big head. Go and sit on the colorful rug. I'm okay. I guess that's okay. Next person to come up is Emma. Okay, Emma, do you think you've been a good girl this year? Yes. I do. I have come to school every day except one because my sugar was low. Very well. Well, you get the purple card. Come up and take the purple card. Show the class what the card says. It says, uh, I am a Chinese girl? No, I am Chinese. No, no, no. You're supposed to read it right this. Ah ha ha. Emma Chini girl from China. She gets purple because she a diabetes girl from Chini who likes pomegranates. Oh, wow. Miss Carrington, that's not very really nice. Oh, Clementine, just shut your mouth. That's two times you've said I'm not being nice. One more and you won't get a good card. Oh, my God. I, I, I was just saying that was sincere. That does it. Emma, go sit on the colorful rug. Um, yes, Miss Carrington. Okay, next up, Leo. Okay, Leo, how do you think you've done this year? Pretty okay. I haven't played as many pranks as Kai, you, or TJ, but I have backed my butt up. Yes, I am aware. Take off the orange card, Leo. Yes. Oh, ho, me, Alex, Leo, grabbing me gold. Nice backflip, man. Thanks, man. Hey, Lou, raise your hand when you talk. Anyway, read the card, Leo. Flip it over. Okay. Wait, what the? It, it says, I get orange, because I'm, uh, I can't read it. A ginger bleep. That's what it says. And you are. That's horrible. Nobody talks to my friend like that. Okay, Leo, go sit on the colorful rug. No, no, I'm not going to sit on any rug. I don't feel like being raped like this. You sit on the colorful rug right this instant, mister. No way, Jose. Fine, you want to be difficult, then you park yourself on the red rock then. I don't know what park yourself means, but I'm not going to sit on that either. I'm sitting right here. Everybody sit down. Okay, Leo, you want to be difficult, then you get to go to the office. On your last day of school, how you like them apples, go there this instant. Whatever you say, Miss Quote on Quote Carrington. Okay, now, I was going to have Clementine come up and receive her card, but I'm going to make some changes first. Take this, and show it. And destroy this old thing. And now let's make a few changes to the bottom here. Done. Okay, both Clementine and Caillou, get your butts up here now. So Clementine and Caillou, how good do you think you've been this year? Well, I think we and Kai. I don't care. This is how I think of you guys. What? What? I, I got the red card, but I've been good all year long. Yes, until just five minutes ago, you actually defended Caillou. Caillou has been the worst boy I've ever had in my class. He flooded the school, went in the girls' bathroom and... 
was bad on the first day of school. You are just as bad as Caillou. You are failed like him. You do not ever, ever make Clementine cry. How dare you? You are the worst teacher we've ever had. Miss Martin was ten times better than you. We don't like you, Miss Carrington. I agree with Caillou. Me too. Me three. Claw, class, sit down now, and sit down. I am a teacher. You're being very mean, Miss Carrington, and we won't stand for it. No. You shut your bald mouth up. You have been my worst student. You have made me change my view of children as a whole. I hate all of you. And it's all because of you. No, 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 no. Stop this right now, Miss Carrington. Jackie? I thought you were leaving early to go on vacation. Yes, I was, but after you brought Leo into my office, he told me you were apparently rating the students not on their behavior, but their personality and likeness. Who does that? This was the one card Miss Carrington did of Kai, you and your daughter. What's that say? TJ, back on the red rug this instant. Oh my word. You actually had the audacity to say that about Clementine and Caillou. And Caillou is on the floor like that. Yes. I did. Because K.A.I.U. has made my life and living pale. The fact he flooded the school. The fact I had to work overtime on days to file reports on him. The fact that you and your daughter keep defending him. It just makes me. It makes me so freaking mad. That I have to stand for this and not do any real old fashioned discipline to these kids. You. You're the real problem, Jackie. I will destroy you all, and nobody will know of it. Not on my watch. What do you Caillou, now. I can't believe it. She's actually gone. She got crazy over us. Particularly over build up rage. And she had to be stopped. She let her emotions get the best of her. So she tried to go after all of us. And it all got saved by TJ for this special ability. Fighting fire with fire. The only time that was acceptable. Right Miss Nugent? I guess so. I guess. The lessons to be learned is that a special ability or talent is good only when used at the right time. And to never judge others or have a bias. I'm going to make some calls. But I believe that TJ is our school's hero. Big round of applause for TJ. Caillou and TJ. We are very proud of you guys for saving the school from the evil clutches of Miss Quote Unquote Carrington. You are now officially ungrounded for one a week. Where would you like to go? Where do you want to go today? Taco Bell. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Oh man. Oh no. did it this time. What was that sound? Huh. My god that smells horrid. Smells like a hundred year old body. Oh my god. What did you do? Caillou, what on earth did you do? I guess I had a bit of a taco explosion. Caillou, how dare you have a taco explosion? That's it. You are grounded 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 for the whole summer. Well, I was the one who wanted to come to Taco Bell. So I should be the one who gets grounded. And it was a natural accident. I didn't even use my superpowers. Well, I can't ground you. You're not my son. Well, okay Caillou, I guess you're grounded for a day. That way your stomach can rest. I thought I was ungrounded for a week. Then, I guess you're now ungrounded for six days. You can do anything you want starting the day after tomorrow. Deal? Deal. Hey kids, today, we are going somewhere very cool. Oh, ew, ew, ew. is it Chuck E. Cheese Pizza? Is it the merry-go-round ride? No, no, not Chuck E. Cheese Pizza or a merry-go-round ride. We are all going to the movies. Yay, 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 yay. We going to the movies. Barney's Great Adventure, here I come. Rosie don't want to see Barney. Rosie see Godzilla. Eat yuck, Rosie. Godzilla stinks like slimy baby poop. Mommy and Daddy aren't taking us there. Well, actually, Caillou, we are going to see Godzilla. We're going to see it because it's a remake of a movie from 40 years ago, when your grandpa and grandma were little. 
All that's crap. I don't want to see a old crap movie. I want to see Barney's Great Adventure. Well, that's too bad Caillou, you can either see Godzilla, or, you can stay home here and I'll have Grandpa come and look after you. Your choice boy oh. Wait, I got an idea, how about we make a vote? That's only fair. Anybody who wants to go see Godzilla, raise their hand. <laughs> Anybody who wants to see Barney's Great Adventure, raise your hand. It's 3 to 1, let's go. I guess I'll call Grandpa to look after Caillou while we have fun. No, 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 Daddy. I'll come. Ugh, this is so stinky. I want to see Barney, not Godzilla. Maybe I can find a way to make Mommy and Daddy not go to the stinky movie. Calm down back there, Rosie. We'll get to the movies. Hey, Mommy and Daddy, can we get pizza before we go to the movies? No, we will eat the food they serve at the movie theater. People eat popcorn and chocolate-covered raisins at a movie. They don't eat pizza. This isn't some sort of movie tavern. Would be cool if such place existed. Hee <laughs> hee. Ugh, well that didn't work. Hey, whoa, look at that. Huh, police. I could try and get police to come to the movie theater and stop the movie from being played. Yeah, the police might be at the theater. I'll ask a policeman to rest the movie guy. Okay all, here we are, the movie theater. Ah, we got here just in time, right before the big crowd. <laughs> Oh man, oh yeah, time to crush Oh my god, I'm yeah, about to fall. Lizard. Excuse me. You guys cut in line. We don't accept any line cutters. You now have to wait five minutes before getting accepted to buy your ticket. And also, Godzilla is not a lizard. Please wait at the corner of the theater or leave the premises. You folks in the back can step right up. Man, that's freaking bogus, man. What a stupid little time that nerd has in his face is ugly too. Wow, I gotta say, that was pretty amazing that you guys stand your ground against cutters. I admire you guys. Oh yes, we at GoGo -Go Theaters don't take crap from boozers and pushers. We didn't push you guys. Four minutes. Hot hot. Move. Anyway. How can I help you find people today? Four tickets for Godzilla. Alright then, two adults, two kids. That will be $20 exactly. Okay, $120. Here's your tickets, folks. Enjoy your time at GoGo -Go Theater. Thank you, sir. Come along, everybody. Step right up, folks. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, what's that? Me, me. Holy me. there. What's up, little guy? Do you need help getting to your movie? No, I'm not little. But, are you a policeman? You look like one. I want you to arrest the stupid guy who is playing the Godzilla movie. He's playing a bad movie for bad people. He should be arrested. Oh, no, no. No, I'm not a policeman. But I do look like one with the blue clothing. No, but I'm sorry, but I can't arrest the guy playing the movie. He's my boss. I get in trouble. You wouldn't want me getting in trouble now, would you? I don't care if you get in trouble. You need to stop the Godzilla movie. It's a bad movie. I want you to play Barney's Great Adventure for us. You will care if you can't get in trouble. You get your ass over with us. Sorry about my son, no guys. Problem. We are all young at some age. Caillou, if you run off one more time or do something bad, you will get the strike. Nine strikes and you will be grounded. Got it. Okay, Daddy. Okay, folks. Do you all got your tickets? Yes, we do. Here you go. Thank you all. Enjoy your show. Thank you, Miss. Godzilla, here we come. Um, X, excuse me. Are you a police lady? Um. And now, our feature presentation. Ugh, I don't want to see this crap movie. I want to see Barney's Great Adventure. If only there was a way to make people watch Barney's Great Adventure. Wait a minute. I remember when Daddy wanted Policeman to come. He pressed 911 into phone. And they came. That's it. I'll go to a phone and press 911. Ooh, looks like Caillou actually is excited to see the movie. Huh? Uh, no. I need to go pee. Yeah. What, Caillou? We just were out in the hall getting popcorn two minutes ago. You should have pee then. Hold it in. Shut the fuck up! What? Don't tell me to shut the fuck up. I'm talking to my son, you bratty teenager. You don't talk down to your elders. Quiet! Huh. <sighs> Fucking degenerate losers. Okay, you better hurry the fuck up, Caillou. Huh. <sighs> this bathroom smells like a Boston subway. 
Okay, come on, hurry up and pull your pants down. Um, I no longer have to go. Sorry. What the hell? Huh, <sighs> fucking bald prick. Well, I guess I'll go a bit. I wonder if there's a phone here? A telephone. Yay. Let me climb this up. Wah wah whoa. Oh no. Ow. Wah 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 wah. That hurt. Try again. Insert coin? What's it? Insert coin and how do I get it? Uh, I shouldn't have drank all that mellow yellow. Now I got to make my own batch in the toilet. Excuse me, ma'am. Hut. Wait. Oh my god, kid. I don't think that's safe. I'm sorry. I just was trying to make a phone call to my, uh, grandma. My daddy, uh, wanted her to come to the theater with us. Oh, okay. Well, very good. Your grandma will probably love this movie. Wait, huh? What is it? Do you have an insert coin? Uh, in fart coin. What's in fart coin? I got a quarter you can use. But not in fart coin. Here. Thank you. Oh god, I'm going to explode. Hello, 911. It's me, Caillou. There's a bad guy in the movie theater playing Godzilla. He's a bad monster who's ugly and destroys stuff. You need to get out and rest the stupid guy. Bye. Yay, no more Godzilla. Well, watch it, you jerk. Oh, great parenting with your bald child. He's yours, right? Letting him fart out coins? How can you make your child eat coins as food? Who do you think you're talking to? I don't make my son eat coins. Go fuck yourself, you jerk. What the fuck was that all about? M M M M M M M M fart coins. I love farts. Hey, move your big head, green sweater guy. Go eat shit, bloody ginger. You what? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Don't get mad, boys. Just remain calm. Um, okay. Um, so, why was there a guy who said he was farting out coins? Oh, uh, coins? Oh, the insert coin. I put an insert coin in the phone booth. You put a coin in the phone booth? Why? Oh, uh, well, you see. Okay, okay. We got here as fast as we could. Where's the green monster at? Green Monster? You mean Godzilla? Are you seriously that dumb? It's only the most advertised movie this year. You didn't see that Taco Bell ad with the Jaws reference for this film? If anybody's dumb then it's you green sweater guy. For once I want to get away from taking care of my son TJ and I go out to this film only for you to open your stupid mouth. You wanna throw hands Ginger? Nobody's throwing hands on my watch. We got a call from what sounded like a four or five year old child about arresting the movie guy. Anybody here four years old? That bald yellow shirt kid is. Who hey, there's a bald yellow shirt kid in here too like me? Wow. Caillou, how dare you waste everyone's time here and almost cause the movie to be ruined. That's it. You have received your first strike. You will get a small punishment. Go and wait out in the lobby. Wah 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 wah. I hate Godzilla. Can we get the green sweater stupid father bard as well? There will be no such need for that. If he causes any more trouble then he will be barred as well. For now, I think the movie staff can go on with the film. I'll be going now. Ooh, this is a good part. When Godzilla first comes out of the water. I saw this three days ago. Then there's the one part where Godzilla nearly steps on a cameraman. Oh, thank you. Take my spot and you ruin the ending. Okay, I'll see myself out. Man, I can't be in the theater and eat popcorn with Mommy, Daddy and Rosie. My life just sucks, and the people are watching that crappy stinky poopy green slimy monster Godzilla. Nobody should see that, huh? What's that? Pro, jet, or, room. I've never heard of that before, I wonder what's in here. Whoa, it's a camera, just like daddy has. Well, Godzilla's hand, it's lifelike. Whoa, is that Barney? I don't know what this is, but it has Barney on it. I love it. Hey, maybe this goes on where this thing is. Oh darn, the city got destroyed that fast. <laughs> well then, here we go. Rode him! <laughs> if Barney what the? This isn't Godzilla. This is some kid's film. Barney's Great Adventure. I did it. I stopped Godzilla. 
Barney's great adventure, get this fruity shit off of here. I agree with Green Sweater Guy for once. I didn't pay for this. Nor did I. None of us did. Turn this off now. What's all that commotion again? What on earth? This isn't supposed to be on this theater. Hey, you. You're not supposed to be in here, nor in the theater as well. Oh, thank God. Don't have to endure any more fruity crap. I found a little troublemaker who caused a movie to change. Mr. Green Sweater Guy's son. Caillou, you were supposed to wait in the hall. How on earth did he change the movie on his own? That's it. You get your second strike. One more and you get grounded. I say get rid of the green sweater guy as well. Him and his son are two big troublemakers. I second that. I can't believe I stuck up for the stupid buke sweater guy. Throw him out. 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 Well, I think the people have spoken. Come along green sweater sir. You're coming with me. And you won't be refund your ticket. Um, Daddy? Caillou, don't talk to me. I'm very angry right now. Why are you very angry right now? I said don't talk to me, and to answer your question you shouldn't have asked. I'm angry cause you got us kicked out of the theater for ruining everyone's time. That was a very stupid thing to do. I just wanted to play Barney's Great Adventure because it was the movie I wanted to watch. Yes, but Barney's Great Adventure was already playing in the other theater room, and our family and the other people paid to watch Godzilla, not some stupid cheap Barney movie. Not everybody likes that same things you do. Other people have other things called interests. Interests are things that people like. Everyone is different. I like PB&J. You hate PB&J. I like watching sports. You hate watching sports. You like Barney and Chuck E. Cheese. Other people may like Godzilla and Peter Piper Pizza. Understand? Yes, Daddy. Good. Yeah. I've been sitting too long on this floor. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Dang. My foot is numb. Ouch. Oh, if. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta move around. Get this numb mess away. Okay, I'm going to walk around the theater for five minutes then come back here and we'll wait until Mommy and Rosie are done watching the picture. Do not, and I seriously mean, do not, walk away from this area. You've gotten us in enough trouble today. I'm dead. Fucking serious. Got it. Okay, Daddy. I get it. Sit back down. Okay, okay. Sheesh. I feel bad. I made everyone angry in the theater. I just wanted people to have fun. Not be upset. There has to be a way to make everyone happy again. Maybe I can give everyone in the theater a present? A gift. Like on my birthday. Yeah. Then no one will be angry anymore. I'll find them a gift. Whoa. What's that? Was that there an hour ago? Is it straight from yet? Up somewhat. It looks like it may be slightly leaning forward. Slightly. It's practically bumping against me. It will need to get the flat form and mouth is to it. Come on, I'll get the four post and you follow me there. Whoa, that thing is very big and scary. It's perfect. I could give this statue to the movie theater people, but how will I bring it? It's like a gazillion pounds more than me, maybe. I could climb up this. Whoa, this is shaky. Go, go, go. Whoa. I'm really high up. Hey, what's it look like in here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 Ow. Where? Where am I? Whoa. This looks so cool. It looks like a computer. Like mommy and daddy have at home. Um, I wonder if it has that Windows 95 on it. What's this big cool red button do? No. Everything's shaking. In God's green earth. Hey, that's the hallway where Daddy is. And there's Daddy on the TV. Hi, Daddy. Hey there, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Hey, there, Daddy. Did that just say, hey there? Hey there, Daddy? Mom, this thing moves when I press these buttons. Oh my god. Wow. No surround sound is next level. That's no surround sound. Look. Get away from there, Harry. Don't hurt me, no, no, no. Whoa, whoa, I'm losing balance. 
Thank the Lord I survived. Serves you right, Mr. Annoying Red Haired Guy. Now to reveal the culprit behind all of this. Just as I thought, Caillou, I told you to stay in the hallway and not move, and what you do, you move away from the area and cause trouble, you've really done it this time young man. I'm sorry daddy, I felt bad about changing the movie, so I wanted to give everyone a present, give them this big Godzilla from the lobby, I was trying to be nice. You were trying to be nice, but you ruined our time to the movies, you just take a whole lot of trouble. Yeah boy is right, you cause nothing but trouble. All should be escorted out of here. You hear that, Caillou? The teenagers over there want you out of here. No, I'm sure what Elias meant is that we want your son, and you as well bring Sweater Guy out of the theater. Forever. You're a bad parent and caused your child to feel bad, and then he just went overboard. You all should be banned from the theater. Don't you tell me to get out of here, kid. You're not the authority of me. No, they're not the authority of you here, but we are. Particularly me. I'm the head manager of this theater. And you have caused nothing but grief to everybody here today. You are hereby banned from the GoGo Theater for 10 years. And if you guys decide to come back here between now and 9 years and 364 days, you will be charged with criminal trespassing. Please come with me. Now. As for everyone else here, your tickets will all be refunded back to you and you will get $100 compensation for any troubles on you. Uck, what the? Did I hear something about free money? Well, he's definitely getting 100,000. Absolutely. Caillou, I can't believe you could cause so much mischief. All we wanted to do was have some quality time together. But like many times, you had to make today all about you. The moral of today is that you can't always get what you want and that the world does not revolve around you. Even if your name is in the title and if you have a stupid theme song of your own, you are now grounded, grounded, grounded for three months. That means no watching Barney, no Barney themed birthday party. And when the VHS for Barney's Great Adventure comes out, we will burn it right near you. Now go to your room and don't come out until three months are up. Yay! Saturday morning. Time to watch some TV. Hey kids! Do you like Rice Krispie treats? Yes, I do. Well, too bad. Cause this is not about Rice Krispies. And it's copyrighted so we cannot show them. But, I got something better. Introducing! Posts, Fruity Pebbles, King Slice, Candy Bar, by Frankfurt. This new King Bar will fuel you kiddies up for the day, so you can be big and strong like this man. Hi there everyone, my name's Jeremy, and after eating the Fruity Pebbles King Size Bar, I can take out bad guys, like this guy who's robbing an old baby. No, not my purse, someone help. I'll save you mom, stop right there Tubby. What? No. I'll take that, my hero. That cheap. Ouch. With fruity pebbles, you can be a mighty hero too. Buy one at your local supermarket. Oh my goodness, I seriously need to get one of those. I'm going to ask mom mom to get me one. Ugh. This coffee is two days old. I need to fill some more up. Who the hell left this old stankyish in here? Oh my god. We don't even have any more coffee? Hey mom mom. Can we go to the store today? Yes, I saw we can go I to wanted. the store. Because some bleeping idiot did not restock the coffee like he should have. Um, mommy, who are you talking to? Oh sorry Rosie, I was just venting out my anger. We all gotta do that sometime. But anyway, Kalo, Cody. Come down please, Caillou and Cody. Come downstairs. What is it mom? I was playing Team Fortress 2. And I was building Roblox. We're going to all head to the store and get stuff because we don't have any coffee in the house and barely any cereal. And when we get home I'm going to smack your dad up his face for not getting the coffee refilled. I saw the best thing on television. TV. Who watches TV anymore except for that cool cookie jar TV intro? Oh oh ho cookie jar TV. <laughs> cookie jar TV. TV. Anyway, I saw they have a new Fruity Pebbles cereal bar. I asked mom to go to the store for it. Wait. What? That's why we're going to the store? To get a Fruity Pebbles bar? It's not a. It will make us all strong and stuff. What are you all waiting for? I need my caffeine and I'm getting very antsy. Up, coming Okay, mommy. mommy. We're coming. Wait, I forgot my new bag grandma got me. Now I'm all ready. 
Hi you, that bag's more fruity than fruity bubbles. Shut up, Cody. Oh my god, there it is. Okay, I just need to pick up cereal and some coffee and I think we should be good. Yo dad should be back from his work trip tomorrow. So I'll have enough coffee when he gets back. Mom mom, mom mom. What is it Rosie? That's the bar. That's the fruity bar I wanted. Let's get it before someone else gets it. Fruity bar? Oh my. That is big. Wow, that could feed, like, a lot of people. All of us. I want it too. How much is it? Oh my god. Ten dollars. And the sugar. My god, the sugar. There's 200 grams of sugar in this. Let's get it. Yeah. Totally. No. Wait, what did you say, mommy? I said no. We're not getting the Flintstones fruity bar. Why not, mom, mom? I said I wanted the fruity bar at the kitchen. Oh, well, sorry. I must not have heard you. If I knew that, I would have not gone to the store and brought you. You can't have the bar, because it's too expensive. And it's too sugary. You can, however, get this. Honey Nut Cheerios. A very nutritious cereal that can lower cholesterol. I don't want Honey Nut Cheerios. It tastes bland. We are not getting fruity pebbles. We can either get Cheerios, or we can get dry prunes for all you guys. The bad out of town has made me very stressful. Don't make me scream like a fat bitch. Now, if we're done messing around... Let's get back to shopping. Well, looks like we can't get that bar. Maybe in a few years when we're older. It's not fair. Why can't I have this awesome bar that can make me strong like the commercial says? Wait a minute. Caillou has that new bag that Grandma got him for his birthday. Maybe I could stuff the fruity bar into his bag. Oh wait, stores have those security cameras. They would see me putting this in the bag, unless the lights were off, so the security cameras won't work good. Yeah, that could work. Rosie, you're not getting that stupid bar. Stop sulking about it. And who are you talking to? I'm not talking to anybody. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. The bathroom is in the back if you need to go. Not right near the Flintstones fruity bar. Okay, thank you mom mom. Ah, uh, here's the bathroom, and there's the camera room. Wait, what does that say below restroom? Uck, I can never understand Braille. Uck, come to think of it, I need to use the bathroom. Teddy boy, Teddy boy, you're a baby Teddy boy. Shut the hell up Cody. Yo, do not say the word hell Caillou. You're in a public store. But Bumpy keeps teasing me. Well, you shouldn't have brought that stinking teddy bag with you. It basically makes you a big target. What the? Oh my god. Oh my god. The lights. Um. Are out. Oh my god. How did I do that? Where's. Where's the bag? Ouch. Ouch. What? Oh no. Ah. Stranger danger. Ugh. Tell you. Okay, okay, everyone calm down. Let me get the lights back on. Uh, what happened? The lights went out. Thanks, Captain Obvious. How did they go out? I'm not sure, but it would appear like it was deliberate. Like someone was trying to cause a scene. Probably just a harmless prankster. But even harmless pranks can turn ugly when escalated. Wow, it worked. Didn't no, think I put worked. it in. Oh, nothing. Hey, did anyone see what happened? No, the lights just went out. They just bumped me. I didn't bump you, stupid. You bumped me. Oh, put the hat in it. I have a hat, stupid. You mean put a sock in it. I just went to the bathroom and the lights went out. The clerk said it might have been a prank. Hum. Okay then. Good. So everyone's good, right? Rosie? You good? Yes. I'm great. Okay then. Well, let's purchase our food I got. My card's by the register. Woof. Good thing we're not in trouble. 1025 is your change. Thank you very much. What the heck happened? No way. Somebody stole something. Yes, Cody, you are indeed correct. Does anyone want to empty their pockets? I didn't take anything. Me either. Me three. Doris, you want to empty your pocket? How dare you? I'm not emptying my pocket because I didn't steal anything. What about that for bag on the ground? Who's that, Caillou's? Wait, what? I didn't steal anything. Well, let's take a look.
What, what, what? I didn't put that in there. Caillou, I can't believe you. How could you do something like this? I didn't, Mom. I didn't. I swear to God I don't know who put it in there. I'm very disappointed too, Caillou. Especially since you were the one who helped me get this store and always knew that stealing was bad. I swear I didn't do it. I don't know who's making me look bad. Well, at the moment, it's you who looks bad. Way to go, stupid idiot brother. I'm not an idiot. I didn't steal. Why would I want this stupid Fruity Pebbles bar? Rosie was the one who wanted it bad, not me. Maybe you put it in my bag. You kept making fun of me. Maybe you wanted me to look bad. Why would I deflect on something so stupid? It's not the bag that's the problem. It's the Fruity Pebbles bar. Why would I give a shit about the bag? That's it. I've had it. You are all grounded. What? what? Don't worry. I will get you back the money by tomorrow. And I will make sure that somebody of my kids will come forward. Now, all of you, get in the car this instant. You are all grounded, grounded, grounded for one week. Wah, 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 wah. Wah. Well, see ya. Um, thanks. Bye. Hum. Something's fishy about all this. What on earth? How the hell did this get here? Now all you, troublemakers, go to your rooms. Why did I, I steal, steal anything? Nothing. I'm six stupid years mommy old. Being stupid. How can I steal I don't anything steal that fast? Anymore. How about this Rosie so and Caillou? Ah, now, I can finally relax. And have my date with Destiny. Ugh, not that creepy Destiny. Oh, Bo, you are my colorful sunrise to the day. And Dora, you are my smooth to the day. And Betsy, what are you doing in my dream? Oh, nothing, Dora. Just smooth grooving. Take a chill pill. Okay, then. Ah oh, ha 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 ha. You look so funny. You look like an orange juice explosion. Oh yeah, aha, uh -huh. looks like, you all, had too much, to smoke. I'm taking you all in. Oh yeah. Oh get out of here, the pinky winky piggy wiggy. We already shot the sheriff. Hang up. But you didn't shoot the deputy too. Doris Anderson. You are under arrest for shoplifting. Shoplifting? Aw, oh, Suki Suki. What's cracking all? Oh. The jig is up, Doris. We know it was you who stole the stuff. No. Don't arrest Mommy. It wasn't Mommy who did it. I'll admit. It was me. I stole the stuff. Don't worry, Rosie. We'll get to you. No, no, no. Get to her. I want to hear what she says. How about we have the clerk tell how it went? Yeah, the nice friendly clerk who once got framed for stealing who I helped a few months back to later get his job. Well, thank you, Caillou. Kiss up. So it all started about two days ago. I was manning the counter to watch the usual fat slobs make a mess eating our $2 dogs. Which I recommend you guys buy from us. Aw oh man, that really hit the spot. Yum yum. Have a good day. Come back again soon. Uh, greasy pigs. Then, I heard a loud egg. What a new places. What the? Some stranger shot the security camera. The handle of the door was shot too. And someone turned off my security system. The police swapped the fingerprints used to turn off the camera. And when the prints have a chemical sprayed on them, they turn orange. And when we checked the security footage, we could just barely see the culprit. They were a blur on camera, but wearing red. And lastly, I noticed a coffee can was knocked off a shelf like someone tried to steal one. One like this. But, how does this proof who stole the fruity bar? Very simple. The evidence swab that we took of the fingerprints turned orange from applying the evidence dye on them. And they only turn orange from one kind of person. Gingers. Aha. Uh -huh. I knew Rosie did it. You're going to be grounded for a long long time young lady. And pay back the store for damages. Wait, I thought you said Caillou did it. Itty was in his bag. Yeah oh, well, duh. Me, baby, that brother. was before. Everyone hold on. As we know. The figure was wearing red. Has Rosie ever worn red before? No. I haven't. All of us have actually worn the same clothes our whole life. Not me. 
So it was. Shut up. Here's the answer right here. What Hair dye removal. No. Get that off me. What the fucking shit? Mommy's a ginger. This whole time. Mommy's been Ron Weasley all these years. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Mommy looks like a leprechaun. Oh shut the fuck up Caillou. Yes. I'm a fucking ginger leprechaun Ron Weasley knock off. Happy now. I mean. Wasn't it obvious? Does anyone not know about genetics? All these years we could have been matching daughters. Honey I am not wearing baby blue I'm sorry. Why did you do it Doris? The hair or the crime? Maybe both. Well, to get the elephant of the room out, the hair was because I was always teased as a young girl for looking as a leprechaun as my dumb bald prick son said, and the crime was because for the past week, my dumbass husband hasn't gotten coffee stock like I asked him to. He's been on a work trip so we haven't gotten paid yet, so, I devised a plan. The other day, I was watching Wheel of Fortune. When I noticed a commercial for that Flintstones candy bar, I couldn't believe how ridiculously sized and cheesy the ad was. My god, the amount of sugar in that. Did that say it makes people gay? I went back to the kitchen to get my daily cup of evening coffee, when I noticed. That freaking idiot didn't get any more coffee. At this point, I didn't know what to do. We only have $10 in the house, and we don't have any more money in the bank. And I don't own a credit card. I need coffee. Then, I realized my husband owns a selection of guns. So I figure. Hmm, maybe I could rob a place for coffee, then I think. No, they would have cameras. And I don't have a balakava either, but then I figure I could sneak in the back of the store, shoot the camera in back and disable the cameras inside. Yeah, that's a great idea future Doris. Wait, why'd I say future Doris? Never mind. Hee hee hoo ha ha. What the? Where's a? Where's a freaking silenced pistol? My idiot husband doesn't have a silenced pistol? Is he out of his mind? So I take what looks and seems like the least scariest gun. I run three miles from our house to the back of the store. And fire six shots on the camera. I figured the car wouldn't hear the sounds due to the back being a brick wall. Then I floored it into the back door. Pressed off on the computer. Then went to get coffee. But then I heard the clerk coming. What's that noise? Over here? Oh no. What's that? What the? Coffee? Hop? Hey, the camera room is open. So I figured the cameras would be off for a good amount of time. And ran home. But needed a plan to steal the stuff next time so no person would see me go back in the camera room. I figured that Fruity Pebbles bar would have enough fuel to get me through the day. So I wanted that along with my coffee, but never wanted the kids to have it, cause it would make them crazy and overly hyper. So I decided whoever wanted it bad, I would be defined to the point that they'd steal it. Who that person would be, I was unsure. Then this morning, I saw Rosie really want the fruity bar from seeing her face glued to the TV. I then realized, she would be the victim. So I ran back to the kitchen, filled up the coffee maker with dirty dream water, and pretended like I was mad about there being no coffee like I was two days ago. And how you that bag that bag that grandma gave them for Christmas three months ago. So I figured we'd take that, and I could stuff the coffee cans in that, with the fruity bar. Eat the fruity bar, then return the wrapper and blame the kid who wanted the bar for stealing the fruity bar and get my energy for the day. Whilst keeping the coffee cans, due to them not being as noticeable gone as the one fruity bars. But it was all ruined. Due to that. Stupid fucking alarm. Yes. The anti-shoplift 3000. An invisible alarm that detects unscanned item. And, the brick was fake plastic brick that thumps when an object hits it. So, was this all worth it Mrs. Anderson? No. It wasn't. I'm sorry everyone. I'm a horrible mother. Wow. That was crazy. But I gotta say, that <laughs> was epic mom. <laughs> Wait, really? But she shoplifted and blamed you guys. No we know. It's pretty manipulative and sad that she would blame us. But the fact that she made out a plan like that and actually shot daddy's guns well is pretty epic. So, I guess, we're all good and off the hook, right? Of course not. You still committed a crime. Doris, you will go to jail for two weeks for vandalism and attempted theft. And Rosie, we know that you also anticipated on stealing the candy bar, so we're disappointed in you too. But I didn't actually turn the lights out. Mommy did. I was just going to. We know, but be this as a lesson not to do what your mommy did. Hello wall, I'm back from my work trip. Uh oh, who got arrested in the neighborhood? Doris, what on earth? 
Juju, ginger hair, cops, oh god. Oh, 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 oh. where's my coffee at Boris? You can get me coffee. I want my coffee. I need my coffee, I need my coffee, give me my coffee. Coffee, 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 coffee. You stupid idiot husband make me mad and crazy. Doris need coffee, Doris need comfy. Yeah. So, remind me again, where are we going again? We're going to too many games. I can't wait to see James Rolfe. And who exactly is James Rolfe? And why is this called Too Many Games? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory, Dad. It's called Too Many Games because, duh, there's too many games. Games from like the early 1980s for sale to the mid-2000s. And you can also play okay, but games who? in the video yeah. game room. I saw a video that everything PC gaming put out from last time. Okay, but who? Is this James Rolfe guy? Oh. He's going to take you back to the past. Oh my god, this guy seems awesome. He seems just my type. Okay guys, let's go. I want to take a diarrhea dump along with AVGN. So am I driving over toward here or go on this ramp here? This doesn't look like Philly to me. Oh my god, so much traffic i just want to see avgn get out of the way hey, now Dad, we're oh that's wow that's a nice looking house. house can we go there what no don't distract me what's this some garden place this ain't the expo a no, dentist Dad, office where the f is it over here are you sure why is it so hidden back here oh, okay yeah, is this it is this the expo yeah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. we finally Too made many it games and look at that next to our car the ghostbusters Ectomobile. Yeah. Finally, though, I gotta say, this looks nothing like Philadelphia. Why call it the Philadelphia Expo when it's in? What's this? Oaks, Pennsylvania. Looks like a small village. Who cares? Let's just get inside. So, where do we go first? Oh my fucking god. What is it, Dad? Amazed at all the cosplay you're seeing? No, I'm amazed at the horrid smell in here. Smells like old Doritos and three-day body odor. Ugh. Well, at least I'll get to meet the amazing dog who real shooting nerd the boys showed me. Whoa, look at the Star Wars cosplays. Hey man, can we take your picture? Oh sure, little bro. Thanks. Thanks so much. Well, maybe people actually are friendly here. I'd expect these people to be kind of moany. Are you guys in line to get your guest pass? Wait, our what? No, we were about to head into the room with the booths. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to go and get your guest passes in order to enter the showroom. If you just enter and go to your right, you'll see the peg warmers guy with the glasses. Guest passes? You guys didn't say we needed guest passes. Oh, uh, yeah. We forgot to mention you then. It's just center the showroom where James will be in the game arcade. This better not cost me much. Let's go and get our guest passes. Ugh, that fat guy smells like he hasn't showered since 1989. Is where we get the passes. Final boss, VIP, what the hell does that mean? Do I actually get to take out a final boss and get a million dollars? Let's see how this all works. Hello there guys, what can I do for you? Hi, uh, my sons and the guy in the hall said this is where you get the passes, so what's the VIP pass and what's the cheapest? Okay, so the passes you get look like this. Look like what? I don't see anything. Oh silly me, you got to work hard. Zoom in. What? Oh, okay. Now I see. Wow. Tiny little things. So, uh, how much are they? Well, uh, the three-day pass is $90 for the whole weekend for the show. And for a one-day pass to see the show. On Friday and Saturday, it's $60. $60 $60 $60 $60 What the fuck?! Sir, sir, please don't hurt me. I, I, I'm just a messenger. It's our friend of Hunter. She made the price like that. Oh yeah, I believe that, making society harder and harder for everyone. Um, excuse me, is everything alright here? Yeah, it will be alright. We don't have to buy anything else. Okay, just calm down, Boris. 
Yes, everything is all good. I just had a panic attack. We're all good now. Okay, Wolf. I almost thought we had another quiz can moment. Three guest passes for today, that's $180. That's $180? And here are your passes. Thank you. Okay then, let's go see the nerd. Oh, I hope that guy isn't worse than Chris Chan. Ha 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 ha. Look at the furry guy. Ooh, what's that over there? Yeah, sure is some freaky people around here. Oh, never mind. It's just the magic the gallery. Whoa, Pokemon. Guys, guys, don't run. Calm down. Yeah. So much neon colored hair. I feel like I'm in a 1980s dance club, but instead of attractive girls, there's big greasy apes. Booga, booga. Yes. Hello again, Kieran. Did you get the collection poster to hang up to draw people in? Booga, 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 booga. Kieran, you idiot. That's part of Bob's collection. That could get us all in serious trouble. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, fire! Yes, fire, yes. Fire. fire, fire. Now we will never speak of this again. You hear? Ugh, time to sit my ass back down. Oof, what a day. I had to walk like a block from the entrance to here and I already am hungry. What? Customers? A oh god, I actually have to socialize. Now, just calm down, Kieran. Hello there, little kitties. What do you want? Hi there, can I have one of your Pokemon game card passes? Hum, let me ask you a question to pass the bridge to the Jangra Collection Paradise, and I shall let you in. What is the exact line that the angry video game nerd says in episode 6, the Back to the Future episode at the 10 second mark? Um, I'd rather scrape the bottom of the road to just going to play this game. No, wrong. You did not pass the test. So in turn, your Gander plushie will be two times the price. What? That is so unfair. It doesn't say anywhere that I need to answer a dumb question. Ah, uh, well that's too bad. Cause I'm one of the higher up people who runs this place. Maybe I shall have you escorted out of hey, this place for making me feel bad. This guy Big Justin is ripping us off. He's making us pay two times the price of a gander plush. A what? What? A gander plush. You know, those squishy things in the shape of characters. Gander's a Pokemon character. I wanted one for my gaming desk. So it would go perfect with my green screen. I said, I mean you said we weren't buying anything Cody. I know, but just this one thing, I promise. What? Uh, uh, okay, bot, can you go away, you caveman, and stop staring at me? It's really fucking weird. Booga, booga. Okay, how much is a gander plushie? Well, it was originally $10, but it's not $20 since your son got the trivia question wrong. Take it or leave it. Not sure why you have to be so smug, but here's $20. Okay then, thank you then. Ugh, where's it at? Oh, here we go. Here you go, kitty. Jinger. Thanks a lot. Wait. Cody, hold that up. Okay, here. Take the pick with me holding it. Oh my god, Cody, put it down. What is it? You disgusting creep. There's white spots on it. White spots? What do you mean? Don't play dumb with me. Cody, go to the bathroom and wash your hands good. Why? Do it. Okay. How low can you go? This whole collection reeks of ass, but seriously, that... I don't know what you're talking about. Give me a refund, now. I don't think you understand how powerful I am. Powerful. You don't even look like you can walk a block. I, well, that, doesn't, even matter here. I make YouTube videos. I can make a video about you. I can send a video to the police. Fans love me. ABG and you'd be nothing without me. Mark my words, big man. Your days are severely numbered. Yeah, and mark my words, I'm going to, get you. Don't walk away from me. Oh. Oh man, those five feet really are much. My god, this place is such a cesspool. It literally smells like the bottom of a trash can. There's literal white spots on plushies, and everything is priced to hell. Look at this, even pizza cost money, $60 just to get in and you have to pay more for food and stinking plushies. The $60 should cover food. Wait, is that the nerd? Maybe my day is going to be good after all. I can finally have a chat with the diarrhea dumper himself. $60 to get photo with Mario voice actor? Is this guy stuck in 1995? He's not relevant anymore. That's pathetic. But the nerd, surely he's more relevant now. Who? What? Where? What? 
Who the fuck is this? Uh -huh. Oh my god, I oh, love yeah. that world. Oh yeah, that's nice. Sounds good. Oh wow. Whoa, uh -huh. whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, did you hear uh, okay. about my books that amazing. I came out with? Fuck yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, sounds good. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. Sounds good. Oh wow. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Uh, -huh. oh, okay. Uh, okay. Sounds amazing. Fuck yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, sounds good. I got my book. Wait, you're James Rolfe. The nerd? I figured you'd be a actual nerd. You aren't even wearing a white buttoned shirt. Oh, uh-huh. Hey there, yep. I'm James Rolfe the nerd. Hey, I'm talking with my bud the fucking nerd right now. Go back to the back of the line and wait your fucking turn. I'm a better person than you. Therefore, I still get to talk with James. Thank you. Don't you raise your voice at me, you little piss ant. I don't care if you think you or James are a better person than me. All I now know that you are just a sad little man with an inflated ego who wants to support a bunch of other fakes with inflated egos willfully spending a ridiculous amount of cash. I'm out of this greasy waste bin of a place. Hey dude, do you know who this guy is? This is James fucking Rolf. He's a more important person than that Cheeto president we used to have. Even more than our president now. And I'll have you know oh my god, just talking. shut the fuck up. My god, are you still talking? You can shove it up your ass. James is the best fucking YouTube channel of all time. And anyone who thinks he's not the best is a poop person with poop opinions. Oh, hi there, Boris. Boris? Ah, shit. I guess he's on a mission. I'm getting my kids out of here. I've had enough. Where the fuck are they? Hey, leave us alone. We just wanted to know how to play the game. Ha 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 ha. How can you be so dumb and not know how to play Tetris? That's like the most easiest game to play. I know how to play, I just don't know how to get back to me. Oh, this is Ridge. I gotta get this on my phone. Hey, gamers. So I'm here at Kuzmeta Games, and we have a cute ball guy here who doesn't know how to play Tetris. Everyone comment below and comment when you first knew how to play. I have hammered! Bully my son, huh? Well, I'll do better than that. I'll bulldoze your ass. What the fuck? Oh my god, what's happening? Damn, this guy is heavier than a tank. Ugh, oh my god, is it Opal? Oh no. Not so fucking full of yourself now, huh? Oh shut up you green vomit hoodie guy. Do you know what you have done? You have destroyed screen wave. And dad, the cops are here. Oh shit, hey, look, I know I did bad, look, please don't arrest me, I was just trying to protect my sons here, I was, huh? Justin Silverman, roll over for me please. Okay officer, can I have a juice box and a thing of insulin? No, but you have the right to remain silent. You are under arrest for the possession and distribution of cheese pizza. Cheese pizza? Is he in custody yet? Oh, okay good. Why, what's going on? We've been actively monitoring Mr. Silverman, and we've gotten tips about him hoarding in big amounts of cheese pizza. Which of course is a very wrong thing to have. And any evidence that people think that he had was either destroyed or non-existent. But now when you came in bull, dosing through his stand, we uncovered two to three year old pizza. Oh my good god, I thought he was a big degenerate but never thought he was that bad. Yeah, we just thought he was a rude and obnoxious person. I guess you cannot tell what some people's intentions truly are. Exactly. They could be an evil person even though others may look up or defend said person. Sorry about that, that was just the governor on the phone. Now about you guys. You did bulldoze through the expo and possibly ran into people. But because you did a real good thing today, we'll let you off today. Hey, you're just gonna let these pricks off the hook? Who the fuck are you? I don't know who you are but I'm Pat fucking Contra. You better get your I basically am me. Nintendo other than James Rolf. I'm not going to let you just get away with letting these pricks Last get away. I'm going to get your badge number. What is your badge number, by the way, you ugly you ape like it. <laughs> For the main video, here's a quick short. Okay, let's try Katie to get out of here Max. fast Katie and make this quick. I want to get the chores done at home. Katie no, Caillou. We are not candy, getting candy. 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 We are getting candy, food. Candy over there. No candy, Caillou. Daddy funny. Daddy not funny. Daddy serious. Me want candy. No candy kite you. Seriously. <coughs> Can you please stop crying and Belgium?
feature presentation. Hey kids, today we are going somewhere cool and fun. So, where do you think we are going to today? Chuck E. Cheese Pizza? No, not that. Somewhere that doesn't smell like body odor. That too. Pizza Tiger Pizza? No, it's not pizza related. We've had enough greasy hair pizza. Today, we are all going to the fair. Which has lots of rides, games and food as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rosie loves the fair. Yeah, the fair's good. Yeah. You okay, Caillou? Yeah, just, some rides scare me, is all. Ha <laughs> ha, can you baby? Can you baby? Rosie, bad girl, don't make fun of your brother. So, sorry daddy. Good girl. But yeah, we are going to the fair, and as you see, me and your dad actually changed into some summer clothing apart from our warm sweater and blouse clothing. Did you notice? I did. I figured you and daddy were trying not to look like old people. Caillou, huh. watch your mouth. I still so got the energy to Caillou. whack you upside your bald head. I was just kidding. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, just remember. If you get three strikes, you will be grounded. So try to be good. And also, today is a day where we will try new things. So try to have an open mind, which means to try and be happy to try new things. It's been a while since both of you were at a carnival. Okay? Okay, okay mommy. Okay then. Let's go. Here we are fam, what wonderful weather, and the fresh fair smell. Oh my, what a lovely sight out here. Everyone looks like they are having a great time. It's very blurry out. I want to go on the big car arena. Ah uh, okay. You mean the ferris wheel? That big thing? Yeah that's what's called a ferris wheel. Uh uh maybe we should go on the merry-go-round first. Get used to that then the ferris wheel. Oh come on Caillou, there's nothing to worry about. You'll be safe and sound in the ferris wheel. Daddy will hold you. I will? I mean, oh, yeah. No problem, Caillou. You'll be safe and sound with Super Daddy. Um, thanks, Daddy. Ferris wheel, Ferris wheel, Rosie, Ferris Rosie. Wheel. I go to Slow Ferris down. Wheel. Rosie, don't walk off yet. We need to buy a ticket first. I want to go to Ferris wheel. Rosie, don't ever back talk to Mommy or Daddy. That's it. You get one strike. And like with Caillou, if you get two more, then you are grounded, young lady. Mommy, mommy mean. Wow, Rosie's in trouble. This is amazing. Don't you start to, Caillou. Sweetie, I don't want to be mean, but you have to know you can't run off from me. There are lots of strangers here, and I don't want you going away from me forever. Understand? Yes, I understand. And Caillou, if you laugh at your sister or do something bad again, you will receive your first strike. Understand? Yes, mommy. Good. So folks, how can I help you us this evening? We'll take about 40 tickets. Okay, that will be $10, please. I got it. Here. Here's your tickets. Thank you. Thank you very Have much, a sir. good night. Come you on, too. come on. Let's go to the big wheel. Okay, Damn, here we the go gal is determined. The big wheel. I want to go on the big wheel. Ah, well, hello there, honey. Are you tall enough to ride this? Huh? What? You see that picture board behind you. What? Oh, wow. That boy is cute. Well, I guess he is handsome, but do you know what that means? No, what? In order to write this wheel, you have to be as tall as a boy. I am, I'm not tall like him. Rosie, I told you not to run from me, but you did it anyway. And I told you not to talk to strangers. You get a second strike. You should get a third, but I'll let you off a warning. What? I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, too, I'm sorry, too. I've been chanting with her without your permission. You're fine. I know you're an employee. I'm just trying to discipline her to be careful. You know kids can it be wild and have wild imagination. Mommy, I'm sorry. Can I still ride with you? I'm sorry, honey, but I don't think you're tall enough. Well, actually, if you don't mind me interfering, the child actually has to stand on the bucket here. Rosie, you might actually get to ride the wheel after all. Stand on that bucket, honey. Perfect fit, honey. Awesome. You get to ride Rosie. Yay, 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 yay. Let's all go, go, go. Oops. I forgot. Me Here wait. Here girl, Rosie. Now we can all go on. I'm sorry, but only three people can go on a car. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Can we ride separately? Yes, that's all good. And it will be three tickets per person. Here you go. Thank you. You can now go in one of the three bottle cards. 
Thank you, sir. Come on, Rosie. We'll go in this part together. And I promise I won't yell anymore if you promise to be good. Okay? Okay. Okay, Caillou. Now I know Mommy said I'd hold you. But I figure since you're almost six now, that you don't need me holding you. Also, it's a bit fruity, okay? You're not going to hold me, but but, but I might fall and I don't want to fall. Wah, 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 wah. Caillou, stop crying like a baby. You see this bar here? It will protect us. You're not going to fall out unless you purposely pull off the bar. Um, hum, 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 hum. Okay. Good, let's go. Wow, look at the sights. This is amazing, isn't it, Caillou? We're so high up. I want off. Get me off, Daddy. Yeah, <sighs> we'll be off in three minutes, Caillou. Just try to enjoy the sights. No, get me off. Get me off. I'm scared. I will fall. Caillou, stop at this instant. Get me off, off, off. Make me get off fast. Get me off. Hey, what's going on? Get me off. I want uh -oh. to get off fast. Like the kid wants to go off fast. Let me make the right go faster than let him off. Why are we going so fast? I want off. Get me off. Not faster. Get Caillou, this off. the bar is Get protecting us. Don't let me off. Caillou, oh, I'm no. Oh God. Why? 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 Boris. Boris. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh Boris, no. Not like this. What the? Oh God. My head, that dang metal plate. Oh my god. What a miracle. Caillou, I told you, don't pull that bar off, or else you will fall. Yes, Daddy. That was dumb of me. Oh my god, are you guys okay? I couldn't believe my eyes. You guys seem to have survived without any problem. Yeah, I'm okay. Good thing my head broke my fall. My work installed a metal plate in me as an option instead of a yearly bonus. Comes handy in times like this. Anderson logic. Well, well, that's a relief. But, I do have to ask you guys for twice as many tickets as you gave me, for wasting the other guests' time. They deserve a one-third refund. Fucking god dang shit, Caillou. Here, take the sponge. Thank you. Well, stay safe. Great job, Caillou. Now we only have enough tickets for two more rides, asshole. Okay, Caillou, for making me fall of the Ferris wheel, you have received your first strike. Your mommy and Rosie are going on the merry-go-round, while you and me are going on this scary roller coaster. I want you to face our fear, and this coaster has bars that are secure. Oh man, this is gonna be scary. I really don't want to do this. How can I get out of this? I got it. I could find a way to turn the coaster on really fast, and go really fast and face my fear fast. Yeah, that's it. Oh yeah. Caillou, what are you throwing your hands up for? Oh, I was just excited on going on the ride. That's all. Hum, you look like you were scheming there, but whatever. Hey all, the ride is now back on track. Come on through. Six tickets each. Oh, uh, ooh, six tickets? Do we got that much? Let me see. Ah uh, good, we got just the amount. See Caillou, we're more secure, in these seats. Yeah, this, will be fun. Now I need to find a way to reach that lever. Huck, oof, huck, oof. Caillou, what are you doing? Oh, I was, just feeling, the wind in my hair. Oh, okay, well don't feel the wind, in your hair yet, and you don't even have hair because you're a cancer filled baby. Huck, that didn't work. Uh oh, my ding dong is full. Daddy, I have to go pee pee. I did too much coke. Caillou, that's too bad. You should have asked to use the porta potty earlier ago. Hold it in. I don't think I can. I think I might pee in my pants. Well, looks like I'll have to change your pants like you're a two year old. So much for being a big six year old. Huck, I can't hold it. I, Huck. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hey, what's that zapping sound? <laughs> what the hell? Ah, wood on my head feels good. But that doesn't. <laughs> that was fun. And refreshing. Can we do it again? Hopefully I don't throw up again. No, we can't do it again. I don't know what even happened. Hey, is everybody okay? 
Do we look okay? You stupid plumber, what the hell happened? I'm seriously gonna sue this nutcase place. I wanted to just have one fucking fun day, but it ends in disaster. Hey, hey, First come action part of this. I don't know what happened, but we smelled what smells like urine on the lever. Wait, did you say urine, as in pee? Oh, someone else had to pee too? Coke must be a favorite drink here. Caillou, how dare you pee on the lever and ruin everyone's time here? I'm sorry, Daddy. I had to pee bad. Yes, and I told you to hold it in, but instead, you disobeyed me, and you caused everyone's time to be ruined again. You get a second strike, one more and you will be grounded. You don't even ground him yet for causing all this. What great parenting. Go shut your mouth, loser. I know how to raise my kid. How about I tell your mother how to dress you properly? Wearing a hoodie in the summertime? Are you for real? <laughs> okay, Caillou. You better be good now. You don't want to be grounded. So, how was the roller coaster? Hum, it sure was a rock and roll, that's for sure. How was the merry-go-round? Round and round we go. Very nice. So, you guys want anything? Me want two can. A two can? Oh, you mean a taco? I don't think you ever had a taco. Our little gal trying new things, huh? And what do you want, Kai? You? I want a hot dog. Sorry, kid. I'm out of hot dogs, but I still am selling drinks. What? How can you be out of hot dogs? You're a hot dog stand. Yeah, people just love my dogs. They sold out. That's stupid. I want a hot dog. Caillou, the gentleman said he doesn't have any more hot dogs. How about you get a taco like Rosie? Or how about a burrito? Excuse me, sir. How many burritos and tacos you got left? I have about four burritos left and one taco left. Okay, thanks. So, Caillou, you can have a burrito. I don't want a burrito. I don't even know what that is. I just want a fucking hot dog. Caillou, don't say the word fucking to me. You can either get a burrito, or you can have nothing at all and eat canned beans when we get home. Fine, I'll have the stinky burrito. One taco and one burrito, please. That will be five bucks, please. Here you go. Here's your good food. Thank you. Man, I really don't want to eat this stinky thing. It feels like a wet diaper. Huck, but I am hungry. My tummy is making funny noises. Maybe I could try just one bite. Wow. This is actually good. Mm. 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 Looks like somebody likes their burrito after all. What? What the? It's, e me. it's all over me. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> it's okay, can you just go to the porta potty over there in 15 minutes and wash off the burrito juice? Okay, mommy. Huck, this is all sticky. Huck, now my shirt is wet. Why couldn't I just have a hot dog? Hot dog isn't messy. Ow, I have to poop. Why do I have to poop so bad? I can't poop in the toilet. It's all wet. I know, I'll poop in that hot dog stand to get back at that stupid guy. Time to do poopy. Poopy poopy everywhere. Poopy poopy in my underwear. Poopy poopy here it comes. <laughs> I guess I better close up shop now. Oh, hello there, Mr. Boss. Didn't think you'd be out this late at night. Yeah, I figured I'd take a stroll through the park just for enjoyment. Got any more hot dogs in stock? I'm really in the mood for one. Nah, not really. We just ran. Oh, wow. Well, looks like I do have one left. A goodie. I'll whip this on. All right, family. We all ready to go. Yeah, I'm all good now. Oh, do you have to use the bathroom before we go? Oh no, I already went. I cleaned that poopy burrito off of me. Can you poopy? Can you poopy? Can you poopy face? Rosie, how dare you make fun of your brother? You now get your final strike. We told you not to make fun of your brother. That's it. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for one week. When we get home, we will punish you. <laughs> wow, Rosie punished, and not Caillou. Are we in Bizarro World? Oh no 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 no! Why is there poop in the hot dog stand? What on earth is that all about? Um, mommy and daddy, maybe we should go home now. That Jeopardy show is on, isn't it? Daddy, please put me down. You have a lot to fucking explain. Why is there a hunk of fecal matter in this hot dog stand? I don't know, boss. 
But that kid who was near my hot dog stand a minute ago might. Oh my god. It's you people. You people were the one who wrecked my theater two years ago. Did you have something to do with me eating a hunk of poop? Answer the man's question, Kai you. Um, hum, 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 mommy. Yes. Kid, how dare you poop in my hot dog stand, guys, stand. I'm sorry. I did it because the guy didn't want to serve me a hot dog. And I had to poop bad and couldn't poop in the porta potty because it was all wet. I didn't serve you hot dog because I was all out, you dummy. And there's at least 10 porta potties here you could have used other than the dirty one. That does it, you all are banned from my fairground the same amount of time you were banned from the theater 10 years. Leave now, or I'll have you arrested for trespass. Rosie. We can't believe you couldn't behave yourself at the carnival, for that. We will show you something scary today. We will show you the scary clown. Scary scary clown, I'm scared. And Caillou, for breaking the bar off Ferris wheel, peeing on the roller coaster and pooping near the food stand, you will also be shown a scary picture. You will be shown three. Here we go everyone. Fresh steam broccoli, very yummy. Ew, I don't like broccoli. It smells like stinky farts. I don't like broccoli too. Oh, come now. Broccoli can be delicious. It makes you big and strong. See you guys. Mmm. As you can see, I love broccoli. And, Doris, you? Oh, yes. Yum, 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 yum. Very good. And we're both big and strong. I don't want to be big and strong. I want Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Me too. I want pizza toys or pizza. Rosie and Caillou, sit your butts back down on the chairs and eat the broccoli. You want broccoli so much? Here. What the? Hello, hello. Rosie. Caillou and Rosie, how dare you guys throw your broccoli across the room? You both are five and three years old, not two years old. Go to your rooms now. You are grounded for the night. Why can't those dumb brats just eat one piece of vegetables? At this point, Rosie will be bald by the time she's 21. Well, to be fair, it was a dry piece of broccoli. I could have cooked it slightly more with butter. Huh, <sighs> you're not helping our parenting, Doris. Oh, Gru, pick up that broccoli off the floor and stuff it hot shot. Yes, dear. Mmm. -hmm. I hate stinky broccoli. I just want something yummy like pizza, or cheeseburger, or, hey, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> you caught me. Even I grab a pizza now and then. Colonel's partial to pepperoni, but here's another idea for dinner. The Colonel delivers a great price on a great meal. Get five pieces of original recipe chicken, four individual homestyle sides, and two biscuits. Just $7.99. A meal for the price of a pizza. Now that's a slice of heaven. Have you heard the news? The Colonel is coming to your local KFC. Make sure to meet him and say hi. When I started this business back in 1952, I promised it would have the most relevant toothpaste in your mouth to make you water back for more. So come and meet me and I'll tell me all the great experiences you've had over the years with my chicken. Hmm, I like the Santa Claus of chicken. I give my chicken to all- Did you hear that Rosie? That guy is giving away chicken. A Santa Claus at the summertime. And he said it's KFC. I saw a KFC about a mile from here. Let's sneak to it in an hour. Yay! 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 Hmm, those guys seem pretty excited about being grounded. Maybe I should do more punishment days instead. That's my lady. Come on, Rosie. Let's speak out very quiet. Come on, Bonnie. I have to hear us. Okay. Shut up. Yummy chicken, here we come. Yay, 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 yay. Let's use my bike to get there. Hop on, Rose. Oh, hi, Kanyu. Okay. Right in the street, you dumb kid. What the fuck? Hey, get, get that Oops, crap out sorry. of here! Yay. KFC. Here we are. Oh no, fat guy. Ow, 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 ow. Oh no. I think I might be. Hey there. I saw what happened. Here, let me help. I'm a nurse. Ah, uh, you are? Yes, I am. Here, where's it at? Oh, here? <coughs> and we'll put this on it. Thank you. No problem. Do you know where your parents are? 
so I can just let them know what happened. Yeah, um, this guy is. What? No, I. No, actually, I'm their uncle. I was just waiting for them to come here to me so I can give them a chicken sandwich. Well, you shouldn't have let them ride without a helmet. It's not safe. Hey, thanks, mister. Ah. That's why you get your little punk running into me like that and making me get dissed. Next time watch where you're going and wear a fucking helmet. Well, all this bumping and getting thrown is making my tummy want food. Let's go in KFC. Oh, hello there little people. Welcome to KFC. How may I help you today? We want chicken. Lots of chicken. Oh, okay. But what order of chicken? Order? I just want chicken. Gimme gimme chicken. Gimme gimme chicken. I uh, what? What do you want me to do, kids? I need to place an order here. Oh now, Mr. Clerk. I think I'll take care of these kitties. Rosie, look. It's the Colonel. Well, hello there, kids. How about you come over here and let me help you make your day a special one? Yay, 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 yay. Now, what do y'all kids want of my fine establishment here? Oh my god. Sitting on hey, me. Well, I want a bit of food. Santa Claus now. Wait your turn, Rosie. I want 100 chicken buckets to be put in my house. Oh boy. You sure do love my chicken, don't you? Now, I don't know if I can give you that much, but I can give you a chicken bucket for today. And I'm sure your mommy and daddy would love you to share some with them too. I hate sharing. I want all the chicken for myself. Oh boy. Well, that's not very nice. But, uh, anyway, where is your parents, by the way? Um, uh, there. Not here. There. At home. Oh my. What are you doing here then? I came here to get chicken from you. Oh my. Well, that's not good. We need to call your parents so they can get you and give you all that nice chicken. Well, I'll just get a policeman to get you guys safe at home. Cops? Hey, I'd ring up 911 if I were you. I think the kids ran off from home. You're not calling cops, you old man. Ouch. Kid, what's your... I mean, what's your problem, kiddo? You're not calling my parents, Colonel. Rosie, help me get this guy. What on earth? I'm ringing for help. Oh my god, the colonel is bald, like me. Ha <laughs> ha, you're bald, like a colonel. Yes, I'm bald and I'm not really the colonel. I'm an actor, I just play the colonel. And I get paid jack shit and have to deal with whiny brats like you. The real guy died 20 years ago. I play the role cause I'm fat and bald because all I ever did was eat this horrible crap. I should have eaten broccoli and other vegetables. I'm such a failure. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel bad. Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine. Serve your sentence. Pay with your blood. What? Nothing. Just a little thing to scare you. Are you Caillou and Rosie? Your parents are looking for you. Oh, 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 Caillou and Rosie, how dare you guys run away and shut down the Colonel and her guy? You guys are very stupid. This is what just eating sugar does to you. It makes you fat and lose your hair like the guy on the floor. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm sorry, man. So now you know what happens when you don't eat vegetables and just eat sugar. You get overly hyper, get injured more when you trip, do stupid stuff, like flaying your hand at that agar guy. Your punishment, eating a bowl of broccoli right now. Oh, that doesn't sound that bad. Yeah, broccoli look pretty. Oh whoops, forgot the special ingredient. My special toe jam topping. Oh my god, that's crazy. Eat up. Oh my god, I'm going to. Man, I am so bored. Wait, dog barking outside? That means. Dog barking outside? That means, I gotta go to Hinkle's house. Dog barking? That means I have to go to Leo's house. Uh oh, I hate dogs. Yay, I got it. Yay, I got it. Yay, I got it. We're going, We're going on Wheel of Fortune. Fortune. Why the hell do you guys have our nail? And why the hell are you celebrating like you won the lottery? Because you stupid ginger. Hey. Sorry honey. Because, we applied to go on Wheel of Fortune. And we used you guys address. Because we can't all go due to us being family. But now we can. And we can meet Pat and Venna on Wheel, Wheel of, of Fortune. Fortune. Bogus. Using our address to cheat like that. We'll tell on you. Okay then, go ahead, show and tell, but then you won't get any money we'll share with you guys. 
you won't get any money because we'll tell first, the cops and the show executives. Oh, trust us. You won't tell first. Oh, yeah. Why? Because you'll receive a one-time payment of lead in your temple of doom. And you and your family and friends won't get any share from us. Understood? Yeah. Not yes. yes. Good. Good. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune Studios. Okay, so how this will work is once the intro begins, you guys will have your hands in a defense post and then smile. You don't talk until the host pack says so. Got it. Got, got it. it. Kai. Oh, uh, got it. Okay then, oh, uh, is that what you're wearing? Yeah, we just wear these clothes. Anything wrong? HM, guess not. Just figure people wouldn't wear shorts or an ugly sweater. Huh, <sighs> is my sweater really that ugly? The Sony Pictures Studios, it's America's Game! Wheel of Fortune! Here are the stars of our show, Hello, 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 And let's have our guests introduce themselves. Hi, my name is... Uh -huh. Here. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to speak. That's okay, it will just have you skip a turn, but anyway, you are apparently Boris Hinkle, interesting name that is. And if I'm reading this right, you're an um, veteran? God damn. Uh, yes, I served in 1973 to 1975. God bless my fellow troops. Huh? Guess that's why they call it an infantry, literally having babies from the 70s serving. Baby? Who you calling? Oh yeah, hee <laughs> hee. No, I am a good looking old man. Okay, well, let's move on to someone who isn't strange, but who actually looks like a baby, Mr. Caillou Anderson, who, from what I see here, is in the fifth grade and likes going to Chuck E. Cheese. You put Chuck E. Cheese down. Why would you put that down? You'll blow the whole plan. Oh, you'll blow the whole plan. Plan it down with your stinky fart gas. Yeah, that Chuck E. Cheese can be quite a doozy. Mr. Hinkle, do we need to escort you and disqualify you from the show? No, Patrick. I'm sorry. I'll behave. I'm just a bit jumpy. Okay, well, one more outburst interruption and you're getting thrown out. Oh, and I'm Pat to you. Only my wife can call me Patrick. But anyway, Caillou, are you over 18 years old? Yes, I am. I'm just dumb is all. I just eat junk food and got held back from school. I need money's bad. Hum, sounds like the whole Midwest of the country. <laughs> and Miss Rosie, O'Reilly. You seem to be of Irish decent, is that true? Um, I don't know. Say yes. Okay, that's it. Scrub him. What the b Hey, get your monkey hands off me. I'm dealing with stupid children, I tell you. Idiots. Ding. Those non veterans can be real loonies years later. Um, so anyway, well, here's today's first puzzle. Food item is the category. And with Boris gone and Caillou being the oldest, we'll start with you first. Good luck. Holy cow. $900. Very good. Oh, and I'm sure you guys know that vowels cost 250 right? Um, yes. Good. Now say a letter, and get off my wheel and spin it right next time. Yes, sir. C. There's one C. Go again. An H. I'm sorry, Caillou, you need to spin before guessing another letter. Now on to Rosie. Four hundred for you. A letter? I'd like to buy a vowel. Okay, then. An E. There are three E's. Go again. Oh man, sorry but you lost a turn. Caillou, you're up next. Oh, you're at 3500. Uck, Z Z Z. Wait, what did you say? Oh, uh, I said Z Z Z. I'm sorry, I'm just tired. Do we have a Z Vanna? We do, Pat. I want to do it. It's Cheek Pimple. I'm sorry, Caillou, but you need to spin first. I'm sorry. Rosie goes up next. And, Rosie, you get $1,000 per Kamsu dent. I'd like to solve. Okay, then. Cheese. Piso. Huh? What? I'm sorry, but you must pronounce the word. You need to pronounce it correctly. Caillou, can you solve the puzzle? MMMM. -M -M. Yummy pizza, with so many toppings. There's pep. Caillou, wake up. What? Oh, I'm sorry. 
I was just thinking of cheese pizza. You said what? I said. The answer is. Don't say it out loud, you dummy. Hey, you have to spin first. Miss Rosie, for touching another contestant like that, you are also disqualified like Boris is. You have now lost your turn altogether. What a, but I was just helping. Ah, uh, I, well. I <laughs> Well anyway, you're the only one up now, so, oops, it looks like we are out of time. Because of such situation, we will now move on to the final question of the day. You have $4,400, and in a bit you get to upgrade that to a random prize. But first off, what do you think the answer for this question was by any chance? Um, I'm going to guess? Chinese plums? No, it wasn't, but good thing you don't have to worry about that anymore. It was cheese pizza. Oh, oh, of course. Well, we'll be right back after these messages. My god, these people today are the biggest loony fucking idiots I've ever met. And we're back and Caillou here is ready to win it big so he can brag to all his 5th grade friends that he can now buy his way out of school. <laughs> Caillou, take a letter from the pods here. Any letter you want. Okay, um, hum. Um, okay, uh, well, H is nice. But, he is before, H, right? But his letters after Ray to read better, I, I don't know. Caillou? Yes? Just take a bleeping letter already. Oh, uh, okay. I'll pick W, cause, W means win. I'm winner. Oh well, don't get too full of yourself. You haven't won Jack yet. Jack? Who's Jack? Oh god, just give the letter to me already. Oh, uh, okay, here. Move slower than my grandma, I'm okay, so let's see what you got. Ooh, you got a brand spanking new Ferrari. Ha <laughs> ha, I don't even know what that is. Well, everyone with a bigger pea-sized brain like yours does, and you hopefully will never actually drive it. But your friends might someday. But anyway, we are now at the final puzzle of the day. Category for tonight is annoying people and animals. We always give the letters D-A-T-E-R away automatically. Vanna, we got those? Sadly, we do not. Looks like you need to do the grunt work, Caillou. We need three consonants and a vowel. Vowel being a I O U, and consonant being every other letter. Con, sonant, being, what? Oh dear God, give me strength. A consonant being the letters B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, B, W, X, Y, and bleeping Z. Oh, okay. F, A, R, T. No, I'm sorry, but none of those letters worked, and three of them were already said 10 seconds ago, idiot. You will sadly have to think of the answer yourself. 30 seconds you have. An animal, and a person, that's annoying? Who? Owls? No, they're not annoying. Dogs? Dogs aren't like people. Cats? Cats aren't annoying and like people. Rats? People can be rats, but they're both not annoying. Rat? Coons? Raccoons? Bad people can look like raccoons at night. Like robbers? But it's a five-letter word? You have five seconds, Caillou. I know the answer. Coons. Caillou, you, actually won. You won $4,400 in a new Med Ferrari. Oh my god. I did it? Whoa. Holy shoot. Well, thanks for the hug. Yay, 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 yay. I actually won something. This is amazing. Now my green bonnet sweater daddy can love me forever, and my sister Rosie will not be the favorite child anymore. This is the best day ever. I thank my mommy Doris, my daddy Boris, Alex the Code Loco fan, and my sister Rosie for getting me here. Woohoo! Whoa, hey, stop the music, and stop the fireworks. What did you say, Caillou? That your dad's name is Boris, and your sister's name is Rosie? Yes, but, I guess it's just a coincidence, right? Hum, I guess so. Judges, what do you think? Well, we got word that it's okay. You fucking idiot. You blew it all. Daddy, what are you doing? Will you ever just keep your mouth shut? Now we will never win the prize money. All because of your stupid caring for people who got you here. I for one wish I never put you on earth. So, you actually are the father of Caillou, aren't you, Mr. Anderson I presume? And I can see now that Rosie has the same nose as Caillou. Stage manager, can you give me the address cards again? No, 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 no. I, I, I was just kidding. This is just one big April Fool's joke. It's fucking Junior Green Vomit Sweater Guy. As you can see, these addresses are all near each other. You went to other people's houses to fill out the contestant casting call, didn't you? And the letter fraud. Yes. All of you three get off my fucking stage this instant. Security, run them out this instant. Come on, guys. Let's get to a hotel before.
All of you. You are under arrest for fraud. Stop this instant. <laughs> I can't believe you opened your mouth like that, told Pout and Vanna we were your children. Me, everything was sweet until you ran on the set like a dumbass screaming at me. I could have been the one to win. Why couldn't I? You? You were the one who whacked me. You could have whacked Pat by accident with your flary arms. You know what the word flary means but not cheese pizza? You're such an inconsistent idiot. You guys have visitors. Pat Sajak. Mr. Hangel? Leo? I cannot believe you three would stoop this low while I was out of town with my friends. You actually thought you wouldn't get caught? But they did, and under normal circumstances, you would be facing a hefty jail time and have to pay multiple fines. But instead, Doris here says that when you guys are bad, that you guys get grounded, and face a punishment day. Back in the 70s, I used to be a weatherman. Well guys, I see a dark cloud looming over you guys for quite a while. A dark cloud of jealousy and guilt, you see. We at Wheel of Fortune have decided that because you guys intimidated your neighbors, and used their address for your scheme, that they will get the money that Caillou won. Mr. Hinkle gets the car, and Leo's family gets the 4400. Ah, uh, but I like cars too. Don't be jealous like the Andersons now. Okay Mr. Say Jack. And you guys are completely free out of jail. The today's taping will forever be destroyed and no one will ever speak of this again. Understand? Y-E-S. Yes. 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 Good, well, I gotta go back to making millions. See us later. Karma can be a real bitch, eh? You said nah, 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 nah. Okay fam, the family car is all packed and ready to go to Coco Keys in Orlando, Florida. I don't wanna go to a stinky Coco Keys, Florida. I just wanna go to the Go City pool with my friends. Cody, why on earth do you have to be a miserable cuck right now? Why would you want to spend the weekend with your friends at the local pool? You don't even have any friends. Well, at least I know the people so I can play pranks on them. Well, you're not going to the Go City pool, and you won't play any pranks on anybody. Yeah, we just want to have a nice vacation because we can with the great economy that the greatest president ever, Donald J. Trump has given us. And if you act up at least five times, you will be super grounded. Why don't you just grunt in after the first strike? I don't know why you don't ever do that. Well, because I love to give him the opportunity to push it more to make me fiery mad so I can absolutely ground him the way I want and truly feel. Hee 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 hee. But anyway, Cody, we will be taking a 20-hour car ride to Orlando. I don't and basically can't afford the crazy airliner prices these days. But I can and will send you off on a plane back home if you act out enough. And I know you hate planes as seen in that one episode of yours. I can't wait six hours. I'm going to have a meltdown. I'm going to melt. Melt, 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 melt. I feel like I have to poopy. Poopy, 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 poopy. Oh my god. I hate planes. Please don't do that. Good. Then behave. Okay then. Oh wait, let me quick grab something in the fridge. Up and here's the I-95 ramp here. We stay on this the whole way. Better get used to trees and highway, fellas. The 95, 95, 95. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No, we're not. You've sang that for the past hour. It's five hours more until we reach our land of... Honey, the road. Oh, shit. Watch where you're going, green sweater frag. Cody, you stupid bald baby blue brat, you're going to get us involved in a car wreck barbecue. Stop this instant. Okay, whatever. I guess I leave my foot long right now. Whoops, not that one now. This foot long. Mmm. 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 Hum, Cody's actually quiet for once. Something seems off. No, I'm okay, Dad. Oh, I'm better than okay. I got nasty fart gas in my stomach. Prepare to smell my sweet relief. Oh my god, what the fuck is that smell? Did you run over a road, dear? Cody farted out loud. I gotta admit it's pretty good. It's making my eyes water. Oh Cody my god, oh my god, oh my god, the windows won't open. Out. Get us out. Oh my god, boys, you're drifting off the road.
I'm what I can't see where the fuck I'm driving at all. Oh my god where am I? Holy motherfucker a big rig over the road racing at me. That was so much fun. Can we do that again? Oh shut up Cody. I never want to go through that again. I think I'm going to hurl. Ooh, fresh oh, air funny. fresh air. Okay, Cody, for farting in a car on purpose and almost getting us made into minced road meat, you will receive your first strike. Four more and you will be grounded. Wow, if I was his age I would only get three strikes and get grounded. Well, us Andersons have seen pretty much everything at this point or in most things major for others are just minors debts to us, and you were the oldest. Oldest always get worst first. I thought middle children get the worst. No middle children just get the least attention, Daisy. My name's Rosie, Dad. Oh he he, yeah, huh, well, we forget too when we get older. I remember Daisy. Who's Daisy? Nobody, Cody. Can we get back on the drip, Dad? Yes, I think the fart gas has flattened down now. But remember Cody, five strikes then you get a plane ride. Ugh, Cody's plane ride is worse than burrito fart gas. <laughs> Ah, well, finally we're here. Kukuki's Resort. Oh wow, those people are greeting us. How nice. 200 people have driven in and not one person took a picture or called for help. I figured the glue on us would melt by now. I should have stayed in school as a kid. Don't be like me when you grow up, Randy. Yeah, <sighs> my back is killing me. I'm taking a shower first thing oh, no, we get in the room. Alone. You hear? Oh my god, this place is beautiful. So much wow. color. Not that drive 2018 gray with subway tell look a lot of these shabby two-star hotels have. Hello there folks. How may I help you all today? Hey man, we bought the family fun suite. I'm a good choice. We oh shoot. That's right. I'm very sorry, but that particular room had two lights go out early this morning. And the one plug out let stop working. Oh you gotta oh, no. be kidding me. Well, hold hold on. We actually have a family luxury suite that actually got its reservation cancelled last time and so for just $200 more, we can have you guys stay in that today. Well, $200 isn't that much more. I think we could do that. What do you say boys? I'd say do it daddy. Yeah, do no, no. it. Do Don't it. do it daddy. Do it. Well, oh, hum. Luxury family suite here we come. Oh, the palm trees look so lovely. Oh, we'll look at the cool starfish. Well, it is Coco Keys after all. I'm going to take a picture of it. Hey, Cody, press the button for me, please, while I take a picture of us, please. Everyone stand near the palm tree. I'll post this pic on Facebook and send it to my work. All right, everyone, give your best serious or funny posture. Okay, and, uh, Caillou, I think that's too much movement. This good. Yeah, that's good, Cody. Press the freaking button. Perfect. Cody, I asked you to press the fucking button. You keep up this attitude and refuse to listen to me then you'll receive a second strike. And that plane ride will be miserable. Okay, Daddy. Thank you. Here's the elevator. Cute sounding music. This music sounds like K90s. Oh my god, what's with that freaking ringing sound? What ringing sound? All I hear is music. I think I knew a porno plumbing service that had this theme. Whatever. Just stop the music, please. My god, I feel like my ears are getting sliced open. Calm down, you're being overdramatic. We're definitely making you a air doctor appointment. Oh thank god, the music stopped. Well, that sure was just a bunch of overreacting. The front desk guy said room 420 is that ours. Looks like it. Here. Oh my lord, this is a beauty. Oh, wow. This is two times better than that shitty suite I booked for originally. This is a suite I'd say is shit. All these colors are blinding my eyes. Cody, that's it. I've had enough of your shitty bitching attitude. You have received your second strike. Three more and you get sent back home. Now quit your whining and park your ass on the fucking bed. Fine. Take your disgusting shoes off. This isn't our bed. You're a guest in the hotel. Whatever you say. You would but smell. What the? Oh my god, uh, Cody. Never what? mind. Put it. Put the shoes back on. My god, your feet stink. You're the boss, Dad. Huh. <sighs> well, I need to take a shower. Get all this sweaty fart gas shoe stink grime off me. Not without me, you aren't. I want to try that extra old sausage pizza I've been craving. 
Mmm, well, I marinated nice while in the car. Young, I haven't had sausage pizza for a long time. That's not what they're talking about, Caillou. What do you mean? I'll tell you when you're older. I'm older than you. What are you talking about? When you get a girlfriend when you're 40, I'll tell you then. Shut up, Cody. <laughs> Ugh, I hate this fucking trip already. Maybe I could live a little. Maybe I could call room service where they deliver food to you. Hey, Dad? What do you want now, Cody? Can I order room service? I'm hungry. No, don't order room service and don't touch the freaking phone in this room. We can't spend anything too expensive. We are going to eat tomorrow at the restaurant downstairs. I brought PB&J sandwiches and canned beans to eat for tonight, so don't order anything. PB&J sandwiches and beans? That's okay. That's poor people food. I want to eat creme brulee and caviar. Hum, he never said I couldn't use a phone in someone else's room. He, 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 he. Hmm, that's locked. This is open. There's the phone. Where's the lamb sauce? Where's the lamb sauce? You donkey! Putting around like a toilet brush. Who's this? Hey, fuckface. So I want a order of caviar, a order of creme brulee, and an ice cream sundae with no chocolate sauce. Okay, no problem. And who the fuck's room is this that has a raspy childlike voice? Um, uh, the room that is across from 421 door down. And that food better come in 10 fucking minutes and not taste like a rat's ass. Okay then, creme brulee, caviar, 10 minutes and not taste like rat's ass. Got it. Bye. Pun, I like people like me. If only more people were like that. Move your ass! It worked. Now to wait for the food. Oh hey, a hotel key. I'll take it so I can go back in this room later. I said I left the key in the hotel room hope over it's here. Not gone. Any I'll get it right now, calm down. Before. Yeah, so I about now we can go to the... Cody? What were you doing out in the hall? No, no, nothing. I was just getting some fresh air. You were making that evil scheming face when you walked in. You better not be trying anything funny. I didn't lose shit. I don't know what you're playing at. What the hell is that hall about? This is what I told you. If you leave the key in the room and door unlocked, someone will take our stuff or the key. I always tell you, log up everything. Excuse us, guys. The, the key. key. What's the big idea, you bald prick? Yeah, what? Why would you take our key, you bald prick? Don't punch, Don't punch my son, you dick. Only I get to. Well, your son obviously stole my keys. I did not. I seriously don't know who put them there. It's been a long time since you've done something sneaky, kite you. But if you didn't do it, then... Wait. Whoever stole your keys and went on your room, did they smell like body odor? Yeah. I didn't notice a stinky Me smell. too. Oh, okay. Daddy, a stinky 12-year-old be oh, like this. Oh, uh, that's, that's the smell. smell. Cody, the how could you... Huh? Room service. Hmm. This all looks good. Yeah, you got a room service order of cover and cream brulee for room for 20. That's my room. We didn't order this. Oh well, we got an order from a room for 20. Wait, did the caller sound like he had a raspy voice? Yeah, actually funny enough he did. Chef Gordon lacked his best of attitude. Bus boy, move the cart over please. Cody, how dare you sneak in this couple's room and order this expensive food? That's it, you've received your third strike. Two more and you will be grounded. Well I guess take the food back. We didn't order any of it. No 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 it doesn't work like that. Someone needs to take this and pay for it. What? We have to pay for this shit? No, you don't. We'll pay for the shit. Here's $150. Keep the change. Um, thank you. But it was only $138. Are you really complaining about getting more money? No, no, thank you. Um, well, bye. Well, thanks, mister. Ow, I hate to be your me. dumb bald-headed brat right now. Hey, I'm not a bald-headed brat. He was talking about me, you oh, dumbass. Oops. Well, at least we get to enjoy fresh caviar and creme bully. Ha ha ha, think again, Baldy. Well, no. My caviar and dessert. <laughs> okay, now that that trash was taken care of, we can now go swimming. You know what they say, don't eat 30 minutes or less before you swim. We will go to the outdoor resort pool with the cool structure, but I will first put your trunks on because you're a stupid baby brat. I don't want to go in the outdoor pool. I want to go in the indoor pool in the basement. 
it's cooler in there. Well your word doesn't mean shit because you're only like 60% of my size. Now let's take this nasty clothes off and glob some suntan on you. Ew, I feel all slimy and gross. <laughs> but I still don't want to go. Huh, <sighs> Caillou, Rosie, get over here. What's what it, Dad? Dad? I figure the only fair thing to do is ask you guys what pool you want to go to, outdoor or indoor? Outdoors are better outdoor. than stuffy indoor. I vote outdoor too. Three votes for outdoor, one vote from Cody for indoor. We're going outdoors to the pool. Get your stuff and wipe that stupid angry face off of you. G-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-
What the hell? How the fuck did he get out? Cody, how dare you flood the hotel? You said I did this. You so happened to fart in the car, be rude early this morning, order food from someone else's room, eject your waste onto other people, and you are really telling me this isn't you. All I wanted was to check Abby in the kitchen, so I took his info from the hotel room, got out, snuck in the kitchen to get the cabinet, and the zipper blew up the stove. I'm sorry, Daddy. Sorry, Daddy won't cut this. You probably cost the hotel one million dollars. Probably three million at best. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine seconds. That means no more vacation for you, no gaming for you, and you will receive punishment day. First punishment, getting whooshed in the face by the hotel guests you snatched key from. What? Second punishment, getting biscuit did by the guy you biscuit did. Oh my god, get it off. Third and final punishment, giving you a Indian turn. Ow. You will now be escorted to the airport, good riddance Cody. Now we can finally relax without the party pooper Cody. Happy birthday Rude J Archives, sorry for the late video, we just had to perfect it. Now? Okay you stanky little punks, do you know what today is? Um, July 27th, a nice day to wear a crown. A really freaking hot as hell day out. Huh, <sighs> you guys are really ignorant aren't you? Today is your lovely mother's 50th birthday today on July 27th 2015. Oh, today is the day our lord and savior gets his new gaming PC. Everything PC gaming. <laughs> well, thank you for the lovely trivia for today Cody, but anyway, we are going to let your mother tell us how she wants to celebrate today. Well, I've always wanted to do this. But never did. Even in high school. But, I want to go. Bowling. Wow. Wow. I love going bowling with my girlfriend. years old with grandpa. Yes, and I have arranged a nice cake and dinner to go to afterwards at the fancy downtown restaurant. But you guys better be on your best behavior. This is your mother's 50th. Do not blow this. Even the candles on the cake. That's for your mother. I'm mostly talking to you Caillou. Every party we go to you always hog the cake blowing. Who me? I'm a good boy. Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever you say. Anyway, let's head out now before the rest crowd comes to the alley. Here we are fam, the Bowling Alley, named cats. after the famous Irish Just city in friend. Ireland. Last one to the front door is a rotten egg. Oh no you don't you little Caillou, Cody, watch out! Look what you did, Dingus. You ran into this black guy here. I only ran into the black guy because you said last one that the door is a rotten egg. Now because of you I smelled like rotten eggs. Caillou, Cody, look what you did. You ran into this black guy custodian worker who probably makes minimum wage. He has enough to worry about than you guys stupid shenanigans. Bro you need to seriously chill out. All your kids were doing was having fun. And why you gotta bring color into this? Man you are just crazy bruh. Hey, I was just trying to help you man. I... Daddy got in trouble. Shut up Cody. Huh, <sighs> let's just go inside. You guys get a warning but if you act out again you'll get a strike. Wow, Oops, so, excuse me, mom, never saw outside. someone bowl from outside before. Last one to dust is a rotten egg. No fair, you didn't give enough time. I'm winner, I'm winner. Oh yeah, oh yeah, can I use a rotten ball bag? Just look at this ball Cody, bag. stop heckling. Oh yeah, look at this. My hat, get back here you rotten ball day. Boys, stop this nonsense. Hey, let off hey, come on, he started it. I don't give a flying fuck who started it. You guys are both ruining your mom's birthday. You both now get a strike. 
two more and you both will be super grounded. Now sit on the fucking badger area while I buy us all bowling shoes. Three size 12 and two size 7 bowling shoes please. You take the first throw my love. Okay then. Here goes nothing. Allie? Oof. Wow, that's my babe. Rock in a strike. Okay, do I go again? No way, Doris. You got a strike. That means I go next. Don't you dare take daddy's place. How about I crack daddy's nuts for yelling at the birthday girl? Oh my god, not a girl. You do. Can't go again. Oh, Doris. That's what I figured. Thank you, daddy. And I'll use your ball this time. Ah, oh, one pin. Hehe, <laughs> better luck next time daddy Oh. Well I still, or, you, have one more turn left. Um, well, you go then. I, need to uh, rest my hand. Okay, let's do this shit. Ha 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 ha, oh yeah. Who's lame now? Not me, not me, but you. Ouch. Hey Caillou, I bet you can toss a ball across the lanes. Hell yeah, I can. Okay then, toss me one. Come on. Throw shit. And then throw it, not shuck it. Think fast, Baldy. Hey, you shit my tooth. You wanna play golf? Beat my balls. Ouch, my leg. Come back here, you little jerk. Hey, this isn't pinball. Oh shit, end of the line. You mean end of the lane, dummy? I know what I meant, Baldy. It's the end hey, of the line for you guys for sure. Oh no. Please don't. Wah, no, 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 no. Caillou, Cody. Brat. They were throwing balls around and disrupting the other bowlers. I'm so sorry, mister. We were just here to celebrate my birthday. I don't care if it's your fucking birthday. You guys are now banned for one year. Don't you talk to my wife like that. Yes, or else what? Let's get up out of here. What a lovely 50th birthday I'm having. First my children get in an argument in front of the alley, my husband then brags in front of me, and now we're banned forever from bowling. Oh would you just shut up Doris, I'm trying to just get away from the alley quickly before, no flapping way. License and registration and proof of? Oh come on now. The Andersons. What did you do now? Well I mean you stopped us so I guess you might know. I just know we got a call about you guys at the bowling alley causing trouble. Yes, and the heavy set guy basically dissed my wife. Wait. You mean Big Justin? Yeah, I think so. Big guy with loud voice with the face you want to just go boom. Did you actually get him good? Yup, just right on his nose. Okay okay. Well because it was him, and not anyone else. Then I'll let you off with a warning. I always wanted to see him have that coming to him as well. Weird guy. Thanks officer. Don't mention it. Drive safe now. You too. Okay boys, you're very lucky we got off the hook, but because we got banned from the alley and you caused a lot of trouble, you will receive your second strike. One more and it will be punishment day, and you definitely will not like it, understand? Yes, Dad. Yeah. My, what a lovely dinner that was. Yeah, and nobody threw any food, amazing. Oh boy, here comes the special 50th cake. Oh my god. It's so big. And gorgeous. Wow, it's so cool looking. Hey, what you idiot? You'll shake the cake off. I'm not an idiot. Yes, you are. Boys, settle down. Or two, two, two. Two, two, two. You sound like a train. And you sound like an idiot. And track R2. Whoops. Oh my god. My red dress. I wore this at my prom in 12th grade. It's all ruined. Why did my hair just feel funny? Mommy. Just. But. Green and ugly. No way. You guys have been trying to get back at each other all day, just making the snowball bigger and bigger, until it just explodes and makes a big mess. 
All me and your mother wanted to do was have just one romantic night. You both received your third strikes. It is now punishment time. Your punishment? What the? Oh my Holy god. Shit. My head. Oh god. Your punishment is me rolling your heads out of the restaurant like bowling balls. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> GRRR. I can't believe that stinky Ronald McDonald actually embarrassed me like that. Dancing all over me like that. And that I got a sword on me like that. Wait. I got an idea. I'll call him and that store clerk over to deliver food and I'll get back at them with a cool bat. Ha 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 ha. Okay honey, I'm going to move this plant drawer out of frame and take it to get the leg repaired at the furniture repair shop. I'll be back in one hour. Now that daddy and that gay plant is gone, I can now use the phone on this new drawer. Welcome to McDonald's, how can I help you today? Oh, hello there. My name is Dusty Manor. I'm calling because I'm celebrating my kid's birthday, but no one came to my son's party. He was really, hum, looking forward to the party, but nobody, nobody, came to the party. And I'm just heartbroken at his reaction right now. Could you, or Ronald McDonald himself, please come to the party? I, I, I just don't know what to do. Oh my god, that's so horrible. I'll work the store here. You call Ronald and send the kid his food. Don't you, worry man. We'll be right over. Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> that was so funny. Can't believe they bought that. Now to get the special present for Ronald McDonald. I got the food here. Up I see the Hi camera here. people are Ronald here. Ronald McDonald here. Here they are. Wait, this house looks familiar. Surprise, surprise. The ball rip. Yeah, who's laughing now clown? Time to get this moved into the closet. <laughs> he 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 he. That was easy. Why is there a bunch of cars outside? And what does it smell like clown perfume and a sweaty 25 year old in here? Um, hum, I don't know. Um, maybe someone moved in the neighborhood. Oh, I don't know, Caillou. Are you okay? You look a bit sweaty. No no no. I was just playing outside. It's real hot out. Hum, that's funny. It's October. And it's only 62 degrees out today. Oh, Oof, there. that was close. What's up? Wait, what? Caillou, get down here this instant. Maybe it was a bit far and Ted. What is it, Mommy? Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right, Caillou. Why is there a TV camera crew here? Um, hum, uh, I, I don't know. I, uh, guess we're just that popular. Well, we're going to be lie in 10 seconds. Wait, uh, no, 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 wait. I can explain first. Five, Just don't. four, oh, three, no. two. Wait. Good evening, local news. I'm Megan Fox here at the Anderson household where an incredible party is being hosted. And where we have exclusive reveal of Ronald McDonald. So little boy, are you happy about having us at your party today? Party, huh? That's funny, Caillou. I didn't think you were having a party today. Cause your birthday is in August. Not October. I guess we just moved it up. Uh, hum, uh, maybe. Now little boy. We saw Ronald McDonald and a McDonald's employee come inside here and we're about to hand you your order of food ordered by your father. Hum, that's funny, because your father just came home from work and took our plant and old drawer to the fix-it shop. He didn't make any call for food. Well uh, maybe daddy was just huh, hungry real quick, and ordered fast. Now where is Ronald little boy, cause we saw you take them inside the house here. Uh, maybe, you saw wrong. I don't see Ronald here, do you? Oh my god, what's that? Woof, ain't I that feel a kick all in funny the He did it. That's the boy. Uck, Charlie. I hate when you use that sound a lot. Sorry, this better. That's better. So, Caillou, you want to explain to everyone in town what happened? I, I tried to get back at Ronald and the clerk for what he did yesterday. I'm sorry. Well, lying and trying to cover up the lie. Not a good thing to do. A lesson to me, hold. Never try to cover up a lie, it will just come back to bite you off. Ouch! Well that's a wrap here. 
like a chicken Faji Yuta rap. Hee hee. From the Anderson household, Megan Fox, local news. Life is unfair. Hey, Dad. What is it, Kalu? Can we go to Chuck E. Cheese's? No, Kalu. Why not, Daddy? Because, for three reasons. Number one, it stinks. Number two, it's too pricey. And number three, you will get fat if you eat there too much. But 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 I want to. It's a fun place. I won't eat too much. Kalu, I said no, and that's that. Don't ask me again. Okay, then. Hey, Dad. I hope you're not going to ask me about Chuck E. Cheese's, right? No, no. I just wanted to say hi. I'll go away now. Maybe I can ask Mommy to go to Chuck E. Cheese's instead. Oh, no. We don't have anything here. Boris didn't go to the store and get the items we needed. Hey, Mom. Oh, good afternoon, Caillou. Can I ask you a question? Well, sure, honey. What is it? Can we go to Chuck E. Cheese's? Actually, yes, we can. Really? We can? Yay, 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 yay. Hey, what's all the excitement about, and where is then dip at? Mommy said we can go to Chuck E. Cheese's. Kalu, I said no, no means no. And Kalu, don't ask your mother after you asked me and I said no. I said that Kalu could go, yes. Doris, don't just give in to Kalu like that. I said no first. Well, I'm sorry for doing that, but we have no food in the house because you didn't get food like I told you to get yesterday. So we might as well go for Kalu's request. Huh, <sighs> fine, whatever. You win this time, Kai, you. But next time, don't deflect your request onto others. Okay, I don't know what deflect means. It basically means if you feel a certain way that you put your feeling onto someone else, which you shouldn't do. Okay, sorry daddy. Now, if we're done bitching in the kitchen, I'd say let's get some cheese pizza. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love cheese pizza. <sighs> that sounds like a gross statement out of context. Yay, Chuck E. Cheesies. Here I come. Games, 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 games. I have three tokens from last time. Time to play my favorite game. Stay. Out? What's that mean? Why does it want me out? I don't know. Anyway, I'll put a token in. Hey, nothing happened. I'll do it again. What is going on? Why is this stinking thing eating my quarters like a big bad monster? Hey there, little buddy. What's up? Hey, Chucky. Why is this stinking machine taking all my quarters? Oh, but hey. Well, you see that sign there. Yeah, Chucky. I'm not a moron. Can you read my lips? Why is this machine taking my quarters and not giving me a prize? Well, you see, kid. The machine here is broken. When the machine is broken, it is out of order sign. It will take about a day to fix. If you leave us a note about your tokens, and we can give them back to you once the machine is fixed. I'm not a moron, Chucky. You are. I know how to read. You are so stupid for taking my coins. I want my coins right now. Your brain is broken. Your face is broken. Hey kid, come on now. Don't be like that. You're just a stinky bald rat. Nobody loves you. You're just a broken rat who makes other people broken. Idiot up and up and doo doo. What, 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 what? Now to try this one more time. It's still not working. I am so angry. G R R R R R R R R R R. Kalu, get your bald baby head over here this instant. Uh oh, coming, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Chucky. Did you make fun of Chucky here and say his face is broken and that nobody loves him? I hum 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 hum. Yes, I said he was broken because he said I didn't read a sign. I told him the sign on the machine meant it was out of order because the coin receiver is jammed. Let me see. Kalu, come over here. Kalu, how do you not know what this means? This sign means that the machine is under repairs. Instead of thinking like a smart boy, you just deflected your problem on Chucky. And it got you in trouble. You now get one strike. Two more and you will get grounded. Understand? Yes, Daddy. 
Good, now let's get some freaking pizza. I'm starving. Here we go cheesy cheesters. Chucky's Chunky Pizza. Whoopie whoop whoop. Chucky Cheesy's Pizza. Let me know if you guys need anything. Take away. Thank you, Missy Mouse. Here's some slices for everyone. Chucky Chucky Cheese. Ah, Chucky Rosie. Ha 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 ha. Rosie, you stupid orange baby. If you're going to throw like a baby, don't throw it at me. Throw it at the wall. Like this. Wa 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 wa. I'm Rosie the stupid baby. Wa wa wa. My pizza slice. Goo goo ga ga. I'm Rosie. I go stinky in my diaper. Kalu, get off of the table. You are doing it again, Kalu. Deflecting. How dare you make your sister cry? She just dropped the pizza by accident, and you had to make her accident into a personnel problem. You now get a second strike. Also, here you go, Rosie. Here's your new piece. And Caillou, this is your piece. Eat up. Oh my god! Oh mommy! Um, hey, are you asleep? You idiot bald kid. You ruined that Tom. Someone call the police. Hey, what's going on? I heard a loud bang. This kid here banged our friend. Oh my god! What are you idiots doing? Help your friend by getting one of the employees to call for professional help. Yes, yes sir! sir. Kalu, I'm sure you know now not to deflect your emotion problems onto others. It will just lead to trouble. You're lucky the big boy will only need a few patches. He only got a small bump on his head. And also, he didn't push you on purpose. You got in his way while he was dancing on the DDR machine. You will now be grounded 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 for 4, 5, 6, 7 seconds. But first, today is punishment day. First punishment, getting poked by this pokey poke. Ow, ow, ow. Second punishment, putting a real rat on you. What the? Ha 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 ha. Third and final punishment, eating the gassy mushy pizza you threw away earlier. Yucky, that's nasty. Eat it. Okay. Now go to the car, Kalu. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Comcast's Finity Digital Cable sucks these days. Why can't we afford the 10 big streaming services to use instead? Other people have that. Well, I guess if we just work a bit harder, we could afford just a bit more. Work a bit harder? I'm already working a 40-hour week job. Maybe if you were to work 40 hours, we could actually get stuff done. Okay, and who's going to do the cleaning, the cooking, the trips to the grocery store and whatnot? I don't know. Don't do cleaning and trips to the grocery store. Let's just eat one meal a day. Oh, okay, and have our house look like a grin. Sounds good. That's not what I meant, honey. I... <laughs> Why does everything have to be so f***ing expensive? Why does a f***ing Chick-fil-A sandwich have to cost $9? This stupid president of ours, Poopy Joe and those stupid donkey dick blue wave people. What the f*** is that outside? Oh goody. It looks like we got new neighbors. Just great. More annoying people in this world. Oh come now. Don't be so bitter and stuck up. You sound like Sean Hannity. And you look like Nancy Pelosi. Oh off. Uh, ouch. Keep talking like that your mouth will look like Roger Ebert. I always like this house. Hello there. Welcome to the neighborhood. Pleased to meet ya. Hi there. I'm Beth Diakai. And I'm Sia. We're the Diakites. Hello, I'm Doris. Doris Anderson. And this miserable guy I'm married to is Boris. We're Boris and Doris. And we're not brother and sister before you ask. This isn't Alabama after all. Wow. Cool hoodie you got. Just like mine. Oh, hee hee. You like this? Thanks. Yeah, I've worn it for about 10 years now. Off same here. Well 10 years plus 10 more. First got mine on my 10th birthday on January 1st 2003. I grew up in Taconi, Philadelphia and always wanted to dress like I was in the hood. Even though Taconi wasn't really the hood. More like Nistan Tioga was. 
Oh yeah, I think knew that area. A car broke down in that neighborhood once. I think a friend of mine grew up there. Everything. PC gaming? You know everything PC gaming. Holy shit. We talk all the time on YouTube. Wow, small world, huh? Definitely. I think you and me will get together nicely, pal. Sadia. Sadia Diakite. Is that you? Holy shit. Caillou? Caillou Anderson? Wow. I haven't seen you in years. I was the one who drew your eyes on you. Remember? Yes. I do remember. You were also the one whose eyes I plucked out years ago. And you were the one who threw sand in my eyes in that non-canon everything PC gaming episode. Wait, that was you? The eye plucking, but I do remember that episode of everything PC gaming from one month ago. Oh, that's right. When the doctors put the eyes back in Caillou, he poked Caillou's brain by accident, making him forget everything that week before. Sometimes I think the dog poked too much off. Poked too much off. Hey, is that a giant Twinkie? Mm. Ouch. That's metal. Oh and this is goodness. your living room. Wow. We are honestly surprised everything fits so well in the new house. Our bigger house in Hollywood had more foot room that was like three times the price of this. We just had to downsize. Downsize? How on earth did you have so much? Oh well after your son gave me my is back in 2004, I decided to do painting in my spare time after work. Paintings on how I saw the world in my head through hearing and descriptions. Then I sold about 20 paintings throughout the years, on average they sold for $25,000. Then I moved to LA in 2008 and met Beth here who worked as investment banker. And then when I laid my black dot eyes on Sia, I knew we were perfect for each other. Our eyes, our clothes. We both went together like toast and jelly. You're my jelly. No, you're my jelly. Yeah, <laughs> somebody's jelly, all right. So what are you guys going to do now? Well, like that epic creator everything PC gaming. We were thinking of doing YouTube as a job. I just reached 922 subs on YouTube and only need 78 more to make ad revenue new money. That's my hubby. Always taking risks. Where on earth did you get that lamp? It looks like the one from A Christmas Story. The lamp that Darren McGavin's character was drooling up over. Oh ha ha, that was the last thing I bought before we moved in here. It's the original from the movie. Well, a composite of the three that were used. Cost me $19,400. Ugh, not my style. No offense. Oh non taken. We just liked it for as a what? pop. How on earth could you not like this? It's a lot better than the modern looking shit in our house. I would have loved to have something like this. These people have everything great. These people shouldn't even have all this. I should have this, not them. I, uh, I mean, uh, like I should have this cause. I could spruce it up. Maybe get it nice and varnished. Like the shoe here could get shot more. And the light bulb be brighter. You know? Oh, that's really no problem, Boris. I just prefer to have it how the movie originally intended it to be. But thanks for offering. Oh, do you guys want to stay for dinner? We were going to make filet mignon for dinner. The most richest cut of meat. I learned to make it from Gordon Ramsay himself. We could show you guys how to. That'd be lovely. No. I mean, oh, I was going to have a pizza delivered tonight. Yeah, we usually have pizza on Wednesdays. No, we don't. We have it every other Saturday cause no. it costs too much. It doesn't, ha, huh, cost too much. Doris I make $69 an hour at my job. We can afford it, no problem. I, just can't eat half meat is all. Makes me, sick. Come on Doris, let's let the Diach eat alone now and let them, uh, move away. Anno, move in. Ugh, I guess I have to go now. It was nice talking with you guys. Maybe tomorrow we could do something. Yay yeah, definitely. I could show you two the few art pieces I have left and how to do stroking. Yeah sure, woof. Expensive art, expensive flame again, expensive lamps. What do I have? Three brats and gray hair. More bitching like that and your hair will be whiter than the proud boys. Well there's nothing proud about this trash heap. Oh would you just admit you're jealous? I am not, jealous. Oh so mooping around and saying how much your life sucks is not jealousy? And I guess this guy's green huh? All I do is work 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 and I don't get anything like Saya does. The blind guy paints 20 pictures and whoopie doo he's a millionaire. There's always going to be people who are better than us or have more. That's just the sad reality. But you could try to make stuff for other people. Make stuff for people and over time you'll improve your skills and they'll recognize you and you'll get popular. And you make connections. Then and make money from it. Huh, <sighs> it's too late for that. I'm too old for that shit. You're never too old to try something new. As long as you have the strength and put your mind to it. Like I try a hand at baking with Miss Dyke. 
She said she does baking as a hobby. Maybe you should be a motivational speaker then. Maybe I should, but you can't be anything until you get your ass into bed and get some shut eye. Now good night, Boris. A uh, good nighty, Doris. Yeah, I just want that lamp so bad, but Doris would never take it. Wait, the Saya guy said that was the last thing he bought. He hasn't had it that long, and he said it was worth $19,400. Maybe I could sneak and replace it with something, like a cardboard cutout lamp. Yeah, that will work. Then I'll sell the original and get rich quick. Ha 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 ha. I got the cardboard cutout and the big fire stick here. What the? Boris, what are you doing in our house? Oh, uh, I noticed your door was unlocked, so I made sure there was no intruders in your house. But you're all good. Hum, that's funny. Because we have a ring doorbell. And the door wasn't unlocked. And yes, we have it in case of intruders. Only the intruder is you. Hey, uh, come on. Don't do me like that. Boris, just admit you're jealous. Don't you call me jealous. I, look. I just wanted to take the lamp and sell it for money, then I could get my wife nice stuff and get rid of shitty cable. Boris, I want to be friends with you. If you want, I could give you some money if you're short. Yeah, I want to be friends too. Oh, really? Psych. Dalsh. Psych. That's kinda a short name for me. I would never want to be friends with you, and I'm not short of anything. I'm better than you. Okay, you ask for it. What the? You're so dead. <laughs> Come on kids, let's kick ass like in martial arts class. What the fuck? Hi y'all. Hi y'all. I will never be defeated. Kids duck. Oh my god. A fire. Kids quick. Drag daddy out. Ah, the place is burning, very nice, I can, sleep, peaceful, leave. You're on your way? Okay thanks bye, the fire department is on its way, we're safe now. Oh my god, Boris, he's still in there, I gotta go get him. Are you crazy? He's the one who started this. I'm still saving him, that's what a good friend would do. He actually saved him. What the? Fuck, what happened? Boris, you stupid irresponsible person. You put my whole family in danger. How could you? All because of jealousy. We could have been friends. But now you will sue you. You will also be super grounded in jail. This is the stupidest thing you've ever done. Shame on you. Boris Anderson. You are under arrest for ours, then step in the vehicle this instant. I am so sorry for all this. This should have never happened. Yeah, it's like they say, jealousy can really destroy lives. I guess the moral of this story is to not be jealous of others' possessions in life. Always try to make your life successful and positive. Well, I guess we'll fly to a hotel in our rocket car. Speak to Yas soon. What the? Oh come on! A rocket ship they have! My god oh, give me a break! Caillou Caillou Caillou! What? Duh. Cody, why are you waking me? It's not time to get up. Now it is. I got a funny prank I'm going to pull on daddy. I need you to get him away from his computer. Really? Wow. But don't give the prank away. Okay, no problem. Okay, let's see how popular I am today before I head into work. Dad, Dad, um, I need you. Huh, <sighs> what is it, Kite? You, I'm about to check my emails to see how popular I am today. I think I saw a rat in Cody's room. Not my room, you dummy. Uh, wait, uh, yeah, my room now. Well, it's whose room, sorry. then? It was my room. My room. I saw it under my bed. Huh, <sighs> wasting my time. I don't have time for this. Show it to me, Kite. You. Okay, uh, then. Freaking idiot. Almost blew it. Now to make daddy crappy his panties. Okay then. Where is it? I don't see any rat. I could have sworn. Ah, uh, there it is. The rat. Wait, where? Oh, my mistake. It was just my lamp. My mistake. 
Caillou, are you freaking kidding me? I came up here just to find your stupid ass lamp that you've had on your desk for over eight years now. I guess I'm seeing things. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> what a waste of freaking time. What the? What's that? Oh my god. My stomach. Bug. Why is it? Why does it feel like I'm being poked? Perfect. He's going to freak out at this. Oh shoot. He's coming. Stupid Kai, you couldn't hold him enough. Huh. <laughs> now I can only check one email. What in God's green earth? <laughs> I got freaking malware on my computer. I can't believe it. April 2011 and malware is still a thing. I got to call work now and tell them I have to get this off my computer. Work work I can't come 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 on you I can't go work malware malware on my work computer. My work got to go. I gotta download a vast antivirus right now. Pretty cool background Cody added the. Wait, what? You idiot. You gave it away. Uh, oops. The recycle bin is in the corner. Hey, this isn't a virus, this is just a background. A background? Okay, what's the meaning of this? Cody wanted to prank you and wanted me to fool you into thinking a rat was in my room to get you away from the computer then he changed it to that. Thanks a lot, Squealer. Shut up, Cody. Caillou, and Cody, how dare you both prank me and make me call my work and make them think I'm crazy. You are both grounded 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 for one week. When you come home from school today you will both mow the lawn. Now get your fucking asses to school this instant. Yeah, it's past three minutes. I can say fucking. Now to change the background back to the most epic background ever. Perfect. Thanks a lot you gay Lou. Ouch. There is my stomach again. Now that hurts. Oh shut up. I just hit you once. No. It really is painful. My stomach is really hurting. Caillou and Cody, get to school this instant. You're going to be late and I don't want you near my sight. Caillou's fake being sick. No, I'm not. My stomach feels really funny. Open your shirt up, Caillou. Oh my dear God, there's nothing there. I know why you're doing this. It's that big test you have today in math class. I know you're going to get the C-, minus, but trying to avoid it is just unacceptable. Now put your shirt back on or else me and Cody will drag your ass into the car and I'll drive you to school. Wait. I will? I'm not joking, Daddy. I seriously don't feel good. That's it, I've had it. Cody, open the door yeah. and help me with please Caillou. Please, down. Please, please, no. I really hope one of these days, just one of these days, a piece of lead just flies and whacks me in the skull. Please, Lord, insert a piece of lead into me. Amen. Now get to class and I better not catch you getting out of class. Ouch. Oof. Ouch. I know I'm in pain. My stupid daddy and brother won't believe me. Yeah, I'll talk to you after the math. Oh, hey, I'm Heidi. Huh, are you okay? I don't know what's going on. My stomach hurts really bad. Ha ha, trying to get away from Mr. Solomor's math test, huh? No, I'm serious. I've never felt this bad before. You didn't look to be holding your face like that pretty long. What's it feel like? What did your dad say? It feels like a sword is going through my stomach. It feels terrible. Cody did punch me earlier, but I felt this bad even before that. Holy shit. You should go to the nurse. Hey, what are you boys doing in the hallway? Get in my classroom this instant. Oh shit. Come on, Caillou. We got to hurry up. I can't run. I feel like ass. Caillou. You are tardy to my class for the third time this month. You now get an after-school detention. But Mr. Solomore, my stomach really hurts. Well then I guess you should have eaten breakfast. Now sit your ass down before I give you a Saturday detention. Mr. Solomore, I think he's really in pain. Leo, raise your hand before you have a question. I wasn't asking a question though. Caillou needs help. Leo, go to the office. You disrupted me a two times and I won't take that. Leave, now. That's such bullshit. That's it. You have a detention. Now, Caillou, sit down now before you get a Saturday. Okay, so we will now do the math test. Here is your test. You may now begin. Bug, I feel like I'm going to explode. Okay, time's up. I will now collect your papers. Caillou, there's nothing even written on your paper. 
I couldn't write anything because I was in pain. Okay then, let me see your paper. There you go. Big fat F. Okay, class dismissed. Leave the paper on desk, I'll take them. Hey Leo, I'm sorry for getting you into trouble. It doesn't matter. I don't like that teacher anyhow. Never did. Oh my god, it's happening again. Oh man. Oh my god. That's like so gross. Hi, you. Do you feel better now? My stomach still hurts. What's going on? I'm getting the nurse because no one else will. Miss Nurse, Miss Nurse. Hello. Hello there, honey. Are you okay? Miss Nurse. My friend Caillou's stomach has been hurting, and he just threw up at lunch, and he said his stomach still hurts soon after that. He's been in pain since this morning, and no one has helped him. Not his dad, brother, or teacher. Oh my god, that sounds like appendicitis. Is he in the cafeteria now? Yeah, I'll take you to him. Someone needs to treat that right away or else he will. First, I'll call for an ambulance. You stay with him. What the yeah. Uh, where am I? In a hospital. Hello, Caillou. I'm Dr. Xable. I operated on you to remove parts of your appendix that burst and your other organs. My appendix? What's that? That would be this. You had what's called appendicitis. It's when your appendix becomes weak and diseased. About 7 out of 100 people in the world get appendicitis. Am I going to die? Not at all. But you may have a fever for about two days but that should go away fast with antibiotics. The appendix is considered the most useless part of the body. Not entirely useless, but it's like an air filter on a vent. It collects contaminants but some people get too filled with bacteria. Your friend here actually was asked and got the nurse just in time before your organs could bleep out. They're both far from useless people. Thanks man. No problem. Anything for my bald butt. But what does indeed useless is anybody that couldn't see the warning signs this was happening. And I'm surprised you waited so long to tell someone. Well my daddy, my brother and my teacher told me that I was just faking it. That my stomach wasn't really in pain. Really? Do you happen to have your family's number? And your teachers? I'd like to speak with them. Yeah, it's 8675309. And I think I have the teacher's number. What happened? Who's dead? Caillou? Caillou, how could you? I told you I didn't want to see you get out of class. And what is this? You found a way out of class. I know I punched you, but I figured you wouldn't take it like a wuss. Thanks for just to get out of man. A real was a five generation. What on earth is wrong with you guys? Are you for real? You make blind assumptions based on your biases about Caillou, but don't actually look at what actually happened. Well, oh, what really did happen? Your son had appendicitis, and his friend Leo saved him. And according to Leo, he got kicked out of class because he was trying to explain to the teacher that Caillou looked ill. And I got a detention because of it. Well no, you got a detention for that talk young man. He may be a young man, but he's definitely a man, not an old wrinkled heartless piece of shit like you. And young Cody, did you say you whacked your brother? Yes, but I just figured Caillou was lying. Well you three assumed a lot. You shouldn't make assumptions about things you know nothing about. I'm going to give you a feeling of what appendicitis feels like. Oh my god, oh god, <laughs> And now, I've ripped up your appendixes. And as I've told Caillou, the appendix is pretty much useless. So I will now take all three of your belt. Oh god, I didn't mean like this Lord. Before you pass out Boris. Is Caillou ungrounded? Yes, Caillou. You are ungrounded, ungrounded, ungrounded. Okay, boys and girls, we have a new classmate today. I'll let her introduce herself. You can come in now, Martha. Hello there, my name is Martha Degoat. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. I'm Clementine. Hi there, Martha. I'm Leo. Do you need help walking to your desk? Oh no, I'm fine. Ha ha ha, is Martha grandma? Why she have a cane? Caillou. That was very rude. 
Martha is. Well, let me let her explain. I'm, uh, blind. I use my cane here to know my way around so I don't bump into stuff. I can walk. I just could see, is all. And Martha has been escorted by me and Principal Jackie a couple of times before today so she is somewhat already familiar with the room around her. And I will give Martha a few items to help her but for the most part you should interact with her like everyone else. So Caillou and Leo, just next time try to be more understanding. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Very well. You may now take a seat in the back, Martha. Okay. Thank you, Miss Martin. Okay, all. Time for gym class. You hey, hey, hey. Time to soccer time. Uh-oh. Martha's coming. Let's help her. Hey, Martha. I'll hold your cane for you. Oh, Baby, no, no, that's help, okay. Her, hold her hand. Oh no, I'm fine, I can walk by myself. What are you doing, Clementine? Give it back. No, Give it back for I a want lot. to walk her. It's not yours. I'm the star of the show. What are you doing taking her, Caillou? You'll break her. She's sensitive. Caillou, Leo, and Clementine. What's all this fighting about? Clementine first, then Leo, then Caillou. I just wanted to walk Martha to gym because she's blind. And I wanted to hold Martha's cane for her so she can walk with Clementine. And I wanted to hold Martha before Clementine did. Martha, you can go to gym. I'm just going to talk to the others now before gym. First off, guys, Martha is not a toy or a dog. You don't have to hold her in taking turns or walk her. She is a human being just like the rest of you. She's not a stupid idiot. She's just blind. She can hear, feel, taste and walk, just like you. But the only thing you should help her with is getting to know more about you guys. Can you all do that for me? Yes, Miss Martin. Yes, Miss Martin. Yes, Miss Martin. Good. Now jog along to gym class. I'll tell Mr. Monteith you'll be a bit late. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's it's time. time. All right, kiddies. We're going to play soccer. And it seems we have a new team member. Miss Martha Dugout. Ah, uh, here's the ball. But notice something different about it. Yes, Kalu. It has a pample on it. Ehwa, not exactly. Anybody else? Yes, Leo. A microphone. Yes. You're right. Very good. But, this isn't just any microphone. It's a beeper that makes a pretty loud beep noise, so that Martha here can detect when the ball comes toward her. Okay, now I will team you all up. We'll do red versus the blue team. Martha, Clementine, and Sean all have blue shirts. And Leo, Kalu, and Emma have red shirts. So you each will be a team. And what do we do when the whistle blows? Stop, Stop looking listen. listen. Very good. All right, guys. Everyone toward the middle of field and let's go. Stop, stop, stop. Sorry to cut the video short here. But I gotta say, I don't exactly know how to continue or end this video. The video here is already late on schedule. But, I figure you guys could finish the end. I think it would be cool for you guys to make a part 2 for this video. Link for the character assets that I used in this video in the video description. Just entitle your video, Caillou Meets New Blind Girl in Class Part 2, and put version of video by your name and title. Think of this like the PBS Stop and Go Story Maker. Also you can put my part of my video in with yours and just cut the part with me talking out if you want. But do also just try to credit me in the description if you do that. Oh my god, yes, I can't believe he's asking me out to go to the prom tonight, oh yes, we're gonna be the most dressed ladies tonight. See you then, girlfriend. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going on a date with Chad Thundercock. Now to get in my outfit. What the? Hey, girlfriend, is that you? No, it's me. Who is this? You're not my girlfriend. No, I'm not. But you know who I am. No, I don't know who you are. Yes, you do. You hurt me, and I will hurt you. Hurt me, and I'll call the cops. The cops won't do anything to protect the murderer. Except the rest of you. I don't know who you are and why you're calling. Goodbye. Jeez, stupid prank callers. Anyway, gotta get my dress going. Oh, here's Rosie's cute hot stuff. Damn, look at the shoulder pads on that thing. Where? I don't see him get out of the car. I was talking about the car. Ouch! Oh, here he actually comes. Hey. Uh, hey, do you up know where my sweet things are? Right, right, right here. Doris. Oh, uh, sorry, you up. Uh, you just had a hair on your face. 
Oh yeah, was just licking it off. Hum. Okay, up, uh, thanks. But, where's Rose at? Well, she was just fixing her hair. I'm here. Oh wow. my god. My babe. The one and only. You look even more money than me. Oh, hoo hoo hoo. Thanks. Your hair smells better than your name. And your tongue's more longer and the moist than your last name. I love you, Rose. You're the best person in the world. Our best family member ever. No. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Not you. No, no, no. Who? Are you? Don't you remember me, Mommy? Doesn't anybody remember me? I'm your freaking third daughter. Before you made that stinking Cody. And after you made that demon of a daughter, Cozy. I'm the other flower in this family. Daisy. But no, nobody ever remembers Daisy. They only remember Rosie. The daughter who killed me. Of jealousy. Because of you, Mommy. No, you made your own sister go away. Out of jealousy. It was because Mommy was being mean to me. She was giving Daisy more attention than me. I can't believe you would do that, Rosie. I only was a bit mean cause I had the stress of a newborn baby and I was 40 years old. I know. I should have taken myself away. Not Daisy. I wasn't thinking straight. You're right. Your life should have been taken away. Not me. And that's what will happen now. Everybody else agree. Agree. Destroy your precious rented car. Destroy your fat boysie. No, 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 no. Not Chad. Not me. Please, no. Don't direct me. What? And no, no, no. To destroy you. Please don't do this. I love you, Daisy. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Woof, it was just a terrible nightmare. And sadly, I'm not going to the prom. I didn't even go to the prom three years ago when I was in high school. Oh no, who's that? It's just me. All the past hour I kept hearing you scream in your sleep. You kept saying, oh no, oh baby, oh Chad I love you. Oh no it's Daisy. Oh, uh, sorry, yeah I was just dreaming I was at the prom. Oh, okay. Oh, by the way, was Daisy you were dreaming about that same Daisy daddy said about when he thought it was you? No, it wasn't. Hum, you just stuttered. You sound like you're lying. Aren't you supposed to be grounded? I'm going to tell mommy and daddy you were in my room. Okay, okay. I'm going. Turn my light back off you bald brat. Oops, sorry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at this, it's Cody. He's going to make a big splash and flood the big table town of people. Move ha ha ha, screw all you basket people. Ah, uh, we're all milky, milky stinky poo poo. <laughs> My god Caillou, you're so immature, playing with dolls at 24 years old. Well at least I'm not grounded and at least I didn't flood the hotel last week. Well at least I didn't cause people to go to sleep forever. Yeah you did. Didn't you wreck that Waffle House that one time? All I did was wreck the backdrop. I didn't cause people to actually go away. At least I didn't cause our sister to go away forever. Wait, what? You know what I'm talking about. Um, Caillou? My chest, it's in pain. Oh come on, you already had appendicitis years ago. Okay, stop faking. This is stupid, Caillou. I don't know what happened. I just talked to him, and his heart gave out. Hello everybody. Hello Mr. Huxtable, so what was it this time? Well, we're unsure what caused the attack, but we assumed it had to do with emotional stress. Emotional stress from what? Well you said earlier that Cody said something. I just said, um. What was it that you said Cody? Um, maybe I should tell you outside. Um, okay? Me and Kai you were talking about at least we didn't end other people. Then I said to him, well at least I didn't cause my little sister to go away forever. You said what? Oh my, oh dear, my heart, oh god. Ugh. Oh god, look out. Nurse, it get happened me again. a garden. What did Quick. I say? Ugh, I can't believe I passed out. I don't even remember what Cody said. I don't even know what I said was wrong, but I don't want to say anything more. I can't, I feel bad. Um, could I talk with your son just for a moment? I'm not a therapist, but I have someone that is. Oh god, huh. well, go ahead buddy I think the whole Andersons in town might be screwed. Hey Cody, could I just talk with you for a second? Um, sure. Cody, this is therapist Dr. Freelander. I think you two met a few years back. Oh, hey there. I remember you. Oh god, you're not going to drug me. Are you- Oh no, don't worry. No, we already found out that Zlock does not work. But it's good to see you again, Cody. Well, I'm going to go now. See ya in a big. 
How about you sit up on the bed right there and tell me what's going on? Well, last night, my sister, Rosie, was having nightmares. And, she was dreaming she was with this guy named Chad apparently. I don't know who he was. I never met him. Hmm, so Rosie, was having a dream where, this Chad guy was being mean or something. Well no, it seems a Chad guy she liked. But, she had another thing happen, that seemed bad. There was this person in her dream, named Daisy. Oh, Daisy. Hmm, I see. Wait, you know Daisy? Um, well, yes, I, Rosie has told me, about um, Daisy, before, when we were in therapy. Oh, so you know if Caillou ended her or not? Well, I, I can't exactly say. Do you know of Daisy? Rosie in her sleep said Daisy was our sister. My dad even confused my sister's name with Daisy two weeks ago when we went on vacation. Was Daisy really my sister? I do know that Daisy was your sister, but I can't explain how she went away. What? Why? You're a freaking doctor. You're supposed to help me. I understand, Cody. But by law, I have to keep stuff private amongst my patients. And your sister unfortunately told me some stuff I can't tell you or anyone else. Unbelievable. What kind of a crooked doctor you are. Cody, wait. I, hmm, therapy isn't always easy. Especially when it comes to the law. Unbelievable. Someone took my sister away. I have to figure out who. Kai, you obviously did it. Rosie won't tell me. And, wait. Rosie, did she do it? Doctor, doctor. Oh dear, nobody else is a cord down, are they? Um, doctor, I just had a question. Did you operate on every family of ours ever? Oh why, yes. I've gotten of course to know all of you as well. Especially you during the time you guys were on a trip and you slammed right into a building. Took me two whole weeks to operate on your head. But you seem to have survived just fine. Was that all? Just to ask if I knew all of you. No, I, I just wanted to know if... You knew my sister Daisy? Oh, oh no. Dear. Don't pass out too. What? Pass out? Oh no. I'm not going to pass out. That just took me back a bit. But, yeah, I knew your sister Daisy. Well, I'm not going to ask how she died. But, did Rosie react sad when she saw Daisy go away? Well, I'm sure all your family members were sad. Actually, I do have a... Hold on, let me get it. Here we go. The picture I took at the funeral. Oh my god. Wow. I... Wait. I thought people weren't supposed to take pictures at funerals. Yeah, I didn't intend on doing it while your parents or people were there, but I had to go quick that day. It's usually a thing I do for anybody who dies very young or very old. But you can keep it if you want. Just try not to let your parents know I took it. Well, hope you have a good day. Well, this doesn't really tell me anything. Wait. Rosie doesn't look sad in this picture, almost, as if she's hiding something. C can we go home already? It's so freaking cold in here. Huh, <sighs> we're in a hospital. Of course it's cold. Fine then, I'll take you home. Just let me get a snack from the snack bar. Um, Mommy. Caillou. Oh, oh hello there, Cody. Little, You're not trying to kill us, are you? No, but I just wanted to say I'm sorry. About what I said to put you guys here. I don't think you really did- Did, did what? what? Please just take a breath and think before I ask this. What happened to my older sister, Daisy? Oh man. Oh god. Daisy died in an accident. And I, I was pretty much the cause of it. I left the microwave door open when I was cooking pizza rolls. And Daisy climbed in and she died. Oh my god, that's horrible. And I should have been watching her at all times. It was pretty much our fault. Well. I don't know exactly what happened, because I wasn't born yet, but, where was Rosie at? I, I don't know. Probably playing with dolls or something. I guess just playing. I remember Rosie was angry when Daisy was born. She snatched a Daisy that Daisy was holding. I remember that. And that's how she got the name. The Daisy she was holding I think was Rosie's flower that she grew or something. But after, the accident. We just tried to forget about Daisy ever existing. And then, you came into my body two weeks after. It was like a miracle from God. A second chance. So, you guys never had any pictures of Daisy? Or anything related to her? Well I had a picture of Daisy once I made on the weekend soul I stole, but then that got ruined. Well, I think I may know what actually did happen to Daisy. And it's all explained in this picture here. What the? Where on earth did you get this? That's Daisy's funeral. The doctor said he took the picture because he usually takes pictures of lost ones who are young or old. He had to go quick that day. He was there at the funeral. Oh my god. 
Why did he give you this? I asked for it because Rosie was having nightmares about Daisy coming back. And, look in the picture at Rosie. She's not wearing black clothing. Exactly. First smart thing you've noticed in a while. And look at her face. She looks bored. I'm calling the police, Cody. Take out your cell phone, hit the video record button then give it to Caillou to put under his sheets. I'll then call your dad to bring Rosie back in the room. I'm going to make a few calls as well. What? I'm driving back home. You what? Don't the- huh? Oh my god, wow. You're serious? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll take her back. Take me back? To what? The um. The hospital. Your mom feels inside. Oh, okay. Hi there, mom. You said you weren't feeling well? No. I'm not. Caillou, um, is gone. And I'll be going away too. I'm afraid. As you see, from the machine to me. I'm pretty much dead. Wow. Um, oh my. That's oh hoo hoo hoo. Here, here's a tissue. Thank you, oh hoo hoo. But it's okay, just like your past sister, Daisy. I'll be going to a better place. Just a question. Do you know if Caillou ever actually did, you know, take away Daisy? Well, honestly, I think Caillou would be too dumb to actually pull that off. Do you happen to know what actually happened to Daisy? I never realized until today that you were home when she crawled in the microwave and somebody had to press the button from the outside and she would be seen from the window. I just don't understand who could have done that. Oh, my heart. Oh God. Mommy. I think it was me. Maybe I did it. Maybe I was stupid. All the stress at the time. Um, Mommy, I have a confession. What is it, Rosie? Oh God. My heart. Oh, this is it. It wasn't you who made Daisy go away. It was me. I put Daisy in the microwave. I turned it on. Thank you for being honest. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mommy. And just between me and you, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed every part of it. Trashing the Daisy that is. What? What on earth? You were alive. You say goodbye. And I say hello. Hello, Justice. Can you? You get the audio recording? Recorded in 4K audio. I have no idea what that means, but yeah. An audio. Uck. Recording. I didn't. You didn't get my consent. Two-party consent. Me and Caillou agreed. Oh fuck. Okay, okay. Quiet it down, everyone. Jurors. Have you all come to an agreement? Yes. 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 And your decision is... We the jury have decided that Rosie Anderson of Ghosty is... I agree. With the evidence of the picture that show and zero remorse, the audio recording, and the fake penis on the tissue her mother gave her, she is an legit sociopath. Showing no remorse of her little sister back in 2005, Rosie Anderson, because you were 8 years old at the time, you will not go to life imprisonment, but for 4 years of jail time. Case closed. <laughs> Cody, I'm very proud of you solving the disappearance of your sister Daisy. And for making me and Caillou not feel like complete crap anymore for something we never did. Even though you complete trashed the Coco Keys Resort two weeks ago, you are completely ungrounded. What do you want to do? Go swimming at the public pool. Hey, there's Dr. Huxtable. Ah, uh, staying active by Steve. Very nice. You seem to be the only people here doing that. Hey everyone, take a picture of the doctor. Quick now. Okay, stop poking. Now I'm always... Serves you right for taking off because that's fine. Hey, but that big job just is for your daughter. We know, and we appreciate it. We just wanted to see you come out and have fun from working too much. Oh, alright then. Cannonball! <laughs> Oh no 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 no! Oh no! Oh no! No no! <laughs> Don't do it! Ah! 
Oh no. My brother, no. <laughs> okay, Mr. Lauder King. Wake up. Huh? Doris, what are you doing here? Wait. Oh no, it's all a fantasy. No fair. I was dreaming I was the playground slot, or king. Well, I'm sorry to burst your rule bubble, but I'm going to take Caillou to the park to play with his friends. I just need you to watch Rosie for an hour. Fine. I'll watch that little ginger, but one of these days, I shall be king of Slaughter Beach. Well, you're not king and there's no such place as that. There is Soyadami. It's in Delaware next to the town Milford. One of the few towns with a bridge that has a lit up neon sign on it. Come down, Caillou. It's time to go to the park and meet your friends. Yay, yay, oh, woo, hoo, oh, yeah. I love the park. I am ready to go to the park. All right, then let's go to the park. Here we are at the Green Tree Park. Yay, I love the Green Tree Park. It smells so nice. Hey, there's my friends. I see them. Drive faster. I want to get out and play with them in the sandbox. Okay, then no one can go to the Mommy doesn't want another stupid ticket. Ah, hello there Doris. Nice surprise to seeing you here today. Yeah, I had to take a break from Doris today. He was in his school. Leo, Clementine, nice to see you guys. Hey coming. friends. Oh yeah, that looks nice. With a flag and here. And a window here. Wow, that looks so cool. Watch it, Caillou. Oops, sorry Leo. I'll fix it. I have a bucket. Sorry, Clementine. The sand's slippery. Caillou, you broke my bucket from your stupid shoe. We don't want to play with you, Caillou, you Humpty Dumpty Dummy. You break everything. Mommy. <laughs> Caillou? What's happening? What's wrong? Leo and Clementine don't want to play with me. Why? What happened? Well, when I saw Leo and Clementine, I wanted to play with them. I said their sand castle looked nice, then I touched it and it broke. I didn't mean to, then I said I would fix it, and accidentally stepped on Clementine's bucket and it broke. Then they yelled at me and said I broke everything. Clementine said I was stupid, and Leo said I was like Humpty Dumpty. They did all that? That's it. I'm telling Leo and Clementine's mothers what they said to you? That is unacceptable and wrong. Do you know what Leo and Clementine just said and did to Caillou? What happened? What happened? Leo said to Caillou that he is like and looks like Humpty Dumpty. And Clementine said that Caillou is stupid. Just because he accidentally broke their castle by pointing at it and accidentally broke Clementine's bucket by walking on it probably caused the sand slippery. They said all that? Disgusting. That won't fly by Principal Jackie. No way they're grounded for sure. Leo. Oh, hi mommy. What do you want? And why do you look pissed? Leo. Were you being mean to Caillou? Tell me the truth right now. Um, um, yes. I was, because Caillou slipped into my castle. We worked hard on the castle. Oh, 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 oh. Leo. How dare you call Caillou Humpty Dumpty just cause he accidentally slipped into your castle. You hurt his feelings. We're going home right now where you'll be grounded. Oh no. How dare you call Caillou stupid for accidentally breaking your sand castle and bucket. I can get you a new bucket. You didn't have to be personal to Caillou. We are going home this instant or you will be grounded. Yeah, go away Leo and Clementine. You jerks, but one more thing. Yay, I'm winner. Leo, you were being very mean to Caillou at the park. For your punishment. You will be shown a picture of what you look like to me, as a taste of your own medicine. Oh my god. It's so nasty. Wah 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 wah. Clementine, I am very disappointed in your actions today. I was talking with Leo's mom, and she told me to show you what you look like to me today because you like to judge others. Oh my god. No. I'm so hairy. Wah 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 wah. Caillou, I'm very proud of you for behaving at the park and trying to play with your friends in a good manner. It's a shame they couldn't do the same. I am really going to say this, for only the third or fourth time now, but, you are ungrounded. Yeah. Chuck E. Cheese Pizza? Yes. Yeah. 
I'm real excited for tomorrow. I get to eat my favorite food and get to play on a playground, all with my best bud. Well, thank you. But, why are we going to Chick-fil-A and not Chuck E. Cheese's? Oh trust me, you'll like Chick-fil-A. The chicken's so awesome and sweet there. And they have a giant indoor playground. That doesn't smell like fat person smell or old pizza. Chuck E. Cheese doesn't smell like fat person. That's McDonald's. <laughs> ha ha, good point. Well that. At least it's not McDonald's. Well, isn't Chick-fil-A just some dumb shark cheating place though with Bible stuff in it? No way, hi you. It's a... Chick-fil-A is not a dumb church fast food place. It's a place that respects Christians and knows that everyone should have a day of rest and that people are valued. To respect others, ugh, so much atheism going on in this world, ruining young men's minds. Hey Leo, guess how you can spot a McDonald's eater? I heard that. Oh ha, very funny. But anyway, I guess I'll see you and your parents tomorrow at Chick-fil-A. Um, why are you surprised, Caillou? The cool kid. Oh, Kevin Coolidge. Yeah, I guess he's alright. So, we're going down to the Frankenmuth water park to get more cool tomorrow at 12 p.m. And you all are going to come. Oh yeah, so cool. Oh yeah, so cool. Very good. See you tomorrow. And bring your swim shorts. Kevin, Kevin. Hey. Oh, it's the Caillou kid. Yay. You know my name. Awesome. Hey, I can come down with you too. Um, uh, yeah. You could be my new bulldog. My awesome. god, this kid smells like a bulldog. Like Let's bulldog. get out of here. Chuck e. What are we? Pizza on the way back. Caillou, you can't hang out with him tomorrow. Me and you are going to hang out. Well, uh, can't we just do it on Sunday then? But you said yesterday and today we would go to Chick-fil-A on Saturday. I even told my mom about it and your parents are coming too. You said they never went there too. I only said that because we haven't hung out in a long time out of school because of my groundings. But how many times have I ever gone with Kevin Coolidge? None. Well, a plan's a plan. I really think you'll get there. Ugh, why am I not allowed to hang out with the cool kids? I don't want to go to stinky Chick-fil-A. It probably smells like hairy fat guys there and old musty church. Okay Caillou and Rosie, come down now. Let's try out the new Christian fast food place Chick-fil-A. I really want to try that spicy sandwich. Yay 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 Rosie like chicken. Chicken yummy. Where's Caillou? Caillou, come down now. Come on, you don't want to be late for hanging out with your bud Leo at Chick-fil-A. Wah 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 wah. Caillou? Why are you crying? Like a fucking baby at that. It's because Leo cancelled his plan to go to Chick-fil-A today. Instead, he's sick with, um, chicken pox. Oh my god. Chicken pox? I wouldn't want Caillou or even me getting that. Well, maybe we could do something else today. Really? Like that new Frankenmuth Water Park? We could do that. Frankenmuth Water Park? I never heard of. Wait, Caillou, why are you so happy all of a sudden? Happy? No, no, I'm not happy. I'm sad. Hmm, something seems off here. Let me rub your eyes. What? No, no, I'm good, Mommy. These are fake watery tears. Caillou, what's the big idea? Why are you fake crying? Look, I don't want to go to Chick-fil-A. I just want to go to the Frankenmuth Hotel Water Park. Why do you want to go to this odd water park? And, wait, Leo's not even sick, is he? No, he's not. I just wanted to go to the water park because the cool kid at school is there. Caillou, how dare you try to stand up your best friend for some punk cool kid at school? Kevin Coolidge is not a punk. He's a cool guy. And what makes this Kevin boy in your school cooler than Leo? Well, he's, he dresses nice. And, he has these two boys who always follow him around. And, well, he has a deep voice. And, um, that's it. Does this Kevin boy have friends that share some of the same interests as you, like Chuck E. Cheese Pizza? Or does he have a nice big yard like you? Or has over six video games? Or has a father who has 20 weapons and a private arsenal? I don't know if he has any of those things. Well, you do, and Leo does. Mine is the private arsenal. And Leo and also your friend Clementine are one of the few who accept you as a person. Which is why you shouldn't stand up your real friend and treat them as a part-time friend for some kid you barely even know or who might not even like you. Understand? Yes. Good, then let's go get some yummy biblical chicken and bless God for giving us good life and Ms. friends. I'll call to tell them we'll get there a few minutes late. Oh wow, you came. Awesome. Well of course, they came joy. That's the whole point for today. And nobody has chicken pox thankfully. Huh? Chicken pox? What is this? 1992? That's completely done with. Oh don't listen to him. But yeah. 
We wanted to try out the spicy chicken sandwich. We heard they're pretty good. So spicy, I could breath fire to shut my I warm mouth. you're there. Ouch. Ouch. Well, how about we just eat and celebrate Leo's special day? I agree. I'll order the food for all of us. Nonsense. You paid for your cake, we'll pay for our family for our food. We will. Whoa, 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 okay. We'll pay. G-R-R-R-R-R-R. Oh, thank you, Doris. You're a sweetheart. We will, however, find a seat for all of us. Okay, here comes the natural low-effort fast food attitude. Hello there, host. Welcome to Chick-fil-A. How may I help you today? Hello there. We would like four spicy chicken sandwiches. Oh, very good choice. That's my favorite. And would you like to make it a meal or the entree? What's in the meal? Oh, so the meal has our special waffle fries and your choice of soda that we fill all the way to the top. You want to try that? Absolutely. Splendid. So that's four chicken spicy deluxe sandwich meals. And what soda would you like? Hmm, tough choice. Caillou likes Pepsi. So I guess Coke would be second best. We'll take a Coke for all meals. Awesome. That's four spicy deluxe meals. That would be $16.25, please. Okay, I'll use my charge card. Excellent. Okay then, and that will be out in about five minutes. Thank you very much. My pleasure, sir, than you. Wow. I heard rumors that they said my pleasure. I never knew it was true. A fast food clerk who actually is friendly. This is like the best day ever. This is like the worst day ever. The cool kid at school is having fun at the water park, and I'm here at a stinky fast food joint. I wish I was having fun like him. Woohoo ah wee hoo. Man this is so much fun. It's too bad that Caillou couldn't come with us. Yeah, he would probably love for you to come to his house. And eat Chuck E. Cheese pizza with him at Chuck E. Cheese. But he's at that chick fill a church place. That not cool man. But you're cool Kevin. Yeah, you're cool man. Yeah, but not as cool without my bulldog Caillou. Oh god, those guys are going to have so much fun without me. I got to get to that Frankenmuth Hotel, but how do I get to there? I got it. I could take the bus, but I don't have any money on me, unless, I could take money in mommy's pocket, and then also take the knife that daddy has in his pocket, and rob the bus driver and make him take me to the water park. Yeah, that will work. Kalu. Yeah, yes daddy? Stop talking to yourself like a mental patient. We are sitting over here where Leo's family is. Um, okay. How am I going to get the stuff out of their pocket? I can't fake sick, they'll know I'm faking. Wait. I got it. I'm going to cause a spillage. Allie boop. No oh, heavens. I must have dropped my soda. Alright, I got our food. Let's get spicy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, no. Ugh, I got I'm sticky so spilled pain. soda pop all over my clothes. Oh, no. I'm falling. Caillou, are you alright? Don't oh, run. Oops, sorry. Oof, my head hurts. I need to go to the bathroom and lay down for a second. That's okay, Caillou. You can do that. Run along now if you're able. Don't, Don't run. run. Oops, sorry. Oh my god. What happened here? What happened was I slipped on some soda that was spilled on the ground and not cleaned up. Which then caused our food to fly and whack me in the face. I just wanted some spice, not to spit in the face. And then the table leaned up and whacked me in the face causing bloodshed. I just wanted to celebrate my son's half birthday. Not get a whack in my face. I'm very sorry you all had to deal with that. We'll make sure both your meals are free of charge. And we'll call paramedics to treat you guys of any injuries. We'll get this cleaned up right away. Oh, wow. wow, amazing. Thank you so much. These guys really are a blessing of fast food. Oh, it's Definitely. just our pleasure. Anything to make people feel welcome. Wow, they clean all that up in less than 10 seconds. The attention to detail is spot on. I didn't mean to have everything be a mess. I just wanted to show my friend a cool new place. Oh, don't worry, honey. Caillou is going to enjoy his time here. I'm sure of it. And when he comes out of the bathroom, he'll say, Wow, I love this cool place Leo took me to. I definitely will come back. Ugh, I hate this place Leo took me to. I do not want to ever come back here. Time to have some real fun at Frankenmuth Water Park. Hey, you baldy. Here's a bus stop. You, this bus stop smells stinky. Awesome. Here comes the bus. Hello there. Would you like money? Yes, yes, 50 cents to write, please. Well, that's too bad. Because you're not getting my money. 
What the fuck? And here is your reordered meal. Sorry about the delay. Is there anything else you all need? No, thank you. You've been a great help. Absolutely. Very well then. Just follow if you need anything. Okay, okay. Please pass me the bag. I want to try the chicken spicy sandwich. Boris, it's not your birthday. No, it's okay. Well, he did say please. Leo, is it okay if Mr. Anderson tries the chicken spicy sandwich deluxe before you? Yeah, sure, Mr. Anderson. You'll love it. Oh, thank you, Leo. Here goes nothing. Om nam, nam nom. Oh my god. Well, wow. That is the best chicken sandwich in sandwich in general I've ever had in my life. Bless our Lord Almighty for providing us this heavenly food. Amen. Now let's begin. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. Okay now, let's get the inside scoop on what makes this new thriving chill feel as successful. That was amazingly epic and holy. Now you see why we come here a lot. This is all fine and all, but where's Caillou? I wanted to have my day with him. He has been taking a long time in there. Hope he didn't pass out. I'll go check on him quick. Well, I guess I should bring out the cake now for you. Whoa. Ginger carrot cake, my new favorite. Oh, don't walk on the cake. Thanks, Mom. Oh, you're welcome, dear. Hey, Caillou, are you almost done in there? Wow, it actually smells good in here. Doesn't smell like Big Mac Diapers Davis. Caillou, where are you? <laughs> that goddamn stupid bald prick. Oh, my heavens. I mean, that gosh darn silly loose brick. You there, quick. I need to see your CCTV footage from 20 minutes ago. Excuse me? Your CCTV footage? Do you speak English? I need to see it. My kid ran away from your bathroom. Sir, we act polite here. If you're impolite with me, then I cannot process what you're saying. Oh my fucking. Please, 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 can you show me the CCTV footage from 20 minutes ago to see where my son went, please? Yes, I can. Up around the counter here. Thank you. Time to throw this soda away, Ali Hoop. Oh my god, he was the one who caused everyone to trip. It wasn't the fat cow, right in front of us. Then he fake falls. I'm such a dumbass. Time to grab a bus and hold out gas 9mm to the driver and head to Frankenmuth Water Park. Oh my god, he's holding up a bus driver and head to that stupid park. I should have known. Doris, we got to go. Huh? Why? Because Caillou ditched us. He ran off to that Frankenmuth water park or wherever that is. He ran south of here. Oh, come on. I just wanted some carrot cake. If you Sorry want carrot cake, then I'll buy some Maybe tiny snack and carrots and blend time. them. But, I thought we were going to blow out my carrot cake candles. I know you feel bad, honey. There's some people that just are not good at keeping promises at times. This isn't about the promise. Caillou didn't want to go here at all. He ran away from my party for that unpopular kid. I don't know why nobody thinks I'm cool. We think you're cool, Leo. And so did Caillou's parents. That's why they came with us despite not knowing about Chick-fil-A. They just wanted to try the dumb chicken sandwiches. Well, kind of, but also, what are we doing? Okay, okay, let's see to the manager. Hello there, Matt. How are you doing? Oh, he's below there. Good thing I fixed my hair great today. I didn't know I was being on camera. We're with Channel 25 doing a news report on why Chick fil A is so popular. These first two weeks it's been open. Roll the camera again. Where do you feel Chick fil A has been successful these first two weeks of operation? Well, I feel our quality in terms of food, customer service, and presentation sets us from a lot of fast food establishments. We do get food out quick but do it in a manner that the customer feels satisfied from the start, from when they walk up to the counter slash drive through to when they get their food, and we always look out for our employees as much as our customers. We are always closed on Sunday, so that our employees always have at least one day of rest as said in the Bible. Very good. Let's get over this way. Well, it looks like a boy here is having a birthday party. Hello there, young boy. How do you like Chick-fil-A today? I always love Chick-fil-A, but today is the worst day of my life. My best friend didn't want to come to my half birthday party. He did my party to go at the cool kid at school. Hey, can you please get that camera out of our face, please? Have some respect. Oh, we're sorry, sir. We go ahead from here. Okay, we got our food now. Let's head home before your father gets angry, Josh. Where are you going? Okay, Frank, let's cut it out. Wait, what? Hey, dude. Is everything okay? No. Everything's not okay. 
My best friend ran away and ditched me for my birthday. And, wait a minute, you have the same sounding voice as me, Mommy. I found a twin brother of mine. Wow, that's actually the funny. The is indeed uncanny. Do you like model planes? Yeah, I love model planes. I have a whole model airplane set at my house. Your pan and planes? Yup. Like this one here, the 1986 model. That's the only one I don't have. You can have it if you want for your birthday. But really? Yeah, man. I don't really collect the models much anymore. But I do drawings of my old models. I can show them to you if you want. Can I go with you, Mom? If it's okay with the boy's mother, we'd be glad to. Woohoo. Alright. I'm Leo O'Reilly, by the way. I'm Josh Cowell. Nice to meet you, man. Before we go anywhere, we need to sing happy birthday to Leo. I got the flame for here. Oh my god. No, no god, god name in vain. Sorry, just never saw a blow torch used. Okay, let's sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish and blow. We are sending the dicing to our viewers. But before you go and celebrate with your new bud here, what would you like to say to that friend who ditched you for some cool kid in school? I want to say that Caillou is a bald piece of crap, and that I have a friend who likes me for who I am. Well, I think that's clear as day. Mr. Caillou, your friend he actually feels respected, and the whole town now knows. You now look like a piece of crap guy you and smell very very stinky. Reported from Chilfil and Go City. I'm Rodney. Get out of my way. I'm driving here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. I'm out of here. Ice cream truck. This is crazy. I'm out. Ice cream. I'm saved. Oh no, I'm not saved. Brain freeze. You have now arrived at Frankenmuth Hotel on the right. Yay, I've made it to the water park. Now to get to Kevin Coolidge. Don't get away from that. <laughs> Hope nobody notices all this. Time to find Kevin and his friend. Oh yeah, we're cool. Oh yeah, you're so cool, Kevin. You're very cool, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hi, you? What are you doing here? I came all the way here just for you, Kevin. Oh, really? Ha uh ha, -huh. that's cute. No, man. I'm cool. Yeah, sure you are. I even drove a bus in here. Ha 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 ha. You so funny, Bobby. I'm funny? Well, I tried, but I did bring a bus in here. Yeah, we get it. Very funny. Oh my god. Get some help. There's a bus with people in it that crashed. What? You mean? No way. Oh wait. Freaking. Shit. I must say hi you. You're beyond cool. You're downright insane. Oh, well thank you. Now how's about we go in the pool now? Cannonball. What the? Wow. The water feels great. Hop on in guys. Caillou, you stupid bald idiot. You got me and my crew all wet. Our hair is ruined. You're not insane, just a dumb dumb. But, we're at a water park, where we have fun. We don't have fun at the water park. We look for girls and say how cool we are. You really are just a loser. Caillou. Caillou, how dare you? Not only did you ditch your best friend's half birthday, you did it to try and impress some dumb cool kid, and destroy the water park interior. You are a very dumb bleeping idiot. You are grounded 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 for the whole summer. Come home this instant. Wow, is this Caillou's parents? My god they are lame. Who are you talking to boy? You don't talk to me like, wait. Ha 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 ha. Are you this Kevin Coolidge Caillou you mentioned? Yeah, ah, uh, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Oh my god, that has got to be the goofiest clothes I've ever seen in my life. Caillou, I can't believe you were trying to impress this guy who also made fun of me. Only jelly people call me Goofy. Kevin. Kevin Coolidge. Oh shoot, Mom. Kevin. You said you wanted to get the $200 gold medal in the $200 shirt and now it's all wet. Your only shirt you have. If you wanted to get wet then, you could have just gotten the $5 shirts from Kmart. 
and not beg me to spend two hundred dollars of our hard-earned money on that dumb metal and shirt. Um, hum, bum, bum, um, uh. As well as the seventy-five dollars I spent today to take you and your so-called two tag-along crew. I could have used all that money to fix the crack in our two hundred square feet and house. So much for the boy who has a big yard. Now you get your ass to the car this instant, ow, 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 mister. Ow, 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 I'll ow, call ow. your crew's parents to pick them up. Ouch. Well, I guess we're free now. Last one to the front is a rotten egg. No way, Jose. But you're already a wet egg. Hee hee ha ha. Excuse me, are you the parents of the boy who crashed into the water park? Yes, my boy fled from Chick fil to here in the bus. We will pay for any damage. Wait. Oh my god. That's the boy from the news who ditched his friend. Wow, he does look like a sticky piece of crap. Believe me, we're aware. Well, here is your bill for damages, assholes. Six thousand dollars? Caillou, you're not grounded for the summer. You're grounded until Columbus Day. Let's get out of here. Hello? Eat shat, Baldy. Another bad call. Hello? You stink like diarrhea. That not nice. Hello? Hey, Caillou, it's me, Leo. Oh, hi, Leo. Thank God you called. You're the only call after 50, 60 people who called me names from the news. I didn't call to make you feel better. I just called to tell you that you hurt me from leaving my party. And that my new friend Josh is much better caring than you. It really hurts when people get ditched by people. And you did that. Maybe when school starts for hangout again. But for now, you made me sad. Goodbye, Caillou Stinky Baldy. Wait, Leo. Please. I won't do that again. What? Okay, Caillou and Cody. Today is the neighbor of block down the street's 21st birthday, Dane Schmidt's birthday. We are going to surprise him at the town square's giant stage room. There will also be drinks there. So, Caillou, you can only have one drink there, because I know how you got in that one grown-up video. That was just an uncanon video, Dad. You guys just acted out for the show in that video, along with the Diakite family. Oh, uh, my mistake. When you get to be my age you forget stuff that only happened a month ago, but I can still remember something you did when you were like three however. Like when you flooded the house. Two times at that. Uh huh, those were the days. But anyway, you can only have one drink Caillou. What about me dad? You can sneak me one too can't you? Don't ask me something stupid that you know I'll say no to. You're much smarter than that. Well I can have that stuff on Thanksgiving and New Year's. Yes. And that's it. A lot of families let their kids after 12 years old have a sip on Thanksgiving and New Year's but that's it. I'm cutting as close as it is with the law. When you have one or two full drinks, you start to notice it after a while. And three definitely. And with your age and height it can still make you act different. You're only 5 foot 7 inches. Caillou however is 5 foot 11 inches. He can hold down that stuff a bit more than you. And he's 29 years old this year. Anyway. Let's head down to the town square now. We will then inform Dane that there's a quote-unquote emergency. Yay 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 yay. I can't wait to drink yummy Bud Light uh, there. No way they're serving that milk Bud Light there. Sam Adams is more our thing. Ugh, no fair. I want to have some of the good stuff. But how can I sneak some of it without Dad and Caillou noticing? Wait, I got it. Mom bought a whole bunch of water bottles because she wanted us to drink healthy. I'll use the bottle to my advantage and sneak the good stuff in the bottle at the party. Ha 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 ha. Where's the water bottles at? Where the hell are they? Oh, here they are. What dumbass puts them on the floor? We're humans, not cats or dogs. Ouch. Ugh, I can't peel the plastic off. It's like as strong as a tank that wrapped bottle plastic shit. There we go. Cody, where the fuck are you? We have to leave for Dane Schmidt's party right now. Coming, Dad? I needed to get a water bottle. About time you snail like bastard. Such is a good day. 21. Life sure goes by fast. A text message come. Let me see. Oh my god. Someone needs me at the town square theater. It could be a performance I need to do for the mayor. I got a head quick. Shoot. Head on in, Mr. Schmidt. I'll park your car for you. Thank you, security, Michael. It says to go in the main hall in here. What the- Oh my god. Mom. Dad. 
the Andersons and the Diacons and many more. Yeah, we figured since you've been so talented and honoring the classical arts, that we'd repay you and throw you a great party for your 21st. Your parents, our family, the Diacites all pitched in together with money, with permission from the mayor to hold your party at Town Square cause none of our houses were big enough. Now, this is so nice. Thank you all. I honestly thought someone was in dire need of a concert pianist. No, I already got a fat one in my pants right now. <laughs> now for the best part. Having your first drink, son. You've earned it, my man. Only if you want to, that is. Wow, he he that sure is a mature step into adulthood. Well, I guess I'll have a sip. <laughs> so, how is it? Well, kind of has a fancy texture to it. Mostly like sand pepper, and the weight of it feels, a subtle pool of water weight, and the taste and smell, reminds me of Kai's shirt. So basically, it tastes like piss water. <laughs> it's alright Dane, I thought the same thing on my 21st birthday in 2015. Yeah, it's not for everybody, but now you know, and if you ever drink it, to drink it maturely. Just a question, did you guys actually want to have a song played for you all? Uh oh, he must be buzzed. No, just kidding. But yeah, I actually did get the town hall employees to raise money to buy you a brand new piano for you. Bring her out, fellas. I can't believe that. Holy shoot. This is amazing. Wow, look at the craftsmanship. Look at the detail. Now. How about you play us a song, Dane? Okay, Dad. How about Joplin's Pineapple? Good song. Hum. This song sounds oddly familiar. Don't know where I've heard it, but I like it. Ugh. I can't believe that 4 eye Prick didn't like the good stuff he drank. I've only had the grape stuff. But clearly the clear barley stuff has to be good too. Now to use my bottle trick plan. What were you doing walking over near that cart? I was just walking to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, that music. It's so relaxing. Ha ha ha. Cody, what happened? Knew nothing. I, I, I was just drinking my water bottle. Hey, is this the water bottle? Let me see that, ya yeah, boy. Sniff, sniff. Cody, how could you? Dad, ah, my freaking ears. Oh shoot, get out of there. Cody, how dare you up all over me, and how dare you pour the stuff from the bottle on the cart into your water bottle? You can't do this stuff at your age until you are 21. And how dare you do all this at my birthday party? Now my shirt, my piano and your dad's hoodie is ruined. I hope you're happy, yes. Now I've got to get all this shit off of me. Like Dane said, you practically destroyed his piano. It will take months to clean the inside of the piano. The mayor here worked very hard on getting this for Dane. She might as well throw it out now thanks to you. And worst of all, because I am fully aware of what happened, you will now be arrested for what you did. In most states, what you did can be punishable up to six months. In this state, it's punishable up to a year. Take him away, boys. Rara, 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 gargar. Ruffle. Mm -hmm. You got served right, Baldi Dino. I'll serve you knuckle sandwich. Whoa. Mmm. Yummo. Your knuckle sandwich, yummo. Ha 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 ha. Whoa. You have a twin name. Huh? Where? Mm. Right here. This Dino looks like you. Oh yeah. Well, that Dino over there looks like your dad. Where? Right there. Next to you. Ha 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 ha. It does. What's that? That means it's supper time. Oh, your mommy rings a bell. No, not mommy. Can you tell it? It's supper time. Ra ra Rosie ra. Ra 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 ra. Mmm. <laughs> so, how was your big strong cherry sorris pie? Ra 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 ra. Ah hee hee hee. I guess that's an approval. Hee <laughs> hee ha. Okay, 
Well you big strong dinosaurs can go play now, but remember that Leo's being picked up in about 30 minutes. Come on, can't Leo stay longer mommy? Sorry guys, you can't play too long. It's getting late. Bedtime soon. Sausage pizza time soon Thoris. But you guys are to never have sausage pizza. Oh, uh, it's uh, for more mature people. Who can handle sausage? Yeah. Ugh, I hate sausage. Me too. It looks like poopy. Hey, I got an idea. Whisper, whisper, boxy, suck, sucky, purple, whisk, whisper, fifty thousand. Mommy, Daddy, can Leo sleep over? Please, please, please. Yes, please, please, please. You think we can still do the sausage pizza with Leo and call you up? We could go out in the shed tonight. They wouldn't go in there. Okay, it sounds good. Yeah, Leo can sleep over. As long as it's cool with Leo's mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Good night, mommy. Good night, daddy. I can stay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This will kind of be like going camping, Leo. You can sleep right over this rug beside Caillou's bed. Oh, I like camping. Snug, as a bug. I want to sleep in the sleeping bag. No, I like the sleeping bag. Leo's the guest Caillou. He gets first pick. It's my room. I get first pick. That's not how this works, Caillou. Leo's the guest. We need to make him feel welcome. And you don't own this room. I own it. As it's my house. Well, that's stupid. You know what else is stupid? You. Because you just got a strike on your first sleepover with your friend. Oh no no no, I'm sorry. Leo can sleep in the sleeping bag. Oh there you go. That's nice of you. Good job, but you still got a strike on you. Come on. It's bath time for both of you. G-R-R-R-R-R. That's a cool dinosaur sound. Better than before. Shut up you fat ginger. Caillou? Is that a second strike I hear? No 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 mommy I'm coming for bath. Here's a nice new green towel for you Leo and for Leo the large dinosaur. A dinosaur toothbrush. Whoa. Thanks. I want a new toothbrush too. Sorry Caillou, we only have one toothbrush. I know, Leo can use my toothbrush. And I get the dinosaur toothbrush. Caillou, sharing toothbrushes is very gross. I'm not sharing your toothbrush. That's nasty. Leo's the guest tonight, and he gets the new toothbrush. Here Leo, try it out. Thanks. No, give it to me. Wake up. Oh boy. Caillou, Caillou, no. Wow, that feels great. Caillou, that was the only new toothbrush we had, and you splashed water all over the place. That's it. You've received your second strike. Now Leo won't get his teeth clean tonight. Get dressed now. Bath time is over. Thanks a lot, stupid. Now my teeth will feel slimy all night. I'm sorry. I just wanted the cool new stuff. Leo, your mom just came over a few minutes ago to give you your bright orange pajamas. Here you go. Woohoo. Thanks, mommy. My mommy always gives me my favorite tiger pajamas. Wow. I want to try. Dude. Gross. Caillou, you are not putting on your friend's pajamas. That is very unacceptable. You will sleep in your bed like a good boy and let your friend sleep in his pajamas. Okay, mommy. Very good. Well, off to bed for you two little dinosaurs. And Caillou. Get your pajamas on too. Yes, mommy. Very good. Okay. Sleep tight. Don't let them bed bugs bite. Good night, mommy. Good night, Caillou's mommy. Good night, guys. Good night, buddy. Good night. Hum, no laugh at that. Well, okay then. I really want to try those tiger pajamas out, but Leo's already in them, and he already farted in them. Maybe I could wait a 10 minutes until he falls asleep to try them on. Yeah, I'll do that. Mum hum. I can't wait to taste it hot stuff. Mmm, 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 mmm. I got it nice and marinated. I think now's a good time to try on the pajamas. Oh hee hee, mommy not yet. Just five more minutes. Oh no don't tickle me there mommy. Mommy okay I'm up. What the? Huh? Caillou? Leo? It's not what it looks like. Get out of there. You're being weird. No, no. I'm just trying on the pajamas with you. Get out of there now or I'll fart. Hear me out. I want to feel it. Get out of that. I want to get off of it. Yeah, you can. Are you evolving me? Stretch me. I'm going to stretch on it. You're going to let me out with them. Hi, you know. Uh oh. Oh, no. What was that noise? Me and your dad are busy. Leo? 
Why are you not in your pajamas? Because Caillou was trying to try on my pajamas and we both were trying to get out of them and they ripped up and popped. What's going on? I got my sausages nice and marinated. Is what Leo said true, Caillou? Tell us the truth. Um, hum, mom, mom, mom. Uh, mom. Yes. I broke Leo's pajamas by trying to go in them. I'm sorry. Caillou, how dare you? How dare you do something very, very gross like that? Your friend just wanted to have a night to remember. Now he'll remember it for a different reason. You are now grounded, grounded, grounded for one week. Tonight is punishment night, and your punishment is trying out my sausage pizza in the shed. No, not your sausage pizza. Oh God. You can try out Caillou's bed if you want Leah since he wanted to try yours out so bad. No thanks Miss Anderson. I still want to go camping. Oh you're such a sweet good boy. If only Caillou was like you. Well let me clean up this shit. Oops sorry about that. It's okay Miss Anderson. My dad curses all the time. Very well then. Good night Leo. Good night. Daddy. Don't take me in there, please. Oh my god, it's so slimy, it's so gross. Daddy, don't do that. Wa 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 wa. Ha 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 ha. Some people can't stand the sight of raw meat. It's very odd. I love raw meat. How about you? <sighs> wow, what a nice dream I had. I dreamt I went to Chuck E. Cheese's for the 28th time. I was having lovies with Sarah. <coughs> Oh, morning Gilbert. Do you want to have a nice trip with me today? Awesome. We'll go to the pool then. Kalu, get up. It's time to go to school. It's your first day of school. No. Freaking. Wait. Ow. Kalu, get your bald ass up now. I took off work to get you up ready today. Ow. Move, 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 move. Fine. G-R-R-R And your famous shirt And last are your shoes Ow! Hey that not nice Neither is holding us up here We got you this modern IKEA drawer here to get you to open your eyes and get dressed yourself but you still don't remember Huh. <sighs> Never again spending $400 on this cheap Swedish meatball look in drawer that will break probably in less than 2 years God damn it! Not even 2 days Ugh, I can't believe I have to go to stinky first grade. Why couldn't I just graduate at kindergarten? I know my ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, G, J, K, L, M, P, P. Your eggs will be ready in exactly three minutes. Just watch some crap cable TV until they are done. Here, I'll put Nick on. Ugh, the show is already over. Now I'm just watching stinky commercials. Well, you should have gotten up on time then. Ugh, the Wonder Ball. That's that stupid chocolate ball which tastes like plastic with stinky toys inside it. Call you, get off of the couch now. Oops, sorry mommy. Ugh, this is so boring. So is first grade. I don't want to go to stinky first grade. I'll just have a boring teacher doing boring number of stupid stuff. I want to go somewhere fun. Somewhere, like that. Hey kids, Jeffrey the Giraffe here. Do you want to have fun instead of moving in this new school year? Yes, I do. Great, I do too. I want to see you at my store, where toys come to life. You get to see dinosaurs cause it's the 90s. Get to make pretty pictures from my treehouse. Ouch. Check out our new Napoleon theme section for all your funny goopy slimy fun. There's a whole lot here for everyone. So throw an ultra night off awesome funhouse. The most amazing world of toys! So much fun fun with you with you. Toys are us. Don't grow up. You are always a kid here. Oh man, I gotta go to Toys R Us. It's like the best place ever. Yay 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 yay. Okay, Kaya's hard boiled egg is now done. Okay, I guess I'll get him ready to eat now. Yay 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 yay. Wow. I can't believe Caillou's very happy to eat my hard-boiled egg. Looks like he's growing up. Hard-boiled egg? Ew, I don't want that. But I do want to go to Toys R Us. I saw a commercial and it looks like the best thing ever. Coloring, dinosaurs, fart slime noises and Jeff. 
Caillou, you can't go to Toys R Us right now. You have to go on your first day of first grade. You need to learn how to add and subtract and learn how to spell certain words. And you have to eat breakfast first. I made you a special hard-boiled egg. It will give you protein, which means it will make you strong and give you lots of energy. I don't want no stinky hard egg. It smells like stinky farts. I know you didn't like hard-boiled eggs last year but maybe this year you will. Some people's tastes change when they get older. And you're a six-year-old big boy now. And if you eat eggs Caillou, you can be strong like your big strong daddy here. You're not strong daddy. Your arms look like soft play-doh. Caillou, do not ever make fun of your daddy. Eat your freaking egg now or you will be grounded. Fine. I'll eat mommy's stinky egg. Good boy. Poo-ee. Yuck, that was poopy gross. I don't like eggs still. Stupid mommy and daddy. Caillou, how dare you? Spitting your ex and me like you're two years old and throwing your plate in mommy. That's it. You are grounded grounded for six days. Get your gay Barney book bag on your bald baby egg-shaped head and go to school before you are grounded for two weeks. Wah 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 wah. Ha ha ha, Katie egg looks good on daddy. Shut up Rosie. No one cares about you. That's it. Eight days can you instead of six. Go to school now and figure out how much that is different. I hate stinky school. I want to just go to Toys R Us. Oh, here's the school bus. Maybe they'll let me on. Poor Brick. One week. Not getting on my bus after two years ago. Oh, crumb buckets. I have to walk to school? G-R-R-R. Come. Nobody's out here. Weird. I wonder where my new teacher Mrs. M is. Okay class. Hello there. My name is Miss Martin. I see some of you I've had before. And most in the back I haven't. Let me tell a little about myself. Well I... Oh, hello there guys. Oh hey there Leo. Nice to see you. Hello there new student. Nice of you to join us. Just take a seat and I'll take attendance after my introduction. And try to be on time next time. Okay. Sorry. Well, anyway, I... Holy shit. Caillou? Miss Martin? I have you, you this M? year? Yes. I am Miss M. God damn. Why did I have to get stuck with you? I could say the same. Preschool totally sucked with you in it. Well, suck it up, buttercup. Cause now you're in first grade. And I'm going to push hard on you. Boil you like a hard-boiled egg. Ugh, I've had enough hard-boiled eggs. I know. And now you look like one. Oh, shut up, Miss Martin. No. You do not ever tell a teacher to shut up. Especially on the first day of school. I will give you detention if you tell me to shut up. I have more power now than when I was your daycare teacher. I'm not letting a bald egg-shaped baby tell me what to do. Now, if you're done cracking away, we can get back to talking about me. Okay, now, I'm back to what I was saying. Uck, this is so boring. Blah, 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 Hearing about Miss Martin's lame story, blah, 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 I just blah, want to go to Toys R Us and run around with other kids and have fun. But what other kids could I do it with? I got it. I could do it with Leo. Do it with me. Sneak out of school with me to Toys R Us. How would we do that? Or miss Miss Martin's story too. You want to go have fun at the most fun toy store ever? Or listen to some old Ginger's story of her life? Hey, Ginger's of souls too. Whatever. Caillou and Leo. Can you care to explain what you're talking about while I'm talking? Um, nothing. I was just handing Leo, his dropped pencil, um, off the ground. Uh, here Leo. Whoops. Ouch. Oof. Leo and Caillou, are you alright? Ouch. My head hurts. Mine's in pain too. And Leo too. I think I'm okay. I've injured my foot more bad before. No. We need to go to- We could have a cushion. A what? A concussion. Caillou's actually right. You two might want to head to- Thank you, Miss Martin. Come on, Leo. We need to get oh, to- Okay. I'll go there. Oh, come in. Uck. Oh, my. You don't look that good, kid. Me and my friend banged into each other when I tried grabbing my friend's pencil. I didn't even have a pencil on the ground. Yes, you did. I mean, I thought you did. And then, I tripped. Oh, well, you guys don't seem to look that good. Well, I'm fine, really. Ow. What the freak? Huck, I feel so wonky. Oh, I keep yes, falling please. over. Let's get you guys in bed for the moment. I'm going to let you two little angels rest now for two hours. I'm going to check back later to see how you're doing. I think we're good, Leo. It worked. Now we can sneak off to Toys R Us. That's what this was for. 
My god, you're going to get caught, Caillou. No, we're not going to get caught. Two hours is a long time. We should be back here in time to go home and our parents won't know we ditched school. Two hours is not enough time for us to run to Toys R Us. When our mommy and daddy take us there, we ride in a car. Running is slower. Even I know that. Not if I run faster. Come on. But I like it in the bed. It feels nice and soft. Baby. Oh, you're on bald brat. Uck. Oh. Uck. Oof. We're. Oof. Uck. Uck. Finally. Oof. Uck. Wow. Here. So wow. Out. My Maybe pants feel like I pee them. That's your nuts sweaty. Wow. These colors look so much brighter and shiny right now. Wow. I'm so hungry and sweaty the giraffe looks like a giant spotted banana. Leo, you stinky dumb ginger. That's Jeff the giraffe. I know dumb baldy. I was making a joke. Ha 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 ha. We so funny. Let's yum, go yum, meet yum, the giraffe. giraffe. Ugh. Ugh. Why he's so tall you. and high. Yuck. You boys look high yourself. And stink terrible. You two need a bath. Shut up frozen lazy. You're so stuck. Everyone's life goes around you. Ha ha ha. Good one Leo. Let's see what's over here. Whoa. A Nickelodeon section. This looks so cool. Ha 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 ha. Oh wow. Oof. That's nasty. That's huge. I'm going to. Oof. That's my breakfast. Gone. Mommy, mommy. There he is. Jeff the giraffe. Get away, stupid kid. That's our yellow banana. Yeah. This is our giraffe. Go away. We ran here for it. Idawawa, mommy. Poop, poo, woo, woo, wah, wah. How rude you boys were. You shall be ashamed of yourselves. Time to eat so a yum. big banana. Is the new Nick section all stocked? Wah, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm calling 911 in the media. Oh no. Jeff's dead. Those sweaty stinky boys killed Jeff the giraffe. Oh mommy. I can't look. You boys should be locked up. Okay boys. I'm back. Wake up now. Are you feeling better? Did you have a good sleep? What in blue blazes? I got to get Principal Jackie. Principal Jackie. Hello there Mrs. Leslie. Is everything okay? I'm afraid not. Miss Martin's two boys are not in the office beds. They seem to have run off somewhere. I feel like such a fool. I knew they were faking it. Caillou at least. How will we ever find them? Two simple words. The media. Good afternoon, Go City. I'm Ben Lander. And it appears these Jehovahians need to bath of some soot on them because they stink. Stink so much they've left their territory on the whole store. Destroying the whole aisles and killing the famous mascot of the entire store. Jeff the Giraffe, young men, how did you stuff all this madness? I didn't want to go here. My friend did. I snuck out of my first day of first grade to go to Toys R Us. But when we got here, I was hungry. And my friend Leah was too. So we thought Jeff the giraffe was food. Don't say my name, you dumbass. Well, I'm trying to say what happened, idiot. So did you guys mean to inflame Jeff the giraffe? Because a lot of kids younger than you are going to be upset now. No, we didn't mean to. We just want food and to go to school. To learn not to do this. What Leo said. Shut up, Caillou. <gasps> I'm going to save the day if no one else will. Well, I guess that's it for Toys R Us. Mascot God. Everyone out of the way. Oh my god. I need room to fix this. Ugh, uh, get me some tape, will somebody? I got some. Done and done. I must say, even though you threw me to the ground, you absolutely saved the day by saving Jeff the giraffe. Doesn't save the store financially, but the big image it does. How on earth did you karate kick me in time and didn't laugh the balloon all in one minute or less? Well, as I told my students earlier today, 
I used to work as a CIA agent and then settled down as a paramedic before becoming a daycare teacher. I learned martial arts, which is what I actually performed on you, CPR, handgun training, rifle training, and free falling. The CPR training really came into play here. I get real angry when people outside of classrooms don't act first. In classrooms I always need people to listen. I guess you could say I'm made of a lot of hot air. <laughs> wow. I never knew Miss Martin was so cool. I thought she was just a stupid ginger. Well, you guys could have learned that if you listened to other people's wise tales and stayed in school. Now you guys will forever be known as the ones who destroyed Toys R Us. I didn't even want to be here. I wanted to stay in school. Yup, but you were pressured by Caillou. The lesson to be learned today. Stay in school and don't give in to peer pressure. Sorry guys but we got to cut the broadcast now. The CEO called and said this particular store will shut down forever. But the Jeff Dahl and Miss Martin's legacy will be saved. Uh oh, angry parents. Caillou and Leo, we've been watching the whole live broadcast. How dare you ruin your first day of first grade by sneaking to Toys R Us and ruining the entire store's shelves and deflating the Jeff character. You could have destroyed so many younger child's memories by deflating the Jeff balloon. We will fill you up with real food and give you both a three hour bath. And Leo, I will teach you not to get involved in peer pressure. You being a part of this is just as bad. I am very angry at you. Let's go home right now. Well folks. I guess that's today's moral. Stay in school, and don't get pressured by your peers to do that stuff, and always try to help others or get help when needed. That lather proud. I gotta find a way to crash during Giles' party, and I know just the way. Ha 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 ha. Oh shoot. I think I hear Devin. Quick Boris, turn out the lights. You got it, Sean. That. Who turned out the lights? What the fuck? <laughs> now, this is so cool. Do you like it, Devin? You said you wanted a big shout out. So here it is. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you so much, everything PC Gaming. I'm a big fan of yours. This is amazing. Here we go for my big opening. Now for you to cut the cake. You'll love it. Okay, not sure why you're too low. Happy birthday to Ring Giles. Happy birthday to Ring Giles. Why is everyone staring at me? Ugh, I'm in so much pain right now. Cody, what have you done? You stole a police car to crash the party, didn't you? Um, well, yeah. But, it made the scene more awesome, right? And everyone was surprised, right? Everyone wasn't supposed to be surprised. Only Devin was supposed to be surprised. You ruined the cake we made for him that was supposed to only shoot up in the air. When Devin cut the wire that ignites the firework. Oh, 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 oh. Cody, how dare you ruin Devin Giles' birthday by crashing it and overdoing it, and how dare you make Sean A.K. everything PC gaming angry. Hey Cody, can you not step on my nuts? Sorry Devin. And how dare you step on Devin's nuts? That's it. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for one week, and will not get to be in a video for a week. Go home now. Well, I guess I need to clean up this mess first. Nonsense. Nothing a little bullet action can't do. I'll just swipe. Well, that was easy. I know, right? Let's get this party started. Oh, a spalding super bouncy basketball. Thanks, man. Now, a 1940 M1 Garand. Thanks, PC Gaming. Now, a giant sun to use for the winter time when it gets hot out. Out. Last one. For now, the moral of the day. Sometimes less can be more. Always think of the essential quality things first rather than quantity of things. Awesome words to live by. How about we sing happy birthday now to close things out before we play party games? Yeah!
Where am I? Here comes the bride. Hey there. Congrats. Oh hi there, Rosemary. Concentrate, Judy. You only got one shot at this. Don't blow it. Yes, Dad. Dark red. There's my fine lady all dressed in maroon. She's as fine as red wine. How would you know? You haven't tasted her in bed. <laughs> yeah. hard, hard Everything look okay? Ah, uh, you look great. I'm so proud of Michael. Hey, what gives? There's only like 20 people here. Hey, come on. Watch your mouth. The groom's family is in front of us. Besides, you don't always need a lot of people for a wedding. Sometimes modesty can go a long way. The roses look nice. Of course. You're a rose yourself. Well, it's still not enough. Oh, Miss Flower Girl. One more over here. Thanks. Ah, what the hell is this for? A beautiful rose that you can cherish and give your future bitch. Now shut up and enjoy the wedding. Good morning, family and friends. We are here today to wed the Lady Judy with the Sir Michael and have them continue their life together in modesty and harmony. Would anybody now like to give the speech to the upcoming couples? You may proceed now. You'd like to go. Oh, you first. Who is? Well, you can go first. Then me. Sure. I'll go yep. first. Well, I uh, I just want to say I'm honored today for Judy to let me be her maid of honor. I was one of the first people to meet Judy from our family, and I always thought of Judy as a caretaker and friend from going on trips with her and sharing common interests. I hope that she can fill Michael, Uncle Michael's life with joy. Thank you. Is uh, this thing on? Well, uh, hello. Uh, well, I think that Michael, my brother, can be an honest person. Uh, I think with working with him uh, uh, as a painter, he can tell his mind at times and show it too. Hard worker. And uh, I think if Judy, his new mate, needs to be told the truth, he can do that. I think of my brother as a funny guy at times, but serious too. And I think that everyone needs that. Serious and funniness. Good luck, brother. Thank you, Miss Paula and Mr. James. We now will have the couple to be with. Now pronounce their vows to one another. Let us pray. O oh, Almighty God, you have created us all in the image of love, the image of yourself. Bless now these two who stand before you. Guide them in your wisdom, shine your light upon them, that as they journey through this life together they will walk as bearers of your truth. Amen. Michael, do you take duty for your wedded life, to be loved and cherished, for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, from this day forward? If so, you may say, I do. I do. Judy, do you take Michael as your wedded husband, to be loved and cherished, for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, from this day forward? I do. We now will have the rings or token of faith presented for one another now. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may live in your peace and your favor all the days of their life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As you place this gift on your partner's finger, I ask that you will repeat these words. This ring is my sacred gift to you, a symbol of my love, a sign that from this day forward, and always, my love will surround you with this ring I believe and will have the groom Michael go first. This ring is my sacred gift to you, a symbol of love, a sign, from this day forward. And always. And always, my love will round you with this ring I wed. Hehe, <laughs> sir, round, not round. Whatever. <laughs> uh, this ring is my sacred gift to you, a symbol of my love, a sign that from this day forward and always, my love will surround you. With this ring, I wed, thee wed, I wed thee. I now present both Michael and Judy Lyons. Michael, you may pierce the bride. Oh, that's my boy. Well, she actually did something right. He is indeed handsome and a good talker. Yay, Aunt Judy. That's my best girl ever. Stop. Stop everything. Wait, what? Okay, let's just try to get out of this miserable modern superstore. Whoa, Dad, look. What? A hot new babe I could go with and leave your stupid mother with you. No, even better. Sugar Bombs. The cereal which gives you a mouthful of explosion goodness. 
Huh. They still make these? I figured they stopped selling 20 years ago due to the high legal amount of sugar. No, they started selling it again. Didn't you see the TV commercial? Why would I watch TV nowadays? Podcasts and instructional videos is where it's at now. Even I know that. I don't know what a podcast is, but can I please, please, please get sugar bond cereal? Huh, <sighs> whatever. But your mouth is going to be filled with cavities. Every single time since 1999 when you were five, you always get cavities. Now your teeth will just fall out. Yay, 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 yay. Well, I guess it will bring me back to the good old days when we ate sugar, puffed cigs, played outside, watched TV, not the political crap nowadays, not the whining, the fighting, the waking up in bed from the constant noise, the cats and dogs hissing, the smartphone noise, the dumb millennials. Wait, Dad, are you okay? Huh? Oh, nothing. I was just having a breakdown that I wanted to go back to my childhood. I'm okay now. But yeah, you can have the cereal. Let's go now. Time to try this epic cereal. <coughs> Morning, Kai you. What the bleep was that? Was that a... No, I just bit this block of dark yellow blob. Three. What are these? You have won the free PS5 giveaway. Oh. Goody, you and five others get to go on a, a trip to PlayStation headquarters in, wait, Tokyo, Japan, and meet the president of PlayStation and the tour of Tokyo for a day, show ticket to local airport staff for proof of winnings and free flights, oh, my, freaking, god, a free trip to Tokyo, woohoo, this is so awesome, what's all the hubbub about, I want a free PS5, and better than that overpriced console, we won a free trip to Tokyo. Five tickets. Perfect for all of us. Thanks to that cavity-filled cereal next to us. Thank you corporate capitalist America. And holy sugar bomb cereal. Whoops. Sorry about that. Anyway, I think it's a no-brainer that we go on this trip. Never in my life have I won a free trip to anything, at least without someone getting hurt. Or without a building getting a gaping hole in it. Then it's settled. The Andersons are going to Tokyo. Yeah! Why do we have to go to Tokyo anyway? I don't even play PlayStation. PS5 isn't even out yet. We don't know if it's any good. And I don't even like video games. You might as well give the two tickets to someone else. How can you two even be upset? You're going to go on a free trip. Getting to go on a free trip without any cash is as rare as the lottery. And if we ask anybody else if they want to go, then we'll get swarms of people asking us. Knocking on our door, calling us for the free tickets. You two should be fucking grateful. Then how about Cody and I just stay home then and keep the tickets as a piece of memorabilia? I'm a grown-up you know. More responsible than Caillou and Cody. Hey. hey! You're not as responsible as we thought Rosie. Seeing how you at Christmas time spent $500 of our money on plastic surgery to make you still look like a little girl. And the fact you got hooked on vape juice the past year. I didn't get hooked on it. I just, um, do it a lot. Go green. It tastes good. Huh, <sighs> that stuff is too strong. But anyway, you two are going, like it or not. My god, this is going to suck harder than Richard Simmons. I'm an Xbox fanboy. I defend all of what Phil Spencer says. I hate PS4 and future PS5 fanboys. And Tokyo I know is the most crowded country ever. It's probably going to stink more sour than a sour patch. Will you two just shut your mouth and enjoy doing something exciting together? Yeah, and grab our bag from the bench over there. Don't make me give you guys a strike. I will execute the strike system for all of today and tomorrow in Japan. The strike system? Are you serious? I'm 23 years old. I'm a grown ass fine lady. As long as you live under our roof, you follow my rules. Grab our fucking bag. Fine then. Excuse me miss, but this is our bag. Oh, sorry. Rosie. Red? You really think I'd use a red bag, the green one over there. Please watch your luggage. Hold the head. Okay then. Tokyo, Japan, here we come. Okay. My native country. Why are we cheering with the family? I don't know. To make the cheer sound effect more realistic? Wow, look at the view from up here. It's so cool from up here. It certainly is. The clouds look like a work of Bob Ross art. It's cool alright. Cold as the Arctic. Can't somebody turn the air down? Hey, set your ass back down and stop moaning. You don't want to get your first strike before we barely take off now. Ugh, fine then. 
Chicken curry, you say? Yes, please, miss. Food? I'll take some. Here you go, Balto Bros and Sankist Girl. Ugh, I don't like chicken. Let's try anyway. Ooh, ee, that's nasty. The curry is all low textured and the chicken tastes a week old. Oh my god. A giant blob. I gotta steer clear. Oh no, what the hell's no, going on? Wait. It's something on the window. Okay, who caused that just to happen? It had to be one of us. Which one of you psychos spit up curry all over the cockpit? We could have lost control and crashed. It was me. I'm sorry. I didn't like the taste of the curry, so I spit it out. Rosie, how dare you spit out of curry in such an unsanitary way and almost get the plane to topple over? You have received your first strike. If it were up to me, I'd make you sit in the back of the plane. Actually, we'll do just that. Follow me, miss. <laughs> I wouldn't laugh about all that Cody. We could have been in deep danger. Don't make me give you a strike. Okay, Dad. I can't wait to ride the train to Tokyo, but I can't figure out for the life of me a map to tell us where to get to Tokyo. Maybe that guy in the blue suit knows. Let me ask him quick. Wow, this place looks so cool. Oh my god. Ha ha. Rosie look. Oh my god. Quick. Wow. Get a picture of that big guy. Oh my god, how sad. Ha 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 ha. You so big. You look like a giant bathtub. You look bigger than the iceberg that hit the Titanic. No. You even bigger than the Titanic. Ha 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 ha. You don't even understand me, you big fatty. He he ho jo. You know speak English. Ha ha. You don't even understand me. Oh, ho Actually, I do kitto. Wait, what? Okay, we're back. Apparently, this big map is the only map they sell around here. How can anyone understand this shit? Uh, hey, uh, why don't we go on now? Let's see, uh, the site. Tokyo Times Square, let's see it. What? Why do you all of a sudden want to go to Tokyo now? You said you hated this trip. Probably because your son was making fun of me. Saying, I look like giant bathtub and big ishi titanic. I am a national small wrestler who traveled to the US of A and I know some English. I think your son looks more like a ugly pomegranate more than I look like bathtub. Is this true, Cody? Yes, it is. I got video proof of it. Fuck you, you ginger. Ugh, I mean, I'm sorry. Cody, how dare you tease the sumo wrestler? All he was doing was minding his business. Honestly, he's right. You do look like a ugly pomegranate. You have received your first strike. I'm so sorry for my son, mister. He won't say that again to you or anyone like you. It's okay. I find it funny if a man he can make fun of sumo wrestler friends and all look like us. Only it's my job. Not my lifestyle like stupid American. Hey, who you calling fat? I'll skin your big lard of body you. I can't figure anything out with this stupid map. Hey Rosie, you know what we should do? Get mom and dad all lost with the train route. Huh, perhaps you're right. Oh dad, see the red line? It says on the line that it goes to Tokyo. Huh? Where? Right here. Here, let me see the map. Just go down this way to this stop. Oh, and take this train down here. And go down this way. Or no, over oh, wait. Here. Do you guys know where you're taking us? Of course, dad. Right here. This better be the right fucking place. Excuse me, sir. Do you speak English? Oh, oh, English, yay. Oh, good. Do you know where Tokyo is? Oh, yay. Stand over left and me show you. Oh, goody. Thank you. Oh, yo, over here. Go down. Okay. Take the over here and go. Wait, over to left and back. But, we just came that way from the airport. Oh, I figure. I don't know way to Tokyo. I was just stalling you while I signal my men to mug you. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? You goddamn Good yellow bastards! Hey, fucking hell! What happened? I'll tell you what happened, Caillou. Your brother and sister were fucking with us, weren't they? It was Cody's idea. You went along with it and did it more. Shut up, both of you. You both received your second strikes. Three more and you will really get it bad. Well, seeing how we got robbed of our Japo money. No, be not alright. Well, here. Oh, thank you so much. You people are too kind. Oh, wait. 
Which way to Tokyo, sir? Tokyo Main Square Follow Green Line. Thank you very much. Blessings from America. Okay then, let's get back to Green Line train. Wow, look at the sight oh of God, this. Oh my God, that's breathtaking. Absolutely breathtaking. A curved TV. Never seen anything like it. I was talking about the foliage. What? Oh, the trees. Yeah, I guess it's fine. But who cares? The TV is where it's at. Now you sound like Cody and Rosie. Oh, would you shut? Huh, <sighs> you're right. I'm just tired as all. Well, let's try out the bathroom and take a nice Alrighty then. Oh my freaking god. There's a toilet that shoots water. That is so fucking cool. I, Dibs Couch. Well, I'm going to make a call to my old roommate. Wow. Hey there. Yeah, this hey, TV has like 500 channels. Yeah, I did. I'm there now with my fam. It's very crowded and smells like sour lemons here. Wait, what? Yeah, not yet. I get later. We're head there. Oh, that bath felt wonderful. Really made me rela- Rosie, what are you doing? Cody, what on earth are you watching? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'll call you back. Hi, Dad. Back so soon. How was the water? It was great until you and your dumb sister stressed me again. How can you watch that horrid crap? You are very sick. I don't care if it's normal here. You don't watch that. What did I do wrong? Well, apart from the subway and on the plane. You were calling your friend from Japan. Is that a crime here? Don't smart mouth me, girl. Haven't you ever heard of international calls? That they cost money on the caller. That's still a thing? Yes, genius. It is still a thing. Hence why we got that calling card. You and Cody have received your third strike. Two more and you will both be grounded. Now come along. We are going to get dinner now. This place is so pretty. I'll say, it's like Times Square but without the piss smell and no cowboy underwear bebop guy. Come on Rosie, just try one piece, it won't kill you. I'm not eating something that came out of the ocean. That's gross. Actually Rosie, it doesn't even taste like fish. Morley, salted rice balls. I think you would like it. Oh no oh no, the poisonous fish is going to inject Rosie. Get the disgusting piece of raw filth out of my face. Cody, stop playing with your food and teasing your sister. I'm not teasing her, I'm just making her try something harmless. Fine. I'll dip the sushi in this guacamole to get the taste out. Dip it then. Guacamole. What? Rosie. That's not guacamole. That's... Wasabi. Wasabi. Great job, Cody and Rosie. By playing with your food, Cody, you made your sister eat the sushi with what she thought was guacamole and her being a stubborn bitch spit out the wasabi. Spitting it in a bad direction, the waiter's eye. You both receive your fourth strike. One more and you both will be grounded. Here we are fam, Sony Headquarters. Hello there, are you the Henderson family? The winners of the PSE prize? Yes we are, here's the proof. Splendid, well follow me, we have big special surprise for you. Great. Yeah. Cody and Rosie, because of your recent actions, you will not be allowed to walk up with us, but you can stay down here and explore the lobby. We should be back in an hour. Actually, it'd only be 15 minutes. Good, even better. Unfortunately, we got word that all of the say other prize winners got blown up in a air crash just yesterday. Hum, we almost did too this morning. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, but the good thing is, we decided since we couldn't give the winners their prize PSNS, that if we give you a custom made PS that fits our winner guy you. As well has 2000 US dollars to you. Now turn around. Oh, my, I think, God. In my color. Smile to the camera. Oh, thank you so much. This makes up for our whole awful day with our two little brats. Ugh, this city is so boring. Not as boring and uninteresting as that guy right there. Yeah, definitely. Hey, wanna push him? Why would I do that? To make this country more interesting. Yeah, that would make sense. All together now. One, two, three. three.
Oh my god. Oh my god. At least nobody saw that. Oh fuck. The Emperor, how in God's name could you think to do that to him of all people? Do you two have an IQ of 9? Even Kai you wouldn't do something that brain dead. We don't get any prize money. We don't get any free PS5. All of that's out the window. You've made us the international laughing stock, pushing the Emperor. My God, we will surely never ever 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 see the light of day again. And it's all. All because of what? Because you were bored. You couldn't have just watched crap TV at the hotel. I am going to stare at these bars and just hope in vain that I get out of this nightmare. And I will never ever ever talk to you two monsters ever again. Never. Oh Lord Almighty, just please give me a second chance. Lord, I never wanted this to happen. I should have just left the brats at home. Please please please. Anderson family. The Emperor would like to speak with you. What? Huh? Real? Really? Oh, Mr. Emperor, my family is so sorry about everything. If you want you can take our whole house and family. Just please let me live in peace. No worry Mr. Anderson and Miss Anderson and Yellow Shirt Boy Anderson. You tatlong are free to go. Rob, uh, really? Yes, my other guard is just over there. He will escort you out. Oh my god thank you so much Mr. Emperor as I said please take anything from our house as thanks oh my god thank the Lord Almighty. Now, for you two troublemakers, even though what you did to me was heinous, I understand where you were coming at. Yeah, you do? Of course, coming to a strange country can be boring or different, and you're not the only ones who felt uncomfortable here, but what I do ask from you is one simple request. Certainly, anything you want Emperor. To close your eyes, and say, you're sorry and give me a big smile at the end. Emperor of Japan, Emperor of Japan. we are very sorry for we crushing you and for being disrespectful to your country. We will never in our life we will show, such, our disrespect. show such disrespect. We are sincerely, we are sorry. sincerely sorry. Awesome. I got that all on video. Now the whole world knows what you did. Wait, what? <laughs> Man, my life is just getting more suckier every day. My main PC died two months ago. I have to use a stupid laptop. I can't find a job that likes me or I like. My game chair broke. YouTube keeps detecting my end blocker. Everything PC gaming isn't uploading as much anymore. And I did a lot of bad things when I was younger. I want to end it all. I, I did take something of my daddy's a month ago in place of this. No, not yet. I can't. Can I do anything different? I don't know how. Can I change the past? If only. Would be. Something hit my window. Hello. Who's there? There you are you piece of crap. Stop dumping your. Oh. Hey Kai you sorry I yelled at you. I thought you were your daddy. Haha. <laughs> Nobody ever said that before. I didn't think my dad was that bad looking. Oh no no I didn't mean it like that. I just saw someone come out and thought it'd be your dad. Your dad keeps leaving his trash on my curb. Prob because his trash company hasn't picked up his trash due to low staffing. Oh wow. I dig dip notice that. Sadly a lot of people don't seem to notice or care anymore. A lot of places in the past few years have fallen apart or not get maintenance done due to not many jobs and working from home. I wish I could go back in time and change things back to the way they were. Yay, I hear ya. I wish you too. But sadly, we can't do that. Wait a minute, maybe we can. We can? How? I remember years ago I was the one who drew you eyes. Maybe I could draw buttons on your face and make you into a time machine. That sounds like the most bizarre thing I've ever heard. But, it might work. Here, I got a pen here. Okay, let's see how this goes. Hey, you're erasing my mouth. Stop that. Sorry. Oof. What the? Oh my god. What did you do? I put three buttons on you. One to set the time, the date, and a button to take us to the year. Okay then, where would you like to go then? I want to go back in time to December 13th, 2013 when I first... No wait. I want to go back to June 1st, 1968 when Saxton Hale was around. The guy from TF2. Okay, I guess I'll transport into a time portal. Here I go. 
Kung Hu. Alright, you slimy, limey alligator. Time to give you a lovey tummy huggy. Ah! <laughs> No one can ever survive my rubby tubby hugs! Holy moly! Look at the size of that beast! Oh! Ha ha! It's just me! I, I reckon we have some guests traveling from my chest airs! Ooh! Or it might be the bloody three-day cactus snake I ate yesterday! God, I'm dying to! Bloody oath, mate! Wow! I can't believe that worked! Now where's Fax? Hey, what's this giant pancake-like substance on the ground? It smells like a beast! I don't know, but I like pancakes. Oh my god, it's Sexton. We killed him. Oh god, we gotta get out of here. Quick, I want to go to December 13th, 2013 when my sister was born. Oh dear lord, Saxton, he's dead! Look what you did, Red Soldier, you horrid man! You flattened and curled up Saxton more than a croissant! No, this wasn't at all done by any of us, you weak spy! And who then? I never would go after the Manco himself. It looks like it was all of us that ended him. Our useless fighting over who's better got to him. Though no, this is how it all ended. An innocent neutral party. Perhaps we shall call a truce. Never to fight again. It only leads to innocence being effected. Agreed, soldier. Truce. Truce and love. There I am. The day I called Rosie stupid. Is she going to be all right, doctor? Yes, she is going to be all right, and she'll have to push. Push, 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 push. Congratulations. It's a girl. What will you name her? I will call her Rosie. Oh, she looks so cute and adorable. She looks just like you. Oh, that baby looks so stupid. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, whoa, 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 what on earth? Who are you? You will never know again, but I'm Caillou from the future, and I'm here to change the past. Goodbye forever past me. Yay, I ended my past self. Now I will go to heaven and not worry about life. Future Caillou, how dare you and your past self? Your past self didn't deserve to go away just for calling your sister Rosie stupid. You acted like a two-year-old throwing that rock. And you won't be going to heaven. Your future self will fade away in unexistence while your two-year-old self will go to heaven and enjoy it. You will be sad and lonely and unexistent. What? No 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 Say ya. Say ya diakite. Are you around? Oh no. I'm stuck in non-exist world. This is scary. I want out. I want to go back. I mean the future. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Hey, hey, it's okay Kaya, you're all good. Wait, I'm back in existence. Sadly, yes. Sad for all of us, really. What happened? Well, Seiya here was saying you tried to draw buttons on him, and then he tried to shoo you off, and I guess both of you butted heads. Yeah, I thought because I drew him eyes when I was little, that his face was magical. I still find that pretty amazing he did that. Well, it is indeed amazing you can see out of your skin. It's actually not magic. We tested your skull, and you actually have a translucent part of skin from inside of you. Wait, so, I actually do have eyes? Believe it or not, yes. But you always had a flap of skin covering them. But when KAIU used a marker on you, it broke some of the layers of skin, causing you to see. Wow, that's just as awesome as Caillou drawing them. Thanks again my bald butt. No problem. I really thought I went back in time. I went back in time to December 13th, 2013 when Rosie was born and tried to get rid of myself saying she was stupid. And you guys were there, with your weird red hair, and my past self looked just like me, with my iconic yellow shirt, and Rosie wearing her iconic baby blue outfit. And surprisingly I looked ugly as you guys. Caillou, you have worse memory than an 80-year-old Alzheimer's patient. Caillou, you were only two then, you couldn't have remembered all that. Our hair was never red, well, half of us that is. And your sister was born on October 7th, 1996, not December 13th, 2013. And your shirt at the time was great, not yellow, but you did get one detail right. What's that? That you are indeed ugly. <laughs> While all my classmates are going to be all goofy and happy on Halloween tomorrow at school, I'm going to do the ultimate pranks on them and make them very shocked and embarrassed. What I'll need. Toothpaste and Oreo cookies for the cleanest Oreos ever. 
Balloon and paper clip for fart machine. Strawberry jam for blue. Voice recorder ski mask and paint pants for scary guy. I can just imagine it now. Oh, I love Oreos. Thanks. Oh god, my teeth are stinging like toothpaste. I feel yucky. Time to sit my numb ass down. Yucky smart and dear girls. My school year is forever ruined. I am so embarrassed. And then my Jason costume will make everyone's pants go plop. Oh my god, it's Jason Voorhees. Everyone, single file line against the wall. be perfect. Now I got to get money to pay for the stuff. I got five dollars of birthday money. But I'll need more. Time to do the crimp with trick on daddy sleeping. Tasty cake coffee crimp is right on top of the coffee maker. I just got to sneak close to his wallet area. You bum. Oh, if Doris, not now. We'll do that in a minute. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. I like when you do me there. Yuck. Got it. Oh, ooh, I love when you fan me, Doris. After you, make me all sweaty. Ugh, get away from this. Let me shower you with cash, my love. Oh, if. What? Oh, it was just a dream. Wait, my pants feel slimy. Oh my god, it couldn't be. Sweetie? Are you okay? What happened? Uh no, uh nothing honey, I just was watching the ring on TV. It just scared the <laughs> out of me, that's all. Oh okay. Ha ha you sound like you literally <laughs> your pants. Except it wasn't <laughs> My god I haven't done that since junior high. Ha 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 ha. Thank god that worked. Now to quickly get the stuff. Oh my god, who left that door open? My crotch is getting cold. What on earth did you say, sweetie? I, uh, I said the garage is getting cold. Yeah, the garage was left open. Oh, okay. But, we don't even have a garage. Now to get this stuff and get up out of here quick. Ninja style! Now to get the stuff. Do you need any help, little boy? Nope. That's everything. And I'm not little. Creep. Thank you, little darling. You know I love them brains. 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 That's not what I meant by creep. Okay, kid, just give me your damn items. Bag of balloons. Crest toothpaste. Two-year expired bag of Oreos. Total comes out to $5.31. Oh shit. I forgot the strawberry jam. Kid, watch your mouth. A boy like you shouldn't say the word shit out loud. Whatever. I'll just go back for the jam. We do have a sale going on. Tell you what, I'll just hand you the gem on the counter here. Okay, thanks. Okay, that will now be $6.37. Okay, here? I don't need your whole wallet. Just the cash. Okay, 63 cents is your change. Have a good day and happy Halloween. Thank you, bye now. Wait a minute. This cash is counterfeit. Whoa, that little rascal. Nothing more scary than our economy becoming corrupt. Huh, <laughs> where the fuck is my wallet at? Uh-oh. I can't find my wallet. Where did it go? Where is it at? What the? Oh woof. It's right here the whole time. Oh no. Some of the cash fell out. I hope nobody notices the difference. Now to make the stuff. Perfect. The first pranks are finished. Hey there Cody, what's up? Your hair is not. Oh, he <laughs> yeah, but I'll make you grow hair on your head from the side of my teeth. Mew ha ha ha, let me drink your blood. Is that supposed to scare me? Oh come on, Halloween's not just about scaring, it's about expressing yourself, having fun. So is your costume at? I don't do stupid costumes, but later on you'll be in for a very big surprise. And some before that. Well, we're having a party in class. There's cookies and punch and cool stuff. Great. I brought cookies of my own. Here guys, try my Oreo cookies. You'll be wowed from eating them. Oh, green Oreos. I've had those before. I'll try them in a few minutes. No. Everyone try them now. They'll have a secret stuff in them. Fine. I'll Don't try them. Food. 
Wow, now, my, my teeth feel so clean. What? You like? Yes, they make our teeth feel clean. Almost like toothpaste. Yeah, that's toothpaste in them. Oh, well, thanks, man. My mom forgot to brush my teeth because she was putting my costume on me. Me too. Said Cody. G-R-R-R-R. Howdy. Good evening. Calling all emergency personnel. Welcome to today's spooky celebration. I hope you all got some good cookies and punch, minus the naughty kid who left a mess on the floor of the green Oreos. Best cookies that make our teeth clean. Oh, very well then. But anyway, we are going to watch a special classic movie today. Ho 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 hocus po 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 cuss. Ooh. Oh, that's oh, a good right film. Me. Hocus Pocus? What a dumb film. It's just a movie about three dumb old ladies coming back to life messing around with stuff. The one woman looks very ugly. Like Miss Martin but fat. Cody, you can either watch the movie, or go do 100 pages of book work today. Your choice. Don't ruin everyone else's day. Fine then, I'll just ruin it a different way. But before we watch the movie, I have to pick it up from Mrs. Johnson's room. Be right back. Oh yeah, here's my chance. Oops, my pencil. I'll go get it. I have a pencil you can borrow, Cody. No, I want mine. How rude. Here we go. Ha ha ha. Okay, I got the movie. Now to open this darn case up. Woof. That felt good. Ha 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 ha. Did you hear that? Miss Martin just farted. Oh my god. Yes, Cody. I farted out loud. You don't need to rub it in. Wait, she did? I didn't hear anything. Of course she did. You didn't hear it? It was out loud. Well then just say excuse you if she did. What's the problem? The teacher just farted and you don't find that funny. What's wrong with you? Farts aren't funny anymore. Yeah, every Nickelodeon show has farts in them. They're just stupid now. Falling down is what's funny on those funny fall videos on YouTube. Now can we get on with the movie or do you just want to make more of a scene yourself? Oh, and I think this is your pencil. Attention students, we will now start our Halloween parade. Your parents are waiting outside to see all your wonderful costumes showed off. We'll go in order from kindergarten to fourth grade. Okay, okay, class. Settle down. Single file line out the door. Ha 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 ha. Thank God for that bathroom break Miss Martin let me have. Now to head to the principal's office. Now play the tape I recorded and get dressed up. Good afternoon, you stupid schoolmates. Today, you will see the most frightening sign in huh, your life. I don't remember recording a scary you message. You will wish you never messed with me. Be Afraid Sanctuary Elementary. Wait, what? The 80s call, they want their movie villain back. I may be a clown, but you're a straight bozo. G-R-R-R-R-R-R-R. Ha ha ha, even the axe is a fakes possible. Hee 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 hee, even the real blood coming out of my eye still doesn't make the effect any better. Okay everybody, our class is next. Everyone come along now. A policeman, a clown, some drag, lots of great costumes. But I don't think he is. There he is, coming out of the door. Oh, wearing his regular baby blue outfit. I swear he's as bland as a cartoon character, no originality. Okay, Cody. I'm going to take your brother and sister out to trick or treat. Are you sure you don't want to come? Nah, I don't want to do no Halloween anymore. Okay then, I want you to hand out candy to the trick or treaters who come. Just say good evening. Welcome to the Spooky Andersons. Take some candy, but beware, it may melt your brain. Okay, whatever. Wow, already someone. Good evening. Welcome to the Spooky Andersons, take some- Ha 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 ha, we put the trick, in trick or treat. <laughs> what 
a bunch of jerks. I'm going to watch some TV. What the? More people. I'm coming. Good evening. Welcome to... <laughs> Welcome to the 60s, where we smoke pot and spray cheese. That's it. I'm going to get those pranksters. I'm dumping out all the candy and giving them some edgy candy. Perfect. Now to write a note. We'll see how they like that. Ha ha ha. Oh, I wonder who it could be. Hey, there's candy here, mommy. Somebody fell for my trick. Ha 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 ha. Serves you losers, right? Cry hard. Wait, what the? You, little boy, did you do this to my son? Um, mama, mama. Boy, I asked you a question. Did or did you not do this to my son? Yes, I did. But it was because there were two guys that were pranking me. So you do that thing that everyone wants kids to check for. Put fake candy in the basket. You were awful. An awful, awful person. How dare you? This was my son's first Halloween. Now it's his last. Please Nobody can be trusted. Me too. It's not me you have to be afraid of. It's the cops and your parents. Hello now. We got here just in time. Is this the prep? Yes, sir. He's the one. Hey, yeah. cool costume. Is any of your tools real? Yup, these are. Uh, oh. Fake candy. Handing out fake candy. What in God's name is wrong with you? That boy could have gotten killed. You're very lucky he only needs stitches and that his mom isn't suing us. And how did you expect the little kid to read that note you laughed? He was only like three years old. Even you at three years old couldn't read. I know. And I'm sorry. I only meant to prank the big kids cause they silly sprayed me twice. And, you did bad too dad? Indeed he did little boy. Counterfeiting money. Making our currency less valuable by the minute. I never meant to use the money. My boy only stole my wallet to buy his stupid prank items. I had the fake stuff so if I was ever robbed then the crook would get the fake stuff. But then the crook would eventually use the fake money still causing our money's value to go down. I hope you too learn it a lesson. Never revenge prank people or prank for shock. You both should get out in two weeks. Because you didn't actually make the fake cash but only had it on you. But I hope you both learn it your lessons. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Oh ho oh, 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 wee. Don't you guys look spooky. Are you? Ah uh, stop oh. moving. Ow. I got to make sure the glue dries. I'm not spooky mommy. I'm a special princess. Right. Oh of course my dear. You'll always be my special princess. Let me get the candy out for the kids. Huh. You won't always be special. What do you mean? Oh just wait nine months. Then you'll see. Okay. Are we ready to go trick or treating? Dad, why does your voice sound different? He sounds like a character in a Monty Python movie. Sadly, I'm a bit sick today. I'm coming down with a late October cold. These damn politics and changing of weather disrupts my temperature. Well, I think it suits you well. Makes you sound royal. Daddy sounds like a king. Well, thank you, my little princess. Okay, Kaylu, now you remember what happened last year with Leo and the outcome, right? I remember, Dad. I bet I can beat you in a fight. What? A ninja can definitely beat a pirate cowboy. Oh really? I'll show you a dumb ginger. Caillou, wait, that thing's pretty sharp for a toy. Oh my god, Caillou, you took out my f***ing eye. You took things too far. Try to be caring of others now, and watch how you use your imagination. Understand? Yes, I do. Good, then let's go. Oh, I guess that's your friend Leo. Coming Leo. Mew ha ha ha, welcome to the Anderson household. Do you dare to get grounded? Piff, this house don't scare me. I've seen worse. It was spooky. Ha, not. Hum, this doesn't look scary. What the hell? Intruder, you are not grounded, grounded, grounded. Prepare to be grounded. Ha 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 ha. What the hell? Ugh, oh, I can't move. Someone help. Ha 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 ha, Ian, you are my first grounding victim. Ha ha. Pretty cool, huh? Ugh, uh, I think I banged my head. But I gotta say, that was pretty dang cool. Thanks, Leo. Maybe you should get this cleaned up while I end out the candy. If another kid comes in on this, they might actually be grounded in a graveyard. 
We don't want to get sued now, honey. Oh, no fair. I never get my creations to get this much praise. Boris, you want to have to praise the Lord next to find a way out of a legal mess? Oh, fine, oh, fine. I'll do it this Halloween holiday. Just stupid <laughs> anyway, stupid <laughs> candies with their giant stinky fingers. Ha ha ha. Daddy's in trouble. You guys better get out of here or else I'll put a spell on you and make you grounded forever. Okay, okay, Daddy. You're okay, a great you, wizard. Mr. Anderson. Not in trouble. We're going. Don't forget your pumpkin buckets. Thanks, Mom. Have a safe <laughs> night. You too, Miss Anderson. I gotta say, you might be more attracting than your master. Hum, you got extra parts below? Aw oh, dang it, your master's not that creative. Oh wow, a knight with shining armor and the devil himself. Looks like I might need to do some arresting. Huh, you can't arrest me, black thing. I got powers. Yeah, well I got cuffs. I could break those cuffs. Try it on me. Um, cry you. Remember what happened last year? You broke something, and our friendship was almost broken as well. Caillou this year is basically a walking example of what not to be. <laughs> like my uniform, boys? Dang, she making me sweaty. I'm going to rust with all this sweat. Well, don't sweat yet. We haven't even gotten to the first house yet. Okay, well, let's head on. Fly right directly to the forehead. Trick or treat! Give us something good to eat. What will your cartoons are a fly? Here you go. Thank you. Oh crap, I didn't murder anyone. I swear. Don't take my guns away. Relax, I'm only 10. Uh, I'm just messing with you. This place is awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, it took quite a while. Did it take a month? To kill this many people and use them as my lads. Yeah. Takes a bit to find help. I bet the electric bill is bigger than my dad's. Yeah, and I never really thought how much it would be. How much candy you guys want? Three good for all of you. We can each have three? That's nine candies total. Yeah, I figure you guys are growing and want more. Here, yes, go. Thanks so much, mister. You're the best. Yes, thank you. great. Wolf, this is heavy. I guess talking with others and being friendly will get you more in life. Yeah, definitely. Um, but can we please put this down a minute? My hand hurts. Oh, sure, buddy. Whoa, look at this house. Wow, so cool. Aw, some. This place is kinda spooky. For real. I guess I'll knock at the door. Hey, get out of here. You kids get out of here. Oh, crap. It's, it's, it's so scary looking. It's a scary Karen. Boy, my name is not Karen. It's Susan. Susan Henderson. I'm, I'm sorry. I thought you dressed up as a Karen. She's a woman I saw before. Well, I didn't. So how about you get off my property now before I call the authorities on you? But lady, we're not on your property. We're on the sidewalk. And we're just trick-or-treating. We'll just go now. Why are you even trick-or-treating? Kids like you cause trouble and mischief and throw stuff. You guys are like 12 years old. Ma'am, we're not 12, we're 10 years old, but I guess that means I'm mature looking. Good one, Clementine. No, not good one. I know your type, ma'am. You call me ma'am? You're the ma'am? A mammy little girl. I'm not. I'm not a mammy. I'm calling the police right now because you dummies won't leave. What's a mammy? It's a derogatory term for my kind. It's kind of a lighter way of saying I'm Holy crap. That's the biggest bad Whoa. word. Look how much handy I got, mommy. The people love me. They really love me. Yes. I see that, sweetie. No, don't drink those all at once now. Or you'll get a royal stomach ache. And hospital visit. I can't believe, cough cough, not one person visited our house. Why are the little fish ears not biting? Um, hello, cough, am I chocolate over here? Don't yes want some candy. Well, it might be cause you're being disrespectful for them and forcing them to come to your house. And probably because anybody who gives tutsi rolls or candy corn is bound to get a cold shoulder. Give people what they want. Not what you want to give them. Well, they're the cheapest candies I could find. All the others cost so damn much. Well, next time, maybe not spend all your time and money on a grounding setup and carving a very cheesy Bush Cheney pumpkin. You know people are going to vote for him again, and sticking politics with anything else than politics just sounds like an absurd idea. Okay, fine, hum grum bum gum gum bum gara. Shit. Step right up, step right up, everyone, for your fresh pumpkin seeds and pumpkin juice. 
Come round, come all to the Anderson household. See, people love pumpkin seeds and pumpkin juice. Now they're at our house. Yeah, probably because you shot off a fucking gun on fucking Halloween, you idiot. Well, hey, it's a start. Sweetie, how about you walk down and catch up with your brother? He shouldn't be too far from here. I have to clean up this splattered mess with daddy. Okay, mommy. Well, I guess we should just head on back home now. I'm feeling a bit better. I just called the cops. They're going to come on down here to arrest your little asses for trick or treating past age of nine. You little creeps. What is your problem? We are just doing a thing that's been going on for years that everyone does. My problem, you ugly bobs out of the earth, is that you people have stuff that you shouldn't. Some people shouldn't be able to get nice things. But people like me should. Kato, hey. Oh my god, it's everything I wanted to be. Oh, princess. Kato, can you look how much handy I got? Hi Rosie, um, maybe you shouldn't be here right now. Oh my, is this for me? Oh you are such a sweetie sweet cutie pie, oh yes you are, oh yes you are. Oh thank you. No this is mine. I got this for me and my mommy and daddy. Huh. Oh, Typical, I never get anything. Kids just care about themselves. I'm going to bed. And if you kids don't get your slimy stinky feet off my sidewalk, then there will be serious consequences. Rosie, are you okay? I'm fine. I have to chisel off. Why lady so mad? We don't know. She's just a lady that wants everything and hates people like me. And she thinks she never gets anything. Maybe she's like me, a princess. We should build her castle, a candy castle. A castle, made out of candy? That sounds like a good idea. We could give a gift to her and make her happy, but we don't have anything to stick the candy bars together. Oh, no. Well, then no. Hey, what if that's mommy's glue gun? We could use that to build the castle for the old lady. Now, this is amazing. It smells so good. Woohoo, woohoo. Great job, Rosie. I think your idea will really make the woman happy. Oh my god! Oh my god! My property. What's all this shit doing on my property? Well, well, we felt bad that you didn't get any candy this year, so we gave you all of our candy we got along with Rosie's candy and built you a fort. Who the fuck is Rosie? I'm going to make somebody Rosie in a minute. Oh my 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 Rosie, I made you this house because you want my candy. You stupid ginger girl. I only like the quality candy. Not Hershey's. I like Whitman's. You should know that. I get the best. I'm the princess. What on earth? Miss Karen, you are under arrest for hitting Rosie Anderson. Anything you say and do can be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. I'll take the attorney. Great work. Get these cuffs off of me. You're on my property. Get me out of here. Whoa. What happened here? Wow. That's a beautiful candy display. Who made it? It doesn't matter who made it. It's on my property. These kids vandalize my property. Is this true, Kid Doss? Did you vandalize Miss Susan Henderson's property? We didn't try to vandalize her house. Rosie with the orange hair wanted to give candy to the old woman Susan cause she said we shouldn't be trick-or-treating and got angry at us. So we figured maybe she never got candy. And then yes, hit me. because you prats always cause. Hold on, Miss Susan. Go ahead, little girl. Let me pick you up. And then Miss Susan hit me on the head. I just wanted to do something nice for her, but she's mean. You hit my little girl, how could you? Sir, get back in the car. Dad, what are you doing here? Ugh, apparently you can't shoot a gun anymore on Halloween. It's apparently not safe. Now I know. I just wanted to give people some pumpkin after my Tootsie Rolls weren't successful. Let me check you little sweet thing. What? What are you doing? It's well, a finally, perfect match. now arrest these. Miss Susan Henderson, you are under arrest what for the assault of Miss Rosie Anderson. Anything you say and... Wait. You already have come Well done, on. Captain Obvious. Who arrested you? Officer Clementine Nugent here. She even read the old lady her rights. Well, I must say I'm impressed, Miss Clementine. Hey, officer. Can I please hug my daughter now? Sure. Let me shoot the cuffs off. So you can shoot that thing out loud but not me? Well, cause I'm a cop. I get to do as I please plus for video time's sake. Oh, I love you, my sweet princess. You're so thoughtful. So these kids are not going away for putting this junk in my yard. Well, as it appears, it doesn't seem to be damaging your house, and it seems like it was just a nice gesture by them. If you want it removed, we can have it so. Oh, for crying out loud, what is the problem? It's just a cool candy house. Here, I'll remove it myself with my electrical wand. 
Abracadabra, this wash makes our skull doom. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh my god. I'm covered in poor person chocolate. I don't deserve this. I deserve better. I deserve Whitman's. Everyone get away from me. Well you'll think of how grateful you should be and how good you have it when you do jail time for taking your anger out on younger people. Well I guess I should have known not to go overboard on making myself look good. I think we all learned a few lessons today. Don't take your anger out on newcomers based on past experience, in other words, unconscious bias. Don't exclude others from activities based solely on age, and don't feel the need to give others big gifts to make others feel better. Talk with them or help with the problem first. And you felt like you wanted to give back to other tonight, right Boris? Yes, I felt bad giving those stinky tootsie rolls to people and making that cheesy grounding robot. Well now you can do something for me and also Miss Susan when she learns her lesson. What's that? Clean up all this melted chocolate that's in the street and Susan's property. <laughs> Wait, but before I do that, I do got one thing to make up for the candy. It's okay daddy, like the cop said, I don't need a gift. Yeah, we had a fun night anyway. But just a small treat, enough for everyone. I'm feeling better so I figured I'd give you all some. <laughs> what the hell? Who are you? You ate all my cookies and peanuts. Me like cookies and peanuts custom messes. You like custom messes? Me like custom messes? Get like away from me! You, ah! <laughs> you got those stupid modern day rodents. Ugh, another long and miserable day in 2023. What the hell? Doris. The damn cheap Chinese doorknob fell off again. Open the door please. It happened again? And your British sick voice is back? Oh god. What the is that? Snow. Already? You have got to be kidding me. It's in November. Halloween just passed. Christmas music is already on people's minds and already snow. Well, I guess I'll just have hamburger helper. Um, I didn't get hamburger helper. <coughs> Why the hell not? You know I love that. It's the only thing that takes me back to the 1980s. Why do you think not? I told you, with our new budget, we just need to get a three-day-old meat, and then we're good. I was going to get that, but when I saw the price, it said $10. Ten, 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 ten dollars? What? You remember when you cost so much money, our government has funding money for scientists and for greater technology. Why can't we use that to make devices to make more food like a cloning machine? You take the machine, lock, keep power there. Do your computer tacky shit, then put comes out of the Do the tacky shit again, then two more come out, then more, then more, then even more cows, then even more. Hell, it doesn't even have to be cows cloned. How about cloning more scientists? Why do you not put money toward cloning more food for any children? Instead, we get billions of dollars to places we worry so much about rather than our own. Why do we give so much to other countries? Why can't we cut meat? Why can't we get people in office who are stupid and don't crap their pants? Why? 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 Oh, if, um, uh, well, that was odd. What happened? Nothing. You were just having one of your based in the head conservative rants again. Feel better? Actually, yeah. So, um, what were we talk- Oh, right. No hamburger helper cause we don't have hamburger. Could we just eat it without the hamburger? Unfortunately, we would need at least two boxes mixed together to make it thick enough. And you know what it's like with hot dogs? Huh, <sighs> hot dog helper. I'd rather suck on a different type of wiener than eat that shit with the helper. Can't you just go back to the store quick? I can wait an hour more. And sit in a line of 20 people waiting for the self-checkout? I don't think so. Okay, that's it. Boris? Boris, don't. Ah, my little friend. Oh, Boris, no. Um, do you mind, Doris? I was getting a bit excited here to eat and would like privacy. You're not eating that gross thing now. Oh, come on, I'm starving. Boris, it literally has mold growing on it. Save it for when the world ends. Oh fine, but what the hell are we going to eat? How about a restaurant? We haven't been there in a while. It will be a small treat once in a while. Great, even more fucking money I have to spend. I'm going to find some way not to spend my heart on cash on this stupid food. Wait, I forgot my other little friend. Do, 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 do. Cody. Dad, what the hell? My keyboard. You wrecked my keyboard. Well you shouldn't have left a drink on your desk I'm dumb. Anyway, we're going out to eat, and you're coming. We don't have any food that we meant to have tonight so we're going to the local restaurant. I thought we were trying to save money. Isn't that more money? Well, um, yeah, it is, but... Don't try and use your logic and make me seem stupid. That doesn't matter now. Also put on that fancy suit we got you for Easter so you match me and mommy. Ugh, I'm going to look like a queer in the suit. Ugh, I look so stupid in this suit. I look like I belong in a 1980s wedding or a Hall & Oates music video. What the? 
Is that a burrito? Oof, that stinks. Not sure why there's a burrito in a safe. You know what would be funny? A burrito in a safe being put in a 1980s style suit. Nobody ever thought that one before. Cody Anderson, the first kid ever to do that. Cody, where's your bald ass at? It's below my back. But yeah, I'm coming. Hello? We would like a table for five, please. The table book I'm coming on, coming up right now. The table book I'm coming on, coming up right now. Do you have to sing like that? Yes, yes, I was born with an auto tune, built inside my long toe. Um, I need to show you something in the bathroom. I think I found a pest in the bathroom. Okay, sir, I will He is so charming. Where, oh, where is the best? Where is the best? Oh, the pest's right in front of me. Stop the fucking singing, just. Look, now you are going to offer us free food the whole entire night and record it on your smartphone for the entire world to see. So my family can get free food everywhere, understand? Yes sir, I understand very clearly. Please don't leave. Free food for your family. Free food on me. Here is your table for by Timbal the Andersons. All food tonight is on me for this my family. Free food. We must be very friendly. Thank you, good sir. What would you buy people be drinking tonight? Oh, special wine is great, but great wine indeed. Hey, if our food and drink is free, I'll take your most expensive wine. That is our hundred euro wine, which is very great. It's five hundred dollars. I'm going to go broke. Thank you. We'll take those. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so fucking good. Yes, so nice that the waiter just decided to give us the food for free. This will certainly fill us up for two days. I'm going to go to the bathroom now. Be right back. Oh great, that's just what I need to hear and think of while I indulge this meat. Ugh, I can't stand steak. And I can't stand my family. Now to eat that burrito I found to hold me over. Wait, what the? Is that guy sucking on a cucumber? That is so sad. Funny. I don't think I've ever had a cucumber. Looks good though. Hey, I got an idea. I'll trade my burrito for that cucumber. And trick the guy. Now I need to find something. Like a quarter or ring. Did I hear someone say quarter ring? Where is he? He's not looking. Time to swap. No quarter ring. G-R-R-R. I ate the quarter ring. Back to sucking on my cucumber. <laughs> what the fuck is this? This isn't my cucumber. This is a burrito. Where's my cucumber? Sir, sir, not a what's the matter? Where what go? I always suck on cucumbers. I have burrito juice in me instead. I want my cucumber. I'm very sorry, Mr. Rich. Oh, thanks, Gibby. Can you please get this mess cleaned up? Thanksgiving is about helping all. I will get this cleaned up in no time. Oh, oh thanks to Thanksgiving. Wait, who's this young boy here? Oh my, that was great! Yes, definitely. I'm sure we'll be getting this treatment all the time. What makes you say that? Oh well, just, from my scary appearance I guess, can intimidate people. Excuse me, is this your son? Um, yes, why? He was trying to get free food from this mental ball guy rich. Hey, I'm not a mental guy. I'm a YouTuber. I'm rich from Reviews at USA. Down. I'm trying to help you. Look what you did, you big donut. You wrecked everything. <laughs> You're on hot potato. Oh, 
you can come, come here, here or I'm going to get you out. Oh my god, a conservative gun. Is that a firearm? Oh shit. Oh my god, the gun he used on me was real You fucking music boy. You used that on Thanksgiving. He ordered me in the bathroom to give them a free dinner. He said to record a video for all of you Jews. Sir, you scared my waiter to give you free food and make your son switch a burrito for a cucumber. You are in deep trouble. I only did it because fucking hamburger meat costs $10. Who charges that for 10 fucking dollars? And... My burrito? My 2004 McDonald's chicken fajita? Cody, you are so dead meat. That's it. I'm calling the police on both a certain side. Oh shit. Run, Cody. Review in the CCTV footage inside the restaurant, and the shot on Mr. Fanks giving space. I am charging all three of you with cause of destruction of property. Unfold your arms, Richard, and charging you, Boris and Richard, with assault. Boris and Richard will get a sentence of 30 days in jail with a $5,000 bond, and Cody getting 7 days with a $100 bond. And for the next 3 months, Boris and Cody Anderson will be forced to use and work the city's food pantry community center. Case dismissed. Why do we got to take down the Halloween decorations down already? We just put them up a week and a half ago. Yes, sadly. We should have put it up a week prior, but your stupid brothers spent my money on e-bucks and shark cards which pissed me off and my old ass gets tired. This neighborhood could use more cheer. Well, we're going to put up the Christmas decorations the weekend after Thanksgiving, so just wait for that. That's a whole 22 days away. I want Christmas decorations up now. Bring some cheer into this depressing new world. Oh, come now, Rosie. You don't want to go too early. Sometimes too much of a good thing can make it go sour. Better to Surely not Christmas. Christmas is the one thing everyone loves and would want to go on forever. Bring back the joy of childhood, like the 1990s. 1990s, Christmas, I got it. The perfect song to bring back the 90s. Oh crap, I put the CD in backwards. Wait a minute. That's it. Doing that could bring people back to the 90s. Going in reverse. But how could I share it with multiple people? Especially older people like my parents, I got it. But it will require some sketchy tactics. Perfect, the ghost is clear. This Russia protester outfit daddy has should be perfect. I look like a Russia left protester. We want change. More left. No right. Ra ra ra. That should tip them not to come up to me. Now to light the balloon on fire. That's a man. Then do be lost. Can't be that sick on me. The ghost looks clear. This must be the main control room. Time to put the CD in here. Okay, come on now. Come on now, close you old plastic shit. Here we go. Yo, it was damn loud, Boomy's belly. I'm not sure. Oh wait, there's a sign here? Oh crap, it's a protester. We better not try anything or else we'll be labeled it is of something. Yo, I'm hearing damn voices again. That's not, voices. That's Christmas music? Playing at full volume. It, it kinda takes me back. Back to the warm era of, the 90s. Yeah, back when the doobies were cheaper than fruity pebbles. Hey, I hear Christmas sounding music. Oh, who Christmas sounding music? It's that time of the year already? I guess we're doing it earlier this year. Better get in the holiday spirit. Doris, Rosie was right. We gotta get moving on the decorations. Everyone else is decorating faster than the spread of the coup. Oof. I'll get the daddy grounded Grinch inflated pronto. This is awesome. I finally made everyone happy and not down. Ah, I just love walking past all the Christmas dead. Dead? Dead 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 decorations all dead? Hey, what's going on? 
why are you taking down your decorations? Oh well, it's just not the same anymore as it used to. The radio plays the same freaking song every day. And it just feels like a chore to do all this decorating. And if we all decide to decorate early, why can't we give to each other early and have off early? Ever since the lockdowns, everything is so backwards. I'm burning this. I'm never doing Christmas again. Just too exploded and commercial. Oh my dear God. And another thing. What's God anyway? Oh no, no, no. Good morning, every night with a suggestion. It appears that the town of Go City has had enough. No more Christmas is the headline. The Christmas music on repeat has been another. It's just gotten so freaking irritating. I heard the music over and over. Took me back to when I was 19 years old. I did my hair the way it was then. Now I'm getting bullied again. We listen to the music after 100 times? I swear it keeps saying, No you need for Christmas is me. That sounds like a fucking threat. Well, here's what I say to your threat. Please, please. We don't know how to shut off the music. We've tried. Don't let all that from the 90s are coming back to get me mad. We got a discord music. And this guy just threw some vintage flaming wine. We tried turning off the music, but it seems like the music got jammed in there. My advice would be to just get used to it like a problem in life and let it pass. You considered us to like hello? He was part of us? Ballers! Oh, drive by! Incoming! Drive by. Incoming. Gangsta rap brave, yo, we go. Yeah. Finally, they apparently stopped that crap music. A shame it had to ruin Christmas for Ghost City. Wait, what's this? We now have a breaking news. We have an elevated video, which we as the news media always have to say because video evidence for some reason is proof of a young woman dressed in black sneaking into the radio station. It appears that she instructed him to write a carry song into the radio station's play event that shit him, which then caused the song to play on loop over and over. The radio station said they didn't resolve the issue because the music was playing too loud and the device would not eject. Rosie, get your ginger hairy ass down here this instant. Um, ah, uh, hello daddy and mother. Do you know why we are angry right now Rosie? Um, because Christmas is done early this year. Boy, it sure went fast, huh? Don't try bullying us, Rosie. We know what you did. Okay, I admit I did what I did. Was it on the news? Yup, and everyone sees how much of a ginger bitch you are. You ruined Super Bowl 49 in 2005. You tell YouTube to get rid of the dislike button. You beep your little beep back in the same year. And now you ruin Christmas for everybody. I just wanted to have Christmas be a bit earlier so we have something to celebrate right after Halloween. Bring back the memories. Yes. And as your very smart mother said five weeks ago, you should not spread a holiday out too long or else people will get bored. Better to do it in a short time or it will go sour. I may be 58 years old but even I remember saying that. Well, I guess I'm grounded, right? No Christmas this year or next year, right? <laughs> seriously? You actually legit seriously think we'd let you off that soft? Oh, my. God, no 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 honey bun, you are going to get far from a honey bun, more like bitter spit. It so happens I was shaving off the roof tiles and their decorations with my permanent shaver. What, on, earth? You want to make the 90s and Christmas as a whole hated and a nice or, then we will make your hair just like that. Episodes after this one, we'll show your first permanent punishment. No no no, I'm out of here, no no, what the, I can't move. You're not going anywhere Miss Cringe. <laughs> Ha ha ha, how do I look? Here, use my mirror. I look like a freak. I look like that nutting for Christmas boy. You think that's bad, Piff? Try this, on for size. My clothes. They're forever ruined. These have fit me since I was five years old. That's one Christmas present for each year. Fit for your punishment of not receiving anything for two years. That's one wish of yours that came true. Well think of your next. Until that, who could that be? Oh my, well, this was unexpected. Yes, yes, you can come in. Rosie, you have a guest. I do? Who could it be? 
Moo, 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 Mariah, Kaka Kerry. Oh my god, oh my god, I, I am your biggest fan. I love your music and your Christmas music has always made me happy. Oh well, thank you. I gotta say, when I see fans of mine, I'm always happy, because I feel they're where they made me today. And my manager 10 minutes ago told me to stop by here, because he said he thought he's seen you before a few times, and because he saw you on the news. Well, I saw the news too. And I gotta say, I was heartbroken. How could you ruin my classic 1994 song like that? I made that song for all the people who want to meet up with someone and make their Christmas the best. But you honey, have done the complete opposite. You've made everyone hate my song more than any goodwill or shall I say bad will could. Mariah, I, I'm so. Rosie Anderson, all I want, for Christmas, is for you, too. Go to hell. Oh, my, God, my, heart, is. Good morning students. Today is report card day. I will hand out your grades now, yes TJ? Yeah, I just want to say I think your name desk thing looks nice today. As you. Oh, why thank you TJ. You always warm my heart. Thank you, I tried. But you're not bumping up your grade with that flirt. Oh man. Wait, what's flirt mean? My God. Anyway, I'll hand out Caillou's first. Wow. B plus. I thought I'd do bad. Ooh, an A. I did better than all my kind. Dang, a C that sure doesn't stand for Kelvin. A C with a minus. Wow. This is terrible. Well, when you spend all your time criticizing others and spending time just on the range, that's what happens. A B minus? Oh no. But I'm not round I. Fatha gonna be mad at me. Oh cool. An A. An English isn't even my first language. Oh cool. A B. Halo, did I'm you look at your report card yet? I still do good. Not yet. I was looking at the fourth wall. Well, I would look at it if I were you. The viewers are waiting. Okay, okay. Sheesh woman. What, what, what? No, 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 no. This has to be a mistake. It's no mistake, Baldy Kalo. You talk back in class, barely read at all, get every math problem wrong, as well as claiming you were 35 years old. Which you do look at. The only thing you did perfect on was your science project which you and your mommy made a model of. Other than that, you have pretty much failed this semester. Oh no. My daddy and mommy are going to be very very mad at me. I wish I could have a report card that's almost perfect. Wait. I got it. I could go on the computer in the computer room and print out a fake report card. Then my mommy and daddy will be happy at me and take me to Chuck E. Cheese's or McDonald's. Kalo. Why on earth are you standing on your desk smiling? Sit your butt down. Oh, uh, okay, Miss Martin. And why is there a broken huge light bulb near your desk? Oh, uh, I found it outside near the fourth wall. You managed to accidentally drop a light bulb that huge? You're not doing well at all this year, young man. Yep. I may be book dumb and talk dumb, but I'm not computer dumb. All I have to do is go to the Word program and type up a fake report card and copy everything from my real report card and make the grades much higher. Done. Now to print this shit. What's all this shit? Where's my paper at? Printer test color graph sheet? What? Oh, there it is. Now to go back to lunch then give this good numbers to my parents. Hi mommy and daddy, I'm going to play some jump start now. Whoa whoa whoa, not so fast chipmunk. I didn't do anything, I swear. Yup, you're right, you didn't show us your first ever report card. Okay, I'll give it to you. Wow, oh my god, this is very nice. Wow, that is, uh, very nice. Thank you. I worked very hard. I didn't want you to help me with homework and I told you I would do good. Well, this is very good indeed. I gotta say, tomorrow, we should celebrate somewhere nice. Can we go to McDonald's? I haven't been there in a year since I was in kindergarten. Yes, you absolutely will get a good smelling Big Mac no matter what. Go up to your room now, Kalu. Yay, 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 I did so good. Don't you think something looks pretty odd about the report card? What? The fact that music is spelled with a K? That, and the fact that the paper is colored white and not the usual yellow that report cards are. Oh, I know. And the detail can use some work too. Yeah, I'm going to make a call to Miss Martin. 
Uh, hi, Patty. Yeah, this is Doris Anderson. Oh, hello, Doris. Is this about Kalo's report card? Yes, it is. I was just wondering if we could schedule a meeting sometime with Kalo to discuss it. Okay, well, I am free tomorrow at 4 p.m. after school. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I'm home by my part-time job by 2 p.m., so that should be cool. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. This should be interesting to hear. Well, hello. I'm glad we can talk about Kalo's grades. Yes, I'm very happy to hear that he's doing a good job. Well, no, that is far from the truth. Ah, but that's not what this report card printed out from what appears to be WordPad on Windows 98. What? What's this? This isn't the report card that the school handed out? This has spelling errors on it. And that comment was not at all made by me. Well, uh, I guess I must have done good, Miss Martin. You must have been wrong. I guess you don't know what you're talking about and are wrong. I guess you're been leaving the class. Oh, really? Well, as with everything technology related, you should always make a backup. Just like this backup I have of what was the report card I handed you yesterday morning, Kalo. Hum. That's funny, it seems you're not doing 100% in math as we thought, because, if you did, you would know that 1 plus 1 equals 2. And if someone has one print out of a fake report card, that has a bunch of misspellings, and is doing well in spelling class, they would fix the old fake print out, and print out one more. Making 2. 1 plus 1 equals 2. And for years, the school has always had our report cards colored gold. Never white. But I'm sure my good student wouldn't fake any of this. Right? Um, uh, right? It's just all a coincidence. Hey Caillou, spell out the word grounded. Um, uh, okay. Uh, G, R, O, W, D, I, D, grounded? <laughs> no offense, but I would prefer if you would take the screaming discussion at home. But I'm impressed that Caillou can do one thing at least right. Operate a computer. Which is why I'll have talks with Principal Jackie to do all his future work at the school's computer lab away of his main class with his friends. That way he still gets education. Although we'll first show him how to print out a paper properly seeing how there was over 2,000 printed out papers yesterday. What in the Sam Hill? I ended cleaning this up. Whoop! How? Oh. oh god! Paper cut! Now this burns more than a gold coin pile! Caillou, how dare you fake your report card which caused the janitor to get a paper cut? You are grounded 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 until Thanksgiving Day. From what Miss Martin said, you do better with computers than regular book work, which is okay. So you will have the day be away from your friends and do work on the computer. But your punishment for today, is to type up my daily schedules for the next month of these handwritten notes I've written. You better get to work now. Okay, Daddy, but, can I have some McDonald's, please? You said I could have that no matter what. Ah, uh, yes. I forgot about the big okay. smelly Big Mac. You, Here Daddy. you go. Mmm, -hmm. yummy Big Mac. Oh, they're here. I'm so excited to see Karen, my fashion twin. Come on in. I've been I'm playing playing right sucked in the balloons are so fat and ugly looking. Now my feet I just want to stick my ass down them. now. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, hey there, McCarran. I love bikes. Happy Thanksgiving. My red bikes are cool, cool. You know, whatever. Um, do you have like a chair I can sit on? My ass had to sit on the couch seat for too long. Every plane should have first class now taken by poor people. Um, uh, yeah, sure. Frank, could you fetch Karen a seat, please? Right on it. So, uh, uh how was so your trip here, Karen? Talking? Ugh, just miserable. First class was all taken up by these people who only can spend $100 on an outfit and nothing, absolutely nothing was available for us. I'm seriously going to fucking sue that airliner. Um... I'm going to get the food put out on the table now. Thank red you, red Frank. bike. So pretty. I love red bikes. Yeah, that bike I got when I was 18 for my birthday. I've had it for 10 years now. By the way, what's your name? Dave doesn't talk to strangers. Only me and Ken. Oh, okay. I didn't know Dave was coming. I'm sure we have enough food, though. Let's, uh, I'll show you to the table. More fucking walking. My life is just getting worse and worse every day. Well, the dining room's just over here, and it looks like Frank's got everything all set up. Ugh, what on earth is that gross thing? Wah, wow, what gross thing? Right there. My green vase? No, idiot. But yeah, that is gross. The thing on TV I meant right there. You mean, the sonic balloon? Yeah, what is that? It's so ugly. Turn it off. Oh, I always usually have the parade on. It's just, a tradition I have to watch it, and just leave it on during Thanksgiving lunch. Well, it's irritating. And that guy speaking is so nasally and annoying. I feel like my ears are getting fucked all without right, consent. Right, turn it off so now. gross. Ugh, finally. I hope I never have to hear that voice again. Alright, well, let's get to the table now.
What the? What's wrong? What on earth's happening? What's wrong? What's wrong? Are you blind? Your food has mold on it. Oh my god. You called it stuffing. Oh, like so it looks like it's two weeks old with mold. And what is in those yams? And worst of all, the cranberries are canned. Mommy, we are eating in this homeless shelter. This is food for poor people, not us. I agree, my darling. I'm thinking we should just have gone to the Hilton for a Thanksgiving dinner than this crap hole. How dare you guys? My husband and I worked very hard on this dinner and tried to welcome you all but you've been nothing but rude and ungrateful. We have different tastes than you, and it's okay to have different tastes. If y'all don't like it, that's fine. Being rude and ungrateful is unacceptable, and goes against everything about Thanksgiving in the first place. And if you feel like you don't want to eat with us, you're welcome to leave. But we're not changing our tradition and way of living just to accommodate you guys. How dare you? You reserved us to be here and we want it the way we want. The customer is always right. You're not our customers, you're our friends, or so I thought, and having your other friend come without telling us is also rude. It makes us seem like we're not good enough without. Oh. Food. Yum. I'm starving. Um, excuse me, that's mm. supposed to be for all of us. That is so yummy. Can I go on bike now? No, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to leave. Leave? I want bike. Don't I'm you be mean to Dave. Give Dave the bike now after all you've done. You can't have the bike. I would like you all to please leave now as you've been very impolite. Leave? No one tells Dave to leave. I want bike, I want bike. Oh my dear God. <laughs> this is what I think of your shitty on fresh canned cranberry. And here comes Ronald McDonald. Oh my God, it appears that Ronald McDonald is dying down. Look what you freaks did. You ruined the whole dinner. And you popped the balloon outside. Now you made a lot of kids upset outside. Who like Ronald McDonald? How dare you? Call us freaks. We are your customers and demand you give us what we want. We are always right. Police! All right, drop down! Okay, so who is the piece of dirt who popped the balloon outside? We follow the can lid from up here from a replay of the TV camera. Well, first off, it was care. No. Flashy ladies first. Excuse me, I'm a lady and this is my- You. You look like a dumb lesbian and dress like we're in the army. Wow, that was very rude. Excuse me, miss. Stop pointing your finger toward me this moment. What exactly happened here? Who owns this house? You do not talk to me like this. Well, we own it because we're the guests. How can you own this house when you are the guests? Did you come here from somewhere? Yes, but I do not have to tell you that. These two losers next to me served me and my husband and daughter can't crap and expected us to like it. I mean, do I look poor to you? And, what about you miss with the green shirt? Do you own this house, and white shirt man? Yes we do, we invited the Karen family over when they were being rude and decided they hated our stuff. We asked them to leave and then the big bald friend of theirs threw my bike. That is a lie 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 lie. They were serving me canned food, canned food, and serving us yams with mold in them. They should go to jail for poisoning my family. Lady can you just calm, excuse me young girl, can you please put the phone down while we're talking? You do not talk to and harass my daughter like that. She is a minor. We're not harassing Put your them. Hands down. We are getting to the bottom of what happened. You don't touch my daughter. We're not. Oh my God. God. Hey! Put your hands you do not now. do that to Put my wife. Now, sir. I'll fuck you all up. I'll fuck you all You okay, people are humble. Mr. and Mrs. Yeah. Karen. You yeah. are under arrest for yeah. police evasion yeah. and damage I'm to the customer. city property. I'm always right. You bastards. I'm going to get your bitches. I know, Taichi. Hi, yet. <laughs> get your pen hands off me. Mommy, Daddy, help! Ah! Miss Kara Jr., you are also under arrest for aggravative assault. Oh my god, that Karen family is a piece of work. So, uh, I'm guessing you two are the homeowners. Sadly, yes, and we're friends with those people. But not anymore. I guess having someone look like you on the outside doesn't mean they acted on the inside. Oh, what's this? The phone the girl dropped. She was on it the whole time. Just ignoring us. Oh wow, she recorded a video of the whole event. This is evidence enough of what happened. Oh wait, and there was a third perp. Where's he at? Over there eating all our yams with supposed mold to those freaks. Yum the yams. Yum mum mum. Put down the yams, big boy. Police. Oh no. <laughs> well, I don't think anyone expected that to happen. I don't know what got over her. She freaked out because my cranberry sauce was canned. Wait, is an all Thanksgiving cranberry sauce canned? Everybody I know uses canned cranberries. Oh no, not her. She uses fresh, and they didn't like my stuffing with grizzlets in it. 
Oh my god, Grizzlet stuffing, I love that. I haven't had that since I was 16. Wow, all of this looks so good. Yeah, not everyone has the same taste. A shame people can't realize that. I'll make sure to tell the chief to get this all fixed for you guys. Oh well, thank you. Would you like to come for dinner in a couple hours? Well, my shift ends at 4 p.m., so I guess I could swing by for a bit. Awesome. I wonder what's going to happen to the Ronald Balloon. Yeah, I feel bad for all the little kids who saw it deflate. Oh, no worries. According to my partner, Karen's daughter asked if we could do anything to let Karen not go to jail today. So we came up with a little deal for today. Since she seems to be full of a lot of hot air, then she'll go to jail tomorrow until Christmas. What kind of a deal? What? Okay, let's do the scrap then. Don't know why Doris wants me teaching you the day before Thanksgiving. Okay, so you check the car and see if you see anything wrong? Do you see anything wrong or out of place? Yeah, I do. Where? What? Show me. Right up there. I see a very fat and ugly green daddy in a Santa outfit. With the car, Cody. Not my f***ing Christmas decoration. And green's not ugly. It's charming, like fresh cut grass. Anyway, you get in the driver's seat. I get to flash out in the Mercedes. What the? You? You are driving like normal. You haven't even driven before. Well, yeah, it's simple. I played Gran Turismo and Grand Theft Auto. I know park reverse neutral drive and low. Well, I'm impressed. I just remember the gear shift is Prindle. No, don't say Prindle. Watch it, sorry. Watch it, Cody. You almost hit that red Toyota. Well, you screamed right in front of me. Well, you got to be wary of the passengers talking. And Toyota drivers. Okay, we're coming up on a railroad crossing. Stop. What the hell is it? You always stop first at the railroad crossing. No you don't. That's for trucks and buses. It's still good practice to stop at the railroad crossing. A train gate might not be working. You listen for the train, not the gate. Don't argue with me boy. I'm the teacher. And I say stop. You stop also whenever you hear a railroad gate no matter what. Understood? Yes sir. Now go. We're probably holding up traffic. Ugh. You're the boss. Holy shit, an actual train is coming. Cody, quick go, Cody. Holy fucking shit. Daddy squat. Way and on. I'm going to be sick my part. Um, well, at least I stopped at the gate, like you said. My god almighty, my precious baby girl Mercedes is injured to the point we have to use the fucking MBT for the next month to get anywhere. I haven't used this since I was 20 years old in college. God almighty, it smells worse than Joe Biden's butthole in here. Well at least now you can love your kids in an object. Why did you fucking stop at that fucking train gate? You should have kept going. Oh and what did you say? You stop whenever you hear a train gate no matter what. Yes, unless we're between two gates, you idiot. Now I have to make exceptions. Make up your mind, old man. I am not old. I'm 50 fucking 7 years old. A Gen Xer is not Robert old. Robert Kurt Robert Cobain Robert is rolling in his grave with you saying dumb. that. Well, if he's dead, that's probably because he's old that you owe the old old. You really are dumb. How do you not know who, know Kurt, who Cobain Kurt Cobain is? is. He was the most was successful alternative you. rock star of the 90s. Everybody stop it, Boris. You should be thankful that you did not die from the heart attack yesterday. And Cody, you should be thankful that your dad lets you drive the car to get you driving on your own soon. Thanksgiving is a day about being together. Not bickering or talking about politics. We are going to have a nice day at Grandpa and Grandma's and that's final. Understood? Yes, yes dear. Good. Now how's about someone looks at the map to see which road is ours we're going on? I can do that. No, no, me first. How the fuck am I supposed to read all this? There's like a million words here. Well, Grandma and Grandpa live west of Somerville and Greenfield, right? So we just go on the green line. Yeah, Greenfield, on the green line. Ha, huh, green's not such a bad color after all, huh? Green line, huh? Oh well, that looks like the green line train right here. What on earth? Fight, fight, fight. 
Cody and Kai Yu, enough. Yeah. Let's sit on the farthest car. People these days just can't control themselves. You guys are even better than this. Yeah. Peace and quiet. I'm going to explore the train. I like Don't train. go too far, Kai Yu. Wow. This is what so cool. Oh, sir. You're not really supposed to be in here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just really into trains. I'll go now. Hey, wait. I could show you for a minute. Really? What's the red button do? And the phone? And what do the gears mean? I'm out. This will be a while. Go. Well, first off. Oh, shit. What the hell is going on? Hey, hey, hey. Okay. I did not cause this to happen. Why the hell can't we ever go on a trip without some fucking explosion or something destroyed? Where on earth did you get your license to drive? Now we're all going to be late to our relative's place. I'm sorry everyone, but that panel got stuck when I pushed it too much in bake when I got distracted by the stupid bald man in back of me. Caillou, how dare you cause the train to derail? Well I didn't mean to, I didn't touch anything. I just asked the train driver how the buttons worked and then we started going fast. The door was open. So you left your train front door open for my son to explore. How could you be so stupid you- Ugh, this constant fighting is not helping. It was simply an accident that everyone in some way was involved. It was no one mistake. Now how about we get a taxi or Uber to take us to? I already got one. Oh, thank you Rosie. Hey, can I come? Oh, no one ever cares about the train driver. Well, at least I'm still a live and have a job. Hello, Mr. Bleak. Yang, there was an accident. We fired, you said. But it's Thanksgiving. Oh, you don't care. Okay then. Well, I still have my life. God, life's too long. Coming, coming dear. Oh goody. What a pleasant surprise. My good old family. Yeah, yeah mom your dementia is funny I know. Sorry about him Rosemary, he's still a bit antsy over the heart attack. Who the fuck are all these strangers? Yo, 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 my name is Illatilla from the Toss in Boston. I came up in this grill to chill and chat till we go nap. And my name is Kalil Johnson. I was Caillou's childhood classmate. Nice to meet you. Caillou, did you bring these punks into your grandparents house? No. What do you mean? Whoa. Kalo Johnson. I haven't seen you for forever. I remember you sat next to me in kindergarten. Yeah, that Miss Carrington was pretty crazy. But it was still pretty fun. Can someone explain why these punks are in my parents' house? I brought them. They're my friends. Say yo, Diakai, we meet again. Yes, hello Boris. I see you're still angry all the time. Angry? I'll show you angry you dot face bastard. Woo 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 fight fight fight! Dinner's ready in five minutes. Dinner, thank god I'm starving. Whiff, that guy sure has Irish blood in him. Only minus the accent. Man, Man I, feel I feel bad about, about dad's car being wrecked. Crash. I, I wish, wish I could, could make this date in early better. better. Hey, hi, you. You feel bad about causing the train to crash? Yeah, do you? That's not what you're supposed to say, dum-dum. You're supposed to say, hey, Cody, feel bad about causing dad's car to crash. Well, do you? Yes, I do. I wish we could do something to make this date end on a positive note. What about stuffing the turkey so full it causes an explosion of goodness for everyone? That's not a bad idea. Whoa, well, you're using your bare hands. I've been in so many explosions that wow, fire doesn't impressive. bother me. I'm going to get some stuff to stuff it with. Stop staring at me. I know you just came here to instigate me. He came here because of me. Oh, so now you want him as your man. I see you always admiring his stupid house. If you weren't so angry all the time, you would think clearly. Well, at least I'm with a woman and didn't need two hoodlums to back me up. They're not hoodlums. They're just black. You fit the description of the stereotypical Trump supporter. There we go. Always got to bring politics into everything. I don't care about their skin color. You Rosie, brought politics into this first you have to be all the time. Oh, politics and unconscious bias are completely I different. Now we're admitting you have unconscious bias. Doesn't make yourself look any morally superior. Well, at least I'm honest and don't hide the fact that I'm gray like you hide that you're blind. I'm not blind, you idiot. It's been proven that I can see you dummy. This mashed potato stuffing and apple turkey will be slamming. Okay, put it in the oven now. Don't you make me. I can't do it. 
this. It's too heavy. Ah, uh, get it off. Get it off. My face feels like it's getting shat on. It landed in the microwave. Hey, what happened to the food? Oh gee, I wonder what happened to the food, huh? I wonder who must have taken it. It couldn't have been the 1350 crowd. Oh, that is such a dumb stereotype. Why don't you cut it out as well as smartphone users? Yo, what's wrong with smartphone users, man? I thought you were my bud, but you just straight dumb. Oh shoot, everyone's getting angrier and it's time for dinner. We got to get the food out. Don't worry, I'm getting the turkey now in the microwave. Caillou, don't. Oh my god, no! Not my children dead. On Thanksgiving! They ended it because of our fighting. I shouldn't have put so much pressure on Cody's driving. I should have explained first what he should and should not do. I should have planned ahead and find out which train we should have gone on. I shouldn't have brought my friends without permission from your family. It made tensions too high. I should have raised my family to talk first and not do actions first. I shouldn't have bashed all cell phone users. I shouldn't have called you dumb for your opinion. Caillou and Cody, we're truly sorry. We are thankful we had you as children. Mom, Mommy, Daddy, Daddy, everybody. Cody, you're alive. We're sorry about the turkey. We tried to fill it with more stuffing. To make it better, so you guys would find it amazing and not argue anymore. Oh, we don't care about some stupid turkey. We care about you guys. And after this moment, we learn not to care about stuff, but to love one another. And we've agreed on some things. I will explain things more first and listen than jump to conclusions. I will accept that some people do stuff different and are not bad people in of themselves. I will not bring a guest to a party I was invited to without asking permission. We will try to prepare parties our And we'll try not to instigate fights. So, what are we going to do about the food? It's all messed up. Well, I guess we need to be thankful for what we have. We shall eat the stuffed floor turkey. Anybody want to dig in? Wow, this is epic. Man, it's like 20 degrees outside. And there's not even any f***ing snow outside. Why can't Christmas just come now? I want some damn free stuff. My Zoomer brain needs to feel occupied. You know you want brain stuff now, but too lazy to get it. Don't feel too bad about it, you're entitled for it all. What the hell? Christmas should be about you, special you, you, you. We have brain stuff for you, come buy it all now. Where? Where? Come get it at the world's best place, the Amazon, the Amazon work hard after the history. Must be 18 or older to buy online. Wow. How could I forget about Amazon? That's like the best way to shop for stuff. And today is actually Cyber Monday, meaning lots of stuff will be like 40% the price. But, I don't have any more money, cause I got fired from my part-time job. And mommy and daddy are saving monies because of Poopy Joe. Well, I mean, I just need like one good thing. A waterproof digital camera that's 10 megapixels. Then I can take watery embarrassing photos of my friends and extory them for money. Hehe. <laughs> now to look at daddy's credit card number and buy the camera off Amazon. Yeah, <sighs> this hero die on me and makeup doesn't make me feel any younger. Just look it, I still am beat after work. Hum, now to take the credit card out of daddy's wallet. Cody, why are you touching my pocket? I wasn't touching your pocket. I, uh, how did you know I was here? You're smarter than that, Cody. You know I can smell your seven-day body odor from 80 feet away. My god, you need to shower more often. You're going to be 18 in May. Okay, whatever. But, can I borrow, um, five dollars from your wallet for ice cream? Why would you want ice cream in November? You might as well just go pee in a cup and leave it outside for some ice cream treat. Just please 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 wah 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 give me five dollars please dad. Oh god almighty just take my fucking wallet and take the five dollars out yourself. I just want 30 minutes of sleep to myself. Okay. Thanks dad. Whoop whoop. Thanks dad. Why, huh? Huh. The baldy Damas didn't even take any of the money, huh? Maybe he reconsidered and was being generous to me trying to save money. Ha ha ha. Now I sound like a dumbass. This is a generation C we're talking about, full of sociopath kids. That's right, Gonamate viewers. I'm talking about you. Oops.
Oh well, he probably did something bad. Either way, I'm probably going to have to do some grounding in a bit. Time to buy the waterproof camera to take some goofy photos like my creator. <laughs> Ditch it all. Camp or raw. Eight mega pixels under. Hmm? One hundred dollars I'll do. Oh this looks perfect. Seventy-five dollars. I need to pay for this right away. And I'll pay with the platinum card number two seven three nine four nine zero nine eighty nine sixty four one two three four by Mr. Boris T. Anderson. Security code required. What the fuck is? Oh, this number here. Six six six. Hmm, how fitting. And pay for. Wow. That was fast and only took one minute. Hum. I wonder if I could buy one more thing. Oh, I'm sure it wouldn't hurt. It's all on sale anyway. And mom and dad might think it's from one of each other. They both use dad's credit card. Holy shit. Is that a Firewire surfboard? I always wanted one of those. 75% off. What a steal. What a steal for me indeed. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh thanks a lot asshole. Can't even walk on the sidewalk like a normal human being. Look old man. I don't get paid enough to handle your shit with care. It broke it. It on you. You don't like it. Return it and get a refund. Just let me drive and feed my family. Piff. They sure treat the customer like dog shit. Hmm. I wonder what this could be. Oh my. A digital oh, camera? Hee <laughs> hee. 8 megapixels, huh? How cute. I know you're dumb on technology. But seriously what do you think this is? 2005. When 10 videos a week on YouTube was considered wild. Where'd she get this from? Better not be that woke Best Buy. Amazon. The Monopoly Company. Oh shit. I hope I didn't break the camera. Oh wait. I forgot the other packages. Stupid. What on earth? Yeah. <laughs> Look at all this shit. I wouldn't buy this much stuff. Like what's this flat thing? Skinnier than Gummy's dick. Holy shit. Firewire. What's his face from work mention one of these? They're like hundreds of dollars. Damn. Doris thinks I'm that special. But. I don't surf, and neither does she. She's not trying to flirt with what's his face, right? Well, what's this? Rip out my big jackhammer. A jukebox. What the hell? Does this lady think I'm divorcing her? Is she this desperate? Wait, what if she's divorcing me and offloading this stuff to make me distracted? Boys, what's wrong? Ugh, what on earth's going on? How could you? I thought we were going to work things out. I like one gift. But offloading three gifts to the house here purchased with my credit card. Why are you divorcing me? Divorcing you? What on earth are you talking about, Boris? Don't play me dumb, woman. I would love a new digital camera. If it was 2005, a Firewire surfboard, really, you divorce me probably because you don't even know my taste. But a jukebox, a fucking jukebox. Why on earth would I need a jukebox? It's not 1978 anymore and I'm not one of those virgin beta male ironic hipsters. Do you think I'm a fucking hipster? Do you not know anything? <laughs> Please Doris, I can change. I know I can. I can quit my job and stay here more often and make your life better. I'll get the kids in a assistant living program. Please, oh please, don't divorce me. Well, I will say, I don't think you're a ironic hipster, nor into vinyl or surfing. And I know how to use your digital camera that you've used for over 8 years now. You, you, you don't think I'm a hipster loser, and, you do know me. Well, so, you didn't get this stuff, and don't want to divorce me? No, I didn't. And I would never want to divorce you. You're the only person who would protect me more than my own father. Oh Doris, I love you so dearly. I think of you as a sister sometimes with the way our names match and our making up. Thank you. But I do got to say one thing. Anything. Fire at me. Ouch. You definitely are an overreactive idiot at times. Well, I did say fire at me. So, if you didn't order this stuff, then somebody must want to give me something. Well you don't like surfing. And you know how to use my digital camera. And we both don't go out much. And these items seem to have a lot of neon colors. And this camera looks to be waterproof? With a surfboard. So somebody that likes going in the water. Possibly for a senior day trip. My wallet, three days ago was used, by... Haha, ha, I got you fat. Cody, get fuck? your ass down here now. Two hundred, or three hundred. Oh really? Okay, thank you, bye. Whoa, Santa Claus came early, and got us a jukebox. Wow, and a surfboard? Now we can get out and feel young. And a digital camera? 
Now we can make memories as a family. Don't try that shit with us, Cody. You went with our credit card and bought all this shit online. You committed fraud. And not only that, but used it when you were under 18 years old. This is why kids shouldn't use credit cards. I was dumb enough to think you put my wallet back. But nope, classic Cody. And what kind of boy would use the word memories and think to still believe in Santa Claus? Even my Gen X brain is smarter than your young hipster baked millennial mind. Well, I guess I'm just young at heart. Nope, you're just dumb and fart. For that, here's your three punishments. First punishment, giving you a fart from all the eggnog I've drank in. No, oh, no, 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 you don't. You fart. Shit. Wow, that sounds like six week old milk. Second punishment, call you giving your PC a golden shower. My game suit. My screenshots. All gone. Yes, it did. And now our electric bill will go down by $100. Last punishment. Painting your face in coal to show how bad you've been this year. Before you go to bed, here's what you look like. Oh my god. I look like a street urchin. I look so stupid and ugly. Now you'll think about what others have to deal with before you think about yourself. Now to go return all that shit. What? Huh? Who could that be now? Hello? Yeah, Greenie, you forgot to give your signature on the form. Signature? You want my signature? That's why I'm here, genius. Okay, I'll give you my signature. Here's my signature. Daddy Anderson style. What the- That will show him. Now to get the stuff returned. I wonder what's in that extra box. Oh my god. What on earth? Christmas. Wow, the guy got blasted by whatever was in the box. Now we can make an insurance claim and get the money back. And Cody's computer won't run up our electric bill anymore. This is great news. Best of Christmas season ever. Wow, how luckless and crazy you are. Maybe I shall actually divorce you. No, no, please, please. I'll help the guy up here and we can tell the truth. I'm just kidding. You're not heartless. Woof, woohoo. But you definitely are crazy. No. Oh boy, Christmas season is finally here. Yup, and first thing, buying a Christmas tree. Get all the moving over with. Um, I guess. But, maybe we should wait about two weeks or so. It's only November 25th. Christmas trees can dry fast. I want a pink fat tree. I want a tall pink tree. I want a tree that's softer than my brain. Now everyone, we can't get you all the tree you want today. Well done, please. So we're today just gonna have to get one that fits all your needs together. Christmas early, here we come. Me, Cody Fox. Me, he. I was excited. Well, alright. But somebody's going to have to buy this perfect tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect tree, here we go. God, hello, folks. Merry Christmas. Welcome to Pick It and Stick It. Wow, you look like you're from that Fallout New Vegas game. Oh, uh, thanks. Not sure what that is, though. It's just a stupid video game that takes place in like a future 1950s or something. Fallout's not stupid. God, you are. It was my father's newspaper outfit. So that makes sense. He's long gone now, though. Anyway, we're here to buy a perfect tree to fit my picky kid's needs. Hey, I'm not picky. I'm not DW. Well, we have plenty of trees, like this one. Um, it looks kinda bent. And it's stiffer than my hair now. And more dark than a monkey. And the snow's not even cleaned off. A one. Oh well, forget this one. Ah, now this, folks. This is what I call a tree. Oh, uh, that's got a nice firmness to it. I thought firmness meant opposite of soft. This isn't the tree that drops all the needles on the ground, is it? Doris, you sound like that stupid mother from A Christmas Story. The one whose hair looks nothing like the 1940s, but the 1980s when it's from. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I should give you a piece of firmness up your ass. On and only for violence. It's the holiday season. Man, we don't need a Tetris shot for the holiday. So this away. Ah! Now this. I mean, this here looks like your average good Christmas tree. Gone. Gone. Look good. Uh, well, we'll chuck this one. Um, we don't want it, but let's just put it down nicely. Okay? Oh, okay. Well, I guess there's not much left. Hey, there's one right there. I want. Oh, that generic one. It feels so soft. It's flat on the bottom. And enough room to put pink stuff on it. I got to say, it's the perfect tree. Well, I gotta say it does look nice. I think we got a deal. But we'll have to make sure we water it every few days. It could catch fire after a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just get it and put it up. How much, sir? That will be 1870, my man. 
Here's a 20, keep the change, let's haul this fat ass up. You too man. Wow what a very nice tree we got. And now looks even better with the lights on. I gotta say I was pretty stupid to think we shouldn't have got it early. We should take a picture of it. The camera is on the dining room cabinet. Could you grab it Doris? I'll hook the tree in the stand. Yeah I'll grab that. Everybody say Merry Christmas you filthy animals. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas you filthy you liberals. Animals. Perfect. Well, I'm going to get this sent to a few of my Facebook friends and have it printed out in a few days. Rosie or Caillou, could you put the letter back in the garage? And Boris, could you just put some water in the tree, please? I'll do it. No, I'll do it. You don't even know where it goes in the garage. I know you are, but what am I? That doesn't even make sense, you bald baby loser. I know you are, but what am I? Caillou, put down the ladder and let your sister put it away, you robotic baby. Fine. Yeah! Ha, huh, I know you are, but what am I? Shut your ginger face, Rosie. Rosie, go help your brother get a band-aid. I'll put the fucking stupid ladder in the fucking garage. Baby, come on! Yeah! Yeah! Hey! Yeah! Uh. Come on! Fly, 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 you fucking eagles, fly! Beat those shitbag cowboys! Oh my god, honey, will you watch your mouth? The kids can hear you. Oh, would you calm your kids? The kids see and hear stuff they shouldn't all the time on the interwebs. It's no big deal, and it's football season. I got to get in the spirit. Well, you look like a spirit all right. More like a grinch than anything else. But just try to be a good influence. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh my god, the yeah, tree's looking very dry. Yeah, yeah. I think the leaves are coming off. I asked you to water this tree five times since we got it. God, don't you ever shut up. I'll water the fucking thing. You better, or else Christmas will be a disaster. Oh, honey, could you help me with something? Yes, get the bucket? No, could you make me some fucking pie? I want to have some before I do caroling with the kids later tonight. Uh, you're such a lazy pig. Aha, uh -huh, relax. I was just joking. I was just saying a lyric from that one Christmas song. That's not what she said, you stupid jerk. Oh, come on. That girl had to have. You can't tell me pumpkin sounds anything like fucking. Well, I don't want to get up. I just want pie. It's the holiday season. Everyone deserves pie. We could stop world hunger with simple pie. Here's your creamy pie. Ugh, thanks, honey. Huh, it's an interesting taste. Wait a minute. This better be fucking pie not what I think it is. Okay, now try to place the gifts in a good pile like Santa was in a rush. Perfect. Thanks for helping Rosie. You're the only decent person here. Well off to bed now. It's about 11.25. Don't want Cody to find out the truth yet. He may be smart but he's only five. What about the lights? Can we keep them on overnight? Sadly no. Can only turn them on in the morning. I've told your dad ten times this month to water the tree but he still hasn't. After tomorrow we're throwing this tree up his ass out, but I promise we'll get one last shot with the lights lit up before Christmas is over. Okay, sounds good. Yay, that balloon had tripped mommy and daddy. They still think I'm sleeping upstairs. Now to wait for Santa. Whoa, holy shits and giggles. There's already presents, but how? I thought Santa usually comes after my bedtime. And mommy and Rosie just walked by. Maybe he's hiding. Santa. Santa come out. Peekaboo. Huh? He's not hiding. Wait, maybe he's not hiding. But maybe he's invisible. I don't want me to trip on him and he crush me. Ouch. Oof. Whoa. The Christmas tree is lit up. Wow. It looks so beautiful. Oh my god. My match. It's on fire. Match on ground bad. Woof. That was close. I'm going back to bed by time so mommy and daddy don't get angry at me or Santa doesn't get nasty at me. Snip snip. Oh no. I ruined Christmas again. No 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 no. What the? No way in hell. This can't be happening. I knew this was going to happen. I'm so sorry mommy and daddy. I didn't mean to do this. Cody, how dare you? Save the yummies until we're outside. Stop pumping in toxic hot air. Get low to the ground. I'm so sorry daddy. I 
put a match to see because it was dark. I blew it out, I swear. Cody, you are obviously lying. You should never play with matches. You are a stupid bald baby child. You have ruined Christmas for everyone. No. Cody is not even close to it fold here. I asked you ten times this month to water the tree. Excuse after excuse. Kai, you bumped his toe. You wanted pie? Football. You needed to do Carolyn even though you never do that. Just any way to get out of work. Don't you yell at me. How was I supposed to know? Better yet, or let the fireman here be the judge. So what was the cause of this you think, sir? Well, it appears from the Christmas tree that the leaves were complete ash after getting ignited. It appears some dumbass didn't water that tree. Not sure which of you is at fault. Bubba, but there was a match near the tree. My son said he lighted a match near the tree. I told him not to play with matches. I wasn't playing. I was lighting it to see in the dark. I just wanted to see if I could see Santa Claus. Well, you shouldn't have used it at all. You're too stupid. Well, I did see the match near the couch, but it didn't appear to have got a ash on it. It probably went out on its own and the heat from it caused a dying tree to ignite. I don't know who caused a fire, but looking up the shocked face on you sir and your family's angry face of you, I would suggest it was you who did this and I would suggest you do something fast to make up for this. Anyway happy shut the front up for ruining my holiday morning. Peace out. And Merry Christmas to the rest of yours. Merry Christmas to you too. Hey, the fireman said I should make it up to you, so I'm going to do just that. This better be good. Probably not. Oh, if, oh, if. I think this is it. My mother's friend's house. Okay, I think these are Mikey's gifts he got you. Ah, here we go. Saints Row 2. The game I've been wanting since the 4th of July. So what is that like? Again, like an open world game? It's kind of like, um, kind of like Graf Theft Auto San Andreas. You remember that? Ah, uh, okay, like real big with gangs fighting each other. Yeah, that was my favorite. Oh, oh, Dad, what? What happened? Well, usually people come from the back door, not the front door or window. Whoa, who's that? I don't know him. Who the hell is this? My name's Boris. I'm a friend of Judy's. Kinda. Oh, and Merry Christmas. I'm the son of Judy's friend. Whoa, who are you? <laughs> Boris. Oh my goodness, hi. Um, I didn't know you were coming. It's a bit messy in here. He well, I figured I'd come in here to get a Christmas tree from you guys, cause my family's house had a fire just 10 hours ago. Well, you can't just come in here. Well, I just did. Now, I'm just going to be on my way with your precious tree. Good pick, by the way. What? Get out of here, you're not taking the tree. Well, it appears I am. What are you going to do, old man? I'll give you a knuckle sandwich your own daddy never gave you. Oh, uh, oh, oh, shiver me timbers. I'm so scared. Have a happy holiday, Leones. You aren't as tough as your name. Get out of here now. No, 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 don't What the fuck? Ugh, note to self. Don't think a 64-year-old man or a woman can, but they can. Well, I promised we would have the lights on one last time. And I think they look rather nice. Yeah, and the new tree is even greener than before. And it has a big smell like most trees. It looks a bit angry though. Though we do need to feed it water at least a few days a week until January 6th. But we'll all say that until tomorrow. I think the tree got fed enough in books. Better than fucking high. <laughs> Hello class. Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas! Hey guys, I'm here. Oh, nice of you to join us Caillou. Late. Again. Please put your bag away on your cubby. Okay, I'm going. Anyway, Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas to you all. Happy Merry Christmas. Christmas! Happy Christmas! Now the dad. Ha 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 ha, you all look so silly with your silly hats. And Leo, Emma and Xavier didn't say Merry Christmas. They just said gibberish. You all are so stupid. Kalo, saying Merry Christmas is not a requirement. Leo is Jewish, so he says Happy Hanukkah, Xavier is Spanish, so he says Feliz Navidad, and Emma is Chinese, so she says Happy Christmas. Different people celebrate different stuff during the holidays. Not just Christmas. And everyone including me chose to wear hats to have fun and have a fun time. If you don't want to, that's fine. But don't ruin others' fun and celebrating just because you do stuff differently. The holidays is about sharing and caring for others. Because you were bad already, you get two strikes. One more and you will be sent home with your mommy and daddy. Okay? Okay. Good. Now sit your high name down on the carpet. I will now give out a cool surprise for you all. Yesterday right you all back. designed your own cookies for each other. Remember? My ginger man has hair. My ginger man is winter Spanish colorful. 
My ginger man is tall and skinny like me. My ginger man is a black man skeleton. My ginger man is a pile of shit. Kalo, watch your mouth. Well, those gingerbread men you designed were actual cookies. cookies. My gift to all of you is these delicious cookies. Take one that you made then share it with your other classmates. I'm going to get paper cups to pour the milk in. No one will like my cookie. It looks like baby crap. I know. I'll steal everyone's cookie and leave them mine. Then they'll like mine. Hey guys, I see an elf at the Christmas tree. Huh, elf? Caillou, you're just kidding. No really. Look, elf, I Kidding. wanna see. Ha 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 ha, now to eat the cookies. Hey, there's no elf over here. Hey, the cookies. <clears throat> Caillou, you eat all of our cookies. Not all of them. There's some cookies on the plate. Caillou, you take some milk too? No, 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 I didn't. I swear. Miss Martin, Miss Martin, come quick. Caillou ate all of our cookies. What's going on? Miss Martin, Caillou stole all of our cookies and drank all of the milk. All he left was a stinky cookie he made. No, I didn't. Leo is lying. Oh, and why is there a milk mustache on you, Caillou? Oops. Um, uh, mum, hum, mum, the elves. Put it there. Caillou, how could you? You ruined our Christmas holiday season cookie treats. Those were supposed to be given to each other's friends as gifts. But you only thought of yourself. I only ate them because I didn't want to eat my cookie cause it looked poopy and nobody would want it. Then you could have shared it with yourself and the four others as a second cookie. But no. You had to think of yourself. You are now suspended for the day. I will now call your daddy. Caillou, we are really angry at you for eating your classmates' holiday cookies. You know that stealing is bad. You never ever steal someone else's gift or feel jealous of others. Because of this you will be grounded which is pretty sad before Christmas. And today is punishment day. First punishment, lighting your Christmas gift Santa was supposed to give you on fire. What? Uh, uh, that gift was so big, what was it? You will never know. Second punishment, throwing a home alone fire grill spatula at your nuts to make them chest nuts. Why 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 that's so hot hot hot. Third and final punishment, painting you like the Grinch. I look so stupid and gooey. No, you look like a holiday Grinch. Look to the camera Caillou. Oh perfect, right there. Oh my, what a breezy and beautiful view this is. Nothing could make it more beautiful. Ah, uh, hello there Rachel. Bobby. Oh Bobby you came again. Oh my, I take it back. You make this scene perfect. What? You thought it was perfect before me? Why, I would never think you were with another. Oh, Bobby, no. I would never be with another. Your green shirt brings freshness and energy to my plastic sky blue. Oh, Rachel. Oh, Bobby. Sky blue. Green grass. That's nothing against yellow pea. Oh no. It's Creepy Curtis. Back off now, Creepy Curtis. Or else. Ha 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 ha. Or else what? Or else I'll make you go blind but fling in your two extra eyes off. Try me fancy boy. Okay then. Hair gel power. Oh, oh, oh. My freaking eyes. I'll get you bratty body. Oh buddy. You are my knight and shining armor. Oh well. It's just my natural good looks. Smooch smooch smooch. Ha ha ha. Well I'm done. I wonder what creepy Curtis would look like with hair. Would it make him better looking? Actually, still I wonder what a real creepy Curtis would look like with hair. Hum, I don't think Caillou would ever get hair. Rah, rah, rah. Big Godzilla Caillou Rex Barbie Doll House. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. Super Godzilla farts over fruity dolls. Caillou. Ha, ha, That's ha, gross. Ha, ha. Uck, now my dolls smell like powdery Chuck E. Cheese pizza farts. My brother's such a bald brat. Wait a minute. Maybe he doesn't have to be bald anymore. Maybe I could put real hair on him. That would be funny. And maybe he wouldn't be a brat anymore. Time to take a shower and get some hair off of me to put on him. Ah, Sarah, rub me harder there. Uck, what a stinky gross thing to say. Now to put this on. Huh? What was that noise? Ah, uh, probably nothing. I am not scared of the scratchy monster. I am not scared of the scratchy monster. Ah! What on earth? Ah! Ginger 
I, 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 I grew hair. I can't believe it. Caillou, what's with all the noise? It's only 6 fifth. Oh my god. Caillou, what on what's earth? that on your head? I don't know how it happened, but I have hair. I woke up last night and felt something on my head. Then went back to sleep. Then 10 minutes ago I went to take a morning pee. Then washed my hands and saw this. I thought I'd be bald forever. I'm so excited. I'm going to show Rosie then brush it for school. How on earth do you think he got it on there? I don't know, doesn't look glued on, unless it's clear super glue, but even Caillou wouldn't be that dumb, though I gotta say, it's the worst looking hair I've seen, wonder who he got that from? Maybe the one whose hair is bigger than his head like a 1980s tranny. Well, at least I don't have trans fat in the arm like some people. <laughs> That's funny. Wanna see something? Sure what? Ha ha ha, ouch. Dang, I guess that's why there's so many fatty Americans. That trans fat sure has some bite to it. Yeah, and feels like a saber-toothed tiger bit me. Damn, that hurts. Oh my god, Caillou. You, you have hair on your head? Yes, I know. And now, I can have girls think I'm attractive. And a better thing, I'll be more cute than you. I no longer will be thought of as a bald baby or a ginger like you. Who's the cuter one now? Caillou. That's me. That's who. Now to get this combed. Huh, if only he knew what it actually was. Yo, yo, yo. What's good, my homeroomies? Caillou, what? What's on your head? Just a little hair grow on my head today. Oh my gosh. Caillou, you look so handsome. Oh, thanks, Sharon. You like it? You can feel it if you want. Oh my gosh. It feels so soft and smooth. Everyone come look. Caillou the bald kid is growing hair. Are you going to grow more hair, Caillou? Cause I love boys with lots of hair. At this stage, Sharon, yes, I will. It does look cool, Caillou. How did it happen? Oh, if it isn't the outskirts crowd. Outskirts crowd? We're not outskirts. We're Caillou's friends. Ugh, I can't believe Caillou hangs out with these losers. Ugh, well at least we don't show off our armpits and develop body around. Settle down now, children. Let's move along down here, cool fellas. Away from the hairy, gingery, poopy soup people. Then you can fill up my hair. Hairy ginger. That's what I'm doing. Come over here and I'll give you a mouthful. And looking lines. Who knew hair could turn you into such a deek? His hair looks like it came from there. Ugh, why is my hair not growing anymore? I need it to grow so the cool kids will like me more. Is there anything in here I could use to make my hair better? Oh, nail polish. Mommy and Grandma use that. I wonder if that will work. What's that? Oh my god, oh my god, my head stings, stings, stings like 100 bees stung it, it hurts so much, 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 ow, 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 ow. Caillou, who are you talking to and screaming about? I could hear you from the living room. Sniff, sniff, that smells like CoverGirl nail polish and, no, not my hair gel, it couldn't be. Oh my god, oh my god, why won't the burning go away? Mew ha ha ha, stupid Bobby, I have burned all your hair off with my laser gun. And now we'll take Rachel away from you. Ew, you creepy bald loser. I would never go out with you. No icky hair on you can make you ever attractive. Just like the icky hair on your twin Caillou. But Rachel, this is your hair. I took some from you while you were sleeping. You what? How dare you? Oh no. Oof, how dare you use me as an object like that. I'd rather take a bald man than a man who uses me as an object like I did with Caillou. Hee <laughs> hee. Rosie. Caillou? You disgusting little Where bitch. You? Caillou, you just destroyed my Curtis stall. You are disgusting and deserve that. Caillou, you are so dead 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 dead. Now you really have done it. Caillou, how dare you use my expensive hair products. That hair gel cost me $75. And, why on earth is Rosie's dollhouse all mangled up? And why does there look like a 10-foot beast on your bald head? Because that hair on me was Rosie's. Ow, that hurts. I used your hair gel to make me look cool to get the cool kids in school other than my uncool friends. But my hair wasn't mine. It was Rosie's. From her area. Is this true, young lady? You put your hair from your area onto Caillou's head? I knew his hair looked like hair found in a shower drain. I used my hair from my area and glued it on Caillou with crazy glue. I wanted to dress Caillou up like a life-sized doll. Rosie and Caillou, how dare you two be disgusting. Rosie, you use your brother as an object and Caillou, you view your best friends as objects. I hope you both know now that people have feelings and shouldn't be used for personal gain. Who the fuck is this? 
What, huh? Talk to Caillou? Caillou's being yelled at at the moment. Oh about the hair thing. Don't want to talk to him for two weeks. Sounds reasonable. Yeah I'll dem him. Bye. Okay Caillou, that was your friend Leo. Pim and Clementine don't want to talk to you for two weeks for you throwing them under the bus at school today. I didn't throw them under a bus. That's a lie. It's just an expression. It means you made them feel bad so you could hang out with the cool kids, which I don't think you'll hang out with anymore. Am I right? Yes, you're right. I won't hang out with the cool kids and I'll apologize to Leo and Clementine. Good, and I think your head hurting and your friends abandoning you is punishment enough for you. And Rosie's dollhouse and dolls being destroyed is enough too. Except for your mother. What do you say guys? Should we prank your mother? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ugh, where is everyone? It's almost day. Oh my dear god. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wet pads. <coughs> okay, I'll see you at 3 o'clock sharp. Sharper than a serrated edge. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh my, what's all the excitement? My classmates Cuter Blocks and Heather Doll are going to come over here and we're going to play musical chairs and surprise our friend Bell Butter for her birthday. Oh my, that's wonderful. Do you need me to make you all a cake? Nah nah, it's all taken care of. My friend Pink Blocks has that taken care of with her Easy Bake Oven. We're gonna design a cake with Belle's face on it with buttercream icing. Easy Bake Oven? Isn't that just a toy? Why can't you use a real oven and make a real cake? It's not a toy you dum dum. It's a smaller oven for younger people. Aren't you supposed to have a high IQ? Anyway, I'm sure you can't even make your own device up yet at your age. I'm not dumb and I can make a device better than a stupid easy baby. Now, now, Rosie, settle down. Rosie, how about I help you get your room cleaned up and give you $35 to get supplies for your party? And Cody, I'll give you $15 to buy a ticket to the local theater. That way you can watch something nice while your sister has a good time also. Okay, sure. Here you two go. I'll grab the vacuum cleaner and get some chairs from the basement. Oh, thanks, Mommy. You epic. Well, you enjoy your little movie. I'm going to have fun with my friends while you are forever alone. Yeah, well, at least I'm not forever a crazy ginger that darn sis gets all the friends I don't. No fair. And I can too make something. Wait a minute. Make something? Nah, not make what involved. Thomas Edison already made that in the 1800s. Wait. Thomas Edison. The Simpsons. On The Simpsons, there was that show where Homer makes an annoying beeping machine. Maybe I could make that, and make it so loud it annoys Rosie's friends and Rosie. Yeah, that will get back at her. Now to go to the computer store and buy something for that. Ha 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 ha. An eight-year-old going on a city bus? This feels so wrong. But feels so right for the plot. Hi, I'm going to the electronic store near here. There will be a dollar fifty, kiddo. Here you go, you fat ass bus driver. Go fuck yourself and your mother, Baldy. Now sit guys down somewhere. Hey, man, hey, bus man, wait up. I need the ride. Um, bus is go by way too fast now. They says with life these days. Driving at Fry Electronics. The best electronics supermarket only second to Micro Center. Thanks a lot. You look like you eat fries all the time. Hey hey welcome kid, welcome to Fry's Electronics. My name is Fry actually, how may I help you? Hey I'm looking for parts to make up, like a noise machine. Can you help me? A noise machine? Like an alarm? Uh, yeah, yeah an alarm for my home. My parents' house, uh, was recently broken into, and I'm making an alarm to knock out thieves from injury. Oh well very cool, just a question, how old are you by the way? I'm up, uh, I'm eight. I uh... I'm making an alarm for my house I own. Wow, man. Very cool. Well, I'll actually help you find the parts. Right this way, blue cap. Here are the circuit boards, and next to them are batteries. Thanks so much. No problem. And tell you what, I'll give you the circuit board for just $10. Whoa. Really? Yes. I find it awesome that young minds like yours can produce goods for your parents and the community. Oh, thank you. Here you go. And here's the circuit board. Thanks so much, Fry Man. No problem, oh. Ha 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 ha. That Fry guy was such a loser. Also, his clothes look 15 years old. Stuck in 1999. Oh boy, who's first? Come on in.
Hello there, Angel. You're very festive today. Oh, thanks, Rosie. And you're always very lucky. Oh, someone else is here. Come on in. Ah, uh, hey there, Rosie and Angel. Hello, Hello Heather, Heather Dow. Dow. You smell wonderful. And you both look wonderful. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, someone else is here. It might be Belle. Who is it? It's Pink. Come, Come on, on in. in. Wow, Pink. You look so sweet. Thanks. And you guys don't smell like feet. <laughs> Uh-oh. That must be Belle. Everybody hide in my room. Carmen. Hi, Rosie. You said you wanted to give me something. Yes, but uh, just stay right there for 10 seconds. Okay, you can come up now. Oh, okay then. Hello, Rosie. You in here? <laughs> Yummy, but a cream icing, my favorite. Time to sneak to my room and build this annoying circuit board. That was delicious. Now for some music. Quick, find a seat. Go. Stop. There. Now to sneak this device in Rosie's room. Here goes nothing. What in God's name is that? What in God's name is that? Here, bleeding, beeping. They say, they say, try it. Mr. Dread detected at 1, 2, 3, fate speed, evil self detected. Earthquake attempt detected. Use lethal force. Got my pink. It's all gone. And now I'm pink. My butter is all gone. I look like Pepto Bismol. Oh my god. I look like a pissy Marge Simpson. Look away. This was the worst birthday ever. Your house is crazy. What in God's name happened here? The whole entire town shook from all the noise. Hey, is this the house the one guy ordered a circuit board alarm for? The what? A circuit board alarm? I don't know but there was a loud ass explosion of sound from our house in which a military jet blew down a rocket on my daughter's party. Well I think the guy who owns this house accidentally installed a megaphone on the circuit board which increased the sound by 10. I sold the circuit board to him for cheap. What the hell are you talking about you robotic idiot? I'm the owner of this house. Oh, I'm sorry. I sold the circuit board to this young guy in blue with a blue cap. He said he was installing the circuit board alarm system. I guess I have the wrong house funny enough. Did you say young guy with blue cap? Cody! No shock. I'm grounded. Cody, how dare you? How do you make an alarm that shakes the whole house and causes a jet to strike down a rocket on our house? You're 100% lucky nobody got hurt. I'm sorry, Daddy. I only did it because Rosie was mean to me and said I couldn't make anything. So I made this beeping device to get back at her. Don't daddy me. And yes, she's absolutely right. You can't make anything. Anything right, that is. The electronic store guy here said your device was ten times stronger than it should. And you lied to me. You didn't tell me you were making a device for evil. I thought it was to stop burglars. But the only burglars you. Robbing my money. Your daddy will now have to pay me $300 total for that circuit board. Great job you stupid blue cap idiot. Now I'll have to pay $300 on top of the $5,000 to fix the hole in Rosie's roof. You're far from a Einstein yet. You are grounded 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 for 6 to the power of 8 seconds. Try to figure that grounded time genius. It is now punishment day and Rosie will come up with your punishment. Your punishment is having your colors stripped away from you like you had done to my friends. Gulp. What? What are we doing near the washer? Observe, little bro. No way. Um, I'm real worried about homie. Maybe I should call the police. Hey, yeah. He'll sober up. Yeah. Come staggering home. Thum hum. Smelling cheap perfume. Homer. What? What? Ho? Now you rolled up. My tooths! Uh, 
I have a confession to make. This should be good. I didn't get my Christmas bonus. I tried not to let it ruin Christmas for everybody. But no matter what I did, I... Hey, everybody. Look what we got. A dog. All right, Dad. God bless him. So love at first sight is possible? And if he runs away, he'll be easy to catch. So oh, this is the best gift ever, Homer. It is? Yes. Something to share our love. What's his name? Number eight. I mean, number nine. Oh, no. I, I mean, Santa's little helper. What an awesome dog. I want to pet it. It's so cute. Ah, that hurt. Ha 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 ha, you're such a cute doggy. Hey, don't you steal my dog. I worked real hard for that dog. What? Huh? I'm not stealing the dog. I'm just petting it. Come here, you little. What the? This is what you get for stealing my dog, you little dog. Con you, you fucking idiot. What? You mean this isn't part of the script? Cut. Everybody cut. Con you, what on earth are you doing? This isn't a real family's house. It's just a made up stage with actos playing as the Simpsons for their 10th anniversary. It's all pretend. Like if I took Santa's little helper here and put him on the fire, he wouldn't be burned. Whoops, I guess fire can be real on set. Yo bro, get off the stage, Dominic boy. What get off me, Tommy? I'm disciplining my son here. If I just like him, i stupid. Go back to eating Twinkies and Donuts. Can we get security on these fools? Okay, everyone, let's move on to a closing gift. This company happened. Hello there, all. I'm a hip. I'm a hop. My name is Hippity Hop. I'm a hopping a hop. I make everyone's day a gay one today. I hop, hop, and crack my legs like two eggs. Okay, schooler, good night to everybody. Hey there, my little rosy posy. It's almost time for bed. You don't want to be sleepy in the morning because Santa Claus will be coming in a few hours to get your cool gifts. Look what I did, mommy. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is really nice, Rosie. What's that say? Tat. Four. You? Oh wow. I see you, mommy, daddy, and who's that in red? Sandy. Sandy? Oh, Santa. Very nice. And what is that Santa's holding? Cook. Coke? Oh, a cookie? Wow. I gotta say, that's very thoughtful of you. You're such a nice girl. Like a nice flower. It does look like a yummy cookie. I'm sure he'd love that. Say, how about you and me make some cookies very quick for Santa Claus? I'm sure he would love to have some real cookies as well as seeing your drawing. And to help me, you can even have one when they are finished. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rosie loves cookies. Ah uh, ha ha, that's cookie dear. But yes. I know you do. Come along with me in the kitchen. After that we'll put your drawing near the plate of cookies. Ha ha ha, Rosie got me get me cooks. Name and create on. We'll do the Nestle's Toll House recipe my mother and grandmother always did with me. We need two and a quarter cups flour. So pour the flour back for about three seconds, sweetie. Maybe those are flowers and helping. Oh, oh, careful, dear. It's okay, sweetie. No need to cry over spilled flowers. We'll clean up later. Okay. I'll do the rest of the filling. Then you do the pounding. Let me get more of the ingredients. We put in one teaspoon baking soda. Rosie like yummy soda. Oh, I know you do. But the soda is very dangerous. If you eat it, you may go bald like your brother. Rosie no wanna go bald like I do. Exactly. That's why you only drink regular soda. Not baking soda. Then one teaspoon salt. Then two sticks of Keller's butter. Then three fourths cup sugar. Then three fourths cup brown sugar. Then two eggs. I'll give you the eggs to throw in Rosie. Yay! Rosie help! Very good. Now we'll put these away and mix. Okay, now we're gonna mix the ingredients with my mother's 1950s mixer. 1950s mixer looks scary. Rosie, no odds in it. Oh, sweetie, it won't hurt you. I'll hold it while you hold the bowl. Sound good? Okay, Rosie, take go. That's my girl. Ready? Let's go! Looking good. Very uh, good. Uh, Rosie, have fun. Now the mix is nice and thick. Take this out. Now follow me to the stove. Rosie thought she was bad place. It's okay, Rosie. The stove isn't a bad place when a grown-up is around. I'll make sure you're okay. Okay, mommy. We now need to flatten the dough bit before we cut it up into little balls. Can you flatten the dough for mommy? You can do it with your face. 
after you take your shoes off. Yes, Mommy. Here. Oh, my. You didn't have to take your pants off. But that's okay. But go on up. Get mashing. <laughs> Very good, my girl. Now that we're done with that, we'll cut the dough into little balls. Now this you're not allowed to use until you're about 10 years old. Ah, uh, good night. Yes, indeed. Stay away from this. All done. Now that the dough is cut up into little balls, we do the last thing. Something's missing. Know what it is? Mom, I'm totally don't know. Mom, chocolate chip. That's right. We're missing the chips. Let me get them. Now we roll the balls into the chocolate. Very good. Now we bake the cookies for 10 minutes or until they are flattened and hardened. Oh wow. The cookies turned out wonderful. I gotta say I'm very proud of you Rosie. Perhaps we might have a second cook in this house years later. I think Santa Claus will be very proud as well. What's the Santa Claus will be proud of? Oh my, chocolate chip cookies. Oh Doris, you shouldn't have. I didn't. These cookies aren't for you. They're not? Oh no, no fair. Who are they for? They're for Santa Claus, Addy. Rosie made them for Santa Claus. Oh Santa Claus, my mistake. I'm so sorry sweetie. Well, when did my little girl become a chef? We could yeah, use another uh, around here. Oh you better watch it Doris. You might get on the naughty list. Who me? Not ever. I'm a good boy. Though it's a good thing Santa has that big stomach for these yummy cookies. I'm sure they'll be eaten right away. Whoa. Cookies? I love chocolate chip cookies. I want a chocolate chip cookie. Please, please, please. No, no, no. These cookies not yours. Miss Sam. Shut up, Rosie. Don't tell me what to do. I want a cookie. Caillou, you can't have a cookie. These cookies were made by your sister for Santa Claus. You will get some food tomorrow. Now get to bed. It's just past your bedtime. No fair. Why does Rosie get to be up? Why can't I just have one? Caillou, don't backtalk me, or else Santa might throw your gift in the garbage. You can't have a cookie now. You'll spoil breakfast. Santa can see all. Go upstairs now this instant. Ah wah 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 boo 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 no fair. Because you made the cookies, Rosie. You get to have one. Our treat. That way you can taste what you cooked. Rosie has cookie. Up, wow. Be careful now. Thanks. Don't fall. <laughs> Very yummy yummy. Awesome. I'm sure Santa will love it. I'll put it out on the coffee table. Nice. And I'll grab some milk for Santa. But first let's put our little new chef to bed. <laughs> new new new. You can't eat cookies now Caillou. You'll get food tomorrow Caillou. You're stupid Caillou. Your sister gets cookies. I want cookies now. It's not fair. What the? Oh, uh, oh, it's mommy. Hey Caillou, I just wanted to say Merry Christmas before you go to sleep. Be listening for Santa Claus. He'll give you lots of presents. Yeah, I know. Caillou, the reason you couldn't have a cookie is because this is Rosie's first Christmas that she'll remember. And she wanted to do something special for Santa Claus. And sometimes it's best not to overdo it on food. Cause it might keep you up or make you too full to do anything. You'll get good treats in your stocking tomorrow from Santa. Okay? Okay. Mommy? Yes, Caillou? Could you cut up one of the cookies for me to eat? I just want a little bit. No. And do not go and eat any of the cookies and milk or you will be grounded. Good night. Rats. I'm going to eat some cookies and drink the milk when everyone is asleep. Santa really can't see me cause he's busy flying everywhere. I'm going to dance to jazz music on though to keep me up until it's really dark out. Woof, I'm so tired. Up, I'm going to get some cookies now. I'm going to turn off the jazz music. Now to grab a cookie. Wow, the cookies look even better up close than in the kitchen. I'm going to have two cookies. Wow, these cookies so good. Oh, so good I want more. Ooh, my mouth is thirsty. I need milk right now. Ah, so good. That was the best cookies ever. Uh-oh. I ate all the cookies and drank all the milk. Santa's going to be mad. I gotta hide the plate. I can go back to bed now. Wait, yucky. My face has mushy chocolate on it. Oh, I'll use this.
There. Now to go back to bed. Hum, I'm too awake to go to sleep. I'm going to play with my toy box cause I'm not sleepy. We will we will beep 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 we will we will beep 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 beep. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas to the Andersons! And a happy new year! Now what's this we got for me? <laughs> hum, a cute note about me, but with a chocolate lip mark. And what's this broken glass from a plate? A cookie plate? Oh ho ho no no no, Santa Claus is very very upset right now. Somebody seemed to have had an unfortunate sweet tooth. Santa Claus is going to make some changes to a boy's gift. There we go, all good now, away I go. Santa. Yay, fire engine go beep beep. I love this fire engine. Hey Rosie, wake up, it's Christmas. Mommy, Daddy, Rosie, plot into your Santa. I heard it. Oh boy, well we better get downstairs quick. I heard a lot of noise too. Must have been great stuff. <laughs> well, she definitely rested well. She's pumped up. Now time to wake up, stinky boy. Hey Kyle, wake up. It's Christmas morning. It's Christmas morning. Santa came. There's lots of presents downstairs with you and Rosie's name on them. Come, looks like somebody's fast asleep. Caillou, get up 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 now. What? Huh? Ah, uh, ah, uh, hum, ah, uh, just five more minutes, please. Caillou, get, get up just this instant. Rosie, Your little sister is waiting first. on you. We've waited 25 days for this day. Mommy, Daddy, I don't want to get up. I'm too tired. Alright then, we'll carry you out. Yikes. Even your little sister doesn't cry this much getting out of bed. We ran out of wrapping paper this year. But we put your names on them. Rosie, your gifts are all the way in the back. Oh yay yay yay. Oh my, she's fast and strong opening them all up. Wow, Brenda Gilbert, Puffy Girl Guard Fun Ball. Yeah, you like drawing a lot so we told Santa how much you like drawing. Looks like he knows you well. Thank you Santa and Mommy. Oh, you're welcome. Now let's have Caillou open his gifts. Caillou. Caillou, wake up! Oh, up. Oh, there appears to be a stocking here, Caillou, with your name on it. Oh, okay. I'm coming. Open it up, Caillou. Oh, and Doris. Could you just move the presents Rosie open back to the tree? I want to get a family pic in a bit. What's in here? Is it chocolate? I love chocolate. What the? Huh? What's this? Oh, looks like you got a note, too, Caillou. Make sure you read the card first. Um, okay. Get ready to smile, Lol. I, I made Santa angry. <coughs> well, I guess Caillou stayed up way too late by eating those cookies. So what will his punishment be? Well, I think with his sleep schedule being off and being crushed by Santa's anger, we won't have to worry about a punishment. His heart bit off a little more than he should chew than his stomach. Huh, <laughs> <laughs> I hate having to freaking go and heat my car. I hate waiting for coffee. I hate the winter weather, but I love listening to the greasy humorous petty show. Oh, would you like an up doors? The greasy humor petty show is the greatest ever. A show where the old guy swears his heart sounds like a four-year-old Shut up, Cody. Greasy humorous petty is the top radio DJ. He has over 50 15 million listeners. No, because he because he criticizes stuff happening in the world. Yes, if you say fuck you enough, then people will lose an argument. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Ha 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 We won that one. Here we go, boys and boys. Do you want to win a weekend in Colorado to possibly meet Sean White, the Olympic snowboarder? Well then simply call in if you're a radio listener member. Oh boy. Okay. The question is, are Caillou, you ready? We already Don't have a phone right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here's Shut the up. I'm trying to hear. 448363. Give me money. 
What's the U.S. state the show South Park takes place in? I know in? the answer. You're the, what is it? Yes. Yes? How's that an answer? Can you, you fucking idiot? Question. That's the question, One, not the four, answer. Four, eight, three, six, three, six, give me money. What's the U.S. state the show South Park takes place in? What's the U.S. state the show South Park takes place in? How on earth could it be California? It doesn't snow in California. Here's the question. We're not talking about money. Barney the What's dinosaur. The US state the show Let South me look Park it up on my phone. Up we got caller number nine. Oh damn it, my good sir. I know the answer, it's Springfield. Yeah. No, How I'm on sorry, earth could you be that retarded? I know boomers listen to this show, but geez. And Springfield is a mistake. Colorado is located. How the fuck? There's not any snow other than the Rockies in Colorado. Well, let's give this a shot. How convenient an answer for this episode. We got caller number 13 here. Who the fuck is this and you got an answer for me? Hey, humorous batty. Big fan dick. Is the answer South Park? No, that's not correct. What? Huh? You gotta be fucking kidding me. It says right here. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, you're not correct in that I have a big fan dick. I have a bigger condition throbbing dick. But yes, you got today's question right. Surprise, my viewers are just done. to a station located at 123 City Boulevard. To claim. This building has been going on forever. I'm going to get up to Laura Deuce's tower one of these days. What the? Oh. My. God. I can't believe I just did that. I gotta save that on clip. Cody. What the Great news. Ow. Dad? How could you? You just made me lose my rare clip. I got a rare kill in Fortnite and it's gone. I could have been famous. Cody, would you shut the fuck up about your stupid born night game? You act as if it's the most important thing ever. Anyway. I just won us tickets to a 10,000 trip to Colorado to see the famous Sean White and get a hotel room. Quick, get your stuff and come with me and call you to the radio station. I don't want to go see some carrot top looking Sean White. That guy is such a bore. I want to grind and play Fortnite. I hate snowboarding. Well, you don't have a choice. You can either go with us, or I'll destroy your computer and you will be grounded here doing nothing. Come on. Maybe Sean White can show you how to be famous other than Fortnite. Maybe he can show you how to snowboard. Sometimes it's good to get out of the house and try new things. That sounds gayer than The Bachelor. I think the grounding sounds more default. Okay, suit yourself. We paid a lot for this scooped up new gaming no, no, PC. No. A trip to Colorado seems awesome. We can get lots of cool pictures there. Ah, uh, there you go Cody. That's the spirit. Come on now, let's head to the radio station and meet up with humorous Petty first. More like Harry Prick. And here's your epic show on white holiday tickets. Um, thanks, but I don't see any. Oh, I forgot to fart them out. Here. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you believe it Doris? Humorous Petty just farted on me. Yes, I'm quite aware. As humorous as his show. Alright now you people, get the hell to my lair. Awesome, the Andersons are going to Colorado. Man, this trip is going to suck more than a baby on a pacifier. I hate the cold weather as it is, but I'll just have to make it as miserable as I can and hopefully get sent back home grounded. Oh, just so you Cody, I see your scheming face. Before we leave tomorrow Cody, just know that the 10 strike system will apply on you. 10 strikes and you will be super duper grounded. Okay dad, no problem. All right, Cody. Now your brother and sister want breakfast from here so you'll need to get something now cause the flight most likely won't have any food. Why do we have to eat here, Dad? It's just some place where fat people dance and fart all over the place. She should have just stopped at McDonald's or Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, Cody, watch your mouth. Do I really dance that much? I just, I just like food. I'm very hungry. <laughs> Great job, Cody. You made a real-life example out of your shitty description. You now get one strike already. Nine more and you will get the ultimate punishment day. Worse than grounding. Let's get out of this Taco Bell fest. Merry Christmas to me. What do I clean up today? What the hell? Okay, it should only be about 10 minutes before our plane should arrive for Colorado. Flight 424 Colorado Denver will begin boarding in five minutes. Well, just five minutes. Oh my, this is the fastest to fly ever has been for us. January is definitely the time we're going on trips from now on. Huh, that loudspeaker masks the guy's voice pretty well. 
I wonder how much I could get away with that. I just need a version. Doris? Doris Anderson? Yes? Hello there. Remember me? It's Diesel. Diesel Busters. Oh, oh my. God. Wow. Hey. How have you been, Diesel? You remember? I have to go to the bathroom. Kids, come with me. Um, okay, okay daddy. But I'm a lady dad. Um, Boris always running to the bathroom, eh? I guess he needs help now that he's older. We're all getting older, it seems. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. He usually only takes like a minute in the bathroom. Though sometimes he takes pics in the bathroom showing others what they look like. Maybe I'll show you some pics I took recently during Christmas. Come on over here. It's been so long. I don't know why we stopped seeing each other. The perfect moment to do my sneaky announcement. Every single person, watch out. There are fire ants underneath your feet. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. False announcement appears to be from Terminal C Dash Rover. Attention, please. That last call was a false alarm. Sorry for any inconvenience. Again, the last call was a false alarm. Please return back to your regularly scheduled areas. Oh my, I wonder what that was all about. Can you all follow me, please? Oh well, no surprise what that was all about. Whenever there's trouble around, the Andersons are sure to be the main cause. No wonder I stopped seeing that family. Nothing but trouble. If only Doris went with me to the prom. Hey, where's my seat at? Ah, ha 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 ha. You really think after 12 hours of us being questioned and losing half a day of our vacation that you would sit up here with us? No sir we Bob. I'll show you boy where you will park your ass at. This is the plane's bathroom. Better get used to the smell, cause you'll be here for three hours. Ta da. Oh my god. This smells worse than the inside of the Taco Bell bathroom. I'll just have to get used to the smell. What a lovely relaxing flight. Ugh, that was the worst time in my life in a bathroom. Shut the hell up Cody. Me and your mother have had much worse experiences with bathrooms. But see this as a lesson to stop now. Now we have to wait for the shady Uber driver to pick us up as all the buses and cabs are done for the next 5 hours. Ah, here's the guy, I think. I'm not sure he sees us. Oh, now hey, he sees us. That was really impressive, how you? I know how to buy singing the Ed and Eddie theme to myself in the shower. Hello there, are you Guy? Yeah, I'm Guy. You going to the landing at Estes Park? Yeah, how much is the ride? It's 35 an hour, it should take about an hour exactly if I go speedy. Speedy sounds cool. Okay then, here we go go go. Ah, peace and quiet. What a good nap that was. Yeah, we should be in the hotel in about 5 minutes. You sure you won't get a ticket for speeding? We don't have to be there this fast. Oh, trust me, ma'am. The cops in Denver are pretty much high on weed 24-7. They don't give a shit about anything but shoplifters and thefts of weed itself. Ugh, I'm so bored. Mom, can I borrow your phone to play Plants vs. Zombies? No. Why don't you use your phone? We got you for Christmas. I left it on my desk at home. Oh, uh, fine. But only for five minutes. Thanks, Mom. We'll be You're in the, the best. Sure, I'm the best now. Okay, here we go. Oh, those are spooky. Move your hand, you're in my way. Don't punch me, little brat. I lost the game. You bitch, I never lost a game before. Oh no shit, fuck. what the fuck happened? I only have liability. I only have liability. Great job, Cody. You caused us to be more late. It's not my fault. Rosie put her hand near my game and caused me to lose. Well, you shouldn't have used your mom's phone and just waited five minutes until we get to the hotel. Just so you know, I know people are tuber. I'm going to let them know how much you were speeding. I'm going to get your ass fired. Your diving will now cause me to pay $1,000, stupid. Great job, Cody. Now the poor Uber driver will get fired from his job. Just for that, you've earned a fourth strike. Six more and you will get the terrible punishment day. Here comes the tow truck and police. You might as well just be arrested, but the plot's just thickening now. This bed is harder than my cock after watching the hub site. This feels like a baby bear bed. It's like 7 in the morning and room service breakfast doesn't start until 8. I want to do something now but there's no computer I can use. Uck, what the? Cody, stop talking to yourself and go back to sleep. Fuck this. Here we go again. Let's do this a simple way. Caillou, don't touch me there, or you will be grounded. I'm touching you there you big devil. Mmm. Never mind then. Ick. Hee ha ha. 
Now to play some Plants vs. Zombies while I lean my ass on the deck here. Oh my god, this phone is so slow. No, I didn't want to go over there. Fucking hell, you bitch. <laughs> what a lovely bad this is now. Ah, smell that nice fresh air, honey. The fresh grass. The smell of nature animals. Fresh smell of breakfast pancakes. The smell of bloodshed. Bloodshed. And my phone. It's missing. Cody, you get your bald ass down here right now. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's not so much for a good morning without speeding. Whoa. How d Don't. You dare. Play. Dumb. Well, I. My phone. With plants and zombies on it. Cracked. And near the sky. With Bruce head and boo pouring out of him. And our breakfast food. All on the ground with ants on it. Damn. You're good. And your evil. T strikes. One for the cracked phone. One for the knocked out waiter. And one for our breakfast ruined. Wow, that person was lucky. He had chocolate chip pancakes. My favorite. You can thank your brother for not getting any. Those were supposed to be for us. Wow, the wind feels so good. Caillou, careful. Whoa, whoa. Thank you, Rosie. You saved my life. No problem, bro. As long as Cody's not here, no one will get hurt. Ugh. This is so stupid. I have to be sent to a toy corner like a little baby. Hey, I'm not a baby. I'm four. Yeah, and I'm seven. Toys are not for baby. We don't go with pee pee and diapers. I don't go pee pee in. Wait, maybe I do. Wah 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 wah. Baby want bottle. Baby want bottle. Wah wah wah. Ha 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 ha. He's crying like a little baby. Ha 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 ha. Little blind boy please give me bottle wah wah. Bottle. I don't have a baby bottle. I have a juice though. Me want juice. We want apple apple juice. Okay, I'll get baby blue boy apple juice. Throw apple juice to me. I can't. Try again. Okay. Ali oof. Got it. Yay yay, I did it. That tasted good. Got any more? More? I don't have more. Give me more now 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 please please baby want more. Okay, baby's so annoying. But I'm also fast. It's time to let loose. Oh yeah! No stupid duct tape can stop Cody Anderson. Oh god, nothing worse than hard black eyes. Ah, we got stuck here. Hey man, awesome grinds there. Oh thanks, but I didn't go all the way down fast enough. No, it's not about getting the fastest. To master the board, one must perform turns, be fast, and simply enjoy what you're doing. Oh nice. Yeah, this seems like fun. My dad won tickets at the radio show so we've been having fun here. Except our little brother has been getting us late. Whoa, your pops is the guy who won that South Park question. Totally epic bra. Yeah, it's the coolest show around here. So I guess you're here to meet the big bad Sean White, huh? Yeah, I don't know if we'll ever meet him but he does seem charming. Yeah, I have heard that. But I guess I might know a thing or two about him. Sean White, Olympic snowboarder. Oh, Wait, oh, my god, Caillou, this is Sean. Wait, you Sean, whoa. <laughs> the one and only. It's alright I get it a lot. Some people may think I'm a big tough guy. But I'm just out here to have fun. But glad to meet ya guys. Attention, attention. There's a gunman on the mountain and ski left. Repeat. A gunman on the mountain and ski left. That sounds like Cody. What do we do? What do we no, do? I'm getting out of here. I don't want to stay here. Yo, what the hell? Oh, you should walk out. Don't worry, I'll, I'll save ya dudes. Cody, how dare you? You ruined the whole snowboarding trip for everybody. You did all the things to get your seven strikes. Then you prank on the loudspeaker, caused an avalanche, then made multiple people jump and get injured. You have really done it. Yeah, I was one of those people. And, I fell from the roof. Don't lie, we saw your boot outside, and no one else's. You went to the cabin first. Your punishment, is going to be done by Mr. Sean White himself. Well, I ain't no doubt about the power of the 
Yummy! Fresh Mountain Dew Ice Cubes. A nice frozen treat for a good workout. Will my body be able to get back to normal? With my assurance, yeah, you will. Like, comment, subscribe, super thanks comment, and be a everything PC gaming PC elitist channel member. Make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button so you never miss a new video.